Yo, 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 what's up? What's going on, man? I'm your host, Edgar Negato, also known as the Big Cat, my cool cat. Put your paws up if you're rocking with the Big Cat Carolina on top forever tonight. Woo! We got another jam pack show for you guys. We're going to be talking about Matt Rule. According to a uh, our latest sports poll, is ranked the 24th best head coach in the NFL. Do I agree with it? Um, is it accurate? Uh, or, you know, is this some BS? We'll talk about it. Also, Taylor Moulton. Taylor Moulton um, is nearing the the midnight hour for him to get this contract extension. Do you believe he'll get this contract extension? If not, what happens if we don't get it? I already got a video out on Patreon for the exclusive members. But we'll talk about it amongst you guys. Um, we're going to have fun tonight. We're going to have a little fun and, um, you know, do what we do here. I got some news for you guys as well. So let me set the thumbnail, go ahead and get set up and I'll be right with you guys. Please, please enjoy this remix by my brother, Chad Zilla. Pause up remix. Shout out to my DJ, Chad Zilla.
Put your motherfucking paws up, man. Stop bullshitting. Put your paws up. Get your paws up, man. Get your damn paws up.
Let's go, baby. Let's go. Here we go. We finna get it started. Let's get that energy up. Here we go, baby. Paul's up for life. Carolina on top, baby. Carolina on top, baby. You know what time it is. Carolina forever on top, baby. This ain't no game, man. Either you with it or you're not. <laughs> Carolina on top, baby. Forever. Pause up, baby. Panther Nation. The best nation. The goddamn pause up, man. Chad Zilla on the beat. Fucking with him, man. That's my dog. Yeah, let's get it started, y'all. Shout out to my dog, Go DJ. That's my DJ, Chad Zilla, man, with the Pause Up remix, man. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate you laying that on there. As always, you always coming through with the clutch. Mark McGuire in the eighth inning. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm your host, El Grande Guy, to also known as the Big Cat. I'm a cool guy, but the Pause Up. If you're rocking with the Big Cat and the Carolina Panthers, keep pounding for life, Carolina, on top forever. Tonight, we got a... Uh, Got a few topics to talk about here. We're going to talk about Matt Rule in a uh, latest poll here by uh, All Sports Culture. I don't think this is a, uh, you know, it's not by a news reporting thing. I think it's just like a social media poll or something. They put together a list of all 32 teams and ranked the best head coach of, out of all of them, 1 through 32. And Matt Rule came in at 24. Is this accurate or is this just some, you know, continue to hate on Matt Rule Day? <laughs> we'll talk about that. And Taylor Moten. Again, Taylor Moten, um, he just sat back and watched the guy from New Orleans, Ramchek, get his payday. Is he up next or what happens if he doesn't get paid? We'll talk about that. And I'm, I'm briefly going to touch on that topic. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time. If you really want to know my 100% thoughts on it, you got to head over to Patreon. Keep pounding TV. Patreon. I just uploaded the video. Nice video. So if you're, you know, you're not going to get a lot out of me about that. So that's where you need to head. All right. And also my man 704 wants to talk about the NFL combine. The Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis is almost out of their, their contract. So is there a possibility that the Carolina Panthers could land the combine in Charlotte if we have certain things happen? We're going to talk about all that and more. And then later on in the show, you know, and listen, we're going to have a little careless night, you know, <laughs> we're going to talk about Shikari Richardson, you know, suspended from the Olympics. And um, we'll talk about Bill Cosby getting out. All right. But that's later on. That's going to be late when some of you guys go to bed. So if you can't handle it, oh, I can't handle it. Just, just log off. All right. Let me give you some love real quick. So you got some love in the chat here. And then we got a couple of announcements and um, we'll get started. All right. We're going to take our time tonight. <clears throat> shout out to D-Wade, shout out to Rogers uh, G, G Gar Grande, hey Rogers G Grande, Anton Lynch, Rockhead81, yes sir, JDH Mafia, Nasir, uh, Major Keys, what's up Major Keys, Ryan Van Raisen, hey how you doing, Javen Pettigrew, Brandon Malone, how you doing Brandon Malone, Black Matt Rule, yes sir, Matt All Lomax, Rail, what's going on Rail, Pat is GP, Jonathan Funny, ha ha, hey Jonathan Funny, your own shit talking prude, I see you my G Kendall Francis, yes sir, Paul's up, Trade Daddy, what's up? Justin Nevis, what's up? Justin Nevis, Cameron Barbs, what's going on? Uh, KJ the Great One, salute to KJ the Great One, Kelvin Benjamin, I see you. Um, who else we got? Earn C, Dominique Faison, I see you. Austin GD, what's up? Austin GD, um, the real H H E N T, what's up? The real H H E N T, um, who else we got up in here? Uh, Brandon G, I see you, Brandon G, um. Okay, 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 same people, same people. What's going on? Internal Rage, underscore 21, 74, Charlotte Brown, I see you. Um, we got Willie D. What's up, Willie D from the 
SC, Willie D from the SC, Curtis Paris, and Trill One. All right, shout out to all you guys. Let's go ahead and get started, man. I got one quick question before we get started. A little bit of breaking news here. Well, not really breaking news, but do you love the Carolina Panthers like I love the Carolina Panthers? Yes? No? Maybe? If you love the Carolina Panthers like I love the Carolina Panthers, put your money where your mouth is, huh? I, I, let's hear it from the man cave. Can we hear it from the man cave? <laughs> if you love the Carolina Panthers like I love the Carolina Panthers, put your balls up. Shout out to the sponsor, SeatGeek, the smart way to buy. If you guys are looking for individual game tickets, all right? So that means if you weren't able to get it through, you know, uh, Ticketmaster or whoever else, use the promo code Keep Pounding TV. One word, Keep Pounding TV. One word, all right? Save yourself some money on your uh, tickets through SeatGeek, the smart way to buy, all right? A um, couple of announcements here. Um, where I want to start? We just started a gaming channel, Big Cat Gaming Channel, man. So make sure you guys head over there on YouTube. So at some point during this broadcast, before you go to bed, if you, I will, if you could, I wouldn't mind if you head over there to, to YouTube, type in Big Cat Gaming. If you type in Big Cat Gaming, you'll see me coming up tomorrow. We'll be going live from 2 to 5, a little Independence Day special. I will be running Madden with some of you guys and get your chance to uh, be on the YouTube, all right? And also on Twitch, uh, the real Big Cat on Twitch and Instagram, Big Cat Gaming, TikTok, Big Cat Gaming. My Xbox handle is T H E. Uh, capital B, lowercase I G, capital K A T T. So tomorrow we'll be doing some live streaming. Just decided to open it up. Got a new mic, got a webcam over here. Just looking to, uh, to continue to expand upon my empire of uh, dominance. You know what I mean? So that's what we're doing, man. So I appreciate it if you go ahead and subscribe. Also, I got a, got one more thing to tell you guys before we open the topic tonight. I had a um, yesterday, man, before I was uh, you know doing my thing and um. I was going through my inbox, you know, just checking to see if anybody hit me up. And um, a, a verified sponsor <clears throat> that actually sponsors a NFL podcast, um, they hit me up. They said they like what we do, and they love the audience, man. And so the next question was, how much could it, how much, you know, obviously, you know, you negotiate. How much is it going to cost for us to advertise on your channel? So... I mean, it's such a blessing to have that. But here's the here's the best part about it. They chose us out of all the oh, YouTubers and all the different people. They chose our channel to do some giveaways. Yeah, so two people. Check this out, y'all. Two people, two lucky people, are gonna um get uh two two tickets to any NFL game they want to this year. How about that, huh? Yeah. So, and, and so I actually negotiated and, um, you know, I, how can I put it? A lot of you guys don't see how I actually love you guys. I fuck with you, man. So I actually, I had to lower my price. <laughs> I lowered my cut so you guys can get more. So, um, you guys are going to get a chance to go to, uh, two tickets to go to any NFL game you want to. And on top of that, they're going to be paying for the hotel and flight. How about that? Yeah. So two tickets. Hotel, flight, and they're going to be giving out shopping and eating money. Can we? Can, it doesn't get any better than that. Exclusively for Keep Pounding TV. Yeah, yeah, for you guys. I'm you know, obviously I can't be in it. It's a contest, but you know, that's why I be trying to tell people when you when you be putting your mouth on my channel and you put your mouth on how I run shit. I'm doing shit for a reason because I know what the fuck I'm doing. You know what I mean? So all that whining and cry baby about what I'm doing, please shut the fuck up. All right. I just had to say that. But anyway, man, yeah, so you got two opportunities to win. And um, like I said, it's going to be two tickets, hotel, food, accommodation, and airline travel. Uh, shout out to that. I was coming in uh, later July. I'm not going to say the name. It's coming later July on to August. All right, so shout out to that. Make sure you guys tune in. If you don't tune in, you won't have a chance to win. All right, so uh, yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into tonight's topic. I'll start off with... Uh, I don't want to start off with the main one because I'm going to stay on that for a little bit. But let's talk about Taylor Moten, man. Taylor Moten, um, like, again, if you really want to know my true thoughts, just go to Patreon. Keep on the TV. I'm just going to give you a little bit. Just a little bit. I got to do it to you. I'm about the money. Um, Taylor Moten just witnessed a uh, right tackle Ryan Ram check down in New Orleans get paid $19 million a year. Uh, $60 million guarantee, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, ninety-six million for the life of the contract here. So I know his um, either he's extremely excited or he must be disappointed by now. 
Um, there's a lot of ramifications if this doesn't get done. You know, and he has, they, excuse me, the Carolina Panthers have until July 15th to get this deal done here. And um, do I expect them to get it done? I, I expect them to. I expect them to. But uh, there's a lot of things that could go wrong. And there's a lot of things that, could, you know, even if he does sign, that pretty much, it triggers, it triggers, like, it's, it's a set of dominoes, all right? So if he signs, then something else is going to happen. Like I said, I want to tell you because it's on Patreon. If, if, if he signs that deal and he's getting paid top-level money, that pretty much guarantees that this player won't be here. If you want to know what player I'm talking about, hit the key pound of TV on Patreon. Now, if he doesn't sign, you know what I mean, that pretty much means that Taylor Moten has gone. And if I'm Taylor Moten and I'm sitting here in this position, Taylor Moten has been one of the most consistent, consistent right tackles since being inserted into the starting lineup here. And I got to tell you this. My man has waited, and he has waited patiently to get his money, even to the reports that uh, Curtis Samuel was offered before he was offered, if I'm not mistaken. T uh, Curtis Samuel was offered a, a, a deal before Taylor Moten. So if I'm Taylor Moten, you got one time. <laughs> you got one time to come to the table. And that fucking offer better be right. You know why? Because if I'm Taylor Moten, I'm banking on myself. I'm banking on myself. You know what I mean? I promise you I'm banking on myself. For the last three years, nobody has has, has done it better. I mean, in my eyes. I mean, of course, you got statistic-wise, they got numbers. You know what I mean? But nobody has been more consistent in, in being in an underrated position than Taylor Moten. So if I'm Taylor Moten, the Panthers got one time to sit down at the table with me between now and the 15th, and it better not be no low ball. It better be a, a, a offer that I got to be willing to entertain. If not, I'm trying my luck on this uh, franchise tag. And, um, you know, based off of based off his history of uh, playing the position and, and it being consistent, I'm okay. I'm okay. If, I'm, if I'm Taylor Moten, I'm okay with playing on the franchise tag because I know what I have done for the last three years. So in, in that sense, I'm putting the pressure on the Carolina Panthers to get this deal done. And actually, you know, now you got to look at it in the sense of saying, damn, what happened if we if we offer Taylor Moten? Maybe we could have got away with a little bit of a low ball deal. Now you have zero chance of getting away with a low ball deal. See, if you sign Taylor Moten to, to you know, not, not, I don't want to do this, but if you sign him to a uh, a deal that's, eh, you know, eh, now it doesn't... It, you would have been the first to do it now because you got somebody, you got a measuring stick, all right? Ryan Ramchick is the measuring stick now. So now you can't come lower than, you only can go so low below that measuring stick. You're going to have to be up there with him when it comes to that deal. And if I'm the, uh, if I'm Taylor Moten, you got one chance to come to the table with me. If not, I'll try my luck, all right? If you want to know what happens and if what doesn't happen, you need to head over to Keep on the TV on Patreon. Now, let's move on to this next topic here. <clears throat> Got my notes. Here to talk about Matt Rule being ranked the 24th best head coach headed into the 2021 season. This is a, a, a poll put together by All Sports Culture. You can follow them on Instagram as well. And um, I'm not going to read off everybody on the list, but uh, according to them, the number one best head coach in the NFL is Bill Belichick, followed by Andy Reid and Sean McVay. All right, those are the top three. Matt Rule came in at 24th. Here are a few names that are above Matt Rule. You got Ron Revere with the Washington Fuckoff team at 17. You got Joe Judge at 19th for the New York Giants. You got Arthur Smith, the former T uh, Tennessee Titans coordinator, ranked 20th. All these guys are above Matt Rule. Here's who's below Matt Rule. You got Cliff Kingsbury of the Arizona Cardinals, ranked 25th. You got Matt Nagy. Matt Nagy ranked 26 of the Chicago Bears. You got the clown from Detroit, Washington. I mean, excuse me, Detroit uh, Lions. <laughs> you got the clown from the Detroit Lions ranked 28th. And then you got Urban Meyer ranked 31st. Wow. How do I feel about this? Um, well, you know me, I'm a numbers guy. So before I give you my honest opinion, we're going to look at some numbers here. But... I'm going to say this is a little bit, this is a little bit. I mean, you know how when you're cooking rice, you got to have that temperature just right. <laughs> this is a little bit off. I mean, it's, I can't, I can't say it's far off, but it's off. It's off. It's, you know, it's off. So we'll talk about it here. 
one of the things I wanted to do was I wanted to pull the measuring stick of the Carolina Panthers coaching history. You got Ron Revere and you got John Fox. When you look at these guys' first two years, you kind of see what expectations have been and results have been. Ron Revere in his first year had a 6-10 and 10 record. John Fox had a 7-9 and nine record. Matt Rule had a 5-11 uh, and 11 record. Yeah, yeah. So by, the, by those standards, in those in his first year, you, he kind of fell short of the measuring stick because the measuring sticks were 6. Um, when you look at the second year, Ron Rivera had a 7-9 record in his second year, and John Fox had an 11-5 and five record. Now, I wanted to do something. I said, hmm, how can I be fair? Again, I'm a guy who likes to be fair. I'm not just sitting here just trying to dogpile people. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to see how much of an impact statistically has Matt Rule had on these Carolina Panthers versus the last coach who was here. So what I did was I took Ron Rivera in his last year and I compared what was the difference when Matt Rule took over. So this is the measuring stick right here. So let's look at it. Let's look at it right here. When it came to Ron Rivera in his last year, Ron Rivera, the Carolina Panthers had a total points per game of 21.3. That defense allowed 29.4 points. Okay. Matt Rule, his first year taking over for uh, Ron Rivera, he averaged a 21.9 points per game. Six tiff better. So check. Matt Rule improved his team uh, points per game. By six tenths, so check. Okay, when you look at this defense, uh, Ron Rivera allowed twenty nine point four points per game in his uh, last season, and Matt Rule allowed twenty five point one. All right, so obviously Ron Rivera was better there. When it comes to the overall offensive ranking, Ron Rivera in his last year had this offense ranked at twentieth. Matt Rule had this offense ranked at twenty fourth. This is all according to ProFootballReference.com. When it came to this defense, this defense was ranked 31st when it came to uh, Ron Rivera's last year. In Matt Rule's first year, check this out, y'all, the defense was ranked 18th. So there was immediate improvement, a significant amount of improvement on defense from Ron Rivera's last year to Matt Rule's first year, 18 from 31. Not bad there, coach. Go, coach, go, coach, go. All right, now let's talk about the passing offense. In Ron Rivera's last year, the passing offense was ranked 20th. Matt Rule's first year, the off passing offense was ranked 18th. Mm, not bad, still improvement. Still improvement, okay? Let's talk about the running offense. The running offense was ranked 14th in um, Ron Rivera's last year. It was ranked 22nd in Matt Rule's first year. Obviously, injuries and stuff uh, played a role. When it came to the run defense, mm -hmm. uh, Ron Rivera had this team ranked 24th when it came to the run defense. When it came to run defense in Matt Rule's first year, he had it ranked uh, 20th. Okay, again improvement. When it came to uh, when it came to Ron Rivera's run, I'm excuse me, Matt Rule's, I'm excuse me, Ron Rivera's passing defense in his last year, this defense was ranked 13th against the pass. And Matt Rule first year, it was ranked 18th. So obviously, let's let's take a look at this real quick. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In eight categories that we struggled in, excuse me, in, in total of eight categories, Matt Rule in his first year improved on four of them. Yeah, there was improvement. Not by much uh, when it came to total points per game. And not by much when it came to passing uh, uh, yards per game. And not by much when it comes to run defense. But when it came to overall defense, it was a significant improvement. No surprise there. But Matt Rule has been an improvement on this team in his first year. So, out of, first of all, I think this is a little disrespectful to have Ron Rivera ranked 17th over him. And then you have Arthur Smith Tennessee Titans coordinator, and also now the Atlanta Falcons head coach ahead of him. 
and Joe Judge from the New York Giants. I, I you know, I, I, you know, it's the New York Giants. So, me personally, I think Matt Rule should be ranked around the twentieth mark. You know what I mean? If you want to be fair, want to be honest about it, and I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna say this, and I know this is not gonna be popular here. Can I be real with you? I'm gonna be real with you tonight. I think Matt Rule's a better coach than Ron Revere. Oh, that wasn't it. That was that wasn't the bombshell I'm finna drop on you. Here, here's the bombshell. <laughs> here's the bombshell that I'm about to drop on you. The bombshell is if you if you give if you give Matt Rule the healthy Carolina Panthers from 2011 until the Super Bowl run, I promise you we win a Super Bowl. Boom. Did it blow up in you? Boom. If you give Cam Newton, if you give Matt Rue a healthy Cam Newton and you give him that good defense and you put him in there over Ron Revere, I promise you we win that damn Super Bowl. Boom. Because one thing I love about Matt Rue, one thing I love about my coach is he's a people's player. They're both people players. But they both had different philosophies, okay? So let's, let's, not, let's not play that. They're both uh, people's coaches, you know, easy to get along with, smile in the camera, look good, everybody loves them. But they had two different philosophies. Ron Revere was real big on playing veteran players, you know what I mean? Real big on playing veteran player. <laughs> and Matt Rule is real big on uh, uh, promoting young people and getting them in there to doing their thing. Now, if you ask me who has the better philosophy, I got to say Matt Rule. He already has improved on four categories out of eight in his first year. You guys are sleeping on this coach. Can he be a little, you know, the only thing holding Matt Rule back from being a fucking great coach. It's not about scheme. It's not about scheme. It's not about scheme. It's about getting his coaching staff on the same page. Getting them on the same page. If Matt Rule can get cohesion amongst his staff and, and and to those guys to be, and you got listen, you got to take this for being, you know, you got to take this, you know, with the COVID year and all this stuff. It's so amazing that he fucking improved on any stats. I mean, the best a, a, a coach's best friend is repetition. But when you cut out practices due to COVID and you know vaccine and all this other shit. I mean, you you robbing a coach of his ability to do just that. So the fact that he improved on any category is amazing. And don't tell me it's not fair. Don't tell me it's not fair because guess what? I compared uh, Ron Revere's last year to Matt Rule's first year, and they both had superstars injured. Hello. Hello. Christian was hurt. Cam was hurt. So with that being said, I, I, I honestly think Matt Rule is a better coach and I tell you, if he can get some cohesion amongst him and his staff, I think we're going to be all right. I think this guy probably may be a sleeper for probably one of the best coaches of the year. The thing about Matt Rule that he understands is, he, first of all, he I like the whole young personality thing. The, the worst thing you can do to, uh, as a coach, if you're a new coach, if you're a new coach, if you're a new coach, the worst thing you could do is hold back young talent far as trying to overly discipline them. Mm, did you hear that? Did y'all hear that? Or, or did that go? If you try to overly discipline players that are young, you can shock their confidence. You know why? Because I don't want my players out there thinking about, did I do this right? Did I do this wrong? I want dogs that will run free. Let them make mistakes freely. Let them make mistakes freely. Let them make plays based off the athleticism. Now, obviously, you definitely want to have a, a game plan and a strategy in place, but you don't want to overly discipline them. Sometimes you get these old coaches, and this is the reason why this is such an important hire. You want, you want relatability between your, your, your players and your coach because if you get an old-ass coach in here like a Tom Coughlin or somebody like that, they will try to overly discipline these guys and you will shell shock them because now they go from, damn, did I make a mistake and I'm going to lose my job on Monday or am I got a coach that's going to let me make mistakes and play with my fucking reckless abandonment? If Matt Rule continue to let these guys play with reckless fucking abandonment and just go out there and play free, man, we're so talented. We're so fucking talented if, if these guys are allowed to do that. And also still, still have that, that a little bit of discipline, not being overly disciplined. We're gonna work, we're gonna wake some people up, y'all. 
We're gonna ring some bells. We're gonna ring some ding dong, ding dong. We're gonna ring some bells here. Cause I promise you, I promise you this right here. You give me, you give me, you give me a, a, a base defense. Give me a base fucking uh, cover two. You give me a base cover two. All right, give me a base cover two defense, and and you play you play zone. All right, you're not playing a, a cover two man, cover two zone. And you say, you know what? I want you guys to understand. Give me guys that understand their position, but don't overly try to preach to them overly. Just and a lot of them be. Give me guys who are super athletic, super talented, and understand their job function. Give me guys who understand that and they're super fucking talented, and I'll go up against any fucking goddamn offense. Give me any goddamn offense. Now put a, put a defense out there and try to do this and try to disguise blitzes and try to be sneaky and overly coach these guys. Overly coach them. You got to be here. You got to do this. Overly coach these guys to the word. They, the worst, let me tell you something. If you, if, when you hit the head, when you hit the head, the body falls in position. So if your head is always focusing on, damn, did I do this route? Did I take the right? Da -da 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 You're going to fuck up. That's how you get blown assignments and stuff. Give me a base defense. Give me some super athletic guys, super talented guys, and give me guys that can go out there and they can make plays and play with reckless abandonment and don't have to worry about being overcoached and don't have to worry about goddamn thinking about, well, did I make a mistake? I'm going to lose my job in the morning and watch them guys ball out. If Matt Rule can do that, if Matt Rule can take that kind of coaching approach, if Matt Rule can say, I want you guys to go out there, play with reckless abandonment, the 2021 Carolina Panthers will be fucking hell to deal with. They will be hell to deal with. Excuse me, not, 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 they, not they will. They are going to be hell to deal with. And I already see, based off these numbers right here, him making fucking improvements, man. He already make improvements. So if, if, if you ask me, if I'm a betting man, if I was a guy, I'm not a betting man, but if I was a betting man, I'm going to Vegas and I'm putting my money on Matt Rule waking some folks up here. Only thing that's holding this coaching staff back is the to, togetherness. We seen last year where they were running through timeouts. It's the little shit that counts, y'all. I keep telling y'all that. You know, and this this, this is a, this is life lesson that I'm giving you guys. You know what I mean? You don't. I don't need. I don't need fucking uh, 22 guys to be superstars. I don't. I don't. I don't need 22 guys to be superstars. I don't need. I don't need a coaching staff that's trying to draw up a fucking Vince Lombardi play. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I need guys who capture the fundamentals so well that they know it like the back of their hand. They know the depth that they need to be back when they drop in their zone. They know the position. They know the technique. They know when to open the hips. They know when to close the hips. They know when to blitz. They know how to fight off blocks. They know how to fight across the face. They know how to give me a I need people that can do fundamentals real good every day. Because when you do fundamentals real good, that's when, boom, that's when big plays happen. Sure, you can get a coach out there, or sure, you can get a player out there that's known for being a superstar, that's known for making big plays once in a while, and yes, they'll look good on ESPN, and yes, they'll look good on your fantasy football team, but your ass will probably lose the game. But give me a coaching staff, give me fucking players that do fundamental, that repetition, that practice, that consistency, coaches that understand my assignment, coaches that understand the position, coaches that understand what we're trying to do as a unit. If you can give me that consistency across the fucking board, this team, this, this, this culture that you're establishing will be ahead of its time. It will be ahead of its fucking time. <laughs> So, so with that being said, man, y'all can be fucking hype. Y'all just don't know, but like the vision, make the vision plain, man. So, if if Matt Ruiner could bring it together, man, you know what I mean, and take the take the muzzle off the dogs, man, take the muzzle off the dogs, and you and your coaching staff, man, you and your coaching staff can get some cohesion. You know what I mean? No more burnt timeouts. I mean, you've seen it, and I, and I don't want to harp on it. You guys been there when when you've seen? I mean. Obviously, and listen, I don't want to sit here and go back to Teddy Bridgewater saying that there was no practice and the red zone and shit like that. But I'll put it like this, man. Obviously, we struggled down there. So I, I can't confirm it. I'm not going to deny it. But whenever you seen it, and you've seen it with your own eyes. Fuck what Teddy said. You've seen it with your own eyes. When, you're, when your coach and your quarterback 
have hard time communicating, that means you're not doing something right. That's not on the player. That's on you. That's on you. That's on you. I mean, that's on you. And that's the kind of shit that has to get better. You know what I mean? And, and if you can't communicate it to your quarterback, then your staff should pick it up. Maybe there's something, maybe there's something that 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 that, that you're you're saying in a different language or different way that your quarterback coach or your offensive coordinator should be able to go to your quarterback and say, okay, oh, you didn't understand what he said? Okay. So that's when you get each other's back. That's when your coaches that get each other back. You know what I mean? Anytime you got your quarterback out there not clear what to do on third down. Calling fucking audibles against the wheel. Maybe it's something that you're not doing. And that's that's the kind of stuff that we got to get better at as a coaching staff. But ultimately, man, ultimately when it comes to Matt Rule and his progression after one year, I like what the future holds for him. I like what the future holds for the Carolina Panthers. And you guys should be excited. Him being ranking the 24th head coach out of all these guys is just a, uh, it's, it's a, it's a travesty, man. I got to put it like the phone lines open, 762 Two three three zero five eight four. Call in tonight if you want to talk about Taylor Moten's contract. Let me know what you guys think about him getting that extension. Will he get the extension? What happens if he doesn't get the extension? And Matt Rule being ranked the twenty fourth best uh, head coach out of thirty two. Is that accurate? How do you guys feel about that? Phone lines are now open, man. So yeah, man. I gotta tell you this right here, man. Matt Rule. Matt Rule's gonna be a good coach. You know, he's gonna be a good coach. And um, you know. You know, hey, man, you know, you, you brought in Sam Darnold. You know, you had three. To me, this is your third chance at quarterback, you know. You chose to uh, move on from Cam Newton, which, you know, again, I can't necessarily debate that. I'm not going to be mad about that. I respect that opinion. But then you brought in Teddy Bridgewater, you know, and then pretty much the whole department and the whole, you know, front office said he was inefficient and all this shit. You know, but you guys brought him in. So, what, what's the make of that? Now you got Sam Darnold here. All I can say is, man, you better get it right. You 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 have to get it right. Or going into year three, it's gonna be hotter than hell's kitchen. I'm just gonna be honest with you, man. But I don't necessarily think it was it, it was. I don't think it was Matt Rule's lack of motivation or, or, or I just think it was just more about being on the same page. And, and I have to, I know this is a cop out and I know it sounds bad, man, but you know, I got to chop it up to fucking, um, COVID and shit, man. You know what I mean? You know, a lot of you guys are probably saying, well, the Bucks made it to the Super Bowl with COVID and new quarterback and all that shit. You know what I mean? Or the Chiefs made it. Well, good. I mean, look, they, they had, they had a solid core to have veteran pieces around them. So, so good. I mean, they didn't have a new head coach. You had a veteran NFL head coach in Arian Foster. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> I mean, come on, man. But Matt Rule, Matt Rule's a solid coach, man. Matt Rule's a solid coach. And, and, and one thing that I want him to see, and I'm not saying he hasn't done it, but I, I want to continue to see him do it is take the muzzle off the dogs on this defense. It, the defense is going to have to carry us to wherever we go. Whatever our record's going to be, you got to take the muzzle off. You know? And the only time you allow, and again, young young people, you know how this is. Come on, guys. You know how this go. Young people don't like it. <laughs> it's not like the old days, okay? Back in the old days, you can yell and overly discipline a guy. Get your head out your ass, man. Let's go ahead and do what we got to do. And then guess what? Next thing you know, boom, they out there making spectacular plays. Well, this is not that generation now. I mean, <laughs> this is the generation where you fucking... You go out there, if you ride a player who's having a bad game, or if you ride a player that's not doing exactly what you want, they'll shut down on you. They'll shut down on you, man. So I'm, I'm not saying just let them do what they want to do far as a coaching standpoint, but allow them the freedom to go out there to play within their skill set. You know what I mean? You don't want to be the micromanaged coach. You know what I mean? You don't want to be the guy out there say, I told you to slant this way to get a sack. But the guy slants the other way and makes a sack. I don't be that guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I want guys to go out there that are comfortable. You know what I mean? Play within their assignment. 
athletic as fuck that can make their plays. And when it comes to this offense, you know what I mean? I want to see fluidity. I want to see fluidity out of this offense. I want to see the uses of tight end. I mean, it looks good. You brought in all these fucking pieces. You got a hell of a stud and Sean Smith. You got Terrace Marshall. Say so you believe in him. Okay, that's fine. That's cool too. Put him in the mix. Listen, I think we're going to have a committee at, at, at the slot receiver. Okay which I'm fine with because now you got to deal with two different kind of type of slot receivers. You got Shot Smith, a guy who's quick off the brakes, get in there and catch slants, cross, uh, cross seam route. I'm mean, excuse me, crossing route, going across the field. He could be hell to deal with. Now you got Terrence Marshall, a guy who's straightaway speed and can sell at the top peak and then he can catch it at, at the highest point. You got two different kind of slot receivers you can fuck with. You know what I mean? And you got David Moore that's in there as well, a guy who's a sure-handed guy. So, so to me, I want to see that creativity. I want to see the fluidity. I want to see. I don't want to see no stalling. I want to see the quarterback making clear reads. I want to see. I want to see your offense in full effect here. You know, Brady had a bunch of job interview at the end of the, at the end of last year. People were talking about he he deserves to be a head coach and all this shit. Well, you know, I want I want to see why he deserves to be a head coach. Show me. Show me. You brought in another back, Chuba Hubert. I want to see it. I want to see it. I know it can get done. I know it can get done. Whatever the coaching laps was, and there was a coaching lapse last year, and Matt Rule has to tighten it up. I don't know if you guys need to go out on more lunch breaks or whatever. <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, somebody, somebody go down there, Harris Teeters, and some, you know what I mean? Y'all can make sandwiches. Whatever y'all need to do to have c continuity and, 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 and congealiness uh, amongst each other as a coaching staff, you need to. Because that sometimes, you know what I mean, it looks like the, it clearly looked like the offensive coordinator didn't know what the fuck he was doing at times. The head coach didn't like it, the fuck he was doing at times. Everybody was just doing their own thing. You know what I mean? So, I mean, continuity, consistency, and congeniality looks looks like we need to see that in um, 2021. And fluidity as well, you know what I mean? I personally still believe that uh, I'm a little worried about the offensive line here. I, I can't lie to you guys. I'm not going to lie to you guys. You know what I mean? On paper, this offensive line is something that uh, you know, I don't know. I, I I'm I have to see it with my own eyes. I'm not gonna speak on. It. I'm not. I'm not gonna. As a Panther fan, I love my team, so I'm not gonna speak bad about it. But all I all I can say is I just don't fucking know just yet. But when it comes to the receivers, when it comes to the running back, and when it comes to Sam Darnold, Sam Darnold has the talent. It's up to you to bring it out of him. The last, the last, the last unit that I'm worried about on this team is the defense. I'm. That's the, and the, by the way, the phone line is open, y'all. 762-233-0584. If you want to call in and get on these topics, go ahead and call in, get on these topics. But the last unit that I'm fucking worried about is that defense. You know what I mean? And, and that's one thing Matt Rule, I do like about Matt Rule. He has the ability to allow these guys, you know what I mean? He, he's a player's coach. He, Ron Revere was a player's coach. But he, he's, he's a younger man's player's coach, you know what I mean? Ron Rivera had rapport. If Ron Rivera, I'll put it like this, and I don't like to do hypotheticals and shit, you know what I mean? But if Ron Rivera would have somehow, some way integrated younger players into his philosophy, then maybe we won a Super Bowl. Can, is that fair? Is that fair? I feel like at some point, if Ron Rivera said, you know, Let's bring in some young, talented, hungry guys and allow them to make plays. And don't tell me it can't work. Don't tell me it can't work because I know it can work because I just watched the 2020 Buccaneers go into the Super Bowl with a young-ass team. Let's go to the phone lines here, y'all. Call from. Pretty quick. <clears throat> Give me a second, y'all. I know, I know this shit can work, man. I know it can work. Yo, this Petey. Yo, this me. Hey, what's going on, man? What's up, bro? Another day, man. How you feeling, man? What you want? To, what you want to start by talking about? Uh, I would like to pretty much piggyback off what you just said. I mean, uh, what you said didn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? It's up to us as the fans to be able to bring it out of some of those players. Um. Now, mind you, what you said pretty much about the uh, about our quarterback. Um, now, granted, all those players that we have, of course, if you're in the NFL, you have some type of talent. But, however, we can't bring that out of him. He's going to have to bring it out of himself. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, as long as he keep the faith in himself, you know what I'm saying, by all means, we, we, I mean, those who, have, who, who are not fans at the moment of the, of the picking will pretty much grow on to be uh, – respectable fans 
to be able to be excited or happy for him to be on our team. So we just have to give him a chance, which we don't have ultimately a, a decision to actually or uh, to be able to oppose of him being our quarterback, if that makes sense. Um, so by all means, you know, but however, I, I mean, I, I hope he does well. Um, I'm hoping that I will be proven wrong, that he does do his, his due diligence on the team and uh, get us some wins, man. I don't expect them to go out there and win every game. <laughs> I mean, I would like that to happen, but at the end of the day, I mean, just go out there and, and do your best. Oh yeah, Do better than Teddy, put it that way. Well, well, let's talk about it, man. So, so Matt Rule being ranked the 24th head coach, is that fair and why is it fair or why isn't it fair? Um, ultimately, the my and my opinion on the matter, I feel like it's too it's too soon to rank him right now. Honestly, it's it's too soon. Like he he's in the rebuilding stage since last year. You know what I'm saying? So for for us to, to pretty much be upset or mad about it, I really pretty much could care less. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I wouldn't judge him off last year. You know what I'm saying? Both him and Ron Rivera, like you said, they both dealt with injuries. So, I mean, it could play at the potential. Now, mind you, you did have to make a strong point about, you know, being able to uh, to get his organization, his team, or his, his his coaches in check, you know what I'm saying, to be able to control them and make sure they do what they need to do to, you know what I'm saying, uh, as far as like, for instance, for example, um, what Teddy said as far as, you know, they're not having, you know, performing any uh, two-minute drills right. during practice. Right. You know what I'm if they can work inside the red zone, you know what I'm saying? They would do something like that. Like you gotta incorporate those things so therefore you know how to hit Yo. I mean I feel like hey, I mean, twenty four I mean it ain't it ain't disrespect to me. Put it that way. Well, listen, man, I I respect that opinion. You know, I I, I, I definitely respect that here, man. I just you know, from what I when I when I was doing my research earlier this afternoon, man, I seen mm. the gradual change. See, see, a lot of people can't, a lot of people can't really appreciate gradual change. You know, you know, like it's like when you're yeah. lo- losing weight, my brother. When you're losing weight, people expect mm. for you to lose a hundred pounds in order for you to start saying, "Damn, I did something." But when you start seeing right. five and ten pounds going, that's a lot. That's 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 that means a lot. And you can right. see you can see where you're headed if you keep being consistent. And the numbers that I went over this afternoon. Show me that it's a it's a gradual change, mm-hmm. but I can tell you if he keeps up what he's doing, the good part of what he's doing, he, he's we're, we're headed in the right direction. This team will be in the Super Bowl within the next twenty or whatever, uh, 2024. We'll be in the mm-hmm. Super Bowl if he keeps it up, man. Um, like I said, the consistency between Joe Brady, Phil Snow, and um Matt Rule, I mean that 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 has to improve. I mean, there's no denying that at all. But he's the players. He's the players' coach, and he's a young players' coach. He understands mm-hmm. a young players' game. He's not mm-hmm. out here trying to get a bunch of veterans. That's why he scripted his whole team of veterans. And you seen who was in the Super Bowl last year? Young niggas, young well, niggas, and a veteran coach. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> right. So, uh, however, I, I, I got a. You, you did make a comparison to yeah. Ron Rivera uh, that season when we went to Super Bowl. Oh yeah, and to um, to his if he if he was in that position. I, do you remember the rookies we had during that season? No, refresh me. <sighs> um, I can't remember them all, but I can't remember the summer group. But majority of the, the ones that we had, we had a lot of veteran players that was off the free agency that year. Right. Which means we did not have faith in the rookies that we had that season. Facts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we made a whole lot of pickings off of that free agency. So which lets lets me know that I mean I mean great if he made some decisions prior to that, to prior to the season starting, maybe. Mm-hmm. If he may had his pickings, maybe, but I don't think so. Like I, I mean Ron Rivera pretty much was a it was a different coach. Yeah. Which that year, defense and offense. Offense is a little, uh, I hate to say this, out, the offensive line was, you know, of course we all know, was was a little um, mediocre at best. But however, can make do. Um, so did the wide receiver court that we had, which made do. Uh, Got to get him with some credit. Um, but our defense was on fire that year, which his line, which Ron Rivera's strength was defense. So, uh as far as the numbers says, I mean, he made progress last year, as you said. 
But I don't. I, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard to say, bro. Like, I can't say. I can't Come on, say brother. Like, I can't even say he would, man. I can't. I can't say if he would have won it because really and truly, like to be honest with you, that Super Bowl, the odds was against us even before the game started. Yeah. It was a game for uh, a goodbye for um, yours truly, um, Peyton Manning. Mm-hmm. That was a goodbye celebration for him, so therefore he can leave the right way. It was the game was. Tell me why, and this I'm not even exaggerating. 100 percent of the calls was on Car- Car- uh, Carolina Panthers. Mm-hmm. I have never seen a game like that. Well, the reason well, why all calls was on a particular team. Well, the reason why I say Matt Rule would have been a better coach in the Super Bowl for us is because of his philosophy. First of all, he he believes in you know, you know what I mean, trying to get some decent sort of offensive line. I, I mean, I hate to say it. Uh, you know, it hasn't been no superstar offensive lineman that he picked up, but he at least he's trying to address it. But one thing I do like about him is the fact that you can infuse young personalities and young talent. And um, mm-hmm. who knows? I mean, if Ron Revere wasn't to be so stubborn, who knows if, if, if he went out there and maybe got a young offensive tackle or somebody that – or a young uh, uh, wide receiver or something. You know, it's every mm-hmm. year it's a young-ass guy that come out of nowhere and he's literally just tearing up the lead. Who knows if, mm-hmm. if, if he didn't have a stubborn-ass veteran mindset – that he went out there and get the right young person that we we win that Super Bowl could have a major impact. True. And I think Matt Rule would have he would have been the guy that pulled that trigger. You know what I mean? He would have been the guy to pull the trigger on a young cat. True. You know? I feel like honestly, like to be honest with you, that year of that Super Bowl, um, that was all Shula. I, I have to blame that on Shula. Mm-hmm. I don't know how everybody else feel. But I have to blame that on Shula because that same uh, scheme that he was using, the playbook that he was using, you couldn't use that that same shit in the Super Bowl. That was not going to work. They was ready for that. Mind you, you know, like I mentioned before, I mean, like I said, the, the referees was against us as well, too. But mm-hmm. I can't solely blame it on that, but I can blame it on Shula. And if we had a different offensive sh- uh, coordinator, maybe that game would have turned different. But however, like you stated, um, you said the whole, you know, his logic score, you know, would pretty much be different. Granted, starting the younger players and, you know, be able to make his choice, I feel, yeah, it possibly would have been different. I mean, only if that really, you know, would have gave him the opportunity or it actually happened, that would determine, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah. But however, like you said, like, as far as the topic was, I mean, his ranking. I don't feel I don't feel no problem of it because I mean really and truly like he had to prove that okay. and so that should be his fuel his fuel to be able to do better this season. You know what I'm saying to to prove that he's better than what he what they ranked him. Facts. We got my man seven oh four in the building. What's up seven oh four? You there? Yo, oh, what's, what's good, good with y'all? No what's going on, mm-hmm. dog? Nah, cool. What's good, people? Ain't shit, bro. Man, shit, kick it. Nah, facts, facts. I'm interested in hearing your uh, your opinion, man. Like, <laughs> you and uh, you a big cat, man. Because this, this is it's. I don't see no problem with it, honestly. Honestly, I don't see no problem with it. Nah, facts. Uh, I respect your opinion, bro. So, uh, I mean, everybody got their own opinion. At the end of the day, but to me, it's always going to be on Ron because it's Ron. He's the head coach, and the head coach gets your coordinators, your players, and everybody else in position. Even with playbooks and everything else, but when we got to the Super Bowl, the hell, Ron Rivera was doing. He mm-hmm. was calling John Madden, all these people experience, but they can't help you. They can only tell you something. They can't help you. Didn't didn't Ron Rivera play on eighty five Bears? Mind you, yeah, yeah, right, facts, right, right, facts. So you 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 know for sure for a fact he wasn't like a, a star or key player, but you around that whole shit, and you know it. You know how that defense and everything else runs. Right. And if our defense was so good in flame, how the fuck we couldn't stop a broken neck damn near Peyton Manning mm-hmm. in the biggest game? Right. But yet, Cam get blamed on not jumping, the ball, jumping on the ball and all this other silly shit. When again, our coach, when we had Mike Tobert or Jonathan Stewart, can't get those guys to chip a Ron Miller on the outside. Mm. All the little things he didn't do. So to me, it's always gonna fall on the head coach because ain't no way in hell. I feel like I understand that first Super Bowl we had against the Patriots, we could have, but I feel like fifty was ours, bro. I don't care what nobody say. Just that whole season, that whole vibe, it was ours. Mm. 
Yeah, we lost to Atlanta. I don't really care about that. Because we I take that one loss and give me that Super Bowl win. I don't really care about that. Because that's the biggest that's the biggest thing, the Super Bowl. How can you get to the Super Bowl and then collapse? I remember Greg Olson when he retired with Thomas Davis. He said, I felt like we picked one one week early. I mean, that could have happened because, yeah, we were vibing against the Cardinals. Mm-hmm. But you got to be on your shit, bro. There ain't no peaking. You got to you gotta come back. Like you said, with Mike Schiller, that means you can't – you can do stuff that you did early on in the season, but you also got to have a playbook with some stuff that you had maybe in training camp or just some exactly. different plays that you don't really have. You know what I'm mean? saying? Look at exactly. bro, look at the NFL now. Everybody's scoring points. It's right. damn near like his college. That's why I told right. people, I don't care what nobody say, Cam is the blueprint to that. Right. With him coming from college, and all that. I understand people ain't running the, the re option and stuff, but I'm just far as, as far as scoring goes. Right. And they want the entertainment with that. And if I if I could, let me if I could piggyback on what you just said. Um um, off, off that camp situation, I feel like your second year really wasn't his fault. I, was, I feel like the league really and truly, and not just me being a fan, I'm just being, you know, stating obvious. The NFL was against him, you know what I'm saying, period. So they was, like, letting him be butchered by these late hits and shit, you know what I'm saying, and not protecting that man, you know what I'm saying? Like, granted, I understand he's a big physical quarterback, but at the same time, let, let's, let's change the face, the name, doing the same thing. Penalties would have been called for even staring at him too much. Shit, the last Super Bowl proved that. You said they, they, you talking in general to Tom Brady, but they called the flag. Did they not? No, yeah, of course. Of course. So, well, did. They, 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 the NFL should have been responsible for if the referees, if anything, should be responsible, held accountable for injuring that man. I mean, we've seen that. that. We've seen that even the following year, the opening up the game, uh, it was a rematch, and we could have beat them again, or what's called it was the field goal, but they was teeing off on Cam, and they was here, Helena. Mm-hmm. I'm not that guy. So I was overseas at all that time. Shit. But I'm, I'm, I'm coming with Big Cat. Uh, give me Matt Rule, because when I was there, you had veterans, and you lost the locker room. Facts. Mm. And, and pretty quick, I'm counting this year. Ain't no way the hell I'm de- – I mean, last year. Ain't no way hell. I cannot uh, separate that. I understand it's COVID, but that's on Matt Rule's resume. Uh-huh. Right. I'm counting it all day long because he came in. We had Tuddy, whatever, whatever. Everybody was new. We broke everything in there, but he, guess what? He still got five wins out of it, even the COVID year. I mean, I would like to blame him for bringing in Teddy. I mean, I just blame – that was a uh, – uh, that was – I mean, Marty, that was like a fun office as a whole because uh, it, it was – it was either Jameis or Teddy or or whoever we were going to get. One of our guys, PJ, whoever, Will, whatever, how's it going to do? Remember, I said, when, we, when, we, when they had, when y'all had that podcast, I think when we first brought them on, I said the same shit. Like, we bringing in the same type of, you know, player. I mean, for, if you talk about getting away, escaping from injuries, shit. Why would we bring Teddy Bridgewater, who came from injuries, who was out for about a whole season and a half? So if you try to get rid of Cam and bring in him, I don't see the, the significance, the difference in between who who we get. That's why I didn't want Matthew Stafford. I understood he had an arm and stuff, but he had too many injuries. So it was, right. that, to me, that was that didn't make sense. I, I would have referred. I would have uh, shit if we could could got Rivers. <laughs> At least he'd be good on points. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know if he would have been good enough to put us over the the hunt. Of course not. But I would rec- rather him than anybody. But um, because I mean, like I said, he, he's he getting them points. He he can score, but at the same time, he's not really you know good around the playoff time though. <laughs> Put it that way. You talk about Rivers, but it's Matthew Stafford. I would not. I, I, I was kind of have to agree with you with that. Injury prone too. Well, let me get your thoughts on Taylor Moten. What happens if he doesn't get signed? At, excuse me. Are they going to sign him? What happens if we oh. don't sign him? And um, yeah. So give me your thoughts on that. Let me hear about that, bro. If he go, if he if they don't sign that man, if they don't sign him, he gone. If they do sign him, Robbie gone. They ain't gonna have money to pay. Well, I don't want to say what I'm going to say because I want these niggas to head over to Patreon and keep on the TV. But there's also, <laughs> hey, listen, well, listen though, there's also somebody else that could be gone if if he if he uh, if he signs. 
You want to take a uh, you want to take a shot in the dark? Let me see. Uh, Somebody else is a free agent next year. Um, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this too. Wasn't Shaq a, a, a rookie that Super Bowl year? Yeah, sure was. Yep. Oh yeah, Shaq. So Shaq might be gone. Yeah. No, Shaq's not a free agent next year. DJ Moore. I didn't want to believe that DJ. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna say DJ. Not DJ. I didn't want to say DJ because they that's they gonna have to. DJ, you know, DJ, DJ ain't going like nowhere. Watch this. It's it's a, it's another defensive <clears throat> guy that he better show up to shit. <laughs> I'm gonna just say this: we drafted two. We we drafted we drafted two wide receivers for a reason. Jackson. Yeah, Miss Jackson. Sorry, Miss Jackson. <laughs> but I mean, we already know that though. We that's a given though. I mean, shit, he gotta hope he perform if they don't because it, it's gonna depend off this season if they're gonna pay him or not. Mm-hmm. This mm-hmm. season will ultimately decide is he worth it. Let me ask you this: How much a year do you believe that uh, uh, Taylor Moat is worth in, in your mind? No, I'm looking at the list right now, and because I had that question on Cat Crave, I think mm-hmm. of course the guy with the Saints at 19.2. Right. Lane Johnson is at 18, and then the next highest is the uh, other tackle. I think he got 14 again. Then let me see: one, two, three, four. So with the te- uh, the franchise tag, so Taylor Moten's in fourth place with thirteen point eight. I mean, he been, but he ain't been injured. He been steady. He been consistent. And so either I can give him that nineteen point five, which more than Ryan, or I'm cool with give him like eighteen five, <laughs> <or> make <laughs> him like eighteen, yeah, by eighteen five, like make him second place higher than than Landon uh, Johnson, because I mean he he's not gonna get paid no more with the uh, Eagles, yeah. and he been hurt, so why not make him either to me gonna, either you gonna make him highest pay or make him the second highest pay right tackle. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say nineteen five, but you already put it on the edge for nineteen five. You you know what seven on four? Okay, can I can I spit some game to you, man? Mm-hmm. Hey, dog. If I played as well as he played over the last three years, I'm I'm riding it out. I'm riding the tag out, bro, because I know somebody else will give me shit twenty plus. I know that. So, I know that. So you what you saying? A younger player? I'm betting. I'm betting on myself. Fuck that guy. I mean, listen. I mean, if they didn't offer him by now, and, and matter of fact, if, if I'm if I'm if I'm Taylor Moten, I'm offended because there was reports that leaked out that. Curtis Samuel was the main priority that was being offered. Yeah, it's exactly, the whole time yeah. they were trying to they were trying to work out both of them, but they was more trying to get Curtis done facts, the whole time. Facts, facts. And he was like he was second fitter to that I'm, bullshit. That's what I'm saying. So if it's me, if it's me, I'm saying, look, the time to talk is over, y'all. It's, it's been good. I can take my ass to Jacksonville somewhere, and they'll give me twenty. I promise you, he can get more than that. It's all up to him. Listen to me, I man. Fuck a hometown discount. I, I know we love our players, but you know, you know. I mean, and, I, and yeah, from our from our perspective, we want him to stay. But I'm just right. talking about from his perspective. From him, I'm not talking about our fan perspective. But from his, from his perspective, I'm getting, I'm, I'm betting on myself. Go look at the PFF rankings for the last three years when it comes to him. One of the best. One of the best. And then the Carolina Panthers disrespect him by offering Curtis, who's no longer here. Before him, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a head out. <laughs> hey, unless yeah, I'm, gonna my, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna see myself out. I'm yeah, show myself the door. Oh yeah, unless, <laughs> unless, unless what seven or four said, you know, if they come with that 18, 18 five, you gotta kind of consider it. Yeah, you, you, I mean, you gotta kind of give it an ear. I'm not saying take it, but consider it. Me, but I mean, I, I have but to they can, you can spray. It. <clears throat> I only cut you off, people, but you can spray that out. Because either way, if we get that contract done before what you said, we had 12 days left, I think. Yep. That's going to help us out in the long run by getting an extension Fine. and helping in our, our, our cap space. Mm-hmm. But I have to ask this question, y'all. I have to ask myself this question. Eric. Is that is that position alone worth that? Mm. Yes. So no, he's worth it. I'm not even worried about that position. He's worth it, and we need that because we can't, let, we can't have that either. Because, yep. I mean... Because I don't know what Brady Christensen is going to be at right tackle or left tackle. Hell, I don't know what going to be at guard. Facts, facts. I mean, if, we, if you're looking at a building our offensive line uh, standpoint, yes. But if if you prove to me that you don't 
offense was not your priority in that picking of the draft. Why even do it? What's up, nigga? Let you... Now, when you said that, who, who you mean by Scott, uh, Scott Fitter? Yeah. <laughs> nah, I think really made it. Scott Fitter, I mean, he was with Seahawks, and, you know, Seahawks ain't got no line. So, that's that's like a fact. That's why I, I'd say it. Hell, I mean, I understand Marshall got some shit, but I would have took t- t- uh, Lyman in this uh, second round. Right. But, see, like I said, he did not. They did not. Well, they as a unit did not take that into uh, consideration. In consideration that they needed to the, build that offensive line, they didn't listen to the fans. You know what I'm saying? We know that, but they they chose a different lane. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they know something that we don't. Shit, man. Uh, I can say this though, just from off experience for last year, we do got a good offensive line coach. Yeah, got a decent. Yeah. I mean, we still but he was good to me. He was good enough because that line I didn't really trust that, and we was in the middle of the world offensive line. Oh, I understand right. Teddy helped help the ball and different stuff, but. It wasn't as bad as people thought it was. Mm. Think about all the stuff we had previous of, of like uh, Big Cash A with Matt Rule. That mm. was probably the best one we probably had since Super Bowl year, baby. Mm. Y'all get in that comment section and vote. Is Matt Rule ranking being the 24th best head coach correct? So far out of 31 votes, 74% say he needs to be ranked higher. Anybody surprised by that? Mm. I, I am. We got Twan down in the middle. What's up, Twan? I mean, you got thirty. You got what? 32, 32 other coaches. I mean, that's just me. I just cast my vote. Yeah. Look at look at the guy that got a Super Bowl with uh, Dallas with the Packers, and he had time off. He lied, and then remember, y'all, we could have hired him. That's what I didn't want to do because he wanted to lie. That he learned about um 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 what's the what was the word that uh type of like um ah oh, shit, y'all analytics. Damn. Analytics, yeah, because analytics, yeah, facts. Remember, he sit there and lie. Mike, what you call it? Sit there and lie. Oh, he learned all this. Like he sat out. <laughs> Nigga ain't learned shit. Look at Dallas. Oh, lie, mother. You go, you you go in and bring in your your cousins, the people you knew you had relationships with, and they defense was trash. That's why I'm kind of glad we didn't hire him for one. Analytics. <laughs> They're gonna analyze. I mean, to me, I mean, I just think down the road, Matt Rule, he just. Uh, I think I did tag Big Cat when they was putting out that home field advantage. They had the Panthers on mad with their home field advantage here. They said we got our home field advantage is stamina. Yeah, I seen that. I don't shit. know if he's seen it or not. I, I said that but dumb it was stamina. Shit. Dumb shit. But, I mean, that, I laughed about it, but it kind of made sense because well, it, well, it didn't make sense because we was prepared for the game, but in the second half of the games we couldn't finish. Facts. That was coaching. Yep. That was coaching, and that was Teddy ass too because Teddy said that was the first time he got tired. He that's the first time uh he played a full season like that. Yeah, he was even still injured the second time he got hit. And I think in that Buccaneers game, whatever he got hurt. But it's kinda on Teddy too though. But you know what? But just as a team as a whole, I second half, we couldn't never finish, bro. But you but you know what? Why, why I'm laughing at that, think about it. What happened all year, seven oh four? The stadium was pretty much empty. So that was, yeah, that too. So maybe the fans are, maybe the fans do get these niggas hype up. Like you know, maybe we underestimate what we bring when we come in there yelling and shit. You know? Nah, fact. Well, they always play a part. I mean, just from I mean, you can watch different uh, teams, but I think I was I was play a part though, because when we was had a good season, you was rocking. I mean, Bank of America get. I mean, it was rocking. Just the NFC Championship alone can tell you that. Facts. Mm. We got that nigga Twan in the building tonight. G, we talking about Matt Rule being ranked the 24th best head coach. And also, Taylor Moten, will he get the bag or will he be packing them? Come on, Twan. I think, I mean, we should pay, we, we definitely have to pay Taylor Moten. But um, if I'm Taylor Moten, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, this goes back to the whole thing with the, the about people respecting our team and, um, you know, things like that, because people, teams are watching, writers are watching to see what we do, how we handle players, how uh, fans handle players. It all goes, it's all looked at. We, I think I think we're one of the most disrespected teams, but we're also one of the most watched teams at the same mm-hmm. time to see what we're going to do next. And um, we're known for not taking care of our players, man. And then if mm-hmm. they don't pay Taylor Moulton, that's just that's gonna set us back even more for more scrutiny mm-hmm. 
and more people to say, look, man, this is why I don't fuck with Carolina, bro. Like you and players to start notice, look, man, don't go play there, bro. They don't do shit the right way over there. You know what I'm saying? So uh, with Matt Rule being a part of that, you know what I'm saying, for as it is right now, whatever, and I don't know how much he's pushing it. Matt Rule comes off as Jimmy Swaggart or, you know, the dudes on TV, Patron or whatever, and it's just like he don't want people the wrong way. And then with our owner, make, make him one of the highest paid coaches coming in, you know, people want to see why. And then you get put into a microscope. You got to perform out of this world when Temple decides to pay you like that to begin with, mm-hmm. you know? But um, in terms of Taylor Moten, man, if they fuck around and want to play with the numbers, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, then Taylor, man, once again, man, Carolina will have to get their ass spanked again and bet on yourself, bro. Bet on yourself and go somewhere where motherfuckers will fight for you. Because the Carolina Panthers, I don't know the last time they fought for any player. Yeah, can I just say that, too? just say that, too. Wow. And I'm just tuning in, so um, it, it's ridiculous, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to start sending not just messages of guys on the team, but guys who may think about joining the Panthers in the future. We take care of our players over here. Right now, that verdict is out is that we don't. Uh, Dominique, uh, did you sure that you watched the football season? Because <laughs> if you paid attention during the pan- pandemic, um, Atlanta was a city that was always open. Mm-hmm. Mm. Right. Tampa Bay had fans. Right. Certain ones, they just had a limited amount. So I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, but you got to pay attention, homie. Now, now it's going to hurt some people's feelings, man, but some of that shit is fans too, man. Carolina Panthers fans are so quick to want to see people leave, man, because everybody want to be GM and think they know the money better than everybody else. You know what I'm saying? We've had this conversation a, a thousand times, bro. Some people you just have to pay. You know what I'm saying? It, it is what it is, man. You know, I think Addison should still be here. Um, a lot of people don't agree with me when I say I, I, I think Curtis should still be here. And Moton, mm-hmm. take care of those people that have been proven first. And Bradbury. You know what I'm saying? Stop letting your best players go somewhere else to shine. Now Bradbury then went to Jets with the Giants. And he's one of, what, he's one of the top ten corners. He made one of the top ten corners on the list. Mm-hmm. When he was really that same guy with us. Yeah. But I'm telling you, bro, look, bro, listen, Panthers fans, and, and we got to get our thumbs at our ass, man, and stop acting like shit is sweet. And we and then we going to be Bogart every damn thing, and everything going to go our way, or we going to be the Browns in a minute, bro. <laughs> we said that at the beginning of the season. Oh, yeah. He said it again to see last year. It's getting ridiculous, man. Why Why this man got it back for his money, man? I mean, you didn't franchise him. He continues to do what he does. Pay him. No, nah, but you think about it, Twan the Browns got a good offensive line. They, they, I'm they talking about, around. You're talking about the, the old Browns. Brown. Oh, the old Browns. <laughs> <Brown. laughs> the old Browns let like they fans fuck up that organization, bro. Because they ripped that's... each other apart every year. But just pay this man, bro. Pay him. Come on, bro. I got to ask you this. It's like Big Cat said. And uh, some of the folks in world, too. If we if we do that, it's going to be a repercussion to that. We we Are are we willing to give up DJ? Do you know what the repercussions is? You know why it would be a repercussion to that? It's because our front office didn't handle the money the way they said it. That's right. So... You guys are going, it's going to be a repercussion that they created. The fans didn't create this. We don't control the money. They did. <laughs> Everybody ain't good with money, man. So who was our money guy with the Panthers, man? Suleiman. Who's our number one money guy? Suleiman. One of them was Herney. He's gone. Mm-hmm. Money man. So who is it now? It can't be Matt Rule. It can't be Tupper. Who's the number one money guy now? And when we don't even know that, that's bad. Yeah, I definitely can't even take that. I told you. Who so controlling the contracts now, bro? Suleiman, bro. Suleiman. The guy from the Steelers. Yeah, right. The Sul- guy from the Steelers. Yeah, Suleiman, bro. <laughs> Whoa. Did you see him at the Maybe draft? Sul- Maybe Suleiman should be in more conversations and not left out. Maybe he riding under the radar hoping that nobody sees or figures out what the fuck he doing. 
I like how they well, somebody's been mismanaging the money for years now, bro. Remember all them years of dad cap and all that? Somebody's been fucking the money up. That's right. And then and then and then Honey get fired one time before for this shit? Mm-hmm. He did it twice. <laughs> shit, I like you doing the same thing at uh at uh whatever fuck you at right now. He did it he did it twice Football on the team. Two, on the two regime. Two different regimes this nigga fucked up the money. Man, you can keep penny pinching somebody, but eventually they're gonna bet on themselves, and then your ass gonna lose. Hey, Twan, we also gotta put what's the name on the microscope too. Get around that time too. Get him. His choice is nah, man. Get him in too far removed now, man. Not for what's going on now. But I'm gonna just say this though. Get him did as far as the money wise. He he did yeah. get us like back in shape as far as money wise. Hey, get him in the poor decisions. Yeah. yeah. And, and, he, and he, 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 he say, to get it back right. Yeah, he can say, I got us to the fucking Super Bowl, and then we all have to shut the fuck up. Nah, but yeah, I ain't giving it to him, though. I mean, I mean, I mean, as far as us keeping some of our players, returning some of the players that we kind of needed, he was quick on the gun to get rid of some of the motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Hey, now we'll find somebody else. Well, the shoot. biggest name, the biggest name was our, our cornerback at the time. Mm hmm. Which was, uh, we had what? We had Dan Walk here, and we had, um, What's his name uh, from the Giants now? Uh, now you see, he picked him up, but with Bad Bear. <laughs> with the Giants, yeah, you see, he Bradbury picked him up. These motherfuckers ain't stupid. <laughs> so obviously, he didn't think he didn't have the less talent. He knew about him. They let Josh Norman walk, but I mean, I mean, <laughs> I wasn't too mad about that decision, though, with Josh Norman. Because he had to find on his own. He wanted that money. Nah, to me, that wasn't even a money thing. That was of, 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 of an NFC, but to me. I looked at it with that whole fight between him and o, uh, OBJ. That was that whole division. Uh, you know how they do with that whole division, just with the Cowboys and the market, yeah. like the marketing. That, that's to me, that was perfect for that, bro. Let me tell you how somebody's fucking up the money, man. Because you can take a lot of great players and play with the Panthers. Like the Panthers couldn't make the money work in Carolina, but somehow in Buffalo they could. Mm. Buffalo started recruiting all our players, mm -hmm. some some of which are still there, and coaches. Mm -hmm. And they made it work there. So that means somebody don't know what the fuck they're doing with the money in Carolina, bro. I mean, look at the Saints. They just signed. They tied to the highest paid contract. But wasn't they, wasn't they space messed up? Mm -hmm. Which I told people, the Saints going to do what Blair, the Saints going to do, bro. They going to they gonna, they gonna know what they going to do. The Saints already have it rough. But yeah, I don't care, but guess what? They paying the people that need to pay those for. Yep. Well, I mean, mm, I wouldn't do it for the end, that can, <laughs> I know, but I'm just saying, as far as business wise and, the, and what's important, yeah. that the office line, they handling business, bro. Well, yeah, they take care of the players. They're going to struggle, but, you know. Shout out to, um, um, to Illmatic for the cash app. I appreciate that, man. Shit. But uh, with James being back there, shit, we should look good on our defense. Man, fuck all that. Hey, y'all gonna leave my boy alone. I'm, I'm sending the word out. I'm not saying it no more. <laughs> leave James Wilson the fuck alone. That's my guy, man. Mr. Crab Legs himself. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna I'm pull some silly shit like Big Cat and go out buy me a fucking Winston jersey like he went and got that Sam Jones shit just to rub it in or some shit. Hey, man, you know what? If you go do that, man, you stay over there with him. I still my guy think he's going to use, what you call it? My guy, uh, my guy, guy can't even use him. Oh, Chase L ain't starting no damn so, cool. So, so no, I'm saying they're going to use him, bro. They're going to use him. Like, they ain't just going to They ain't going to not use him. They just still going to use him as a little weapon. Mm. So, oh, yeah, that'd be dumb not to. So, would you be opposed to him being on the Carolina Panthers? Who, Hill? The James Winston. I wanted him, bro. Oh yeah, I mean, I wanted, yeah, that train, that train done, done passed. Because if he, even if he but, do well, they can, they gonna resign him. So that yeah, that yeah, train done passed already. But see, oh, seven oh four, seven oh four, four of them didn't believe it. I mean, I mean, they didn't, they didn't want it or nothing. But they can tell you, I wanted him. Why? 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 I mean, I followed the man. Obviously, he's a Florida State Seminole, but that ain't. It's not even because he played for Florida State, man. I know who Winston, Winston can be when that when he raises sharp. Now he got his eyes fixed. I'm telling you, he's gonna have a great year, man. Come on, you better be right. 
You better be right. I don't have to, because if you don't have a good year, then the Saints still suck. And that's wins that's why wins for us. This man is not gonna be horrible, bro. So Twan, let me let me give you some stats here since you said you came in a little bit. That man that man lost one got that man lost one game in college. That's it. Give you some what, what are you doing in the field, Twan? Um, horrible coach after horrible coach. Uh-uh, Twan, don't you do that. Don't you do that. Don't you do that, Twan. Don't you do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that, Twan. Let me tell you something real quick, man. Most players that play for uh, for Aaron said he was terrible, man, his first year. All of them said that. He ain't coaching now. That's Tom Brady's team. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I Shout out to Illmatic for the cash out. Shout yeah, out Illmatic for that cash out. Appreciate that, bro. Good looking on it, you. Come on, let me let me ask you a question. What, what, what did you have uh, Matt Rule ranked What'd as you a say, head big cat? I said, what did you have Matt Rule ranked as a head coach? Crack it. What you say, man? I said, what you have Matt Rule ranked as as the head coach? Oop. Big cat. Okay, can can y'all hear me? I think he's looking at the numbers right now. What the fuck? Oh, no, oh sorry about right. that. Can y'all hear me now? Yeah, yeah. I said, what, yeah, did, yeah, what, yeah. what did you have uh, Matt Rule, Twan, what did you have him ranked as a head coach? Right where he is. Okay, so let me ask you this. In his first year, coming behind Ron Revere, he improved on four out of eight stats. He increased uh, our, our points per game. He increased our passing offense. He increased our defense overall. Significantly increased it from 31st to 18th, and um, he also increased our run defense. Are you comparing this to Rivera's last year with Carolina? Yes, or his best year with Carolina? His, his last year, because they both had hurt pieces. Right. So it was it was only fair because they both had superstars that were hurt. Rivera had one of the worst coaching years of his career in his last season with us. Didn't Christian go a uh, uh, thousand for thousand that year? Because that was only our only offensive weapon. <laughs> So you don't get, but you know we green we green line cursing that whole year, man. We green lined it. So you're not gonna give him credit for improving this offense? Um I'm yeah. not gonna give him credit for what McCaffrey did? <laughs> no, I'm talking about Matt Rule. That's what I'm saying. I'm not giving him Matt Rule credit for what McCaffrey did. Okay, you know now now we established earlier Ron Rivera is a defensive coach, right? Right. We did. I say that, yes. So 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 what do, what do you think about Matt Rule taking this defense from 31st to 18th? And now, mind you, Cam Newton wasn't hurt on defense. He didn't play defense. So what do you think about that? He took this defense from 31st to 18th last year. Well, didn't nobody get hurt like, on defense that often. <laughs> and Matt Rule's not like this. <laughs> Come on. I always, I, always put, I always put it to me, man, if, it's, if you're doing 100% pie, I always put – 75% of it on the players and 25% on coaching. If you get the best players, man, you know what I'm saying, they're going to perform that way. You know what I'm saying? And then every now and then you have a coach that can come along and make not so good players overperform. It's just like Steve Kerr out there at Golden State, man. He wasn't really coaching Curry and all them boys, man. He was just happy to be the coach on with a lot of great athletes. So what about the Patriots season so, when they was in the Super Bowl almost going to the seat and they had lost the John? I know, but you, oh. I'm, I'm saying we comparing it to football to football. Right. Okay, well, okay, so what's the example again? The Patriots team almost went undefeated that year, but then oh. they lost to the Giants in the Super Bowl when they had Randy Moss and a whole bunch of good players on that roster. Who's the coach, though? Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick. And that's somewhere that they always found themselves at. They always in the Super Bowl. I know we're not comparing Belichick to Matt Rule. No, I don't care if Tom Brady wanted the best. Tom Brady was in that system. But that system was one of the best ever built. Man, it, and seven of those that's what, as well as I know. I know, but, team, you that, but you ain't getting my point. You said it's 75% players. To me, it should be 75% right. coaching. Because coaching, no. Nah. Or it doesn't matter, matter, bro. It means, or like a 50 something, like a 50 40 something. But, 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 but did the Bulls or the, or, or the Golden State, did they really need 
Um, Jackson or Curry? Yes, they because, really need because, coaches? Yes, because Phil Jackson did the same thing with the Lakers. So yes, just like the other guy with the cigar got thirteen. Got, he had thirteen championships with the cigar. You right? said, he had, uh, you, you said it's Jordan something. Pippen. You said all the all the ring winning teams needed for, um. Sit, sit on the bench and with his legs bro, crossed. If you had a lame duck, if you, had a lame, bro, if you needed, if you had a lame duck coach, I mean, Jordan would have been. You know what I'm saying maybe got him there, but sometimes Phil Jackson went in the triangle uh, 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 offense for a reason, bro. Man, look, Kerr and Phil Jackson were hired to manage egos, not to actually coach. That's why I'm trying to play it ba- <laughs> football to football, not basketball, because that's it's two different lanes. That's why I well, say you the right. Patriots. You're right. Man, I don't I, look, bro. This is not new news for me, man. I don't trust Matt Rule. I just don't. I hey, don't. Hey, uh, Big Cat. I think, I think they, I think they basing it off wins, bro. No, nah, I'm not talking about wins. See, remember I was telling you earlier about not, how we, not, not, not you, not you. I mean them. Like, oh, okay, I okay. Like whoever, whoever came over there, I think they basing it off wins. No, brother, we, we we can't do that. We have to look at. Remember I was telling you. No, you said the people that made the list. Oh, okay, not, okay, not, gotcha, gotcha. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Bro. Okay, I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know that definitely played into it. Well, if that's the case, I mean, then they I, don't know football because football. I mean, ultimately the game is the win, but because they hardly ever do though. Yeah, hey, that's yeah, just some yeah. opinionated shit. Yeah. Uh, what in the damn? I only cut nobody off. But what was the coach for the Steelers? I forgot. He was like number five. But remember when Big Ben got hurt and he still got his team, what, what was it, eight wins? Yeah, six now. Yeah. He was ranked six. With Mason fucking Rudolph as their quarterback and shit. Come on, man. That's coaching. Yeah. That's facts. I mean, they, yeah, all the players got hurt. That's why I said coaching fucking matters. That's facts. No, that's what I'm, but it's different. I mean, like you said. Bro, that is not okay. different, bro. <laughs> that shit. Not no, no, no. I'm saying, I'm saying coaching is, it is different in, in football than it is in basketball. The coaching weighs more because you got to call the right plays and shit. Like, for the most part in the NBA, they don't run a lot of plays. But you're right. And, and football, it matters more with the coaching. It does. But, I mean, it's, it's my rule, man. I mean, especially when going in, I would, it was man, at least three other coaches I would rather have had. We let, yeah, great, true. Coaches, true. We let great coaches slip through our fingers to go get a guy in college because he reminded our owner of himself. Mm-hmm. That didn't make sense to me. That sounded like that sounded personal, opposed to what's best for the team. I mean, as, as far as as far as the stats wise, I mean, he just and, 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 and remember, and before you finish, everybody when we first got Matt Rule, hey, cat, you there? Yeah, I'm here. What's up? Because I want him to hear this shit. Everybody that said Matt Rule needs three years, well, here comes his third. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all, 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 y'all, all y'all that was screaming at Bob the Builder shit and what he did in college, <laughs> here comes his third year. So by now, according to y'all, when he first got here, he should be at least second round playoffs or the playoffs, at least the playoffs, period. Him not making the playoffs this year, I'm telling you, it, it, it's not going to be. Because y'all said, let him do work. Everybody that made excuses for Matt Rule, he just got here. Second year. He's only been with the year 14. Okay, this is his third year now. Let's see what you're going to do, Matty. Well, ba- based off the, the, the statistics. He ain't got no disease to blame it on. It, it ain't his first year. It ain't a COVID year. The fans will be back. Let's get it. Fresh out of excuses, brother. Well, based off the, the, the statistics that, you know, pretty much – Big cat to shed into life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like it is a, a, a kind of a, a slap in the face to him, um, based off the of numbers wise. But I feel like I said, I think they, like I said, they basing it off of wins. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it ain't up to us. You know what I'm saying? As far as the the, uh, the statistics of you know what he has contributed to our team, they basing it off wins. You know, what I mean? that's what they're gonna do. That shit every time. I'm not basing it yes, off wins. I'm, I'm looking at how fucked up we were the year before and how better we got with him. <laughs> And out of eight cat- out of eight categories, this man improved on four of them. If you do the math, that's fifty percent better. We got fifty percent better. What did he fucking do? In a COVID what did he year, do for us? In a COVID year with a shitty quarterback, uh, what did he fucking no do? chemistry. <laughs> this guy got a fifty percent better. So imagine what he does with a with a. Four so what did that do? What did that do on our wins? Our wins losses though. 
I'm not talking. Listen, man. <laughs> it matters. In the NFL, in the NFL, wins and losses matter. Fuck the moral victories, man. Uh, did you win or did you lose? Right. Fact. It did a lot. It put you in the same lane because your coach that you 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 played in the NFL, you was on eighty five bear. You got us five wins the previous year. Yep. He came in as a color coach and got you in a virus season and got you them same five wins. Facts. With a limited quarterback. Five, and we're about five. the youngest <clears throat> the youngest defense. In the we're bragging about five wins. wins. We're bragging about five wins. No, you saying what did that get us? I said that put us in the same position, Twan. So oh, if you yeah. don't see that I still that we can grow, then it's it's like we just well, we was in the same though. Well, that's why I'm not saying nothing yet. I mean, I'm not I'm not saying nothing. What's going on, boy? What's going on? Nothing 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 nothing. Hang up on me tonight. Got my nigga C dog. This is proving it. This is his proving it. This is his proving it. And Phil and Phil Snow proving it. See, dog. I want to uh, before you go. I want to approach a bet for week one, and it's gonna be a friendly bet. <laughs> I want you to bet twenty dollars. Since you said the Jets and everything, I want you to take the Jets. You put the Jets on the line, twenty dollars. Yeah, I'll take that bet. All right. All right. What's this Carolina up? Yep, got you. I'll take that bet. Fact. So the so the Jets is gonna beat Carolina at the bank first game. Man, I, I think they have a better coach than we got. Damn. Damn, that's that says a lot, bro. Uh, and, and, and I don't, based off what, I don't you think know, that coach is better. Based off what, you know? Why, why do you say that? <laughs> been, even, even in the NFL longer, you know what I'm saying? And he down so no defense. The Jets, the Jets got a nice defense, man, before they got down front seven. So, so we gonna base it off <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> so we're going to base it off of, uh, off of veteran pre- presence in the infield. Look, man, the bet locked in, man. But look, man, a four has got down Matt Rule, man. I, I mean, shit, I, I think it's right. It really, I mean, it, really, it, it is what it should be. I, I'm surprised he really ranked that high. You know what I'm saying? For one of what five games last year, but then uh, Big Cat talking about the uh, the improvements we made. Man, Ron Rivera never had. Man, first of all, Cam never really had no weapons since he's been there. So of course we got them going to have a better offensive ranking. You know what I'm saying? Cause we had all them, got them weapons out there last year, but we still only got five wins with that shit though. So, see, dog. Let me ask you a question: Are you are we basing it off of wins, or are we basing it off of? That sounds like that's a GM fault, not Ron fault. <laughs> yeah. We got to bitch it off wins. Not because not because what I'm saying is, Big Cat is basing it off of you know far judging from last from the years previous before and to now. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, I, he has a point there. But far as wins and losses are weak, he's not going off wins and losses. Right. But if y'all the thing got is, a better G- the thing is this. We can win every game by one, and it can be ugly every game. But if we won the game, nobody's gonna fucking care. And, and you know what? You know what I find mighty, mighty funny? I find this mighty funny that we lost eight games by one score. I wonder what the conversation would have been if this nigga won them games. But we didn't. Well, well, if it was a well, fifth, well, we'd well, be well, drunk right well, now. Come well, on, because well, because what I'm Come saying, on, I'm with them damn <laughs> premeditated. Because so, what I'm saying is, what a fucked up ass. Uh, 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 a season, a fucked up ass, a uh, 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 schedule, and all that other shit. This man did pretty good. But check me out, big cat. Like, look, when Teddy Bridgewater said he got them, came out like he was got them playing hurt the rest of the year. Why they let got them? PJ Walker got them play. PJ Walker played good to me. You know, for that game he did play. Well, you know, you know why they did the that? offense looked excited. Cause you know why they did that. The reason why they let Teddy play hurt the whole rest of the season. It's because, it's because if they would have put somebody healthy in there and he would have started winning, then that would have said, damn, we got to give Teddy another year to see what he looks like healthy. They didn't want to do that. They wanted yep. to get his ass out of there. So why would you put somebody healthy in there if you're trying to get him the fuck out of there? That's why they didn't. PJ when they came. Call from up, Ray boy? P. To accept pre- What's going on, Ray? Called up, bro. That's but, yeah, look, but look, though, but look, though. You bring in Teddy. You say. What's up, G? You already know, my nigga, what's good? Another motherfucking day. Let me let you on here. Yes, sir. 
one goddamn year, you, you're done with them. And now we do another goddamn project with goddamn Sam Donald. Yes, sir. This is this is the same way I feel about when we brought in uh, Paraman. Man, Paraman hasn't played a whole season since he's been in the league. Like why? Uh, man, I, I guess man. I came in. I came in at the right time, huh? Well, yeah, man got that right time, bro. This motherfucker ain't played a goddamn a whole goddamn game since he's been in the motherfucking league. He got he got replaced last year by uh, goddamn Kenneth Murray. So what, are you, are you gonna tell me that? Hey Ray, hey Ray, time out. Are you gonna hey, tell Ray, me that? Let's uh, run a train on them, nigga, because they they <laughs> forget I'm in this Jermaine, bitch too. <laughs> You already know what's poppin', see, y'all. What's going on? Hey, 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 man, what's going on? Hey, hey, man, real quick, man. Hey, hold on, hold on, Ray Tabo. Hey, Ray Tabo, man, hold on real quick, man. Hey, hold on, hold on, Ray Tabo, man. Hold on, real quick, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, nigga, he, who, what, my nigga, was he starting at the beginning of the motherfucking season? They, they say goddamn white hair was better than him. They ain't the bitch in his ass, so they don't even got them a good horse got them talent. Oh, they do, okay. What the fuck I, you talking I, I, about? Here's my next hold on, point. real quick. No, 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 real no, no, quick, no, no. hold on. Go ahead, make, go ahead, make your point. So go make, ahead, make your point. So we can we can make excuses for our own players, but when we get one in, with nope. Like we we can sit here and and just make excuse after excuse after excuse for this player, that player, that player. But we get somebody in that's going to help our team, and like, oh nope, nope, nope. He, he's not the answer. What, what fucking sense does that make? My man, he hasn't like, played a whole like a lot, the whole lot, season lot, since he's been in the league. Play Pabon. Yeah, there are some injuries, but there's also you know players above him. Like I mean, hell, uh, fucking Ingram. I mean, Melvin Ingram's one of the better linebackers in the NFL as well. So I mean, again, you're you're playing behind somebody like that. That's kind of like when AJ, AJ AJ Klein was playing behind Luke Keekley. I mean, he went he went and played pretty damn well with the Saints and played pretty good with the Bills. He just he not, needed, look, he needed he his a, shot. Look, dog. A rookie I'm, I'm came in no, 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 and no, no, took no, no, his no. fucking spot, dog. Are you serious? A rookie. Nah, Den- Denzel will be just fine. All y'all can keep down him. He will be just fine. But real quick, man. Hey, shout out to Oak, man. A, 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 a real ass nigga, man. A real motherfucking guy. A real goddamn stepper, man. I just had to say that, man. Carry yes, on. Yes, sir. You already know what time it is, Real goddamn stepper, dog. man. Real, real nigga shit, man. Hey. Hey, look, hey, Big Cat, real quick, yes, you got damn right, he deserved the goddamn ranking he got. He, hey, if you ask me, it should be lower because he ain't proved shit yet. Okay. You know what I mean? Just like, just like Twan just said, what if the motherfucker had won those games? Or y'all just said, what if the motherfucker had won the games we lost? Yep. Shit, yeah, you man, got now. You got I, it. You I, got I, it. He, he, yeah, go ahead, you Twan. A, you got to fucking win. You got to do things. You got to win. Overall, if you want to get fucking credit, man, we this ain't the stats game. This ain't how y'all improve game. This ain't y'all. Y'all was at three and now y'all at five game. This is did you win the game? So you didn't me, win the game. No, that's why your ass right so, so damn. Let me ask you this: What 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 what, <laughs> well, uh, what did Ron Rivera win so much with him holding right. up a fucking missed opportunity t shirt right. when he got fired? Get that nigga. But he claimed he, he went to the playoffs last year with yeah. no quarterback. No, seven on one. Yeah, yeah, no. Stop making excuses for this nigga. See, dog. Yeah. Let me have my quarterback. We left here. Who the fuck is his quarterback with the Washington Football Team? And I wait. Yeah. Oh. Man, boy went to the playoffs last season, though, man. But his oh, first dear. year, Stop his making first year there, and they and they, and they won a division. And they won and they won a division. Bro, that division is yeah. ass. Look at that division. But as you a whole. can't. But you can't take it away from him. He won it. I mean, look at our division. We went seven and nine, wasn't it? Ass also, but we won it, and we ain't ready for this. And we still playing that shit to this day. Of course, we gonna play it. <laughs> NFC, I don't give a fuck how you get there. You the gotta get a NFC South champion three years but, in a row. But y'all keep talking about we're winning, but we didn't win shit. We we won it at seven wins. That's not a winning season. A season. But, but, right, but look, we, did they put us some t-shirts saying we was the NFC um, champs? Yeah, uh, I need my yeah. expectations to have been higher. I mean, who won? Super Bowl shit. I would have took the cut your ass. Then lost to no Saints. Hey, but real quick, man, I'm saying, hey, hey, but look, we fucked up by not talking about them telling Moka. So now the Saints, they done put us in a bad goddamn predicament, dog. You know what I'm saying? They should have been already signed this motherfucker, man. So man, I know you feeling goddamn disrespected right now. We fucked up by not getting that nigga his money goddamn last year, dog. Hey, shout out to Nicholas Gaskins for the cash app. I appreciate it, man. Hey, look, I need a hey, Nick. I need you to get in contact with me, bro. I need you to get in contact with me, man. Nicholas Gaskins, shout out for that. Man. Shout out to Nicholas nah. Gaskins for the cash app. Yes, sir. Hey, look, man. Hey, look, man. Look, I said this a lot. Look, man, the Panthers, I don't know if y'all agree on 704 Ray, 
Man, it's time for us to get off of our high horse and start winning. First of all, the horse is fake. I ain't even. I know high horse. We need a fucking quarterback and a whole lot of shit. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I'm not talking about Justin Fields. What the fuck? I'm talking about Justin Fields. I ain't going to I'm talking about the general. Fields in April. That nigga is with Chicago, bro. Ain't shit we can do with that. That's like that cam shit. It's only so much we could do. We, we two years removed from that shit. So it's either y'all gonna stay in the fucking quicksand and keep saying what we could, what we should have did, what we could have did with getting linemen, or we move past with this shit. It's seven or four. I'm just saying he he, he was like there. I, said, I, I don't keep telling y'all. Sam got one year with me. So if this nigga don't do shit, he's gone, and it's on to the next, bro. Yes, sir. Oh, Talk man. that shit, seven or four. Man, everybody thought, we, everybody, everybody, everybody thought we couldn't move Teddy, and look what happened. Right, he, got a three, he, he got a three-year deal. He's not going anywhere. Boom, one year. That was a good look. That was a good look for us. And, and, and guess what? They said Denver making the playoffs. But how yeah, good is but Denver? Let say, <laughs> but let me tell you this, though. Let me tell you what cannot happen for us. Let me tell you what can't happen for us. Teddy Bridgewater can't go up to Denver and make it to the playoffs like you just said. Or oh, it's going to look like we were the problem. Yep. Well, the, yeah, the, the, the fucking coaching staff, that's 24th rank. You see what I'm saying? This is this is why that ranking is well fucking deserved. He don't deserve nothing no higher than what the fuck he got. You know what I mean? He, he should be. Look, hey, I, I look, we actually should be happy that Matt Rule is ranked 24. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Now, about that got that money, he getting paid. What the fuck? Well, well, hey, talk, talk that shit, see, dog. Man, some real nah. shit. Nigga, the highest paid guy in the motherfucking league, so, dog. So and then look, hold, hold on real quick. But still no phone. Hold on real quick. But still no phone talking about standing on, got them do good and shit. On to the next one. Man, look, man, look, man, clean the fucking house, man. I ain't got time for this bullshit, man. Got to get a quarterback every goddamn season, dog. What the fuck? Oh, That's the yeah. last goddamn shit. You ain't gonna have no choice. Yeah, they just <laughs> unless you, well, to, uh, you pick up that, eight, that, that that eighteen league option. What you gonna do? They have another bad season with that nigga? I mean, yeah. you gonna have to find a quarterback eventually. Damn. We better get our shit together. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've been yeah. saying that for a while, Juan. We've been, been saying, saying that for a while. We're talking so much. Everybody's talking about you can build up this team. Yeah, you can build a team up, but guess what? You still gonna be searching like a motherfucker for a quarterback. So you're gonna be wasting that for Johnny Chen, Johnny Chen, all, all years, Brian Brown, nope. years, nope. all of them. See, and yeah, see, right and see if, if somebody came and said, what, what, what happened? What was one of the major turning points with this team as of lately? What happened? Where the shit just seemed like y'all started spiraling out of control, and nobody wants to have that discussion, man. Shit. And that's the shit they did. We can, bro. Twan, Twan, I, 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 I can tell you exactly what, what, when this shit started happening to this franchise. <laughs> I, 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 I never forget. I never forget what what was the demise of this fucking franchise, and it happened on the Thursday oh, night, nigga, in the third. <laughs> It happened on a Thursday I night. Like, I know exactly what I'm young, young JJ, young TJ Watt came off the goddamn left, off the right side. That's what fucking happened. He, and he yeah. blew our franchise the fuck up. But I'm going to say this. He finished them. He finished them, but it happened. Yeah, he, yeah he finished. He finished, he finished them, finished though, it. He had, a, he had an injury prior to that, but he finished it right there, though. It was it right there. No, that was, no, that, no, was, say, that um, was it. Um, say, say, stop that. Go ahead, Ray. Stop that shit. Go ahead, Ray. But see, they didn't want to, and then they want to say they, they want to go, they want to put all this blame on fucking Cam, and we like we said, like Uncle said a while back with Rivera, Rivera kept sending that man out there hurt to try to save his career, not Cam's career. He wasn't saving Cam from himself. You know, Rivera right. was trying to get right. his job, right. and then and then and now that when now when Rivera gets fired and moved on, Cam is so hurt when he should have just been saving his body, and he might still be straight now that now. He's scrambling, yeah. and, you know, to get a check. You saying shit like that, listen, or whatever. Listen, some of that, some of that. No, we've talked about this before. Some of that blame goes to fucking Rivera as well. Like I'm not letting him exactly. get fucking away with that shit. I'm no, not. No, no, no. <laughs> that blame falls on Rivera. R Rivera was pl like playing him for his job, but he was all in on fucking Cam. So told him no. You he cannot play, bro. Out. You hurt. You are hurt. No, you cannot play. And yeah. Rivera, and Rivera sent Cam out for not wearing a tie. Why would right, you not sit him out? Right. 
Damn. 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 God damn. Not well, real quick, we got a couple of tough things. I like, like, like Ron. Like Ron. That last I like Ron. I like Ron, but I will always say John Fox is the best coach in our history. This is my favorite coach is. ever, Fox, bro. <laughs> he is. Foxy! Hey, hey, you know what? You know what, Ray? As far as, as far as the two men go, you know what I mean? The, if you if you look at the two men, the, you take them, you take off the field or, or you know, in person, when you, if you ever met the two men, then, then you got a point there. I got Fox, a good question. Fox, I got a question. Fox was, was a, a way question. different dude. Hey, Ray, hey, Ray, before you, ask your, Ray before you ask your question, before you ask your question, and th- this is the curse of the Carolina Panthers. So even when we let Fox go, right, what did Fox go on to do? Well, we the fucking Super Bowl. He took, his, he took his team to the goddamn Super Bowl. He, he won it. He no, took, he didn't win it. He took he two, he, he took two he took different NFL two different to teams. <laughs> Another yeah. reason why I think he's the best. But here, here's my question, and this is a, this is a hypothetical. Because we don't exercise so, patience. All I got to let, let's put it this way: what what would be the what would be the end result if John Fox had Cam and Rivera had Delome? Same rosters, everything. You literally just fucking throw Cam back in the early 2000s, and you throw Jake in the fucking, and you know. Four, 14 and 2 and 2 and 14. No, no, sir. No, sir. <laughs> now you were yeah, about to get the Broncos. My rule, my, rule ain't, my rule ain't doing I'm, shit with DeLone, bro. Nothing. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, not, I'm saying R- Rivera. I'm saying you switch Rivera. I'm saying you take Rivera and, and Fox. You give, you give Fox Cam and you give Rivera Jake. Rivera would have been able to do shit with Jake. But y'all know the similarities of both of them coaches, though? I mean, they, they look like they're running the ball and play defense. defense and mind it. They both so, are you know, defensive minded and they like to run the ball. That's a fact. That's a fact. But no. Nah. And they run the ball. Say they both like to run the ball. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. no, no go ahead. Get that 7 up. I want to hear this. All those are facts. But pay, pay attention two, to the running back system. What did Foxy always do when Foxy always got Tyron? Run, run, pass. How did how did Ron get his name? Rick River wrote Ron. He started giving the ball to Cam. He right. started going for it. And right. going on fourth yeah. right. yeah. down. Right. Yeah, exactly. That's why Cam was going hell on the sideline. Like, give him trust in me to get the easy shit. But mm-hmm. I'm saying Ron got stuck in his ways, and and and, and John Fox got stuck in his ways, and that's why they both at the end of the day it was there was like times up for them that they got too stuck in their ways, bro. They neither one of them really made wanted to make big, big adjustments. Yeah, but John Fox yeah. didn't really have no goddamn quarterback though. Even after got them Jake their home. I mean, yeah, he had the ride with him. Well, yeah, yeah, and you also got to think John Fox was John Fox was there for what seven, eight years. He had an opportunity to draft a, a quarterback. Right. I mean, yeah, I mean, we can't we can't look at John <laughs> Fox. And he guy, drafted though. plenty. He no, he he drafted quite a few. I remember when Stephen the floor. Was supposed to be the guy. Oh God! Why are you bring it? No, 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 no! I, I love going back in the, in the in the archives. I love going back in the archives because you know what? I remember when Tony Pike was supposed to be the oh, guy. My God. Like, trust me, bro. Trust me. I get it. He hey, tried look, to man. draft. He tried to draft quarterbacks. Fucking yeah. did not fucking pan out. <laughs> well, see, hey, we, we can't we can't turn a blind eye to that shit now. When it comes to John Fox. And and the way he the way he drafted players and shit too now that Man, that, regime, you, that Pike, regime did players dirty Fucking as a motherfucker. Tony Pike. <laughs> Ray, let me tell you. Ray, let me tell you something, Ray. Ray, let me tell you something. I think it was two thousand and fucking. Fucking ten or oh, wait, eleven. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Two, yeah, two thousand ten when we got Jimmy Clausen. There's another one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He was there. Trust, trust me when I say he was there. So. I, I go to the game. We go. Obviously, we going to go see Fox, that, call, that cost Fox his job. Yeah, but we we we, we want to go see. Hey, 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 hey wait, that a fucking kid. That's the <laughs> what the hell is Jimmy Claus? Ain't nobody seen that name. That nigga. Yeah, no, no, I think he owned the Chick Fil A. I think he owned the Chick Fil A in West Virginia or something. Listen, listen. I got a great Jimmy Clausen story. So you guys know I used to. So no, no, no. Fuck all. Fuck that story, nigga. Tell him tell him mine. You got my shit off. the training camp all the time. Man, fuck that story. Blah 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Fuck that story, nigga. Y'all want to take my shit out. 
Listen, Twan, two things. One, I'm still hot at you from last night, so don't act like I'm going to leave to this phone and smack the shit out of you. Two, you go listen to my fucking story. You know, that being said, I'm at, I'm, at, I'm at training camp. Uh, blah, 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 so I get to tell my shit. Yo, yo, yo Twan, nah. when I see you, it's on site, bro. Um, go ahead, go ahead, man. Go ahead, take it. <laughs> no, it's real quick. So I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm literally, that. so that helmet that has the 33 autographs on it that you guys see that I have in my case that like no one will ever fucking touch in my lifetime, I had I had Steve Smith signing the back of it while Jimmy Clausen was walking up. Jimmy Clausen goes to grab the helmet, I'm like, no. <laughs> I put it back and then I hand him the back of the training camp. I handed him the back of my training camp booklet. And he signed it. I'm like, yep, thank you. <laughs> but keep it fucking moving, bro. You you are not worthy of this fucking helmet, bro. Shout out to Pierre Willis for the cash app. Thank you, Pierre Willis. Get the fuck out of here, Jimmy. Get the fuck out of here, Jimmy. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. You, that helmet, bro. See, that's, that, autogra- that helmet has, what, 32 or 33 autographs on it? And well <laughs> over half of them. Well over half of them are only big-name players. Like, we're talking Ryan Khalil, Steve Smith. <laughs> John Beeson, Luke Keekley, Thomas Davis, <laughs> like all the big names are on that helmet. You really I think I'm gonna let Jimmy touch it, Ray? You really think you really think I'm gonna let Jimmy touch that shit? <laughs> Fuck out of here, Jimmy. Right, here's my brochure. You can sign that bullshit. You can sign that, that bullshit. The male copper said he was the golden boy. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. you know what? Fuck Kuiper. Yeah, he did. No, no, fuck Kuiper. <laughs> fuck Kuiper. Kuiper's fucking dumb. There's people on this line and in this chat that has more fucking insight and more wisdom than that stupid fuck. <laughs> Man, he said something don't know about that. Guy. Yeah, I can, I can just dude. imagine that shit, Ray. That, that was comedy right there, boy. Hey, who's this? Call from. PD Quick. What's up, PD? Let me bring you back in here. No, 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 Jimmy. Sorry, Jimmy. Absolutely <laughs> fucking not, Jimmy. He would have nope. took, took the value yeah. down. Damn straight. Not uh, my, damn shit. straight. It would have. Damn straight. It would have. Seven oh four. Shit. Hey, 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 Ray. What would you have hell, done? Hell, had Jimmy Ricky snatched your that fucking helmet. helmet. I, I fuck with Richie. <laughs> that annexation of Puerto Rico play. I fuck with Richie. I let Richie sign it. Hey. <laughs> Hey, Unc, you say you would have snatched it from him, bro? Yeah, what, 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 what if Jimmy had snatched your shit? <laughs> no, nah, I, snatched, hey, I Drew, snatched it right back out of his hand. A very deliberate hard pull. I'm like, nah, hard pass, bro. Here's this, here, here, here's this fucking brochure, though. You want to sign this one? Hey, what, hey, the hey, what, <laughs> oh, yeah, that hey, reminds me. Yeah, you can put your name on the back with J.J. Jensen. That's the other dude that signed the back of it. J.J. Jensen. Hey, hey, you still got that booklet, right? Yeah, I, it's, it's in my binder. Yeah, Ray Pat Bones. Yo, you would have said I'm on the way from me. I would have scribbled all over that shit before you got it. <laughs> hey, hey, Ray, hey, Ray <laughs> What up? Hey, will you ask him, Donald, sign anything you have, sir? I would have scribbled all over Ray's shit. <laughs> Time out. You say Sam Darnold? Yes, will you let him sign anything you have, sir? Oh, him sign. <laughs> God damn. The plane tickets to get the fuck up out of here. Yeah. <laughs> he he can sign something if he goes better than oh and fucking eight. And uh I don't know, you take me to the playoffs, I might like you sign something. <laughs> you ain't gonna see me in no Sam Donald jersey. Sorry, big cat, but you ain't gonna catch me in no <laughs> Donald jersey, I'll tell you that. Hey, I ain't <laughs> mad at you. I ain't mad at you, man. Hey Ray, I still don't want <laughs> not yet. Not yet. You know why? You I'm, no, no, I'm not going to bring him up. After I watched a man, after I watched a man buy a Will Greer jersey and saw how that played out, yeah. trust me, my money, wow. my money's not getting spent on quarterbacks until you fucking show me something. Well, you heard now, who you? owns a Will Greer jersey? Who owns a Will Greer jersey? <laughs> well, they say he threw for eight hundred yards in high school. Even, even, even besides that. If, if, I don't know if nobody in here about no Will. Who bought the damn Will Greer jersey? Oh, we all know who got the Will Greer jersey. But listen, but listen. This is what I see on the show one day. Like we didn't see what it was. If Teddy Bridgewater doesn't give you that feeling of I'm not buying your jersey till you let me see something, then then there's something up. Like, who bought a Teddy Bridgewater jersey? Who bought that shit? <laughs> All bullshit aside, that's probably one of my favorite Big Cat videos, bro. What? Because all bullshit aside, yo, he fucking owned that shit. He owned that shit, bro. Big Cat don't get to buy no more jerseys. He's out. 
Well, I trust my strike coach. one. I trust strike my, one. Will Greer. I trust my coaches. But man. I have. And, and, and as soon as I say that, I, I, as soon as I say that, though, I take that back because when Big Cat called the fucking what was it like Goodwill or some shit? Yeah, bro, I watched that video like fifteen times, bro. I was dying. <laughs> I I just I'm not sure what we would do with that, sir. Um, hey, I just, uh, maybe. maybe well, uh, what, does it does it make the uh, the 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 value of the jersey go down if he's zero and eight in uh, game winning drives? Um, I'm sorry, sir. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Well, the worst the worst the worst jersey I own. I was fucking dead, bro. That's not even the worst right, jersey I own. And then, and then he, he finished off the video with like, oh, you could probably make a blanket out of it. You could probably cover up like four or five kids with it. <laughs> bro, I was dead. Yeah. Strike yeah, one, blows up. Yeah. Strike two was when you bought that damn Teddy Bridgewater <laughs> just. No, nah, man. Sam Bunny, hey, hey, Big Cat strike, had all three. Hey, third time. He had third the time white, showing, the right? whole, the away, and the color rush. Yeah. yeah. So where are those, 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 those Bridgewater jerseys at? Why you ain't wearing them shits no more? Well, there's only one jersey I regret buying. There's only one jersey I regret buying. Where's where's that Bridgewater jersey? It ain't no cam, nigga. Shut up. Where's that Bridgewater jersey? There's only one jersey I regret buying. <laughs> that jersey gonna be worth something. <laughs> <laughs> the mother two shits you can't give away. What are you talking about, bro? There's only one jersey I regret buying. Yeah, you need to do a show where you burning both of them motherfuckers. Nah, I don't do that. I don't, I don't do no burning. I don't burn no jersey. You need to burn that Will Grill jersey and that Teddy shit together. Fucking make a grill water. Or put it together and make a grill water jersey. Fucking youngest MVP to be name style. So yeah, I'm gonna be the like, next nigga you gonna buy that ain't nobody ever heard of. You gonna buy a fucking Joey Slide jersey next? No, no, no. So back to uh, Matt Rule and T Higgins. I got his on order. Oh yeah, oh goddamn yeah, 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 oh yes sir, yes sir. You be the only, you be the only nigga in the crowd with a slide jersey. I'm gonna get that bitch in black. <laughs> and motherfuckers gonna ask you who a slide. What's up, hey, bro? look, let's be clear, Twan. <laughs> <laughs> hey, motherfuckers, slide, slide ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Nobody's even gonna know who he is. <laughs> oh, that's the real okay. I thought it was good. No. No, he been gone. Yeah, Sly, hey. Sly ain't going nowhere. He's going to be a Panther for a long time. Hey, but real quick, man. This is elephant in the room with this telemoting. Say if we were to lose telemoting after this season, how do y'all feel about the uh, offensive line situation? That'll be fucked up. We'd be hurt. That would hurt badly, bro. That would hurt. You know, hey, hey see, dog, what you saying that, and if that was to happen, I, I'd really be fucking dumbfounded because I wouldn't understand that. I mean, you, you, you let motherfucking pieces go that you're supposed to sign or resign. I ain't into that shit, man. And see, see, this is, this is a goddamn trend. We got to switch on our team, man. Yeah, it's bad, man. And yeah, real quick, early, my bad. Early, I was listening to Twine talking like Bradbury top 10. Man, they got Bradbury rated right number third DB in the league right now, man. No, nah, I'm, I'm talking I'm talking about the pro football focus one, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but I don't go by what, what they did. I mean, the motherfucker's there, man. I mean, he listed high on a lot of lists. The list uh, up there, he know. forgot them three. He was third. Carolina, Carolina didn't want to pay him. He should have paid him. We, we overpaid for Shaq, you know. I mean, that, that, that they thought the extra two, three million dollars was just too much. Hey, we got to give Shaq Thompson credit now as far as I mean. <laughs> for what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, uh, hold on uh. man, look, now, just, just think, if we kick Bradbury, I'll be just J.C. Horn, number eight this year? No. Okay, then we going back. Not, then, not uh, at all. Yeah, you can still, because you can get, you can have, that's just one cornerback. Don't you got another side of the field? Yeah, that would have been man, no we had two lockdown corners, bro. That would have been hell. No, man. We wouldn't have brought in Bouye, but we still could have took, a, took another corner. We still well, let me ask you. Know, we would have been so, good, man. We can solve it. Hey, see, though. Yeah. So, I, I kind of feel like our, quarterback, our quarterbacks are better than they've been in years, man. And I mean, on paper right now, we got, no. we got the best cornerback or well, the best backfield Defensive backfield on this team that we had in years. I know. Nah, that that's, that's that Panthers delusion. Ain't nobody on our roster better than Bradbury. 
That's on paper. Nah, and yeah, ain't nothing better than Bradbury, man. I don't know. I mean, look, Bradbury just yet. went and had a just went and had an All Pro season in New York. That that's pretty much enough said right there. But see, with Bradbury, he he really it's like they bump Bradbury to you know to make uh, D Jack the number one. So it's yeah, like man, whenever, well, whenever, whenever we get how that works. Well, one of the worst fucking mistakes ever. Inconsistency and hey, look, injuries. Look, mind you, when we when we drafted in the NFL, we Twan, forget. Twan, what, Twan, the best ability in the NFL is what? Availability. Yep. Thank you. And, and, and look, this is why this look, is look, why Shaq Thompson deserves what he gets. But fuck, mind no, you, fuck, when we no. drafted Bradbury, we drafted his counterpartner in Daryl Worley. Y'all, y'all forget that year hey, we drafted yikes, two cars. Bro. We got him like in the third or fourth round, though. Oh, yeah, but but we still, got no, in the but second still round. No, it, it was it was times where both of those players was on the field at one time, and and hey, honestly, 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 I was like, like Daryl was getting I, I, I nah, thought Daryl was getting, getting cooked cooked constantly. <laughs> There's a reason he moved to safety because that man was getting cooked constantly. That nigga's, a, that nigga's a free agent right now, holding pistols and shit. He ain't getting no job. He done. But listen, listen. Who who has that? Who has that chart where they built when they built that chart out when when Bradbury took on everybody's best receivers and it showed where he shut everybody the fuck down that year. And then they did, they did another chart with um with the guy that um the guy we used to have with Norman when Josh Norman shut every damn body down that year. And sent both of these dudes the fuck on, man, and they props. Yeah, look, you got yeah. Dante Jackson look good because Dante Jackson not only got the number one corner. You know what I'm saying? So, man, we just fucked up, man. We fucked up on that, man. We make a lot of dumbass decisions. Man. Yeah, like so, I said, so, it, it, okay. Question: Do we all believe J.C. Horn is gonna be what what he what they proclaiming him to fucking be? I think he's gonna be good with it the best, man. I, I, I like it's, it's for, for me. Oh, it's just a hunch, bro. I look in the. Nah, I ain't gonna say no good. Look, <laughs> well, I just see the man's intensity, and it look like he there to do work, man. You know what I'm saying? Some guys yeah, look goofy yeah. and shit, and you can tell when a guy got that look. Man, Chad always had that look. He won't do a lot. Right, right, right. Brian, no, I look, look at look. look at Horn like I look at Chad though. Yeah. But look, but look, yeah. look, man. Brian Berry to come to work and do his job, man. He quiet. You know what I'm saying? He was a solid fucking assassin. Ready to get it in, bro. Ready to get you know it what in. I'm saying? You know, like he man, bouncing around, dripping and shit. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I think Horn gonna be all right, bro. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I asked I only asked that question though, because if, if we believe in JC Horn like that, then we, we could go ahead and get past this Bradbury shit. You know what I mean? Nah, man. We're gonna have both of them. I ain't stuck in the past. Because I, yeah, I mean, I hey, Keith Taylor, like Uncle Dill said, it's the best our, our quarterback room just got competition, just period. When the hell do I think so. Done? I think so, 704. This 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 back defensive backfield is going is 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 highly competitive amongst he, amongst them. You know what I mean? So, goddamn it, they, it's only right that it translate week in week out. I think we gonna have like one of the best defensive backfield <clears throat> shit that that we've seen in a long time as a as a as a you know as a fan base. Shit, I'm ready for that shit, man. Yeah, you know how long we've been hollering we need ball hawks back that motherfucker, man. I can't wait till we can get a, a fucking, you know, 4-5 pick day, a pick 4-5 interception defensive game. You know what I mean? This DJ, this DJ last year to prove himself too, man. For sorry. Man, well, I don't think that. so, not, Twan. I think he's out, already man. proven, though. You, no, he's not. I think I... Okay, this I think is, I think yeah, DJ yeah, is already right, okay. proving himself of what he's doing. No, he ain't, man. He out here still running around doing fucking um scrimmages and shit with high schoolers, getting yeah. caught oh, yeah, on top see. of that. Now see, so oh, you say he ready? That means he ready to be on the number one receiver. He's still not the game. Yet, man. Hold on, Twan. Hold on, Twan. Doing that shit. Hold on, Twan. You say he ready? That means he ready to be on the number one receiver every game this year. 
Yo, shout out Nick. I, I don't think so. I, I mean, I don't think that cat no. tap, Nick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout, shout we we, we can't, cash, we can't Nick keep putting that, that shit on them. But let me ask you this, see, dog. Hey, on, on, on any team's number two, I get that nigga high probability. I give him a high probability of shutting down any team number two. Man, put Jalen Ramsey in the motherfucking turf toe and let's see how bad his ass can right, stay right, long. Right, right. That dog and shit him when it came in. Jalen Ramsey the goddamn Dante Jackson dog. I said turf toe. Awesome. I said turf toe. I ain't talking about his skill set. I said just alone that turf toe. Yeah. Dante Jackson came into the season. Hey, look, Dante, look, Dante, he, he got hella, he got hella skill now. When when that little nigga healthy. He he amongst the best, and we all know that shit. No, he, 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 we all know he, that. He missed the tackles too, though, man. He put too he much on it, the bro. tackles. You put too much on it, dog. You putting too much on it, bro. I don't know, man. I, hey, look, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen in his young career. I've seen that you little nigga make plays. I know, I've but seen this nigga make plays, Twan. His, his, one of the his best. rookie, his rookie year, the little nigga had what four, five picks in his rookie season. He on a number two receiver. Exactly, see, dog. So you put that nigga on the number two this year. You put that nigga on the number two. Don't give him that number one responsibility. And if you got, if you got your boy J.C. Horn, that gives you as a defensive coordinator flex of fucking ability. And if you, so, if you, so what, go so ahead. If he been on, if he been on the team three years, one thing, one thing about um, rookie development is having a guy on the team that can teach you some shit. What is Dante gonna teach him? Yeah, you, you, you just know, slide into the fucking slot, and that's that, 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 that's that's. Like, I'm, I'm checking. He said, "I'm out here checking the hardest receivers." What the fuck is Jackson gonna teach me? DJ, yeah, you got. I mean, I'm on the a He he's Rock. really not. A, he's not a good role model. We all know that nigga. That nigga a hot head. He don't listen. We we are, the stories that said Dante Jackson ain't ain't a fucking. He's not a classroom rat. The nigga don't like to study already. I mean, this is this is these are things we know. So, therefore, a rookie coming in looking up to to Dante Jackson ain't gonna be worth shit. Cause cause he's not a he's not a good fucking a leader. You feel me? I'm gonna be real with y'all, man. Look, if Horn doesn't succeed in his first year, it's gonna be because he ain't had nobody on the team that can show him the way, man. The booyah nah. gets on the way, but you know. Yeah, it's a fact, though. I mean, I mean yeah, somebody. Yep. Go ahead. Experience is going to be. Experience is going to be his his biggest teacher this year. He's going to have to get beat to run, man. Big facts, nigga. Guys, I'm just appreciate it. <clears throat> appreciate it, bro. But if you had fuck it, bro, I appreciate that, kept, bro. I can't do the woulda, coulda, shoulda. But if you would have still had fucking Bradbury on the team, Bradbury should have talked that man the way. Shit, AJ ain't going to be able to teach yeah. nobody. That nigga suspended the first two games. What about? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we seen all of nothing, man. Don't right, take that man. Listen to nobody. We just had Luke Kigley in our building. What? Who the hell did he teach? Mike drop. You you would have think that. And right? then teach drop. anybody shit. It's going to be a fucking pro scout. Uh, uh, again, you can <laughs> throw somebody in there. See, dog. <clears throat> you said you can do what? You can still teach somebody being a pro scout. That ain't stopping you from... Yeah, man, practice. why are you... First of all, that's you a slap in the face. That's a slap in the goddamn face. Let him be a goddamn pro scout. He should be a motherfucking hey, coach. He accepted it, didn't he? So, hey, that's all him. Shit. I was going to say, I mean... Let him got no... Man, let him... Man, let him talk about... He should be talking to the fucking linebackers. Fuck a goddamn pro scout. But, I mean, that's what I'm saying, man. So, that's... I mean, Matt Rule, you know what I'm saying? Let me check. No, 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 let me finish. Matt Rose, I'm saying, go kick it better as a pro scout instead of working with the fucking linebackers. That's some fucking bullshit. Yeah? That's all I'm saying, man. What the fuck? Pro scout, what the fuck? Man. He should have been got them somewhere in the linebacker room. Uh, some even you don't want to make him a goddamn a linebackers coach. You know, to me, he should automatically been a fucking linebackers coach. He fucking looked keekly. He's smart as fuck. Then who the fuck they they even brought in from anywhere who know more than but than him about being a fucking linebacker in the NFL or got them breaking down uh, obstacle plays uh, a whole bunch of other shit. Again, some players don't want to be in those roles. That's why he said he wanted his family time and have time to fish. I was gonna say. I mean, he gave you your answer. He said he wanted more time to fish and spend time with his family. I mean, that's just clearly. Well, a he probably want to be a fucking pro scout. What the fuck? 
Shout, shout, out to Luke, shout out to Luke Kigley. Want to get out here and catch some big ass bass. Yeah, man. Shout Pipe out to that boy got them a slap of the goddamn face. Well, yeah, I could have got it, but I ain't gonna be it on that shit. All right, there's another one going up right now too, bro. Yeah, I don't even want that shit. I canceled my shit. I did have. <laughs> yeah, man. I feel like Matt Rule deserve every bit of that fucking ranking, and, and, and he should be happy he's sitting at twenty fucking four. I mean, if, if we really sit back, I don't know. Is, uh, is there? Is there? Uh, it, it, hell, he might be placed properly because it, if we look at what he did this season. It's, it's coaches out here that lost a few more games. So Matt Rule is ranked ahead of a few of these bum ass head coaches. Hey you man, what, what I mean? Hey, anybody know what John Gruden ranked that? <laughs> um, oh, I'm shit, twenty third. He ranked right. I just want to know the both of them motherfuckers getting paid all this goddamn money. I just want to know where the fuck he ranked that. Yeah, I, I guarantee you that one of the least paid head coaches ranked top five. Or every top five head coach is one of the least paid in the league. You know what I'm saying? See, it's these young head coaches want to <laughs> want to ask for want to ask for fucking you know uh, quarterback numbers and shit. You know what I mean? It's stupid. I'd be damned if I'm paying a, a fucking head coach. You know, like like he a fucking starting player on my team. Matt fucking rule. Well, yeah, he got, he did, I, he, I think I think he, I think he overpaid, but that's another goddamn discussion. Oh yeah. Well, we got a chance here, y'all. We got a new sponsor coming on board here in the July, and they're giving our audience. That's right. Just keep pounding TV. Two people will get a chance to go to any game in the NFL they want to this year, and also um, they're paying for the room and board, or, or excuse me, the whole. Excuse me, let me let twenty here. Sorry. All right, let me let him back in here. All right, sorry, y'all. Give me a second. Let me let Twine back in here. <coughs> now right. I'm still mad about we ain't had no motherfucking tight end at the goddamn tight end shit. Fact, fact. Hold time. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. Hold time. I'm going to let you get in. But real quick, y'all, we got a sponsor coming on board. 704 would know who this guy is. Uh, it's a popular podcast he watches, and they're, they're, they're sponsoring them too. But they're going to give two people a chance to go to any game they want. They're going to pay for your airfare. They're going to pay for your hotel. And they're also going to pay for uh, eating and, I think, shopping. All right, so you got to be subscribed to Key Pounding TV. You got to be a part of the membership because what's going to come down is something special, man. They gave us an opportunity, so I'm so grateful for that. But uh, shout out to them, and, and, and just just stick around, man. Make sure you pay attention. All right, I'm out of here. Yeah, we love that. You might well go ahead and give me them two tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah. well, I, didn't even, I didn't even hear it, bro. Yeah, we got, we got a new sponsor, uh, sponsor coming on. And 704, I was telling him, it's a popular podcast that he watched. They sponsor him, and they're, they're affiliated with him. And um, they're giving away two game tickets. They're paying for air and flight. And they're also paying for hotel stay and food and giveaway. And uh, to any game, not just Panthers game, to any, any NFL game you want to watch, if you win it, they'll give it to you. And they're only doing it for Key Pounder TV. Shit. Yeah, so um, I'm just just be, make sure you're part of this membership, man. <laughs> hey, look, 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 look. So let's just throw some bullshit in the game, man. Huh? Yeah, and I can't win. If you want them tickets, if you want them tickets, would you necessarily go see a Panthers game? Mm. That's fucked up. Facts. Hey, man, my question, my question out of me would be 100 well, would you? Yeah. No, you, you got damn right. I'm at a Panther yeah. game, nigga. You don't have to be a Patreon I'm, subscriber. You don't have to be a Patreon subscriber. You just got to be a YouTuber. Hey, bro, I already, I already got tickets to the game, uh, to the most important game this year for me. Hey, hey yo, which one is that, Twa? The Patriot game. Yeah. That's that's, fuck. that's that's the only one that matters. <laughs> what about you, Sam? Nah, hey, hey, what, what week is that? I forget. Week it's nine. November 7th. Week, week 9. Week 9. Yeah, week nine. fucking cold, fucking cold game. Hey, four, I love it. I, I like it. I love it. Hey, Fo, what about you? Oh, he's going to put the hoodie on and put the tiger over your hoodie up. Yeah, this yeah. I might, I might just. I, hey, look, I ain't scared of it. Yeah, man. I can do that. I'm going to say it might be 70 degrees that damn Sunday. 
Shit, I, I hope it is Sebo, folks. So, hey, hey, sometimes we get lucky in North Carolina and get a seventy degree. No, that's November. what I'm saying. <laughs> Might hit with them preseason games too, man. You know, see if we're going with them preseason games too. Yeah, hey, real quick before man, I go, hey. man, I'm I'm like out of here. But uh, that, that one show y'all talking about, Greg Olson, and got that old buddy wearing his number. You know what I'm saying, man? I think, man. Greg Olsen number seven be war, just like goddamn Steve Smith, Cam Newton, and Luke Keekley and goddamn Thomas Davis. You know what I'm saying? Them numbers should be off limits. Not Cam, though, man. Where are my peppers? Not Keekley either. Oh, I said peppers, too. All of them. Man, man Cam, peppers, Luke, it's only Smitty, three, and goddamn Greg Olsen. Man, Greg it's Olsen true, got that. Man, look, look. That Greg Olsen going to be the fucking really Hall of Fame, three. dog. It's really only three, man. No. Only so, you, so you telling me Grant Olsen not go to the Hall of Fame twice? I'm saying Smitty, like I told you, Peppers, and the mayor, man. That's it. So you telling me we're going to get another it. tight end better than Grant Olsen in the, in the next exactly. 10 years? When Grant Olsen get in, get in, man, we'll be, we'll be in fucking wheelchairs. At fucking at the restaurant. No, fuck no. Fuck no. Oh, yeah, hell, fuck I, no. I, 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 I ain't got that. Yeah, you know I me. Mean? Do y'all know how? Do y'all know how long it takes to get into the motherfucking the, the whole thing? If you like, Greg Olson ain't gonna be the top of motherfuckers list when they think tight end. It's a lot more that's gonna go in before him, man. It's gonna be at least twenty. It's gonna be a very minimum twenty five years from now. That's so it. Ain't gonna be twenty five years. Hey, man, do you know how the whole thing works? <laughs> See, yeah, he he it first. To answer your question about John Gruden, John Gruden is number eight, 18 God, on that list. 18. That's yeah, you see what I'm saying? You see, get all that money. And I don't know why. Yeah, he, I don't know that's why he ranked number eight. That, that's just cachet right there, said Mofo. That's just his name. Getting him hey, ranked number 18. True. Did you, get that, did you get that list from that, the, coach, that, the coaching list I sent you? Which one? Shit, they got oh, Joe Judge with the Giants. He at nineteen. <gasps> with the coach, the coach was Yeah, Joe um, Judge, the coach of Giants. Uh, Bill Belichick oh, should be number one on that. Damn, he already got that Matt Rule. The nigga that's coaching the Falcons ain't coached a head game. Uh, uh one head, uh, a game is a head coach. He was offense coordinator. Mm -hmm. This nigga's at twenty. And my list, it got thirty. Got the boy from the Texans at thirty-two. It got Dan Campbell at thirty-one. Zach Taylor with the Bengals at thirty. The Robert Saleh, the, the um the Muslim guy that just took over the Jets is at twenty nine. Urban Myers at twenty eight. Nick Ariano with the Eagles is twenty seven. Joe Judge is twenty six. Vic Vangio is twenty fifth with the Broncos. Brayden Staley is twenty fourth with the Chargers. Mike McCarthy is twenty third with the Cowboys. Cliff King Kingsbury is twenty second. Arthur Smith is 21st. John yeah, Gruden is 20th. He's very higher than Matt Rule. He's, he's trash. He's no, nah, Matt Rule is listed higher on this list. It's Matt Nagy is 19. Matt Rule is number 18 on their list. Okay, okay, okay. Middle okay. of the road. Hey, real quick, let me ask you and a this question. Is the, this, is, this is the CBS um, NFL list, the CBS league. Right. Let me ask you guys a question. Well, he ain't ranked no 18. That's some bullshit. No doubt, no doubt. Real quick, this is a side note here. Um, did anybody see what happened to the Washington fuck off team? And um, did you guys agree with it? Man, hold on, bro. No, I'm mad because why the fuck he loses got them team like goddamn uh Richardson. Facts. And all that goddamn bullshit been going on for a long ass goddamn time. Man, that's the fucking bullshit, man. I'm glad you brought that shit up, big cat. You said off got them team like Richardson lost this goddamn team. That's the fucking bullshit, man. Facts. Ten million dollars ain't what happened, though? ten million dollars ain't shit to that nigga, bro. Y'all got to build a team. Uh, what happened? I was playing the same because he got down. He he got more money than Jefferson. Facts. Way more, you know what I'm saying? Facts. <laughs> what the fuck happened? It don't matter. He got a long ass fucking the pattern same, in the bullshit. The same shit I said on my live last night to him about them niggas getting fine money and shit. Mm -hmm. You talking about with Snyder? Something happened with Snyder? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, how, how did he lose mean? his team, though, man? Going, what, happened? what happened? He was going around slapping women on ass and treating men like shit. For like ten years. Oh yeah, and he ain't lose the team. Right, he just got fined ten million dollars. They, 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 they you had two. They had two of this prostitute and got them, and he still kept his goddamn team. That's the fucking bullshit. Let me, let me tell you why he ain't lose the team. Because big cat, you should know right away. 
Because he's the head coach of what team? Washington fuck off team. And that team is closest to Washington, D.C., right? Mm-hmm. And imagine how many politicians he got in his pocket. I don't know if that got anything to do with it. <laughs> man, look, what the fuck they got to do with the NFL, man? Does Donald Trump got to keep his fucking job as president? And he had to slap them bitches in the pussy and shit, nigga. Hey, look, that was well before that was well before bro, that man ran. But you gotta understand, bro. When you got politicians in your pocket, you good. Well, he got oh, one oh, shit. They oh, got oh, that oh. thing going on though, dog. And kept his fucking team, nigga. Well, all I know is is on this list, they got Rivera ranked ahead of fucking Matt Rule by one slot. That's it. To the goddamn cheerleaders. The That's fuck? it. That's it. Uh. <laughs> Yo, so, uh, on, on this list, because I, I haven't seen it tangibly. Let, let, let me finish it out. Let me finish it out. I want to know who the top five is. I got you. They got Brian Flores at 16. I don't, I don't know Brian how that is. Brian Flores at 16. He should be higher than that. Yeah. Okay, they got Mike Zimmer at 15. They got Mike Vrabel for the Titans at 14. Uh, Stefanski at 13. Uh, Frank Reich for the Colts from 12. Kyle Shanahan at number 11 for the 49ers. Number 10, Mike Tomlin. They, man, in my opinion. Mike Tomlin at number 10? Yes. <laughs> That's what I think this is. Mike, Mike Tomlin. That's the bullshit. Mike Tomlin should have lost his job a couple years ago. He ain't never had a losing season. He don't know how to lose his season. Are you fucking well, nuts? Well, I mean, hey. Damn! He's top five, dog. I mean, I say, look, this is why I say Mike Tomlin should have lost his job. Because all of the antics the motherfuckers do and, and shit going on when hey, you look, hey, year in, year out, I'm glad I ain't a fucking still a fan. Oh, look, year in, all he do is fucking win. All he do is fucking win. I don't give a fuck, nigga. The still is just doing shit. No. Stepped out in the way hey, and cooked the motherfucker. Man, I ain't hear none of that shit. He ain't see him, man. He ain't see him. He put Mike Tom in the same center of the map, bro. He ain't see him. He ain't see him. Check the, uh, the text. You'll see that list. Okay. Right, number, nine, hey, number nine is uh, Matt LaFleur with the Packers. Oh, uh, number eight is Bruce Aaron. You got him higher than Tomlin? Are you fucking serious? Bruce Aaron is at number eight? He ain't even coaching. <laughs> <laughs> number seven, you got Pete Carroll with the Seahawks. <laughs> number six is Sean McVay with the Rams. Number five, Sean McDermott. Number four, Sean Payton with the Saints. Number three, John Harbaugh with the Ravens. Number two, Bill Belichick with the Patriots. And number one, come on, y'all know who we're talking about. Andy Reid. Andy Reid. A.K.A. Ben and me, call her all the fucking plays. Tough. But Ben and me, but Ben and but, 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 but me, he gave him the play calling, so. Yeah, that know. ain't the list. I'm looking, the list I'm looking at got Belichick at one and Andy Reid at two and Sean and it, McVay it, three. It, it just depends just depend on who did the poll. I'm reading for the CBS poll. Yeah, oh, okay. he got the CBS. Yeah. yeah. Well, look, man, everybody keep pounding. You know what I'm saying? Pause up. And everybody have a great night. Ray Pat Bone, Twan Don, 704, uh, yep. Big Cat. Oh, oh, and all real goddamn stepper. You know what I'm hey, saying? Hey, you know what time it is, see, dog. One love, my yes, dear. Y'all boys have a sir. good night, man. All right, see, dog. Sir, you <laughs> Hey, Leo, if you out there, I'm ready to talk about Shakari Richardson and uh, Bill Cosby. Nah, man. <laughs> hey, hey, look. Hey, real quick. In, in person, see, hey, in, in, in real life, see, dogs a, a, a real nigga, man. That's a good guy right there, y'all. Yeah, man. In real life, fuck with see, dog. He, he, he know what he talking about. You know what I mean? Shit, I mean, look, hey, this is the, this the year we all meet up, baby. Ain't no ain't no COVID restrictions. Twan done took his mask off finally. Shit, it's going down. <laughs> I, had to put my, I had to put my shit back on, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they got a damn, hey, look, they got that new Delta shit out there, bro. Man, come the fuck on, man. I can't even fuck with it. They put that new Delta shit out there. They got that Delta, that new strain is out there. <laughs> that nigga is stupid. They ain't I'm, sure, I'm sure you vaccinated, y'all. I'm sure you got hey, your plug. 
They didn't call that shit American Airlines or nothing. They called it Delta. I'm sure. I'm sure you got your tussy shot. I'm just saying Delta sound like some shit that can really get you. Delta. <laughs> no, nigga, ain't got that. I, I got that Delta. That shit got me all fucked up. <clears throat> shit. Listen, man. Y'all better get out here and enjoy enjoy this world, boy. It's the Fourth of July. Hey, Amen. How you boys spending your weekend? Man, it's too it's too fucking hot to be out here fucking around right now. Man. Outside, it's like a hundred around this motherfucker where I'm man, at. Man, hey, that ain't hot, man. Put you some shorts. Put you some shorts on. Get out here and get some, get some, some get you some of the goddamn soda. Hey. Hey, I'm from up north, man. I like the cold weather, bro. I love it. Fuck that the shit. The heat shit, I got to be around some water to deal with the heat shit. Like, I, at the beach, it's acceptable. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, with I, it, you know? Yeah. Cutting grass in this shit, like 704, this nigga going to kill himself, man. Nah, 704, <laughs> get, 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 <laughs> get that goddamn money. Yeah, me. Yeah, it ain't. It, it, hey, Tuan, you, you get. Call from. Nick Gaskin. To accept, press. What's up, boy? What's good with your name? What's good, man? Right, another day, man. Thank you for the cash app. You blessed? You blessed, my nigga? Yeah, I'm good, man. Good, good. Let me let you up in here, G. Getting ready to move. He gonna fuck, he gonna fuck cut nah. your job. We got he gonna do my damn <laughs> Hector, Hector, the type they, 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 they <laughs> get out there early in the morning, take a shit in your yard. <laughs> hey, big he, he, Hector, I'm Hector, a, took a hey. shit behind your shed. I'm hey, about to get some. I'm about to get some. I don't know, my friend. They were nah. one, did it? I'm about to get some. They were I'm about to get into my inner Leo, man. We got Nick Gaskin on the line. Y'all niggas be fucking off on them damn, on them damn, them, them yard jobs, man. That's why, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> niggas be want a glass of water and all this shit. Man, get the fuck out of my door, man. That's why, like, 15 niggas done left out. Lazy ass niggas. Hey, man. Hey, 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 Candy, hey, hey, Candy Man, Candy Man. Shout out Sir Purr, baby. Shout out Sir Purr. Good, yeah. Sir Per. Anybody heard from Servo? We got Nick Gaskins <laughs> on the line. What's up, Nick? Nick, Nick, man. What's up, baby? Hey, one love for the cash at. What's good, man? How y'all doing? Gaskins. You already hey, know. Bro. Hey, this twine, bro. I need you to hit me up, bro. How you yeah, hey, me? Nick, he been calling for y'all all show, yeah. man. Um, shit. Yeah. I put my, um, hey, Nick, I'm going to put my email in the, um, in the chat. Hey, Unc, if you don't mind, what did y'all do when y'all met up with uh, C-Dog, if you don't mind? Okay. That's well, uh, nah, C-Dog C -Dog, C -Dog had a little engagement go jumping off. He was uh, he was with a few of his uh, lady friends and shit, you know what I mean, for, for a birthday party. So, and he was real close in my city. <laughs> C-Dog was like four or five minutes from the house. So, I slid around the corner to fuck with him. Yeah, man, him and his people, we had a couple drinks, a couple shots. Steamed a couple of them green things. You know how it go down. Yeah, you know I mean, then we slipped off to a little nightclub. Then you know it was, but shit, it, it wasn't a lot. Yeah, you know I mean, it was just a little night out. Yeah, you know I mean. Well, let me ask you this: What, what were y'all dressed in? Say what? What did y'all? Uh, what... you, you fucking. <laughs> nah, what were y'all dressed? Wait, up what did he say? What did y'all dressed up? You want to know y'all had them damn short sets? <laughs> oh well, nah, nah, I ain't had no shorts. See, see, dog, see, see, dog, see, dog was in his in his Nike <laughs> ensemble. You you know it, and and I stay in gangster apparel. You feel me? So what did nigga say was in his Nike ensemble? Yeah, he was he was he he was he was out there. See, dog was out that motherfucker. You feel me? <laughs> Shit, we had a good time though, man. Dragging on he that goddamn he, Jose. You know how it go. Nike ensemble. Oh yeah, what club y'all went to, bro? Uh, uh, black owned Jonas. Uh, Sea Dog people actually had it rented out, had it thumping too, jumping like a motherfucker. They had it rented out for a birthday party type shit. It was crazy, you know what I mean? Yeah, what's up, man? She says, yeah, yeah, it, it, it was fun, man. Fuck with me. Hey, look, I'm co I come to any city, it don't matter. You tell me where you at, I'll be there. You know what I mean? If you want me to pop up on your ass, I shall. You know what I mean? I think it popped up on you. 
Who did? See, dog? Yeah, nigga. Yeah, he was yeah, right. Yeah, he yeah, shit, he was around the corner. Shit, we had to jump it off. Hey, look, for the record, man, I'll be in the borough on Wednesday. Doing what, man? Hey, where? Hey, what check. time? Come to check out some friends, man. Some dreads. Some friends. Oh, some friends. All right, yeah. well, shit. Man, make sure you holler at me. It depends on what time, nigga. I'll be working on a weekday, yeah, man. Nah, I'm gonna be there all day. Yeah, well, that's what time it is. Make sure you scream at me, man. Shit, man. We got. I'll show you what what's popping around this motherfucker, man. Oh yeah, big cat. Let's hit on that other topic with the uh the, the NFL combine. Oh yes, shit. sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Take it over. Um, I don't know. If people been paying attention. Ain't really. Really do because ain't nobody really talking about it. I guess until a real official expires. But uh, the the coach, you know, they hold uh, the draft there at their house every year, and that contract about to end in two thousand and twenty three. But Panthers fans know we finna had the best practice facility done and built in two thousand and twenty three, and we should uh put our bid in for that because Tupper them gonna have the best. Sports science and all yeah, that. Yeah, shit hey, hey, boy, hey, some more folks, you a motherfucking genius. Because that might be what Tep Tep been lining up for. You know, motherfuckers don't make moves unless they they calculate it. They calculated moves, and when I say that, I'm talking, I'm talking one, two, three year in advance. Some motherfuckers make five year calculated plan. This could be one of Tep's. They with the facility that he's building, and and. And how he building up Rock Hill for what it's supposed to be? Why not sell more for? Why not have a fucking NFL combine? Right, you got the beach right there. Oh There's my God! So you what got you know, golf, golf, all, all, all that shit, restaurants, exactly food, seafood, whatever. Kind of your choice right there. You know, if you don't, if you want to fuck with it, you can drive into the city and pass Carolinas and come on to Charlotte. Oh man, I, why not? Why not though? And I, 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 they, they look, it's beautiful. But would would you attend some folk? Being being a Panther fan and knowing that the combine is coming to or close to your area, and and they, you know, of course they go sell tickets and shit for for you know for the public. Would you would you would that be something that you would would attend like an event you would look forward to the fucking combine? I mean, I look, I look into it because you know, just to tap in to see what players are there and different shit. So it plus it just I practice facility. So hell, like you said, why not? Well, seven to four, yeah, it's gonna I be think... outdoors, right? I mean, our practice facility is gonna be like, uh, I think it's gonna be like just a, like a building. But yeah, they're gonna have like an outdoor shit and, and like an indoor shit. Oh, okay, I'm gonna say so you can, you're getting both of, both for the both uh, that's a both uh, world. <laughs> Hey, look, man. But they saying a team like the Cowboys can get that shit, but Cowboys always get some shit just like they just got the HBO. Hey, hey oh, Sam, the Cowboys, the Cowboys can have that fucking hard knocks bullshit. Yeah. Nah, hey, so. Ray, Sam, y'all, what y'all know about that train wreck strain? Oh, yeah, I've been on the train wreck. Hell, yeah. Yeah, uh, that's, no, that's, that's all right. I'm on that gelato right now. I love that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, right now, <coughs> I got those <laughs> Sour Patch gummies, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've always been a big fan of some... Hey, Ray, 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 Where you get the gummies? What's up? I got to find them gummies. myself. I had to find them my damn self. Hey, look, you ready for this? Ready for this? I'll 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 holler at you. I'll holler at you. Yeah, yeah, Twan, you you want the strong Jones, yeah, man. You like yeah, you, eat, uh, you eat like, you two like, of the motherfuckers. You might have to yeah. call the ambulance. You feel? Me? I, I only fuck with the gummies, man. That's it. Hey, the gummies, is, but, hey, look, but, Twan, but you know, like I know, you know, like I know, them gummies can have your ass sitting on the stove lit. Yeah, gum, hey, gummies, look, nigga, gummies, I, 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 hey, look, I, I almost called the ambulance baby. one day. <laughs> nigga, I, 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 I fuck around, ate two of them, and, 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 and thought I hey. went too far. I, you know, fact, I did. I did. I went too far. Cause nah, I, I didn't just, know I had to sleep it off. That, God damn bro. it! I was gonna say, I've, bro. I think we've all been there at least once. I know I've been there once. Mm -hmm. I was at the beach last year, 
Yeah, and, uh, Ray, that's that's the, where the, I first the got thing, on the gummy. The, the the typical typical thing you take a couple of like bro, I ain't feeling shit, <laughs> and then you start feeling everything, and you're like, God damn, I gotta stop driving, stop walking, stop. Oh, All I, I gotta I gotta remember to blink. I gotta remember to breathe. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna I'm yeah. just gonna sleep this one off, bro. Yeah, I, I can do it, bro. I can hear my hair growing right now. I hey, real quick, hair growing, bro. What, hey, the did worst... y'all see the Javante Davis, the Tank Davis fight last Saturday? Wait, wait, hold tight, hold tight. Javante, who was that? It's an MMA or something? Nah, boxing. Javante Tank Davis. So y'all didn't catch the fight. I heard it in the name. Yeah, right? nigga, so I said it with um Mayweather. Told that nigga he was down. Shout out to Leo Poor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Leo says, stop abusing drugs. Shout out to Leo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Leo. Tell Leo to start abusing drugs. <laughs> like, I, you know, I, you know, if you listening to Leo at four in the morning make make you want to do one or two goddamn things. What's that? That's, 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 either, that's either wake up and blow your own goddamn shit off. Yeah, man. Dick, I got oh, a question oh. real quick, though. Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to cut you off, but did he tell us his aunt did crack cocaine? <laughs> hey, man, I'm so what, that promoted and shit? <laughs> Lee, Lee, that's why Leo talk like he called me. He, he, going pulled, he know full saying. well about drug abuse. Shout out to that nigga. Oh, yeah, look, man. Drug, drug hey. abuse run deep in Leo's, blood, in Leo's family. I'm a, I'm a little juiced up tonight, man. You supposed to be. I'm finna, I'm finna pop. I'm finna hey, hit look. on some of this Jose. Smoke me another good green hey, thing. I don't. I, I, look, I can't deal. Leo gonna blow my fucking high as he come on right now. Oh yeah. I'm yeah, cause Leo, 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 Leo. I, 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 I start to realize that Leo really has no mental capacity at all when it comes to shit. So when they, when we, you, you <laughs> at, at, at the topic is football, his. His 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 fucking attention span on football is short. He's so he's so ping pong ball. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I, last I, time, he tried to he tried to he tried to stay on topic last time. Oh well, Big Cat wouldn't let him be. Big Cat wouldn't let him be great, man. Big Cat said he was being too nice. <laughs> so see, see, Big, Big, nice Big Cat, Big Cat know what he's doing. Oh, yeah, yeah man. Big, yeah. it's, a, it's, a method, it's a method behind this fucking name. <laughs> if, 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 if you don't call him, bitch, I'm going to call him and make him come in. Yeah, yeah, it's oh, a method. It's, it's a method behind this, It's got about 10 more minutes. I'll take the attention seeker away. Call in, Leo. We got to talk about our Shikari Richardson. He's a runner. And, um... He's a track star. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we got to talk about Bill Collins. Uh, 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 Shakib uh, uh, Hamid. Sakib, yeah, my yeah, man. Shout out to Sahab, yes, my man. Shout, shout out him out. What's up, Sahab? Hey, Ray, where we at? Ray. Yeah, what's yeah. up? The, the worst, the worst gummy, the worst gummies I had with the high concentration, man, no fucking lie, nigga. I tried to vacuum my backyard. <laughs> yeah, you don't need no fucking. Hey, brother. Hey, hey, peace, brother. How you peace, doing, brother? Peace, peace, brother. You, you better get this shit pop off. Oh, what'd you say? You ready to get this shit pop off? Yeah, yeah, I got like five minutes and I got to um take a call, but I, I'll give you a good five minutes, but then I'll call back. Okay, okay, let me get you five then. And I was like, this shit ain't picking up nothing. We got Brother Leo on the line. What's up, Brother Leo? What's going on, uh, ladies and gentlemen? Peace, peace, peace. Oh, where the peace. fuck is the lady at on this line, yeah, Leo? Yo, tw yo, Twan, Twan, I couldn't even finish my cigarette, bro. I had to lay down and just stare at the ceiling until I cried. Bruh, when, you, when you go too hard with them bitches, you got to lay it back and think about bruh, it. They, oh, you, you bruh, gotta bruh. have to sleep it off, Twan. It ain't, it ain't no way around this shit. You can't eat bruh. nothing. Unk, you can't unk, drink no you, water. Unk, you can't... Unk, unk, it'll have you contemplate. So I'll tell you that. Oh yeah, hey, 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 real shit. I I ain't had a gummy since since my last occurrence. And this <laughs> this was you. Hey, look, I, I ain't gonna even hurt yeah, on you, Ray. I, 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 I was still with my last occurrence. Yeah, look, I'm, 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 I'm a little bit scarred, bro. I'm scarred for life. A little bit. A little bit. I ain't gonna even hurt. Hey, What's uh, up? I see. I see a nigga eating gummies. My man Clark. This nigga tried to smoke a cigarette on the lid man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out since when it was a drug addict, though. 
Like huh? I never I, when it when it was cool to be a drug addict. Like I never, I never. See, Leo, you know, see, there, there, there you go. There you yeah, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Leo, don't come in here. We ain't talking about drugs. We ain't talking about drugs. The blood ain't even rolled, Jenny. You fucking my house. It's Friday night. I just busted my ass at work all week between two jobs. Yeah, but you ain't talking about drugs. Let's see the end of my day. That's my fucking problem, bro. Like, don't don't come in here and fuck up the vibe. No, 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 no. Don't come up here and fuck up the vibe. Hey, never, nobody, never, Leo, nobody ain't got head. no friends. Motherfuckers leave out. I never out. understood. I never understood when it was cool to. You don't control drugs. nobody's lungs. You don't control nobody's That's lungs. Right, right, what, 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 I didn't know we were, we were talking about drugs right now. Nah, we, no, we, no, we're not. No, we're not. Right hey, so we I thought we were talking about marijuana. So you popping gummies? Next thing be popping pills. Next thing be shooting needles. What the fuck is it? I'm 43 years old, and I don't do any of that dumb shit. We got people. We got. We got. Listen on the line, and y'all they listen to you, isn't it? They listen to your dumb ass. So what? It's the same thing. Shit, but we like twenty five young... people don't left. We was at a hundred and something. Now we at ninety. I wonder we why. Got, we, got, we got young people on the line listening. You motherfuckers talking about popping pills. Nobody sitting up here listening at fucking damn near midnight, bro. Bro, man. take your fucking bitch ass somewhere else, man. bro. You stay in the vibe when you bring your bitch ass in here. Talking about they, talking about they defended bro, the most. Leo fucked the high up for. Don't kill my vibe. This don't I, kill my vibe. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's, that's you popping pills. I mean, hey, that's <laughs> they, they can't, ain't nobody they can't can't like You're the only stupid somebody, motherfucker coming in here talking about pills, bro. You're the only dumbass coming in here talking about pills, bro. I ain't stupid enough to be using no fucking drugs. I don't get high. I ain't stupid enough to get high. Yeah, I don't use any drugs either. I mean, shit. You get high, though. You getting high. What? What? You probably use some drugs. You're saying about. In some oh. states, that shit's legal. Fuck out of here, oh, bro. Oh, man. And fucking, and, 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 and homosexuality is legal. Getting married and shit. That shit don't make it right, motherfucker. Leo, what's the you, you, you know what? Here, here's the problem with you, bro. You are a judgmental little fuck. You should you probably be right, 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 right. You remember last show he said he, I, I, he, I, I right, he said it. he don't, don't he do don't, it. he said he don't, don't disrespect do y'all, right? But he just called, he just called niggas. Listen, 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 I've, I've said, I've said it, I've said it plenty of times, but I've had enough, bro. When you talk to me the way you fucking talk to me that night off air, bro, I, I said this, I said oh, the same thing to you then that I said on the live, bro. You are on the list of motherfuckers on site. And y'all think I'm playing. Y'all think Where I'm just going to sit up here and talk my shit. I swear to God. I'm Where the wrong you? fucking one. I'll smack the fucking taste out of your mouth of every don't, single person. Don't, and don't that's, not a, that's not a threat, bro. I make, make swear sure to God. You, don't pop a gummy before you come, God. though. Don't pop a gummy before you come. Don't pop a gummy because you're going to be high. You're going to be high. Don't pop no gummies then. You you are a fucking clown, bro. On some real Popping, shit. You are a I'm just fucking saying so, clown. But you, last week you had a problem. With, motherfucker had a problem. Motherfucker talking about that gay shit. Not motherfucker talking about that that drug shit. Like what what, what is it gonna be? Uh, I I don't know. We were talking about drugs, but all right. You know what yeah, motherfucker in here talking about? I thought we were talking about marijuana. Nobody was talking about drugs. Yeah, marijuana is the place. No, nobody was. Nobody was. You niggas now one is the plant. Now one is the plant. Now one is the plant. Hey, 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 hey why, watch bro. this. Watch this, fellas. Big Cat. If you just so happen to set it on fire. Ray Pelbone, 704 Twan. Watch this. Hey. Well, you know what? Hey, hey, no, hey, no, Leo, no, no. You know what? Leo. Listen, listen. I, ibuprofen's perfectly legal, but if you take 15 of them motherfuckers, it's going to be your last headache. <laughs> 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 and then fuck the hey Leo, <laughs> hey, hey Leo. I knew Ray was Matt, Matt Rule Ray twenty fourth on the overall head coaching scale. What you think about it? I think he needs to be it's, on. It's, it's it's an operative ranking. I mean, he is, <laughs> Matt Rule ain't did nothing yet. Man, he got to win. He got to win. I mean, he ain't he ain't no Belichick. You got to win something first. We'll see after this year. <laughs> hey, hey, you been watching the show since Big Cat went live? Nah, nah. I just tuned in probably like twenty minutes ago. Oh, okay. I was saying uh, about yeah. about thirty people just tune the uh, fuck out when you're yeah, done. Yeah. On. See, what see, because I, I only asked you that question to see what kind of response you would give me, and then your your soliloquy was only about five seconds long. The man got to win. I mean, I yeah, mean, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to see, I'm trying to figure <laughs> out if 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 it attains the football and and the question of the title of the live is Matt Rule being ranked twenty fourth. How you feel hey, about it? Oh, oh, your response was your man got to the man got to win. So that means that's not even what the fuck you want to talk about. You want to talk about hey. 
You 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 hey, come to talk about drug abuse and hey on hey on hey on hey on talk to me. Since, since this nigga been on here, right? We done dropped from 150 people to 97, and now the motherfucking chat ain't even moving no more. The shit is at a standstill. Nope. Nope. Motherfuckers, they they get the fuck out when he comes on here, man. They leave. Well, they a bunch of drug addicts too. Then they want to hear about that shit. Fuck them. No, they just want to hear you. No, see, that's how I know that is that is how I know this dude is stupid as fuck. No, the writing's on the wall, bro. People are tired of your stupid ass. That's what it is. No, call hey, Carlos Manager, made man. Right? Call, call manager, mate, man. <laughs> they're like, man. They're, 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 one, a, they're one another shit. five. I don't know Friday night. They want another five people. Shout out to uh Frazier for the cash app. Hold on. Yes, he, he he want me to address something real quick for. Hey, hey, look, 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 hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold your thought. Hold your thought. Because there one another four. I gotta go real quick. There one another four. It it is down to fucking ninety now. I'm gonna call back. Shout out. Shout out Frazier. For the cash app again, he said, "For well, why does Leo care for what other grown men do?" That's what I don't get. I <laughs> why do you care? Hey, grown, hey, men don't don't <laughs> grown men don't use drugs, gentlemen. Yeah. All right. Well, guess what? <laughs> I could literally I'm give you fuck what you feel, what you think, what you got to say, bro. Just, just Dude, hold on. The vibe up. You fucking the vibe hold up right on. now. Bye. We can't. We can't just Bye. let Leo get off the hook with that. Mm-hmm. Leo, can 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 you can can you can can you run can you can you goddamn reiterate what you just said, please? He said he had to take a phone call. He'll be right back. He said he'll be right back. Yeah, oh, channel my that neighbor thing. I, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a channel. I'm a channel my inner Kevin Hart and kill yourself. Kill you. Hey, 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 big cat. Uh, now I'm gonna light my blood up. <laughs> that neighbor in that gated fence hitting him up. Hey, look, yeah, because he, cause he said grown grown men don't do huh. drugs. Would gentlemen. you look at that? Would you, bro? I wish I had recorded that. He hops off. It just hopped up by eleven people. Big cat, it's for real, man. <laughs> how how oh the fuck God, just leave God. when you this nigga's going to talk about drugs, drugs, drugs and dying? Bro, you are fucking cancer, bro. You are a fucking cancer. Real. You kill people. You kill the vibe, bro. Call from. Pretty quick. They get the fuck <laughs> uh, It ain't rain. What you said is raining. You said it's raining. Nah, it's dry as fuck. No. No. It's, oh, it's raining like a motherfucker way I'm at. Nah. <clears throat> nah. Everybody yeah. was getting it in. Then he came in here and just dried it all up. Man, we was vibing, bro. <laughs> hey, 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 Ray. That's yeah. that's what she. Exactly. <laughs> See, Unc knew where I was going with that. Hey, fellas. Who is this? If I if I if I make this pretty quick, I'm back in here. <laughs> my bad. I'm laughing at the chat. My bad. Hey, not this pretty quick, but uh. Oh, oh pretty quick. What up, bro? What's going on, brody? What up? What up? What up? What up? Hey, thanks for coming hey. to the show last night, man. Supporting the show, man. <laughs> hey, man, I told you I was gonna be in there, man. If y'all have. Hey, day, bro, that was love. That was love, man. I appreciate that, man. No problem. No problem. Yeah, but sir. um, if I make too quick, I'm back in here. Put on on that on that drug shit. First of all, first and foremost, marijuana ain't no drug. Thank you. Second, we try to tell them that. That's the case. You, you, you call people with cancer, people who are eating habits or whatever, like eating situations or whatever, druggies, that's the case. So that's what they use for medication. Exactly. Hey, bro. I had, I, I, I'm in the, you know, I'm in the medical. I ain't even have a chance to get to that, man. It's just like, what's the, he going to downplay it anyway. So all the people that have cancer that are on medical marijuana, so that, I guess that don't work. It's a drug. You got veterans on that too, as well, too. With PTSD. Nah, they got here, motherfucker. People are getting better with that shit. Okay, so cause if somebody was smoking recreationally, they're a grown ass man or woman. They can do it. Why the fuck did he care? But you know, I got something to shut that down, and I, I think it's funny. Uh, Brett just literally said it as I'm having the thought. But alcohol is perfectly legal. But you got fucking pe- drunks out here killing people left and right on the streets. You got people fucking. Exactly. You got kids drinking their fucking brains out fucking destroying their liver by the age of 17, dying on their little senior weeks and shit at the beach. I'm going to let that weed kill anybody. And, then, and the next time they go to the go room, I'm going to tell them to take everybody's fucking keys away from them before they leave. Shit, cigarettes is more dangerous than uh, marijuana. Exactly. That shit, that's the shit that's killing motherfuckers. Cat piss and all kinds of bullshit and fucking cigarettes, man. 
rap droppings. <laughs> Niggas smoking the wrong shit out here, bro. Shit, hustling. Hustling paint, methamphetamine, that's drugs. <laughs> I mean, I know I just heard a lot of cigarette smoking feelings, man, but damn, I mean... Y'all seen two videos. Say, y'all know what I'm saying. You're gonna come at you're, <laughs> you're gonna come at me with anything. Come at come at me for the fact that I smoke cigarettes. That's yeah, I, I mean, that's what's really your choice, man. Hey, look, you you don't see all the you know what's in them shits. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Hey, it's on you if you want to do it, man. You know I'm what I'm saying, say, bro. These these, these yeah. cigarettes gonna kill me before the tree do. Trust me. Exactly. Trust me. Stop fucking smoke my third man. one. Leave them fucking cigarettes alone. Good, Charles. Yeah, yeah, I'm back, but I'm in the game. Yes, sir. Oh, bro, I'm you. telling you, Ray. You got to bring your Ray nerves down, blood, bro. bro. <laughs> just, his voice, just his voice raises my fucking blood pressure, bro. Well, that's too like- bad. <laughs> that's too bad. Get some blood pressure better. <laughs> you know, right? Get some blood pressure you feel better. Like- Bro, you feel like you had I, it, 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 for it, has, bro, it has been a long time since I wanted to just <laughs> absolutely blast somebody in their fucking mouth, and I swear to God, bro. Well, well, I'm trying to figure out. out. It's like, why do you guys you're you're like, promote you, uh, that shit, though? Yo, why, are why are you trying to figure it out? Why are you trying to figure it out? Why are you on a Why the fuck are you worried about what I'm doing? Politics because and everything. I'm, else. I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about the other. I'm worried about the little. You kid think I really have shit. any? You think I have? You think I'm gonna give a fuck about anything you have to say out of the worried, shit that worried, has worried, out of your fucking mouth? Are I'm you worried kidding about, me? I'm worried about the young. Hey, shout out, shout out, Ty Black in the chat. Say for Greensboro, Indianapolis, uh-huh. and Reesville. He, well, you got family where? Where you got family everywhere I met? You got people everywhere I met, baby. Shout out to Ty Black. Yes, sir. Shit, that nigga sound like family. <laughs> it might be. Yeah, you never know, Twan. You never know, boy. Man, bless. Hey, we all family. Somehow. Yeah, how, yeah. How we spread out out this motherfucker? I, I found out a couple weeks ago. Big Cat, my fifth cousin. Mm-hmm. Yep. We all family somehow, man. Yeah, I'm fucking with somehow. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you can believe that shit. Yeah, believe good. it. So let me let me ask you this. Um. Let's get to Leo. Let's get to the shit we want to talk about. Chicago. Oh, Leo, you back, babe. You, you came back. Well, yeah. I got gummies for you. Give me your well, address. I'm going to send well, you a well, pack. Well, 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 hold on. Well, hold on. Since we're on uh, our t- no, no, thank you. No, thank you, sir. No, well, thank hold on, hold on, you. fella. This Leo, is- give me your goddamn address. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't thank you. I appreciate it, but, but hold, hold that, hold that for yourself, brother. Well, hold Send on, man. To the tent city, on. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's the good <laughs> Wait, I'm scared, Rose. Hold on, man. He said, God damn. Right to that shit. Hold on. Actually, this is actually set. Hey, hey, Leo got a five pit out that bitch in head. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Actually, this, this, this segue, this segue perfectly to what I want to talk about. Shakari Richardson, the, the 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 lady with the red hair that they've been breaking all the records here. She's you instantly talking about, talk about the young man, huh? Oh, man, wow. what are you doing? He's instantly going to some controversial what, what, shit. He know Leo what, won't want to talk. What, we're about, talking about yeah? the young lady who's been breaking all the records, and I I personally believe she's a hottie, but um I, I think she came out gay if I'm not mistaken. She don't fuck with she don't fuck with women. I mean men, bro. No so su- he, no surprise. Who who's surprised? Anybody surprised no about su- that? Yeah. So, so Leo, what you, what, yeah, what, nah, nah, Leo, with, 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 with niggas out here like you, the big, big cat, guess what, big cat? Yeah, hey, guess hey, what? Look, I, I got yes. a quote I like to say. I, I like to say, I say, I say, ninety percent of these women out here is mad, Leo, because ninety percent of these niggas out here is fag, Leo. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I ain't got no argument with that, brother. I agree. No, I, 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 see, I, I, you, you, you make my point. When you when you literally just say, hey, can anybody argue with that? Yeah, Leo, it's motherfuckers out here like you. These 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 men and you fall you fall along hey, the, no, the no, percentile no, no, of no, the no, ninety no, no, percent no, no. I'm talking about. No, 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 I'm not just cause I don't follow you fucking yep. following ass niggas smoking weed looking like shit. <laughs> I just cause I just cause just cause I just cause just kind of jeopardize my motherfucking health for some stupid shit, just get fucking high. Because I'm a we don't know what you look like. We don't know what the fuck you look like. Just because I'm an addict, that don't mean I. We don't know what we don't know what the fuck you look like. I I remember so you, growing up being. A yeah, I, 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 I let that, that shit go that. over my head. I let that yeah, shit go over my head. I know. You know what you look fucking weed, nigga. That's why it's going over your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Leo, Leo, stop it, stop it. Went over your head because you too high. Nah, down. 
Look, man. Put it down, man. Put it down. Child, Put it down boy, boy, please. Boy, please. Boy, stop you need this some, shit. You stop you need this shit, some, Leo. You need some type of... Hey look, hey, look, hey, look, hey, when we meet up with Leo, y'all get his attention. I'm going to drop something in his goddamn drink. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some, some God in his drink. <laughs> I'm going to drop something on your ass, boy. Yeah, man, you, I like I like to hear that shit. I'm going to drop something on your motherfucking ass. 45-year-old man. I ain't worried about it. I ain't worried about it. I ain't worried about it. Yeah, I you know, you Leo. Leo, I wouldn't do no shit like that. I know you weren't, brother. I know you weren't, brother. I understand. But look, Leo, I'm saying, my, Leo, my Leo honestly, is that, honestly, I know, I know you ain't a malicious guy at all. You know what I mean? But, I, but, 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 I just want people to shit. understand what you do is what you do with your personal life, but don't promote it as if it's the thing to do. That's my whole. Hey, thing. nigga, is this? Hold on, nigga. Is this your channel? Is this your fucking channel? Is this your <laughs> like, the, 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 the Leo on, you gotta, you gotta hear what, he, what he's saying well, because he's saying, he's saying, he's saying, he's saying something because the whole time, Leo, Leo, now you've been, a, you've been, a, you've been gracing this channel with your presence for, a, for a little moment. Now. Show. Hold on, so hold on. Get the same well, get the let me, let me get to my point because my point is, Leo, you've been coming in and out the channel, and not once, not once have you, have you enlightened us. On what you truly are into, on what you truly do for a living, on what or who you truly are, Leo. So you know why? When, you know why? You come out, no, hold on, Leo. Leo, hold on. No when you come out this motherfucker, yeah. Why. When he come no out this motherfucker and say, "Don't promote certain things." Leo, I'm a, I'm promoting exactly who the fuck I am. This is this ain't no smoke screen. When when, when I say who the fuck I am, nigga. This is who I am, Leo. This ain't no, this ain't no, no, just for the internet type shit. I don't do this shit for YouTube. This is me. So, so I say this to you, Leo. Who are you, my friend? No, who the fuck I'm are you? you? I'm telling you that smoking no, marijuana is a drug. Hey, somebody, that's my gummies, point exactly. Listen, Leo, a I'm going to ask you again. Listen, now nobody on this chat, nobody in the chat or, or on this line is talking about popping a pill. You're the only one that said that. So what, what, what I'm saying, what I'm saying to you, Leo, answer my question. Answer my question. Who are you, Leo? Who, who, who are you, my friend? I'm, I'm worried about the impressionable youth. That's all. I, I don't give a fuck about you grown ass men. Man, you don't give a fuck, fuck about the youth, nigga. If you don't give a fuck about the youth, then keep uh, a fucking name out your mouth of what the fuck I do with my my fucking time, bro. Don't, don't worry don't about what the fuck it. I, I do. Don't promote it. Don't promote it. Don't, don't tell you me don't what to do, nigga. Don't give a shit about y'all kids. How about that? Don't tell me what to do, pussy. How about how about that one? Hey, look, y'all. Don't worry. Don't worry about what the fuck I do. I'm, I'm under the this, impression man. that that Leo Leo has no true identity. He don't know who the he fuck he. Leo's a fraud because I I, I I ask you straight up. I'm 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 expecting a nice little soliloquy of who the fuck you are, Leo. What, what, what do you stand for? <laughs> what, what is it that Leo stands for? That promotes oh. it. Jay Z got a screen. Oh. Another Calvin Johnson got a screen. All oh. these people who got yeah. money got screen. So tell oh. Leo. He uh, he doesn't matter, and, and I'm gonna say this as far as that limpid girl. Um, does people notice that Michael Phelps smoked weed? And he was a fucking yep. swimmer, and he was in Olympics. Yep. Well, yeah, yeah, he still, he still got, got his goddamn endurance. He never failed the test. He never oh, failed the test. He never failed the test. He's a Republican. He never failed the test. 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 He never failed we're we're supposed to be sitting here talking about football, right? How many players have we ha sat here and heard and said they'd rather be able to do that than take all these fucking pills? Hey, she said that shit. I mean, mm -hmm. hey, hey, Ray, we we got all kind of fucking medical facts that we can back up our fucking our fucking you know statements. So, no, right? I, so guess, I guess my Leo, Leo, so, I, so, I, I'm only asking Leo who the fuck he is. Yeah, 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 what what I'm gathering is that basically oh, Leo thinks oh, well oh. over half of the NFL is a bunch of bums oh, and fucking Do you know this nigga had a dream job down in Miami oh, or no. South Beach? But he, he decided <laughs> he decided to turn that down. I wonder why. Oh, 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 you want to know why? You know why? There's two sides of the story. You want to know why? Leo, I don't want to know why. 
He, he made hey, a request for this. Leo, job. listen. Turned, hold on, he fellas. He turned, Leo, he listen to me. Leo, listen to me. Uh, uh, it's, been been a while. <laughs> it's been a while since you've been on this fucking platform. Man, so, we should have been known who you are. We should have been known who you are. You want to know who I am? Please enlighten me. I'm not a drug addict. He's a runner. He's a track star. <laughs> Hey, 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 um, hey, um, oh. yo, there ain't no drug addict. Hey, 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 um, um, Ray, some of four, sing it with me, man, to make this nigga go away, man. I'm in love with Mary J. She <laughs> makes my heart burn. She makes me feel all right. She makes my heart say. I'm about to cut this shit. I'm about to cut this shit. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm <laughs> Nigga, what? <laughs> do you do? Do you do? Do you do? Do you do? Don't stop! 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 <laughs> Leo, Leo, you can't even ride with me because I got high. Because, because, because do you know, do you know that marijuana is is so enrooted and deep rooted in the black community? It's it's almost like fried chicken. God damn it! Yeah, man, what the hell wrong with you? <laughs> Hey, look, this one put it in the food. This is mine. Didn't love him enough. I don't know. Didn't tell him he loved him. This one put it in the food. Hey, oh, you ain't ever had no weed? That weed fried chicken? They put it in the food now, nigga. Yeah, I ain't. Nah, Twine. You try to kill your goddamn. Just hey, 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 and they put they put some heavy milligrams in your in your fucking crispy chicken weight. And you done fuck around eight twenty of the bitches. <laughs> mm. You you gonna have to sleep for about eighteen hours. Them damn, them damn weed wings, bro. The motherfuckers is hitting, bro. Nah, that's one thing I can't do. I can't sleep while I'm on that. I gotta nah, eat hey. mine out. Man, nah, yeah, man, nah, the fuck gummies. Hey, you eat the right motherfucker. You either call the ambulance or go to sleep. Uh, I told you, gummies it's don't only do two choices. <laughs> y'all system, y'all system different from mine. And gummies don't do it for me. We got Boy, to hey, legalize it. Hey, look, uh, me and my wife, me and my wife ate gummies in the hot tub, nigga, and woke up in the bitch the next morning. Water cold, <laughs> and water cold in a motherfucker. Hey, look, hey, we both could have drowned in that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fell asleep in that bed. You, hey, look, that shit crazy, man. Y'all, man, hey, look, yeah, hey, hey, Leo, Leo, I, I say to you, my friend, start living. What, what is, what do you do for fun, Leo? The conversation, he his life is miserable. The, convers- <laughs> the conversation is beneath me. Let's talk about football. See, okay, that's conversation. He said, "Let's talk about football." He know about football. Let's no, let's let him lead the about conversation, about Leo. I'm gonna light like the blade. You be drowning. You be drowning. Man, like the book. conversation beneath you. I I mean, when the guys, that's how I come out. If the conversation is beneath you, if the conversation is beneath you, hit 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 that little red button on your phone, bro. Yeah, that white girl alive with his fingernails and shit. I hit, hit, yeah, hit that end button on your phone and get the fuck out of Hey, very yeah, seldom do we get this goddamn type of reaction out of Ray. Only Leo <laughs> is is the result hey, of that. Hey, wait, hey, wait. I can't ha, yeah. ha, ha, all the time. Every ha, night. Ha, 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 every night. Every day, nigga. Ha, 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 ha. I get ha, ha, ha. Stop every this shit. Every day I need an hour and a half. Come on, man. <laughs> Hey, this nigga high. Look, we get this nigga high just talking about this shit right now. Hey, Leo, Leo, I told right you now. to lead the conversation. You talking about let's talk football. Yeah, what you doing? What's up, baby? Well, I'm waiting really on you. Go put some lean in this cranberry juice. Hey, I just popped my last one, man. I just popped my last one. 
<laughs> it's one. They, 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 it ain't candy. People, people in the chat be saying that shit all the time. Leo want to know about everybody else, but don't want to talk shit at all. Yeah, no, I, 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 hey, look, we we gave Leo the floor. We wanted to know who Leo was personally. <laughs> who Leo, <laughs> Leo is? Hey, Twan. Hey, you know what we? You know I, what we I, I think, it's pretty, clear. I think it's pretty clear. He's a fucking pussy. I mean, yeah, like, hey, Leo, I, I, hey, Ray, Ray, big cat. Big Cat right, Ray okay. seven oh four Twan. We we we've been we've been in the same bed together now. It's going on two years now. So, so, punk, so, so it's so it's safe to say, Twan, I know you. Big Cat, I know you. Big Cat, you know me. Ray, I know you. You know me, Ray. Seven oh four, I know you. You know me. It's vice versa all the way around. But when it comes to this Leo guy. Let me oh, yeah. ask you again. Who the fuck are you? Let's talk about football, gentlemen. What? Well, nah. Leo, nah. Leo nah. Lead, lead the conversation well, uh, then. See? I, Matt, no, he, he ain't leading shit. Yeah, no, no, he, no, he ain't leading shit. We're going to talk about weed until you get the fuck off here, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're smoking Virginia Slims. <laughs> so, let's go back. Hey, look. So, let's go. Maybe we get some weed up in them. <laughs> 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 he smoked them Ultra Slims. Yeah, this nigga right. I ain't gonna go argue with a nigga who smokes cigarillos, man. I mean, get the fuck out of here, Leo, man. The fuck, hey, look, man, look, but check this out. Hey, hey, Ray, hey, um, um, the boy Todd Black said, Twan, I was listening to y'all a few shows ago. He said, I had family from Tarboro and Rocky Mountain area. Y'all was talking about Todd Gurley from Tarboro, but y'all didn't mention Montrez Harris from there. I didn't know Montrez Harris was from there. What's uh, the name from? I didn't either. Hey, oh, somebody said you was the feds in the crowd in the chat. <laughs> no, no, they said oh, no, oh, he said, said they said Leo the no. feds. Yeah, yeah, yeah Leo. That's all. I don't trust Leo, man. Sometimes I think that nigga really is working with FBI or some shit, man. Man, no, nah, yeah, they wouldn't have him. You know what I mean? He too, he too inconsistent. Hey, look, did y'all see the Messiah? Look, that motherfucker looked like one of the guys. You know, he sold all the motherfuckers out, man. It ain't been done before, man. <laughs> so, hey, Leo, let Jay Twan, you on his ass tonight. No, but he ain't got yeah, no y'all, girl. Y'all like, on his that's ass. That's why he's telling me to fuck with us. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm fuck around. I mean, you won't borrow his word. I got a lady job. He fucking squish. Ray got a job. A lady, he fucking squish. My situation the same. Big got, cat situation the same. Uh, my man, look, my man, my man Seven got his bitches and squish. You know, and we call it here. This is after time shit, but this nigga is Leo. This is life. This nigga ain't got no ass. So he got to call Leo. Of course, of course. Look, look, let's break Leo down. According to Leo, he, 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 likes, to, he likes to go to strip clubs. He, he has multiple women, he said. Hey, so, right so, 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 so basically, basically Leo, Leo goes to the strip club. He has multiple women, which makes him a womanizer. Yeah, man. So we, 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 we don't, we don't, we can, we can take, we can break Leo ass down easily. Leo, Leo tricks on bitches and pussy, and then turn around and then turn around and degrades the woman. But then, but then talk to us and say we abuse drugs when we only talking the good green thing. The green. So, so Leo. If if you if you uh constantly uh, attending the strip club and you say you got multiple women, what I'm <laughs> what what I'm inclined to say that you pay for these women. Some, somebody said Leo got on the damn t shirt right now. <laughs> <laughs> this one we got on the damn a damn t shirt on right now. <laughs> you got on the mom's t shirt right now. Yeah, that shit say drunk driving. <laughs> yeah, we, Leo, Leo, Leo. See, I, I've been listening to you, brother. I've been listening to you. So you say you say you're a 45 year old man that attends the strip club with multiple women. Oh, bro. So you want to so, talk about? No, 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 no. Before you go, you want to talk about we killing somebody, bro? Shit, the shit that's crawling up in them women probably gonna kill your ass. Yo, you know, y'all ain't y'all not listening. Look, yeah, look like listen, listen to, to the criteria club. I'm giving you. Leo's a 45, 46 mm. year old man who attends the strip club frequently. But 
also he tells like us that he has dog. he has multiple women companions. Which means you pay. Look, George, Leo, George, Leo George, goes George, to the strip George, club George, to pay for companionship. See, these are the multiple women that he speak of. I the don't strip, pay for pussy. I don't pay <laughs> for pussy. I, 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 I'm gonna take. Pussy. I'm gonna take it a step further. Oh I'm God, a, I have never been to a strip club. Oh God. I've never been to a strip club. Hey, never Leo, hey, hey, seven more for this. Ray, hurry up, get your ass to yeah. Greensboro, yeah, man. Nah. Ray, you nah, get off the ball, too, Ray. <laughs> I, ma- I made it to 33 without going. I'm good. I'm good. If I was going to nah, go, it would have nah. been, been in my 20s when I was in Florida. Nah, like, nah Ray, fuck that. that. I, know, I, know, I know Justice will probably wear some near, so I'm going to take that as a cold word, nigga, some shit. Nah, everybody knows. You know, everybody knows me knows that. Hey, shout out Ty Black. Hey, hey, uh. Uh, he asked me, did I know DJ Polo and DJ Storm? Of course, my G. Of course. Hey, Ray. Ray, man. Yeah. I'm, Dave, you probably should never go there, bro. Because, look, some simple no. clubs, I can tell yeah, you. Let's go change his life. You ain't going home. You ain't going home. Yeah, he, he'll be there every weekend. Every, every weekend, Ray, in there. Ah. Hey, Ray. No, I'm good. Woo! I like I like money. I'm not gonna just give my money away for free. No, I'm but see, you are, if you know how to spend money, you ain't gonna drop no money. money away for something that I could do for free. Get for free, see for free. I'm good. But well, see, Ray, know. hey Ray, look, we got a strip club. We got a strip club around here. They let us in. You can bring your own bottle in. You can bring your own bud in there. You sit back. You twist up, Ray, smoke, drink all night long. Listen to some ill music. On top of that, you if you if you wanna if you wanna entertain the women, you can. You know what I mean? And they, you know, they they walk they they ass new, bro. Hey Ray, let me go ahead. Let me set the scene up. You got that fire green in your mouth. You got some motherfucking. You got some motherfucking pop smoke. Some Dior playing in the fucking background, <laughs> and like, and like three fifty smoke, and like three fifty inch asses in your face. <laughs> nah, I'm trying I'm to tell you, bro. I'm trying nah, I'm to good. tell you. Like I said, hey Ray, I go, I go with my wife. Yo, me and my wife go to the strip club. I mean. It's, it's you, know what? you know what, Unc, Unc, I could understand that. I, I honestly could. I can understand that. Get yeah, that. Take that sounds like some, take your lady with you. Because then guess what? Because then get you all together, and then I'm sure you go home and handle business. So at the end of the day, I could get that. But just going by yourself and some fucking gym shorts and no draws, that's, that's some foul shit to me. Well, you go no, for a reason if that's your ensemble. Yeah, if you go like this, you go for a reason. <laughs> yeah. You already, yeah, uh, yeah, you already, you already got a a, a crispy one hundred uh, bill tucked yeah. some goddamn well. Wait, yeah, wait, some of the niggas has got a problem. They'll never go home, bro. <laughs> yeah, Leo probably eat at the buffet at the fucking stripper at <laughs> the strip club. <laughs> Hate that. Hey, man. I'm chinky eyed as a motherfucker right now, bro. What the chips? Oh, the head toys, yo, you over there, buzz and nigga. I'm flying. Hey, so hey, real quick, let me change the subject. Hey, did y'all did y'all hear what y'all president what the, what the president said when he was asked about uh when he was asked a certain question he want to ask this weekend? What what the president of 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 this country said? Man, fuck Joe Biden. Yeah, that mother. Uh, nah, hell no, nah. hell no. Nah. Don't you ever say that. You voted. You, you, you was a, you was a Biden supporter. Now, uh, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look. How we, what we uh, Trump. how many months? I, I how many to, months after the after the I election? Voted, I voted to keep Trump from going in there. Hey, hey, how many, how many months removed from the election are we? I, I, but either or, so many people who voted. Are ashamed of who they voted for now. Do you know that? Uh, it was about seventy million motherfuckers that was ashamed of who they voted for in the last four years. Man, please stop it. Because Trump, 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 I don't want to talk with the, Trump, 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 talk with the president bullshit. Yeah, nah, pre- we ain't. But I just want y'all to. I, I, I was asking if you heard what the fuck he said. And hey, your oh, president, your president said, look. 
It's Fourth of July weekend, goddammit. I got it's ball games going on. I got cookouts to join. I'm doing shit this weekend. That's what your president said. Don't ask me shit about nothing this weekend, goddammit. I asked everything <laughs> next week. Said the summer got stolen from him last year. He missed the fourth of July last year. He said he won't miss it this year. He got two, three hundred people attending the cookout this year. He Biden said, fuck the dumb shit. Don't ask me nothing. Now if Trump would have said that shit, y'all would have said it was gangster. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I, I say it's gangster because Biden said it. It's real life. Yeah, That's man. real life hey, shit. He said, look. Oh. Hey, shout out, shout out Jamar Reed. Shout out Jamar Reed. Got, got his goddamn, got his goddamn binoculars on. You already know. Just all them niggas is crooks. You already all know. Them, all them niggas is crooks, man. Everybody keeps trying to choose a side, man. Uh, they, Jamar Reed. The way, they all crooks. What kind of names these motherfuckers got in that day? These niggas in the internet make up names. I mean, they, you think Leo is his real name, man? Yeah, see, that's the point. That's the problem. See, <laughs> Big Cat, Big Cat must have switched that nigga off and got him on a separate call. Cause I ain't heard Leo say shit. Cause when I ask him who he is, he he deflects from that. You no. know what I mean? All I all I want to know is what the fuck he into. What the fuck he into? You know what I mean? Oh, who, who, who? Huh? He in there. He listening. Oh, okay. He just don't answer questions. Yeah, I, I mean, who who are you, Leo? Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite player on this current team, on this current Panther squad right now? And please Surfer. don't say CMC. Surfer. <laughs> Leo. <laughs> hey, well, hey, that question go to y'all too. Before the season, before we even see a fucking snap this season. Who y'all going in there? Who y'all going into this season riding? I'll with? go. I'll go first. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Who? Oh, Spider, Spider Man. The end. Yeah. Spider. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Who you? Who you fucking with, Ray? Man, what the fuck I do? Hey, look, boy, I done got so goddamn high. I done did something with the blood. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I did with it. God, hey! Oh, I, I, yeah, she, hey, that motherfucker so high, she done laid the bitch down on the nightstand and went to sleep. Didn't even pass the bitch back to me. Yeah. See, 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 Leo, that's the life I live. You hear me? That's that's the life I live. Put putting a putting a bad motherfucker to sleep every night, knocking her ass out. <laughs> mm. Putting a bad Ooh. motherfucker to sleep every night. Now, nah, see, Big Cat got his ass on the other line, yo. He got us. No, he, he got up. us nah, switched he over. He hung up, bro. Who, Leo? Yeah. Yeah, see, all I want to know is who he is. Big Cat, what type of shit is he into? Who is he? I mean, who Big is Cat. he off of behind, oh, man. Or behind the scene? Big Cat cuddles that motherfucker. Good guy, man. This is boy. Yeah, Big Cat, you got to know who he is behind the scene. Oh, yeah. Hey, I already tried to ask. His yeah, Big Cat knows who he is. A, a dude that calls him on Father's Day and sends him money. Yep, that's, that's who that is. Yeah, cat. Okay. Sounds a little suspect. Big cat, tell a motherfucker quit watching your goddamn pocket. Hey, you see what I post on the page for people who watch people's pocket? <laughs> <laughs> if you go back and still see it if you if you if you follow the social media, what they say about motherfucking pocket watching. <laughs> hey, I, I say get your money, dog. But, uh, mm -hmm. Yo, I told him to lead the conversation. What, what is it? To accept, press one. To send a. What is it? You already know. Zilla. Yes, yeah. We got the hardest working DJ in the building, Chad Zilla. What's good, G? What's up, fam? My God. Chad hey, Zilla, what's poppin', my pop? Y'all seen, seen that TikTok shit? Y'all seen that TikTok shit when they go, that's. 
That's your man right there, Big Cat Go. Mm-hmm. Hey, wait, what about That's that mine. Remix? And I'm sticking with him. Shazza, what about that remix? Hey, nigga. Say that again now. What about that remix that went hard this morning, this evening? <laughs> you know, you know, hey, you know what? Remix, nigga. You know what you <sighs> Hey, it's number a little soft. Hey, shut up, nigga. Don't shut up, nigga. waste you know my time. Beat, what do you say, big cat? Yeah, she ain't nigga. gone. Shut up, I can't hear you. Yeah, big cat laid on that goddamn flow. Yeah, man, get your ass up, man. Uh, Leo, I'll come back in so we can talk about Shikari. <laughs> this nigga laid on the fucking floor, man. <laughs> man big cat, he ain't got shit to say about her neither. Hey, hey it's going to be, man, come on, man. Not, <laughs> not, 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 that's going to be informative. Yeah, talk about good. the pudding pop. Y'all talking about Bill Cosby. Yeah, Bill Cosby is out. Bill Cosby is out. <laughs> Bill Cosby <laughs> Free Bill Cosby, he out. You know, when Leah can't get his intake, he, he leaves. He's going to run off. <laughs> hey, I'm going to tell y'all I'm gonna tell y'all who I want to see flourish hey, this bro, year. What's, what's he good, Chad? for Big Cat being here. Chad Zilla, talk to me, baby. Chad Zilla, what's talk up, to me, Brody? Baby. Shit, you know it, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah hey, I'm, I'm, waiting, I'm waiting on that little email. Hey, yeah, matter of fact, let me uh Chad. let me I think Big Cat is Chad, tell that nigga he can't do shit with your beat, man. <laughs> hey, Big Cat. Easy work. Hey, easy hey, work. Punk. Hey, uh, you get punk, in front of the beat, you be punk. scared, nigga. I tell you what you do. I tell you what you do, uh. You I got a freestyle you, on this motherfucker. Nah, nah, nah. I, I give you uh nah, I give you two I'm, I'm, I'm about to freestyle on this bitch before you get anything, man. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But Style free or something. Tracks. Send me two reference tracks and I get with you, real talk. Yes, sir. Say no I'm a, more. I'm a, I'm a, I, cu- I customize what I do. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. I fucks with you. But uh, we, we did. Uh, it was a challenge. It was a challenge, though. I guess. Well, you probably don't know. You know, you handling your, your business. Oh uh, shit! Let me see. It was a oh, yeah, maybe it was a good. Uh, yeah, it was a good maybe seven live shows ago. Something like maybe six. Uh, I just do call you out, man. You from a Kingston? Um, QT, I what, his name. Q, uh, Q two five two. I look it up. Yeah, I look it up. Oh, well, uh, Q two hey, five two called you out, huh? What he said? Like for a Zoom. He wanted to say he wanted to battle you on the show live or on the Zoom. Nah, he used to say yeah, the Zoom. You know, I need to do on the Zoom. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I will. Hey, you already know what time it is. You, 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 that you know, hey, got you, you, you know, 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 you Hey, and real quick, hey, uh, my boy Ty, Ty in the chat, say what I know about Club Candlelight. Hey. <laughs> sit out. We used to sit out in the parking lot, wait for the motherfuckers to drip out of there. But I ain't never go in that bitch, you know what I mean? Club Candlelight. But it was always, it was always jumping. Hey, Chad, was, Big Slim said, what's your um, IG? Who? Somebody named Big Slim said, what's your IG? Who, my IG? Mm-hmm. Let's put it yes, in the chat. Uh, hey, yeah, I'll type it in. Folk. Folk. Chad, Chad Zuma. Hey, folk. Yo. It's on, yeah. it's on the way, baby. Huh? It's on the uh, way, baby. Oh, it should be because wasn't it yesterday? No, it was today. No, no, no. I'm talking about my my my, my mellow. My mellow. Oh, oh, okay. My, my mellow and my Trey Young on the way. Oh, facts, facts. You know, hey, real you. quick, don't that nigga Trey Young <laughs> DJ shit? Hey, don't that nigga Trey Young remind you of Allen Iverson? If you watch him play, that nigga Trey Young. Hell no. no. Young. I mean, he he's 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 better than Allen Iverson was. He was 
I'm gonna get up. Listen, I'm listen to up. me, Twan. Listen up. to me. Listen. I'm out. As as far no. as as far as his range I as a shot to jump. Look, Allen Allen Iverson couldn't shoot like Trey Young can. He had a range Trey Young, Young can shoot. Trey Young can shoot. Man, stop it. That he nigga can. got range, boy. He can shoot. Come on now. Got range, I mean, you Come shoot, on bro. now. Come on now, Selmo Four. For you to uh, say Trey Young no, can't on. shoot. Okay, uh, uh, okay. I'm gonna put you in this scenario. Take Allen Iverson off the Sixers, put Trey Young in there. Will Trey Young win one game against Kobe and Shaq? Just like AI did in seven game series. Okay, then man, you gotta you gotta understand who Allen Iverson was playing with too that year. I don't think you said he's better, so this is answer the question. I, yeah, I I I, I said he's better. better. He's better. I, I, better I, I, I mean, look, hold on now. You you got me. I ain't say the nigga was better than Allen Iverson. I said he shoots better than Allen Iverson did. He he reminds me of Allen Iverson in in, in, in the modern day of 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 how he gets to uh, the basket. Trey Young right? don't even have AI handle work, first of all. Man. <laughs> Trey Young, <laughs> Trey Young is a, that's a young star right there, man. Man, you, hey, hey, that motherfucker wish he could be Allen Robinson, bro. He that's a young yet. star right <laughs> there, man. He ain't that's Robinson. a young star. That, that little nigga can play, bro. He ain't yeah, AI. I ain't and, and, play. And look, he ain't AI. And for, and for him to be this young in his career, the big yeah, stage, I'm, I'm to, the I'm big stage about, don't break it. I'm trying to talk about the other young gun in fucking Charlotte. Who that? Pull up, man. Little, yeah, uh, right. The ball, get the little ball, dude. Bridges. Bridges, bro. Oh. Yeah, Bridges is a beast. He's a dunker right now, though, man. He, I, he, like, yeah, I, he, like, he, I like, I like, I like, uh, he's, he's giving me some Vince Carter vibes, and you know that's Yeah, he, he's a highlight reel. He's a highlight reel. I mean, shit, I like, you know, I think like it can do more than dunk. Right now, he's a highlight reel. Okay, he ain't seven right or four, seven or four. LeBron, 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 LeBron is on the fringe of retirement. Carter shit. LeBron yeah, on the fence right now, retiring. If LeBron leave the league, I'm through with basketball. <laughs> I ain't watching. Uh, LeBron's no gonna be done soon. Don't worry. And and he'll he'll be the third best of all time. Hey, so uh, um, behind, uh, um, behind Kobe and behind I had to Kobe argue with these. Kobe. I had to argue with these motherfuckers all like, last night. But oh, you know he gonna say yeah. And these motherfuckers said, these motherfuckers said, not only is Jordan better than LeBron, they said, but Kobe was better than LeBron. Hey, hey, shout you out said, to my boy. Uh, and me. And hey, hey, he hit me with a light cash and said, it's for Trey Young shooting 33%. <laughs> hey, look, I understand. I understand the numbers, but that little nigga, I like his game, baby. I really do. I mean, but once LeBron walk away, I walk away. God damn it. He about to walk right into that space. He about to walk right into that space, yeah. They said they got they they said they spotted him and Dame Lillard at a WNBA game. They didn't go together though. Lillard just happened to be there. They talk about Westbrook going to the Lakers. They make that shit happen. It's a championship. No, uh -huh. man. LeBron ain't playing with Westbrook. You can forget that shit, bro. LeBron will have, to, will have to slap the shit out of Westbrook, man. He ain't playing with him. Hey, Brian getting old. He might need Westbrook. <laughs> Westbrook, Westbrook, Westbrook he might need him to do certain shit. He ain't going to win. We will not play with him, bro. I mean, the thing that happened to LeBron in his late career was Rondo. I hate that nigga stop playing. With, I hate that, that Rondo ain't a Laker no more. I mean, that Rondo, shit. Ron, Rondo that guy, man. Yeah, he right. oh. <laughs> How does Westbrook be too selfish, but you average a triple double? Help me understand that, Nelson. Yeah, I know, right? Because Niggas be this is a This is oh, a you, 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 you can't even turn the ball to your fucking self, you People don't like Westbrook for some reason. I don't, I don't People just need to stop know. saying stupid shit sometimes. I don't see. I don't see the, the first, Jason Kidd. All these niggas that uh, the average triple doubles. That means they was fucking selfish too. Then put them niggas in the same category. Oscar Robinson. Yeah. They they was selfish. Mm -mm, yeah. What's book is a selfish player, man? Yeah. Okay. If half niggas in the NBA had Westbrook hard, you would think niggas yeah, would have. Now we have some good players. You probably number one. You probably number one. You probably number one. You probably number one. Yeah, you could have. I ain't taking that. Russell, hey, come up to Air Canada, Russell. Shit. He don't win. He don't win, bro. He don't win. You know? 
I mean, it's the reason why it ain't worked out no way he went. Uh, well, we can make it work. I mean, work. look at the coaches, look at the players around him. He had KD, he got to and all that shit. He got to become more passive, well, man. Who the hell thought he was going to win on Houston? Houston wasn't going to win shit with him on Houston. Come on, let's be real. Houston's done. They about to be the motherfucking. Now, I'm talking about when Westbrook was with that shit. If they couldn't win that shit with Chris Paul, what, what, what the hell you made you think that Westbrook was going to do something with? Because a lot of people can't play with fucking with James either, though. <laughs> shit. That's why the fuck he ain't in Houston no more. Shit. I mean, I mean, every, man, look, man. Them niggas, I knew they weren't going to work out when it started. James Harden and, and Russell Westbrook was not going to work when it first started. Are you going to add CP3 to that? Come on. So let me ask you this. You think, you think that Brooklyn shit going to work? No. Because <laughs> they ain't going to stay healthy enough. Man, Kyrie get hurt every year. Hey, 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 Kyrie. Kyrie owns something, yo. I, I don't know what the fuck's up with Kyrie. I look at his physique, that nigga, you know, his skin tone. So it's a lot of shit going on with Kyrie that no, ain't man. being explained. No, the nigga's a killer on the court. He's just not committed all the way to basketball. Yeah, That's I mean, like, like he ain't putting the work in off court. Off the court to physically, shit. yeah. For his body to physically with 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 to withstand a full NBA season. He's not dedicated to, to what's paying him them millions of dollars and see when when that kind of shit happened, his his fucking focus is elsewhere. And I say drugs, boy. That's what I say. Yeah. Drugs are the only thing that'll right? make you that'll take your attention off of the goddamn intricate details that it take to keep making it millions of dollars, man. That's the yeah. only thing. Not no pussy twan. I mean, the combination of drugs and pussy will do you dirty. But pussy alone ain't gonna keep your ain't gonna keep your focus off of the intricate details it take to keep making multi million. You feel me? Kyrie and, good, and, and and this nigga Kyrie is yeah, something going on with the boy, man. He just went one hundred percent in the basketball. Okay, what 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 is the avenue that pays him that multi million dollar that I'm talking about, right? But Kyrie come on the type of guy where he can walk away from the shit anytime and not lose no sleep over. I mean, he. I hope. I hope, Twan. I hope he. I hope he, he. I hope he is. But like I say, if, I mean, he, tell, he tells people in interviews all the time. He said, "I don't need this shit." I believe him when he said, "Man, I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't advise that he do that." Shit, I got to get that paper, bro. But he'll. he'll walk but he, but like you say, he he he's not one hundred percent dedicated. I'm not. I mean, I mean that's a conundrum, my friend. Mm. Yeah, my go. hey, that nigga Twan over there buzzed the fuck up. Mm. He damn sure is. He's talking louder than a motherfucker. <laughs> Twan, you ready to make that trip? What trip? Damn, this nigga out of it. Go to sleep, man. Go to sleep, man. All I'm gonna say is somebody, somebody can't spell Kyrie. <laughs> they, they, they're so spell? smart. They're so smart. Kyrie, Kyrie. They should say Kyrie. Yeah, Kyrie. So smart. <laughs> Kyrie, Kyrie, get your ass out of there. Hey, big cat. I'm gonna say, go on, go on, go on, don't forget. Yo, mate, we can That motherfucker is rich and the fuck your bitch. I'm about to promote dumb motherfuckers. That's why I'm about to promote dumb motherfuckers. Hey, seven more votes. Yo. If Twan can't be that gone, he don't know what Drippy going on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Trip. Oh, yeah. Hey, real quick, don't put me out there like that, man. Right, you there? Uh, did I say where you was going? You there? Hey, uh, hey, have you, heard, have, you heard, have you heard anything about the DJ yet? Have they got the DJ You got to get it in before. <laughs> I think the signing was today, right? The yeah, what's going on with him? I heard he, quit, he quitting after this. It's because 
we were talking about it last night, bro. Like 40, 50, 60 people will hit him up about like, yeah, I'm going to send this in or blah, 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 blah. And when time comes for collections or send-ins and whatever, because like he went, you know, he literally goes out of his way to grab these players. There's plenty of other players this dude could grab. Like he's not just strictly a Panthers fucking, you know, guy. So with that being said, I mean, it, he, he just basically got annoyed with all these Panthers fans. Typical, I guess, though. Uh, fucking saying like, yeah, 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 I'm down. And then just say it's 50, 60 people on the list, 10, 10 12 people actually send shit in. Like, yeah, happens all the fucking time. You, you just got tired of it. And I don't blame him. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's, plenty, of, there's plenty of other money to be made. Bro, like, you should see it. I mean, hell, did you just see the, the, the what was it, Mac Jones? He just did a fucking Mac Jones fucking signing. Bro, helmets and fucking jerseys and shit out the fucking ass. And pe- like mad people sent in for that shit. Man, that's fucked up. Yeah, he's sitting in for a whole down. bunch of Patriots. Uh, even uh, uh, Richard Seymour, uh, yep. Gronk. Uh, well, they go, they go, they go all the way back to the live, the live show y'all did last night, about or, or the other day about how the Panthers organization is viewed. You see what I'm saying? And and Big Cat, yep. it, it all starts with this fucking sucker ass fan base. Yeah, I was the one that's, who said that's, that. That's all it is. That's right. I was the one who said that. I don't know. I've been hey, telling the fan base some, some bitches from day one. Oh, from hey, look, one. I told you. I told you the culture has to change. It got to change in the stance. It can't. Twice I you're mean, a fucking hater. Twice yeah, you're a fucking hater. Listen. It, it, to to change. it, it got to change. change on them fucking home games, on them third and twos, or them third and fives, or them fourth down, or the, or the fourth quarter drives. This is where the coach, you got to change yeah. it. In you, the know, seats, you, know what, you know why the Patriots selling out? You know why the Patriots selling out? Because they fucking fans love their fucking team, and they don't talk shit about their fucking giants and their organization. Well, Twan, I mean, hey, you, you can't say Real that because you, you one of the Panther fans that talk about it. Damn, But listen, Twan, Twan, how many, how many times have I said, and I feel like this really does put it in perspective, Tony Romo is not even one of the legitimate greats in Cowboys history. Yes, he is. Any of that kind of shit. Yeah, yes, he is. Not really. No, he's not. Yes, yes, yes. yes, Let's let's be real. Yes, yes. The fuck he is. I'm not saying he's not. He's terrible. Listen, listen. To us, he really isn't though. But the Cowboys fans, he's he's. Yeah, yeah, but but look look at look at Tony Romo's numbers though. Let me finish. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Ray. They put him up there with, like, Aikman and all that kind of shit. You know why? You will never hear a Cowboys fan say a fucking word. Hey, bro, you back. Yeah, I'm back, brother. Pardon me. No, no, no worries. I'm not you here. Scott done more with Ben Tom, Tony Romo. But on our end, but on our end, yeah, we're not number wise. Yes, yes, sir. A quarterback How many plays I believe that Tony Romo will give a Cowboy? Hold on, let, let, let Ray finish. Let Ray finish. The whole point is, is that you're not going to hear a Cowboys fan talk anything ill about Tony Romo, and he didn't really do shit for them. He, he gave them some exciting seasons, but any legitimate wins and shit? No, he fucking didn't. That's just a fucking fact. So with that being said, you're gonna let's compare that to Cam's situation. Like, uh, clearly for us, and just in general, the way our fans and shit are to our to our, to our fucking players. With somebody like Cam, literally the best quarterback we've had in our fucking franchise history, took us to a Super Bowl. Couple and that's playoff not runs, saying much. Like that. that ain't saying much. Yet, that ain't saying much, but bro. <laughs> but anyway, as I was fucking well, saying, but yeah, we're, we're, we're so quick, yo, shut the fuck up. So we're so quick. We're so quick to judge and, and talk shit about our own players, but watch that shit. You see what I'm hey, saying? Big, like, what, what? What's up? No, no. I was saying, I was gonna ask Big Cat. Big Cat said something last show. I'm gonna address. All I know Cat. is uh, Cam was in Texas right now, Dallas, and they down there love him. Where, brother Leo? Hey, mm-hmm. Where, Big brother? Cat. The other the other day, you man, said you. Our Big fans is garbage, man. Big fan. Big our Cat, fans you know, are fucking you. garbage. I meant to address it, but you offended me so bad when you mentioned Uh-oh. that Cam Newton. Was it, you say the 48th or the 40th ranked quarterback in, in NFL history with passing yards? 46. 46. Absolute trash. <laughs> Absolute yeah, that's not, that's not good. That's literally what we that's not good. I was just in the history. History. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Leo, Leo, if you, if you look at him as far as running, 
If, if you look at his running stats, as far as quarterbacks go, he's number, right he number fucking one. He's number fucking one, Leo. Number fucking one. Example of our fan base. Big cat. Big cat. Big cat. Big yeah, and that's that shit I don't like right there, Ray. I'm going to need you to do what your wife did. Put that blunt back down. Big cat. What you mean? Let's go, You done said some shit. Let's go, brother. Hey. You done compared Look. Trey Young to AI, and then <laughs> now you done say it being 46 out of 100 years ain't shit. Facts. Uh, look, out of how many, out, out, out of how many years? Hold on, stop, uh, stop right like there, stop right 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 there, thousands of fucking quarterbacks, bro. Brother Leo, thousands of listen, 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 no, listen, 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 stop that shit. When, when, when it's all said and done, when we look at Cam Newton's stats, what what he will what he will be totally acknowledged for will be his running presence as a quarterback. Y'all can say what the fuck you want to say. Look, you can say the you want to say. But, but Cam Newton is a great. He is he is the best. You ain't saying that about Vic. Because what what are you gonna say about no, Vic? No, Cam Newton better than Vic was. Cam Newton is better than Mike Vic ever was. I mean, but hold on. But didn't Cam Newton break Steve Young? Had that record in rushing? Listen, listen. Yep. Cam yes. Cam Newton uh, is the best quarterback uh, when it comes to running. <laughs> Look, what the Steve fuck y'all not shit. understanding? What he you ain't understanding that I'm shit. saying? He I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you what's real. And then he turned he turned around in his rookie year and beat Steve Grogan. Rushing uh, touchdown record from a quarterback Look, in his rookie so, year. So, so, so what? So you, so you alluding to what I'm saying, basically that that Cam Newton, when when it's all said and done for his career, and it and it, when it's to, he's when going it's, to be recognized as one of the best dual threat quarterbacks of all time. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But but the dual I'm not, threat. I'm fine with that. The dual, but I'm but the pendulum, that. the pendulum, Ray, the bro, pendulum you, he in was that dual threat the NFL will swing time, towards bro. the running. You see hey, what I'm saying? Because that's what it is now. Ain't nobody standing there in, the, in the NFL that's a statue no more. Hey, 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 oh. hey oh. I'm gonna say, uh, hey, look, I'm gonna say it how I really. I'm gonna say how I really. I fell, really in, is, I fell in love with Cam Newton for no, his ability no, 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 no. to run the football. Hey, oh, that's 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 that's, that's, that's hey, what made hey. me. That's what drew me. Hey, oh. The the fact hey, oh. that he ran how he ran. Let me say something real quick. Let me make one statement. Let me make one statement. I could be done for tonight. I'm going to be fucking just mad real, man, because sometimes niggas need to hear the fucking truth, man. Um, the shit you said with Karen and, and, and the shit you said with, with motherfucking uh, with Steve Smith, when you ain't like Ken, this motherfucking Leo, he come on here and disrespect every motherfucking great player to play with the Panthers. Big Cat clowning motherfucking Cam Newton and all that. This is why motherfuckers don't fuck with us. Cause they said y'all don't even fuck with your own team, man. Huh? Hey, big cat. Oh, yeah, that's why. Oh, yeah, that's why. No, you talk about oh, shit. Let's, let's, go, let's go, brother Leo. Come on, brother Leo. Big cat, big cat. No, no, I'm talking about the staff, not the team. The staff, man. Let's you talk about the team, the staff, whoever, no. whoever you get them off, get them off, get them off, get them off. Big cat, guess who? Big cat, are you there, brother? Yeah, I'm here, brother. So, whoever, whoever you feel like right. talking about, no, 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 no. it can be Sunday, Twan. It can be Joey Sly. It can be you. fucking. It can be Joe. It can be Phil Snow, Matt Rule. It can be Teddy. It can be fucking whoever you choose that you feel like fucking talking. Hey, don't, don't, don't forget about Sam Donald. Don't forget about Sam Donald. Don't forget about Sam Donald. But look, but check this out. How do y'all expect anybody to take this serious? It's like, man, look, some of y'all motherfuckers people wouldn't even take serious. They're like, oh, you a Panthers fan? And you talking about this guy? Look, what, 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 you, what, I just, what I just what I just said is Cam Newton. Cam Newton, shit, he saying, he's going to be no, recognized no, on a Hall of Fame he, level for no, no, no. running that's the game. That's what Wade was right. saying. Y'all just smiling over y'all head. That's what Wade was trying to tell y'all with the Romo shit. It don't matter how mediocre he is. That motherfucker is a fucking goat down there in Dallas, bro. No, he's not. But no, most places, no, yes, he is. No, I'm not he's even not. talking to your faggot ass. Nobody, nobody, nobody puts him over. Nobody puts him over Troy. Look, man, they love, love him down there. Man, Romo gets way more love than Troy. Than Troy. I got family in Dallas, motherfucker. He, he gets way more love down there than Troy Aikman. Big cat. Yes, sir. Kerry Collins got more passing yards than Scam Newton. Damn. Lion. I mean, Lion. listen. Lion. That's what it is. See, don't get this it's not. It's not. doing Cam Leo, any justice to talk about to talk about his throwing numbers. You want to put fifty dollars on that? 
You want to put the see y'all? You see, see that's where y'all fucking up trying to trying to put Cam no. amongst the elite throwing numbers. No, he's, we not. he's never gonna first he's never all, gonna throw for 80, 70 thousand in his career. All, you can cancel that. About, we were talking about he ain't Panthers. gonna hit five hundred touchdowns. We were talking past. about you can cancel we were talking about Cam Newton as a Panther, not no oh. Cam Newton versus other quarterbacks. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, well, Cam yeah. Newton as a Panther seven oh four. He was he he was mostly. He was mostly goddamn glorified for his running ability as a Carolina Panther. And as, 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 as his running ability? Hey, hey, what is his running ability? Look, 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 say say what the fuck y'all want to say. Oh, how did he come out his first two games and damn it throw 800 yards? Look, 704. I was I was at the Red Skippy game when the <laughs> nigga threw for five touchdowns and set the franchise record. I was there. Now, that was Man, a beautiful thing. had hey, the same record. Huh? Yeah, but, Ryan, but but Ryan but but seven oh four. No no quarter no quarterback in the league is the uh, only one that may come close to Cam is gonna be that nigga Lamar Jackson, but he ain't gonna hold up long enough. His body ain't gonna withstand the punishment like Cam's did. But yeah, Lamar can't no, it ain't the same. Lamar yeah, no no things. quarter no quarterback will do what Cam Newton has done as far as a running his running ability on the ground. So what it does so how much you missing that sets him apart? Exactly. Exactly, Twan. I'm, I'm not taking nothing away from that nigga. Of, man, I told you. I told you. Don't for you to be a, to look, be a dual threat. You have to deal the with the way, the way, look, the way the way I was introduced to Cam Newton was in the Auburn season of of the year he won the Heisman, and that's and that's pretty much when the world was in it. Call from. No. <laughs> and and that, that deal was back then. Cam Newton got a millions of dollars back then. Look, got but, a whole wait, bunch of money. look, seven oh four. What I'm saying is that year I watched every fucking game Auburn played week week fucking one through fourteen through through the through the championship because of Cam Newton. I ain't know nobody else on that fucking team. I I knew them niggas gradually after I started watching Cam Newton. And this is this is what it wasn't his passing ability. I saw the nigga had an arm, but in Auburn, Cam Newton ran the ball all hey, over um, the college, man. Um, you cannot be called a dual threat unless you do both things well. Look, Juan, I'm not saying Cam Newton couldn't throw the fucking football. That ain't what I'm telling you, nigga. He I'm can. telling you, I'm telling you ultimately in his career, when it's said and done. He's going to be recognized more for his fucking running stats, not his passing stats. Because like like Big Cat and them just said, this nigga passing stats at around 47, 48. He'll never be top five, top 10 throwing the football, Twan. His, 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 his career's past that. He yeah, ain't yeah, there, yeah. nigga. He done had two or three I'd soldiers, sir. Go ahead, Brother Leo. Get him, Brother Leo. I'd rather, I'd rather can be that than be a nigga like Matt Ryan and a Philip Rivers hey, and all hey, that look, shit. Seven, look, 704. All look, the stat pad, pad the, the way the way the enough. way Cam Newton revolutionized the, the football game at the quarterback position. Nobody who, it, it listen. It'll never happen. It ain't gonna happen who, again, Twan. Who, who, who it ain't gonna happen again? Say. Who brought more excitement in football than Cam Newton did? Listen, who, brought more, who brought more flat in that game than he did? Listen, man, you, 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 I mean, see, you you ask a question that goes beyond hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, Look, I'm man, show nobody something. is going to take hey, us hey, serious. Well, hold on, I'm going to show you something. y'all talking shit about the motherfucking what, Giants of the team, bro. Hey, watch I'm going to show you. Leo, I ain't Leo. talking shit. I'm telling hey, you what he's going to be Leo, 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 Leo. And you this? And, that, and also, um, the thing is, we will at least respect your opinion. That's why we should be debating with you. Leo, he's just a hater. <laughs> we don't debate with that nigga, man. That motherfucker just said, that's it. That's why he comes for his daddy right now, because he knows only his daddy wants to hear that shit. Now, Leo, now, Leo check this out now. He just said who brought more excitement to the game, right? But now, earlier, Damn, now, now, earlier, now earlier, he said the coach is not about goddamn improving stats. It's about winning. But when it comes to legends, it's about excitement. Now, where's the hey, 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 <laughs> see, see. <laughs> Oh, you hear that? Oh, you hear that shit? Yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, twa, you can't have that shit, bro. Fuck, fuck. Get that nigga, bro. Hey, get that nigga, bro. Get that nigga, bro. Yeah, yeah, and hey, see what I don't like is how he say we talk shit. Nobody takes us serious, but twa. 
Nobody does. All I know is that man took the team to the Super Bowl that had no business being in the Super Bowl that year. And oh, almost man, whatever, whatever, man. Whatever. So you ready for this? So you ready for this? If Cam would have beat Atlanta and won that Super Bowl, which I so wish he did, none of y'all niggas would be able to talk shit about him. Hey, now remember that. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Did Romo win the MVP? Hop in there, Leo. Wow. Hop, hop in there, Leo. Did anybody, did anybody in Leo, hop in there, nigga. Hop, hop in there, Leo. He just yelling. All he doing is yelling. He can't let nobody talk. <laughs> man, all all you, he want to do is yell, man. Get a little shit to the man off the fucking road, man. Somebody say something sometime, man, please. Nobody, no, nobody want to hear your ignorance. All you want to do is talk shit. You don't say nothing good about this thing, nigga. Turn shit, the you don't even go to games. Now. You don't even go to games. Big cat. This, this nigga gonna try to tell y'all about the Panthers. He don't buy no deer. He don't go to no games. And he gonna tell y'all he's a Panther. He won't want This nigga ain't a fan there. Big cat. <laughs> at all. Yes, sir. Big cat. Yeah. Go ahead, Leo. Ryan Fitzpatrick got more passing yards than this dude, too. Jay Cutler got more passing Damn. yards than this dude, too. Damn. So, what's up, I mean? Man? What, what I, mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. Listen, Twan, it's it's what saying a lot. It's saying a fucking no. Lie. It's just it's just saying he's a good quarterback. It ain't fast. Put some that? money up on that, dude, Leo. If you just say some shit, put some money on it. Big Cat, yes, Big Cat, are you there? Yeah, Don't just say something. Say it. He said, oh he said, Steve Wilkes had one good year. When they say the right, you say are you there one more time? Good year, daddy. Hey, seven oh four. If this nigga, if this nigga is just spewing shit and ain't got facts, I'm I'm gonna smack his ass when I see it. Hey, I'm just saying, huh? that's what he do. He do stuff and he a reaction out of people. That's all he do. That's all he does. He's a troll, man. Big cat. Yeah, what's up, bro? Leo, do you have facts before you iterate those statements? No, his whole, his whole life. He, to, why. he just likes to spew ignorance. Big cat. <laughs> yeah, brother. <laughs> why they don't say? Why they? Why they gotta put a disclaimer on a dual threat? Why Should've been in that building down in Miami. Why? Why they can't say that? Um, because every quarterback ain't been a motherfucking super duper quarterback. So you got like Steve Young. Steve Young didn't throw the ball like that all the time. You got motherfucking motherfuckers like winning Super Bowls that was trash. Why they don't say the running back is the wildcat running back? Why they don't that ain't no wildcat. Why they don't ever say the running back is the wildcat running back? Hey, oh, that's that's they did. Actually, they did because they started in fucking Miami. Then it came to the Panthers when we didn't have no quarterback. No, 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 no. I'm saying is that when you put the dual threats in there, that means the quarterback is stupid. He can't read the defense. Man, look, that, the that means oh, that means God. Steve Young was Here we go with this bullshit. That means Steve all Young was stupid. Do, all he that means Steve Young was stupid. You just love, you just love talking down to people and just think Steve you're just the most Young intelligent motherfucker out there. Go tell huh? Jerry Rice Steve Young like, was stupid. You are, you are literally the most arrogant motherfucker I've ever been in contact with. Go tell Steve Young Steve Young was stupid. All he do is so fucking uh, so, fool yourself. So big cat, his best. So big cat, his best quality is running as opposed to throwing the ball. Right, right. That's what you're saying, seven. I mean, um, that's what you're saying. His best quality was running. That's what you're saying. Right, right. Yeah. Well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I can't. I, listen, I'm not sugarcoating that. Cam Newton was is a better runner than he was throwing the football. I mean, yeah, and, 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 and the animal MVP. So yes, it, it, yes, it fucking it's, did, Twan. It's nothing, MVP, it's, it's 15, and one, really like 15 and one season, nigga. 17 and two, ultimately. Man, it's come nothing, on, man. It's nothing we all can say. When you say MVP, then uh, what he's doing then is fucking... Leo, Leo, Leo hey, hold on. Let, 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 let's let him finish his fucking soliloquy. I want to find out what who Leo is, like Unc say. Fuck all this. We know I mean, about real, real, real life. We know real, 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 real fucking life. life. Real, 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 real fucking life. life. Hey, Big Cat. Real yeah. life. Yeah, Big up? Cat, what's real up? quick. Yeah, ahead, the year, okay, in 16. We ain't going to forget about that. But in 16, they say, the Big Cat, you, you, everybody can YouTube this now. In 16, they say he was the best player in football. Go and look in 17, had it, what number they had, Scam Newton ranked. Do that for me. Let's see. They said 15 nah. years ago, player, actually. 
Hey, 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 Leo, if, if you was watching this, you got to cut that fuck shit out. Because in 17, Cam, Cam Newton started off 6-2. and two at the fr- hey, they, He was already, he was up for MVP talk again. That no, 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 no. Back, That's back. Bullshit, but, but I know what he's talking about. But look, but look, even when he says that, that year, man, look. Oh, Cam Newton was hey, so we good. Was we was off 6 and fucking one. No, no, no. no. And the motherfucker, look, he was so respected amongst his peers with the year Leo talking about that he still made it. He was still ranked like 80 or 70 something, and the motherfucker was hurt. Because he went so what does that tell you? Because he went from <laughs> number one to 80. Damn, damn. Because he was hurt. But, 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 but Leo, Leo, that, <laughs> it, 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 it happened all in that same season, my friend. You, you, was gotta, hurt. you gotta, you gotta think. Had, had those, had those, had that particular rating came out by week eight, Cam would have been, he would have been ranked top two, top three. Hey, no, no, you don't oh, get no, it, y'all. Oh, you don't get it. I get it. I get it just right. Look, look, in 2017 was the demise of Cam Newton. That's the the season that started. I'm going to leave it at this. We are wasting our time. I'm going to leave it at this. He was like 80 or something. Hey, uh, he didn't even finish the season. So the month for his fear said he was better than most. Even when he was on. See, and see, he slipped in rankings because Riviera kept his ass out there. And then they exactly. got the, they got to show a video on how Cam <laughs> couldn't throw the ball for 10 yards. But yeah, it was it was yeah, pathetic, yeah. man. But yeah, this shit, this shit hurt, hurt my heart to something. watch, bro. Hold this hold shit hold hurt on. my soul hold to watch. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Yeah, let me bring it back around full circle. Let me let me bring it around. Let me let me bring it back around full circle real quick. Get it. Let me bring yes, it back around yes. full circle. Yes. You can say all that, but the quarterback we got now was ranked thirty fifth in quarterbacks. And, and it's thirty two and it's thirty two teams. But it's, but it's thirty two starters are there. Seven, seven and four. How many starters are in the quarterback? Uh, in the right? How many starters? So, oh, okay. so they said it's back to the so so it's, it's it's back good. Good. So let's, it's let's bring good. it back to the present time. So, it's 35 I'm not I'm no mathematician. So it sounds like they said some backups. So I said that it's not like they're saying it's at least two or three backups better than this. So you can say what you want, but the nigga we got now is what? Yeah, brother. Big cat. Say it again, Swan. Fucking say it again. Big cat. Are you there, bro? Yeah, I'm here, brother. I'm just saying. That's some facts. That's some facts for your ass. Big cat. I'm just said our quarterback in the past, best quality. Man, bro. bro. All right, look. If hey, no, Sam hey, Donald can run, Sam Donald can run, okay? Don't be no, no, what's up? Didn't say anything. But ain't nigga calling my name that much. Big cat. They just oh, said the quarterback. We gonna have to have a talk. Hey, hey, right, let the nigga talk real quick. I want to see where he's going. But my point is, um, that he was trash. That's my point. And see, Leo, if that's, if that's, if that's the only location you can fucking take me, man, I can't ride with you, bro. That's some silly shit. Uh, hey, all, all of that goddamn big cat. Hey, 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 big cat. Yeah. Just it, to it, say, just bro, to when, say, when fucking talk, track. Come on, nigga. Like the, it sounds like the teacher yeah, from Yeah, elaborate. Peanut, bro. Elaborate a little yeah, bit, um, Leo. Sounds like the fucking yeah, um, teacher from You better from not Peanut. get in that car. You better not get in that car. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, goddamn, Leo, Leo the type nigga to have drugs, gun, and everything, and don't tell you, and then get pulled and say, officer, it's his shit. I kick your motherfucking ass. He definitely will do that. Cause he gonna call kick your me. motherfucking ass. I don't know he's gonna do that. <laughs> what the fuck going on with you, man? He don't stay Leo, is that all you got? Him. He was trash. Come on, hey, hey, look, Leo, Leo. Honestly, look, look, Pan- Panther fan, the Panther fan. If if you sit here before me and this chat, he ain't and no this fucking fucking fan. Fan. Well, hold on, Twan, hold on, <laughs> and and say and say to me, my friend, that Cam Newton is trash, especially when he wore that black and blue. Especially it was, it was as late listen, listen to me, Twan. Listen to me, Leo. And Leo, if you say that that he was trash, and and you we know who the fuck Cam Newton was when he played for us, and what he meant for this franchise. We, if you're a Panther fan, then you know you know what that nigga meant. So if you if that's all you can allude to, Leo, is that he's trash. Um, I I can't accept that, man. Okay, that's that's uh, unacceptable, uh, bro. Okay, uh, I got the proof for you. Uh, want the proof? Yeah, give me the proof. Get that nigga the proof. Uh. Now, now, get this. This is my now. Cam Newton was very exciting watching him. Sometimes, 
most of the time is very frustrating. This guy, for his career, he has 190 touchdowns and 118 interceptions. Oh, okay. What, uh, okay. Win, he barely, he, he only won Leo, Leo. 12. Yes, sir. The, the, the game is about winning and losing. How many, how many seasons he had winning and losing? That, that's what they worried about. How many wins? The guy, the guy had, he never oh, wow. had back to back winning seasons. <laughs> never. Never. They said it's all about the winning. Guy, it's all about winning. The guy, the guy only won 12 more games than he lost. <laughs> The guy I don't only know won I don't know what's funny. more games than he lost. I have no idea what's funny. The guy, the Kerry Collins, who we drafted, has over ten thousand more passing yards than hey, Leo, he you Kerry, Kerry Collins was already in the league when we when we so called had an expansion draft, Leo. So so what well, you talk no, about Kerry we Collins? Drafted him. We drafted him. We drafted, we drafted him from where? From Penn State, sir. We drafted Kerry Collins. And in the second year, wouldn't that, wouldn't that nigga part of that expansion draft, fellas? Who the fuck is we? And also, no, true, true Panther fans. Wasn't Kerry Collins a part of the team that was 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 brought in on the on the expansion? I know he was racist as fuck. Well. Yeah, Kerry yeah, Collins was a drunk. Walking downtown. <laughs> and that's all we're gonna no, say. No, 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 no. My question. Leo, 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 Kerry Collins was part of the expansion draft, my friend. He, yeah, we didn't draft him out of no fucking Penn State. He was already an NFL player when we got him. Well, who drafted him then? Who got him? Where he come from? Well, he, he came. He came. Look, you you do the research since you don't know what the fuck you talking about. Look look up the expansion draft back in 1993. When the Carolina Panthers and the, and the Jacksonville Jaguars was, 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 was ushered into the league, the, both both of these teams had expansion draft. I, I, what, what, where was you at when this shit took place? Shout out to Harry Lede- Collins. Hold on, hold on, real quick. I'm going to let you answer. Oh, you got damn digging in the car. Hey, I'm going to let you answer. Hold tight, hold tight, y'all. Hold tight, y'all. Hold tight, y'all. Hold tight, y'all. Hold tight, you've realized anytime you ask this motherfucker a question, you don't answer it. It's fucking pointless. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Yeah. Ask this I told you. Hold tight, y'all. I was a Panther fan when we first... Got these oh. motherfuckers as an expansion team. Right. Tim Bianca Batuka. All of these motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. Names, names you ain't never heard of. Mm-hmm. They, they they look, 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 the, the, okay. the Panthers of the Jacksonville Jaguars consisted of, of players that was that was in the league that, that, that didn't have contracts or, or players that was on fucking uh, uh, practice squads in the NFL already. Big cat, and, 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 and we got a. I don't even think we got college hey. players. Big cat, hey, 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 Tim, Tim hey, Bianco hey, 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 was hey, a draft hey, pick for us. Hey, no, no, no. Big cat, no, tell me, he was one of the first draft picks for the Carolina Panthers. Tim Bianco was out of UNC. Big cat, are you there, brother? Yeah, I want to know. Where's Leo the name? Big Leo, 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 Big, big Cat, Big Cat, are you here, brother? Yeah, I'm here, brother. Hey, man, I'm about to get him to stop calling my name like that. Man, my is going to start to wonder, bro. Hey, I For real. Big Cat, are you there, brother? Yeah, yeah, Leo. Quick said he was one. Leo. Big Cat, who we drafted first? Who was our first? Who, who we drafted? Where? Leo. I, I, of course, it was an expansion draft, though. That's what I'm telling you. It was an expansion draft. Who did we draft? That's what it was. Who did we draft out of college, Big Cat? Cat, tell him again, please. I think it was Collins and the draft, though. Hold on, let me do it. He said he think it was. He I, 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 I know for a fact we drafted oh, Kerry Collins' I mean, ass because they had already, they had already yeah. kicked Kerry Collins. Kerry Collins was on his way out the fucking league, we had, and, we, we had, and he got in the expansion draft. We had a player the fuck that, is you talking that, was about? On our, that was on our, um, that was on that. Our, our, our expansion team, and he was on I think, I think, look. Cat, look it up. But Leo, yeah, what, I mean, it's, time, it's, so he wouldn't know. Leo, what the fuck is wrong with you? You look it up. Yeah, I'm looking it up. Hold on, let me make sure. I want to make sure it's right. I, I know for a fact that that Kerry Collins was part of the expansion draft. You know what I mean? Fuck it, Leo. You you got to do your research before you start spewing shit, man. 
Mm-hmm. Even the Jacksonville Jaguars got players like like who did they have? Keenan Carter, Keenan McCardell was was part of their first team. He was in the expansion draft. These these was players that was already part of the league that was on their way out or on practice squad. They got on the fucking expansion draft. That 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 that, that elected to get in the bit. We we drafted we drafted players out of college too. Like I told you, Tim Bianca Batuka was one of our first, one of Carolina's first official fucking draft picks, man. Yeah, they drafted uh, Kerry Collins out of, uh, out of Penn State. He wasn't a part of expansion draft. What, what are they telling you about the expansion draft, Big Cat? The Panthers, they have a, a pick in the expansion draft. What? No, nah, I, don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. No, yeah, you, 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 you got to dig, you got to dig deeper because because the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Carolina Panthers was was added on as expansion teams. They had an expansion draft. Ninety five, New England was had number one pick, number two pick. That, now you now you make no, shit up. Look, you gonna try to say no, no, no you gonna try to say an expansion team didn't get an expansion pick. Yeah, no, nah, look, no, big cat. Man, the, the, this, 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 this happened. Look, the Panthers. The, the you talking ninety five? Now you gotta understand when when the Panthers was was becoming the team it happened in ninety three, nineteen ninety three. I believe they they started all of that shit in ninety three. The Panthers be they they played their first game. What year did I say? They they drafted that motherfucker in the expansion. I'm telling you, yo. I I, I look. I see you. Uh, look, let me do my in depth research, and I will see you the clip, nigga. Yeah, me. No doubt, no doubt. Stick a, a motherfucker like Leo ain't gonna do. Kerry Collins played before he came to the Panthers. I'm telling you, he You're already wrong. had numbers. You're absolutely wrong, sir. You're wrong. Okay, You're okay, Leo. Wrong. I, I'll wrong. tell you, I I, I, I I will accept your opinion. Yeah, no, man. sir, that's a fact, sir. No opinion, sir. No, nah, right. as far as you concern, Leo, there are no facts. <laughs> there, <laughs> hey, 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 704, there, there is no spoon. Zero. As far as Leo goes. <laughs> there, is, there is no spoon. Yeah, damn it. Hey, look. Somebody I remember that whole interview. interview. Hey. Leo reminds me of Tyler. Oh, hey, Big Cat, that's that's a that's hella, that's that's great content right there too. To to to, to, to go back and, and find out who and, and and let's see how the Panthers was constructed. Goddamn! Hey, Big I mean, Cat. Yeah. Uh, we already Big know Cat. Bill Nolan was the first GM. Big Cat. Yes, sir. Check this out. Kerry Collins, oh, second. Oh, 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 oh. Collins was selected in the Carolina Panthers' first round pick, fifth overall in the 1995 NFL Draft. But Big Cat, I got something better though. Big Cat, I got something better for you, Big Cat. You ready for it? Go ahead, brother. Get that ass. Get that Big Cat, this, the next year, Kerry Collins took us to the NFC Championship there game. Go. There you go. The next, the next fucking year. Yeah, well, how how the how the how the all that defense? Yeah, yeah. You talking? He talking that shit? Look, he finally got Google up. Bitch, hey, bitch, nigga, I was there. I was there. He drank himself out of Charlotte. No, no, we're not talking about his personal life. We're talking about him. No, we're talking about his personal life. Oh, we don't know. Let's not talk about his personal life. Let's not talk about his personal life. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Hey, 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 how long did it take a scam to get us to the NFC Championship game? Bro, shut the fuck up. <laughs> that's why that's why I'm at at this point. Shut it's the fuck two up. It's two shut different it's two different generations of football just in between shut that time. Big K is much better get and, up, get and, up, and get different and faster. Big K see how they do it. Who 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 who's made the Hey, shut out C Dog. That nigga must be at the strip club. 
Let's see how they do. Yeah, he, no. forgot. he forgot who was the Panthers' defense was and who Sam Mills and all them was. He's going to no, discredit all them guys. You see I, I think I mean to say that again. He's going to discredit that whole Panthers' defense like Kerry Collins done went into uh, the touchdown. I think, I, think I, need, I think I need to say that again. What are the quarterbacks you know that got MVP in five years? Because you see how they do? They change the narrative every time, but I told you. Everybody changes no damn narrative. Stop calling for fucking big time before I give you a condom or some shit. You see how they do? You see how they do? Well, nah, y'all see, see, when the nigga talking, hey, look, when Leo talking football, we got to we gotta entertain it at least. Because it, it's very rare that we get this this anomaly. This nigga ain't talking football. He's just yes, talking he his dumb ass to Google. Hey, look, Twan, the nigga got he Google. Call up Google. He don't know shit about the scene. I told him I'm gonna in the morning. I told him to name four people that was on the fucking defense in, in the second year that, that we supposedly went to the playoffs. Leo, read that super chat. Leo, Leo, read that super chat. Leo, Leo, read that super chat. Since you want to read shit off Google, read that super chat. I'm not watching this. So I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'm, pull I'm, it up. I, I forgot. I, I forgot. I'm sorry. Read it for his ass, man. Read it for it. Now, you got to it. Pull it up. He, 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 he want to be your host. Pull it up. He ain't no fucking tall host, man. Hey, Brittany Burson, Katie Clay, Moose Frazier, Bird, Brandon, LaFell, Funches, Kelvin Benjamin, and the hard O lines um the can has an ex Mike Rimmers. So big you know, how they do big you heard it. how they do. What what are the what, what I mean oh a hey, 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 King D's, what are you what are you goddamn implying, my friend? What are you getting at when he when he running these names down? What the fuck <laughs> is he implying? <laughs> I think that's very fucking clear. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, 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 tell me, what do you imply? If you don't know, if you don't know what he's talking about, man, come on. Man. Oh, okay. Well, no, 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 me then, no, 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 no. We all know so much about the Panthers. Let him enlighten you. Because see how they do. I see, brother. At Hamina. At Hamina. Come on, brother. They ain't, they ain't dealing with what I'm talking about. They just want more. Oh, 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 oh. But Kerry Collins said, drunk. I, I'm going to hear racist. We talking about on the field, baby. Yeah, just. <laughs> you know, to, hey, I, hey, Leo. I, hey, Leo. Like, honestly, 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 Kevin Collins. Uh, 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 Kerry, Kerry Collins ain't give us shit. Around. Honestly, Long Kerry Collins ain't give us shit. NFL passed that motherfucker around like a hoe. He was on every goddamn hey, team, bro. Hey, where, where, where did Kerry Collins play at in 1994? College show. Um, he was in college. Was he? Penn State. Yeah, he, Penn was. State. yeah, he was. He was in Penn State. Okay. Might have been filling on people in Penn State. <laughs> Shout out to <Yeah>. Dusky. <laughs> <laughs> Some number. Yeah, he's still the same. Terry Collins with his racist ass. <laughs> nah, he a good guy, B. Yeah. Big that motherfucker was racist. As we fuck. can't keep. We can't keep. Yeah, just just cause we we yeah man. I, hey, look, it's twenty one. We gonna quit putting these hats oh, on yeah. motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. Come on, you gonna do that Zoom tomorrow for Aaron Chase birthday? I don't know. That's Wait, what he want? Did he did he want to do one? Yeah, we're gonna do a Zoom for Aaron tomorrow, man. He hey, um, what what that's that's the type of shit he want to do. Is that what he said he want to do? Me, All I can do is invite the people to it, man. Man, I mean, look, Conor, Conor McGregor fight next Saturday, nigga. It's on. No, nah, this Saturday, old. tomorrow, tonight. Nah, baby. he fight July 10th, man. It's next Saturday. I'm talking about the Aaron shit. Oh, Aaron, oh, okay, tomorrow. Well, shit, man. Look, you know, it's 4th of July. We popping the fireworks off, nigga. I got a couple class, goddamn. I'm sorry, I mean to cut you off. Big Cat, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, brother. But see, this is my point. Oh, my point. God, what the fuck you keep asking? Is he there? Big that nigga ain't leaving his house. Big Cat, but this, that's just <laughs> my point about, like, how we lionize players. That shit would irritate all, me, man. Who weren't, who, who weren't all of that, but they make it seem like they were all of that. <laughs> That's my point. Leo, hey, Leo, Leo, Leo. How good were you at football? When did you play football? Hey, Twan, that, 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 that shit should not irritate you, the fact that he calls Big Cat Day. That shit, that shit should not be no sweat off your no, damn ball. No, that shit is right. irritating, bro. It hear another be, man call not another be. nigga's name like that, bro. That's what he, he, he say he don't like gay people and shit, but he do a lot of gay shit, bro. Hey, Twan, hey, 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 um, hey, um, you there, brother? 
Yeah, I'm here, my G. I'm here, my G. Uh-uh. Did you listen? Did you listen the other day? I listen every day. Okay, did you hear when Twan was crying about me calling Big Cat? Why you don't want to talk to nobody else? <laughs> <laughs> I just said that. But but uh, yeah, what I said. But uh, let me yes, let me let me let me, let me move the table. Did you hear Leo cry yes, about what I was doing to, yes, about him? Yes, what I always say about him? Yes, yes, he wasn't oh, the handkerchief. Oh, oh, he was crying. Oh, he was crying. He was holding. He was holding. He was holding Ray and Twan because I talked shit to him. He don't know how to separate it. Why you want to talk to uh, Big Cat? You say you let him do that, Big Cat. No, no, no. Come on, Big Cat. Hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, hey, fellas. You look, you look, let, let me explain. So, see, see, Leo, Leo got y'all by the balls. He got me by the balls. Y'all, 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 y'all really don't know this nigga. Y'all really don't know this nigga from a goddamn can of Sprite. You know what I mean? I wonder why. But, but emotionally, he got y'all niggas by the balls. See, see, Leo, see what what he says should not affect you so much. Yeah, man, it, should, it, should, it shouldn't. It shouldn't. How can a trash ass nigga, nigga like Leo? But see, you Leo. don't know. You don't know Leo. I, Leo might be worth fifty million. How can a trash nigga might have fifty million? Let me say. Let me say it again. How can a trash ass nigga like Leo? Who See, nobody knows who he is. That's probably a yeah. fake ass name. Hey, 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 that's a that fucking right. fact, Twat. That's a fact. Leo, Leo. Hey, Leo. I've been on the phone now. I've been on the phone now about two hours and thirty-nine minutes to count. Uh-huh. God damn it. Uh-huh. Can can we finally get down to who Leo is? Big cat, big cat be titling shows the Leo show, but we have yet to find out who the fuck. Leo, let's give Leo the floor. Let's oh, find oh, out oh, who Leo oh, is. No, 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 oh, no. Everybody be quiet and let's listen to Leo see if he's going to explain that. Hey, don't I'm say a word. word. Don't say a word. Uh, don't say a word, dog. Don't say a word. You see, you I'm say a word. Word. Don't call my goddamn name. But who's talking, though? Uh, I don't been on this show. I don't talk about an hour about myself plenty of times. If you got to archive it, brother. It's on YouTube. I'm not going to waste my time talking about me. We talking about Scam Newton and how trash he is. That's what we talking about. We talking about Steve Smith. It sounds like he's running to me, huh? We, 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 we talking about... They're going to that track star. We talking about Steve Smith is a... I got something to say, so. Steve Smith is a very good wide receiver. He wasn't great. Leo, stop that dumb shit, man. Tell me how stop, it was great. Stop, huh? stop right now. Tell me how it was great. Huh? Tell me how it was great. How, me how, how was great. Steve Smith great? Yeah, besides besides your bad biases being a panther. All right, well, I'll, okay. Hey, uh, I, 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 fellas, al- allow me. Allow me. Yes, sir. Uh, maybe I was, how, okay, uh, hello, Leo. How was listen, Steve Smith? Look, look, let's let's I'm, go. I'm Young Steve Smith coming to the league as a punt returner. Great, great fucking punt returner. Every time he touched it, electric, electric, nigga, fireworks when he touched, came into the league, drafted as a as a punt returner. Follow me now. Every time he touch it, it's electric. Okay. Put the nigga as a, hold on, hold on, hold on, 704. Immediately, immediately move up the depth chart to slot receiver. As slot receiver. 800 yards. Crazy. Yeah, I mean, this is a young Steve Smith. Okay. Let's let's go on and get this nigga certified number two slot beside a big body wide receiver in Moose and Muhammad. We all we all know as Panther fans what, what he was beside Moose and Muhammad, what that one and two punch fucking was, what Moose and Muhammad's speed was, and then Steve Smith Steve Smith's speed over the top was. We know what the fuck that was. Okay, now let's get off that, Leo. Let's go, let's go to the nigga's size at his position. Might might be and still the smallest wide receiver to play the position at the level he played it at. Okay, let's 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 talk about Steve Smith catch radius. No ball was too high for Steve fucking Smith. You hear me? No, 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 I don't give a fuck how big the fucking defensive back was that was defending him. No fucking defender was stronger than Steve Smith. I don't give a fuck if he had him by six inches, uh, uh, 40 fucking pounds, uh, Leo. Wasn't stronger than Steve Smith. No no wide receiver had the heart he had. No wide receiver got the motor yet. I ain't seen the motor yet. I ain't seen the heart yet in the wide receiver in the league yet. 
Leo, college, high school, NFL, whatever level you want to talk about. The heart that Steve Smith played with, it, it's unmatched. Ain't nobody got it. You got to be a middle linebacker to play with that shit. You know what I mean? Now we fast forward to the nigga numbers, nigga. We look at his career. Steve Smith, top 15 overall. Top Might be top 10. If I do my research, I'm sure he is. Number eight. See what I'm saying? So what the fuck are you talking about, Leo? Hey, hey, and then on top of that, he was a franchise wide fucking receiver. You feel what I'm saying? A franchise wide receiver. But b- b- before before fucking CMC, before Cam Newton, you know what I mean? W- the franchise was Steve Smith with no jersey selling like that fucking 89. I got a Reebok, a Reebok junk right now. The fuck are you talking about, Leo? He wasn't great. You, the, the, you're not a Panther fan to say that kind of shit, man. You can't be. And and now I don't like Steve Smith because of the fucking mouth he got. Oh, you know, off the field, you know, in in in, 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 uh, in other settings. You know what I mean? I don't like that nigga because of that shit. I, I mean, that's that's you know that that's some shit that can be swept under the rig on under, under the rug. But when it come to that nigga on the football field, man, please. What he called you a nigga, bro? Nah, hell, come on, man. That's a little, yeah, don't even worry about it. We, we, hey, big cat. In person, we talk about this. You know what I mean? In, in person, we go. I let you niggas know exactly what happened. He must call you nah, hell, no. Nah. <laughs> don't even worry about it. We talk about it. Well, talk about but Leo, how Leo, that? what? How can you? you there? Call from Ray P to accept press. What happened, nigga? Why you hang up on me? How can you do that? That's my opinion, sir. He top 10, though, receiving yards. Leo, tell that nigga, fuck you. I don't owe you no answer. Tell him, bro. No, no. I told no, him he, he does. He does owe me. He does owe me an answer. The fuck you mean? <laughs> and, and, and I won't hear it right now. Don't, don't try to back out that shit like, oh, he he was top 10. No, fuck all that dumb shit, Leo. You, you stupid. Stand have. on it, nigga. Get his ass off. Get that nigga. To, I I he he, he good, that. but he ain't great. Nigga, top, top eight overall in NFL yards. history, nigga, they with, get him a green jacket. Yards. They get that nigga, huh? With yards. Yeah, he, he, touchdowns, too, nigga. No, man, that dude was the lowest with the top 10 with touchdowns. Please stop it. He had the lowest. Either, you got it, man. I don't know either, who, who the fuck either, you talking to, bro. Even Reggie, even Reggie Wayne had more touchdowns than Steve. You, do you know who the fuck Reggie Wayne was? He had more you touchdowns. You know who Reggie was? He had more touchdowns than Steve Smith. I know that. Look, man, come on. He compares Steve Smith to Reggie Wayne, both Hall of Famers. You a dumbass dude to be talking football like that. Don't, that's that's like comparing Steve Smith to 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 fucking Joe Montana. I mean, uh, Jerry Rice or something. You you talking too great? That, that's what, what I'm talking about. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Steve Smith is not on the level with T.O. Randy Moss. Man, Jerry please. T.O. T.O. Ain't, ain't on the level of Steve Smith. They, If you ask me, they neck and neck. They no, neck no. and neck. They they two A1 a wide receivers in, in their career. Not when T.O. got damn near double his touchdowns. I know that. So, man, come on, man. Stop what this come shit. On, man. What you mean? Come on. T.O. Stop got this more, shit. T.O. got more yards and twice the touchdowns. Okay. Okay, in one are season, about, are you are you no, talking about as a I'm as a totality of the career we or in about, one season? We talking about career. Y'all Leo. niggas got me. Y'all niggas got me debating Leo on the fourth of July weekend, working, Friday bro. night. Working, bro. Working. Fuck, Leo, are Terrell you talking Owens. totality or one season? Totality, T.O. double and Steve Smith damn near one fifty three touchdowns. Steve got eighty one, and he got almost sixteen thousand yards. That's doubling him with touchdowns. He's not on his level by no means. You insult me. Man, stop this shit, man. Stop oh, this shit. Fa- oh, that's a fact. You, 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 you insult me. You insult me. And, 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 and for you, well, Leo, Steve Smith and T.O. are Hall of Famers. That's all I got to say. And, 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 and if, if I'm a scout, if I'm a scout and I got both of these niggas coming out of college, 
I'm drafting both of them if I can. You know what I mean? So to 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 compare Steve Smith to T.O., they two greats. So I can't say I mean, yeah, T.O. might double them in touchdowns. T.O. was bigger. He was a yeah, hell. Matter of fact, the quarterbacks T.O. played for, he was more heavier when it came to the goddamn play calling. He oh. he was heavier used than Steve Smith was in, in his earlier career. And in his and, and and in his late career, nothing so, but excuses. That's all you give me excuses. It, 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 ain't no these excuses. People, ain't no excuses. Too, these people are too short. He had no quarterback. Look, no, nah, I ain't telling you none of that shit, Leo. I'm that's telling you, they that's both that's Hall of Famers. They both Hall of Famers. Steve Smith barely getting. He gonna get in, but barely. Man, you stupid. You stupid. He, gonna barely get in. he already mean, got his green jacket, I Leo. He's got more yards than Steve Smith receiving. Do you know who the fuck Isaac Bruce was? He what? Look, you 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 talking you talking you look this nigga throwing Isaac Bruce, Reggie Wayne, and Terrell Owens out there like these niggas ain't Hall of Fucking Famous. You see T. what I'm saying, Leo? I said T O, Randy Moss, and Jerry Rice. Nigga, that's you that's said that's Isaac that. Bruce, Reggie Wayne. What the fuck are you now, now you throwing Randy Moss out there? Another Hall of Fucking Famer. They so so basically basically you can pay Steve Smith to Hall of Famer because no, you can't get pay no, him to I'm nothing telling, else. I'm telling you, there's no comparison. He not he and out of they lead. You fucking crazy, man. He not in T.O. and Rand, and Randy Moss and Jerry Rice lead. Right. I'm I'm done with that shit. He's not in a league. I'm done with that shit. I'm done with that shit. Yeah, I mean, look, look, look. You got a point. He might not have been drafted as high as them guys, but if if you add up the totality of the career, what they meant to their franchise, what they meant to their community, Steve Smith is damn near accurate or damn near equal to every one of the names you name in my G. Except for the championship rings, but a couple of them wide receivers you name ain't even got rings, nigga. You talking about shit off the field. We talking about on the field. I'm talking about on the field too, nigga. No, on no, the I'm field too. We talking about on the field. Oh, on the field too, Leo. Steve Smith in the same class. And for you to say he wouldn't, you you don't know football, B. I mean, you can look at the numbers. You can look at how. You can look at the eye test. He a Hall of Famer, just like the niggas you name. He got a he gonna have a goddamn copper a copper tone bus in Canton, Ohio, sooner than later. He ain't going for the ballot though. I know that. You you fucking crazy. Okay, Leo. He he be a first ballot Hall of Famer. That's that's what that's what the Hall of Fame he, and, and he make they make sure he go in on the on the first ballot. Right. They make sure of that. I disagree. I hear you, though, bro. Yeah, I mean, uh, is there anything else you want to debate as far as this, who? Nah, there's no debate, sir. I just told you he doubled Steve Smith up. That's not a debate. Man, look. Yards yeah, and touchdowns, touchdowns I, I could give a fuck. Yards and damn near yards in the air. With less, with just a cement, less. Okay, Leo, let me ask you a question. Mike Vick or Cam Newton, who is better? Oh man, yeah, I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. No, I'm, I, I need an answer from that. I mean, I know, okay, I know, okay, I know, I'm, I know, I'm I know that you. burns your asshole for me for you even to think about the two players. It just sizzles your fucking asshole. Michael Vick. Michael Vick was a better runner and a better passer in the camp. All Cam used was his physicality to run people over. That's all he did. Okay. First and goal, okay. 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 No. 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 Second question. Are we talking season or totality of the career? We're talking about what we saw on the field when they was playing football. Cam used his power. Michael Vick used his finesse and speed. Cam wasn't using speed. He was just running people over. Hey, hold on, Leo. I saw Cam use speed a number of times in his career. So, so I saw Cam. I saw Cam. I saw Cam use elusiveness, his elusivity, a lot of times. Was he as elusive as Michael Vick? I mean, nah. He, I mean, it's not right, possible. Man. I mean, right. it's it's almost saying is it is Christian McCaffrey is as is, is elusive as Barry Sanders was? No, was, no, no hell no. About, yeah, and, about, and, and, and it's right, and it's man. because of size 
It's because of the size of the, the object you're hitting. It's called you know, a low center of gravity. You know what I mean? Barry Sanders was low. He was little. He's a little motherfucker. That, that, talking that, about that. Scam Newton and Michael Vick. We ain't talking about anybody else. Yeah, Mike Mike Vick was a smaller a smaller object. He had a low center, a lower center of gravity, which he made him faster. That, that, that alone made him more elusive. He was faster Leo. than Scam Newton. I mean, Straight in a forty, in a forty, he would have beat him. But what you're saying makes no fucking sense. Cam Newton has speed too at, at the position. So I mean, what what are we talking about? You said I'm telling you, I'm giving you three things that make Michael Vick better than Scam Newton. He was faster, straight line. He was more elusive, and his arm strength. Ooh, it's kind of debatable because Vic had a cannon now, so yeah, I don't know. Yeah, nah, yeah, but but Cam Cam arm was bigger than Vic's. Don't even try that shit. No, don't not. don't try. See, look, see, see, can. right now you a hating ass nigga. You it hating can. on Cam for no reason. It yeah, can. you the you the you the type of nigga hating hating and, and can't even see the nigga behind the tents in the car. Hating on the niggas in the car and can't even see who in the motherfucker. Vic, who had a strong arm? Vic, 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 Vic Scam knew it. Shit, I'm staying out of that one. <laughs> okay, okay, I feel you, brother. I feel you. I feel you. But look here, Mike Vick had a cannon. Now, Leo, totality of the career, Cam Newton is better. If we're looking at numbers, we're looking at years played, we're looking at accolades. Cam Newton better. Okay, I, I, I we, hold on, hold on, Leo. We looking at we looking at money's made. No, we looking no, at no, no, we looking no. at we uh hold on no. holy fuck on we looking at money's made we looking at we looking at impact in the community no Cam Newton's better no please get that out of here we talking about on the field yeah I'm I'm talking I'm talking everything Leo no, on no. on the field on the field Cam Newton is better I mean you I I let you I let you give your opinion your opinion I I mean. That was your opinion. You say you say Vic was fast and straight line. You say arm strength debatable. You say Vic was more elusive. That's all you had. You ain't had nothing else. I didn't have nothing else. You're right. I, I, I concede to you that overall, Cam Newton had a better career than Michael Vick. And I say, I say to you, it's not possible. I, I say to you, it's not possible because of one thing, Leo, and I could get it. 15 and 1, 17 and 2 overall. No, I said Cam had a better career than Michael Vick. That's what I'm, I just said. Cam had a better career, overall career than Michael Vick. He did. That ain't what the fuck you just said. I just I Leo, you, you just said Mike Vick was better. He had you said I, I Michael said, Vick had a better career. That's what no, you no, just no, said. No, 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 no. I said Michael Vick was a better player to me personally, but Cam Newton had a better career than Michael Vick. Man, you somebody run that shit back 50 seconds. That nigga just said what he said. Well, if I said it, I stand corrected. I'm, I'm, I, if, if nah, I said hey, it, I'm hey shout out, shout out, Petey Quick. I ain't following this nigga trap. I'm trying. Yeah, hey, what, what you know about bad traps? I'm setting this nigga up. I'm setting this nigga up for the flop. He done already, this nigga already in the trap. See, see, I can do this shit all night. You know what I mean? That one thing niggas don't understand. I can do this shit all night. I got my Jose right here. I got plenty of bud. Leo, we do this shit all night. But I ain't going to entertain you that long, man, because, no, you, you know. Cam had, a better record. Cam had a better career than Michael Vick. But to me personally, Michael Vick was a better player. That's just. I mean, I, how, how, how is that possible if, if you add up totalities of the career? How, if a player ends a career with better numbers, better success, better accolades, how can the player be better than him? If, if, if everything else on the fucking scale is leading towards the other player. You're telling me Vic better than Cam, but Cam got more accolades, had more success on the field, had had more everything, more every more of everything, more wins, more everything. Career lasting longer. How can you sit there and say Mike Vic was the better player when Cam Newton career is still still going on? He's still adding on, still making money, still making plays. How can you say that? How can you Leo, say that, Leo? Michael Vick was more elusive. He was faster, and his oh my god! So, so now terrible. you now 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 you allude back. You allude back to what you said 
what you said made Mike Vick better than Cam Newton. But you 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 can't, Leo, because we done we done already fast forwarded past that point in the conversation, nigga. We 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 talking about totality of the career. If we add it up, Cam player. Cam weighs more than Mike Vick. There's there's no way to slice that shit. So you can't if if the nigga weighs if 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 she looked better than your bitch, it ain't no way you can tell me your bitch looked better than her. It ain't nothing you can say. Especially if I can see it with my own two eyes, Leo. I hear you, but I disagree. To me personally, <laughs> what to, me personally to me personally, Michael Vick was a better football player than Cam Newton. That's just you my fuck it. I mean stats say otherwise, Leo. Never, Never they look, let's take let's look, let's take the players out of it. Let's take the players. Let's take the person out of it. Let's 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 take let's take the cam or or to you scam Newton because that's that's that seems to be how you view the nigga. Let's 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 take that out of it. Let's take all of that shit out of the equation, and then you look at you look at the numbers. Who was the better football player? Is Ryan Fitzpatrick a better football player than Cam Newton? <sighs> God damn it, Leo. Because Ryan Fitzpatrick got more touchdowns than Cam got. He got more yards. Is he a better player than No, Cam? no, I'll, 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 tell right I'll, I'll tell you why. Listen, I'll tell you why he's then. not. Listen, I'll tell you why Ryan Fitzpatrick is not a better football player than Cam Newton. Okay. 15 and 1, 17 and 2, MVP season. Ryan Fitzpatrick ain't had no Luke Keekley in the middle. Oh, no, Josh Norman. Look, see, God. hey, excuses, big cat. That this nigga go with excuses. He like to, he like to say we use excuses. Look at this nigga try to throw excuses out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Leo, you you gotta you gotta stop this shit, man. It, it, I mean, it, it, it ain't no. It, 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 it's always I'm, a one way saying, street with you, I'm man. I'm not saying, but I'm asking you. You you use the numbers. Cam Newton was a better football player than Ryan Fitzpatrick to me. Fitzpatrick was a better passer, but Cam Newton was an overall better football player. Hey, excuses. Mike Lubick was an overall better I, I'm football willing, player. I'm willing to me. say Cam Newton was a better passer than, than, than Ryan Fitzpatrick. He was not. How many years Ryan been in the league, man? How many league? How many years? And and I'm sure. I mean, and look, Ryan Fitzpatrick that been bent so many times by so many different teams. I don't even know why you bringing this new that damn name up. He's not a better football player, no, nor passer than Cam Newton. He's not. He's not. I'm he's just not. Using the, he's I'm not. using the stat. You just use the stats. I was just using them as an example, but. Like but said, he's not. That was a, that's that's a bad example. Ryan that, Fitzpatrick's not a better football. He's not a better passer than Cam Newton. You fucking crazy. What are you talking about? He's not. He's not even he's not even in Cam Newton's league as far as quarterback go. Ryan Fitzpatrick is a journeyman. Cam Newton came in as a first round pick as a franchise. Why are you even putting these two motherfuckers in the same conversation? They shouldn't even be in the same sentence. Franchise quarterbacks win. Back Cam Newton back. was a damn was a Heisman Trophy winner, national championship winner. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Fitzpatrick wasn't. Franchise. What are you talking about? Franchise quarterbacks mm. win back to back season. Listen, I, I don't. Ryan Fitzpatrick season. ain't had a back to back winning season in five seasons separated. But Cam is not a franchise quarterback. What the fuck are you talking about, Leo? Franchise Stop it, man. Franchise quarterbacks Shit. win back to back seasons. Man, you know look, man, look, Cam, hey, look, all I know is from 2011 to th- 2000 and fucking what, 19 or when they when they started fucking with Cam is we we was pretty much a perennial playoff team. No, brother. we were not. Yes, just the fuck no, we, we was. Leo. We, no, we the were Panthers, not. the Panthers was in the playoffs more so than we wasn't. No, and we if, if, if you say no, if you sir. say we wasn't, you're you're sadly mistaken, my we friend. We were not. We were you're not. You're fucking lie. And we Cam Newton, nine years, he kept us he kept us in contention for the playoffs, bro. It ain't we no it not. ain't no it ain't no way around that. Cam we kept us. Not. He kept us in contention. He kept the stadium sold out. When we went to the Falcons, we had to win the game. When yeah. We went to play the Falcons. It was the defense that got us over and beat the Falcons. It wasn't Big Cam Newton. Big Cat, oh, yeah. 
I, look, I've, I've I've seen I've seen Cam Newton go on game winning drives, brother. I've seen this man win games in the last minute. I've seen him do it. Name I've him. seen I've seen I've Name seen him. Cam. Huh? Name him outside the Giants man, game. The, look, Name him. Look, man. Hey, look, quick. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do this shit. Yeah, so now you finna tell me Cam ain't had no fourth quarter game winning drives, bro? You gotta Name stop this shit, Leo. He got he got a few, quite Patriots, a few of them. He got the quite Patriots, a few of them against the Patriots on Monday night. He he, he hit beat Steve. the Patriots. He, hit he Dodo. beat he the hit Patriots Steve. in he hit, Charlotte. He hit Steve, but but Brady got the ball back, so it wasn't no can winning game winning fucking drive. Brady got the ball back. Yeah, yeah, no, a, no. Hold on, Leo. Leo, stop. If, if if we're down in the fourth quarter and Cam Newton goes down the field and we score and take the lead and the other team gets the ball back and don't score, my friend, that's a game-winning fucking drive. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Man, fuck that nigga, man. That, that's that's, that's what a game-winning drive is called. Man, that dude. We, we, we ain't this never said, this motherfucker said... Tom Brady got no. the ball back and couldn't win it. Motherfucker, that means Cam Newton went on a game-winning drive. That's we what the fuck that is. We didn't have a back-to-back -back winning season with your franchise quarterback. I know that. Man, man. you, you got to stop this shit, man. You got to stop we? this did, shit. Did, did, did we? Did we? Yeah, we was in the playoffs. We went did to the we? playoffs three years on, in a row, man. We went to the playoffs on a humbug on some seven. Three, three years in a row, bro. That's on that's. I don't give a fuck how you slice it. It's three on winning seasons. Humbug, that's three humbug. winning back to back seasons. I don't give a fuck on how you slice it. You fuck how you slice it. Three winning seasons. You win a division. You win a division three years in a row. You go to the playoffs three years in a row. Three winning play. Three winning seasons, bro. Never you say what you see. That's the see. See Twan. That's where. That's where Twan get all that weight from when he say Panther fans make us look bad and we don't get respect. When motherfuckers like you or somebody like you say you're a Panther fan, but you really ain't. Spew shit like we ain't had no back to back winning <laughs> season, but in fact we don't won a division three years in a row on a humbug. Whatever, man. What the humbug. fuck ever. I don't give a, a fuck. I don't give a fuck what it was. We won the division. On a humbug. We beat Arizona with a backup well, but what's, quarterback. What's a fucking beat, humbug? Look, beat. look, a, 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 a fucking team driving all the way down the field on a game winning drive, missing a field goal to beat us, and we having to win to get in the playoffs can be called a humbug. God damn it. What, what, what the fuck is your definition of a humbug? We played Arizona. In the first round, Arizona had a backup quarterback with a hurt fucking knee. Fuck out of here with that bullshit, man. That what are you trash. talking about? What what <laughs> season? What the, season the, are the you season talking we, about? The season when we went seven, what, eight and one, and we barely made it to the fucking playoffs. Then we played Arizona in the first round, and we beat them on some bullshit. Yeah, they had a backup quarterback with a hurt fucking knee. I don't give a fuck how we beat them. We beat them. What, what kind of shit? What kind of fan talks about how we got the win? A, a, a realist, man. Stop, bro. Big cat. I'm, I'm about this nigga fucking my whole zone up. Whole yeah, this, fucking zone up, man. Y'all, y'all gonna accept the fact that that dude is trash. He was trash. All he was man. was exciting, running around dancing. He tricked y'all. The dancing bear tricked y'all. He ain't tricked me. He ain't tricked me. I got, I got three cam. I got three Cam Newton jerseys. My <laughs> baby's got jerseys, yeah, nigga. I, I know exactly what Cam Newton done for me as a Panther fan, nigga. I know exactly what he done for me, nigga. Yeah, I mean, for you to sit here and talk that shit you talking, it's funny because I mean a lot of a lot of this memorabilia I got I wouldn't have if it wasn't for Cam Newton and what he bought to me. Hey, 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 that's all right for you. Big cat, what I say, I didn't want us to win the Super Bowl because I didn't want that bastard to get any credit. <laughs> didn't I not say that, Big Cat? Yeah, you did. Fuck that nigga, man. He's fucking a piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck him. Fuck that dance. That there. shit ain't even funny to me, man. They, hey, I see why I see why these niggas be talking about they go tee off on your ass. Niggas, niggas go fire off on your ass as soon as they see you. But you taking it personal too? Why you taking it personal? No, I'm not. No, I'm it's not. Hard. Hell, it's I ain't hard. got nothing to do with it. I'm not, it's not. I don't Leo, I ain't got no hate for you, bro. None at all. <laughs> I hear I hear everything you say, bro, but it, it makes no sense. It's to you, but Cam is trash. That's a fact.
I mean, that's that's a personal opinion, bro. It's man, not a fact. Man, I, I, see, that's what that's where you get it highly fucked up Big because Cat. you think you think your opinion is a fact. Big Cat, when we played Denver after the Super Bowl, that Monday night game. Your opinion oh, ain't no. Hey, hey, when we played Denver after the Super Bowl, that Monday night game, Leo, if you watch that fucking game, Cam Newton got abused in that game. No, no real call. Really look, Monday night hey, game. Look, was a third hey, look, I, wa- I watched that game almost with tears in my eyes, nigga, and I tweeted that Cam Newton is the toughest quarterback ever to play the fucking position to take that punishment. Look, the nigga took head shot after head shot, nigga. She should be not there trying to dab on motherfucking grown men. Oh well. See, see, oh, well. you a hey, hey, you oh, well. a funny, you oh, well. a funny guy. Oh, well. You a funny guy if you oh, well. watched that game and, and you was able to stomach that shit. When, you a when, funny when guy. Tennessee, when we played Tennessee and he told him to chill out, he kept disrespecting them. You don't do disrespect men. You don't disrespect grown men like that. So I didn't give a fuck. Also, hold up. When we played what, against Leo? Them Monday night. When we played against them that Monday night, all everybody said, bitch, that fool ass nigga up the middle, he can't do shit. All Denver did. Leo, that mind you, that was week one. That was the season opener. All, then, all that shit, that was no, a season no, no, opener. No, 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 no. Week one, Denver, the rule was out on this stupid ass nigga. Blitz him up the middle. He can't do shit about it. Everybody blitzed that idiot up the middle. All man, Leo, Leo, Cam Newton took head shots on the sideline. What the man, fuck are you talking I, about? I, 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 Man, look here, man. He, he look Big here, Cat, man. you you saw that game he talking. You, you every every one of us saw that game he's referencing to. Blitz, and, blitz. And, and and I'm sure every one of us, every one of us was 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 a little displeasure at, at, at how Cam Newton was treated in that game. Oh man, fuck him. He ain't good. You get you get treated with respect when you earn it. Man, stop fuck this him. shit, bro. Fuck him. Yeah, hey, Leo, you you saying a lot. You you get treated with respect when you earn it. Fuck him. You mean he ain't did shit? And that's Super why Bowl, we say fuck Leo and his parents. Yeah, I, hey, look. In the Super Bowl, hey, look. I, hey, look. Everything y'all niggas be saying is almost justified. In the Super Bowl, this punk ass nigga, look at the football on the ground. He made a business decision. Fuck him. We down by six points. Fuck that. Nigga. Nah, it was, it was bigger than that. It was bigger than a fucking business decision. You, I mean, Leo, stop that crazy shit, man. Where, where you come from? Where the hell you come from, nigga? I'm not where where you no born? More. Where where was you born, Leo? I'm not gonna talk about it no more. I'm done. I made my point. Yeah, and your point was pointless. You didn't make a point, Leo. Your your point is the same thing you've been you've been you've been you've been slaying. Yeah, you know I mean you've been saying the same shit. We 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 all come to the conclusion that you you got a deep deep. You know, deep rooted hate for Cam Newton for some reason. I don't know what it was. Nigga grabbed your ass at the club or something. I don't know what it was. You got a deep hate for Cam Newton. And, 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 you know, for every quarterback in the league to be better than Cam Newton, according to Leo, it's crazy. It's That's preposterous, man. I don't know how y'all entertain that shit, fella. Big Cat, how you spending your weekend, baby? Oh, man, relaxing. Yeah? Yeah, I ain't doing shit, man. Sitting back on the couch, watch a movie. I watch Candyman today, bro. Is it good? Uh, it's great, it's great. great. What, well, would you watch it on the, on the jump off? Yeah, on the little jump off joint that you sent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about, to, I'm about to jump in this motherfucker. Let me see what you're talking about. It, 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 Let me see what he talking about. God damn it. It, 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 it ain't scary or not. I, mean, it's scary. I, I don't fuck with scary movies anyway, man. It, you know, we grew up with we grew uh, up yo, with Candy yo. Man if you yo, were Unk. 80s, baby. Yeah. Unk. What's up? What's Unk. up, Ray? So, so earlier you were asking about who Leo is. I think he literally just described to you what he is, who he is. He uh, clearly, I don't think anybody, even the chat, anybody on here heard what he said during his whole little bullshit talk. He literally said, and I quote, and I quote, that's y'all's franchise quarterback. He, you is hear not what a fran- he was not a franchise no, no, quarterback. No, no, no. He said that, but no, no, no. You said, and I quote, trust me, I, I made sure I listened in very well. And you said, and I quote, that's 
y'all's franchise quarterback. So who, what team do you actually like then? Like, why are the fuck are you here? Clearly, you're not, not a Panthers fan. He was fan. not a franchise Clearly, quarterback. you're not a fucking Panthers fan. Did you, you, dodge, did you, you that, dodge every fucking did you question that, uh, that's Arizona ever shown shit too? your way. Like, he was what the not fuck are you doing here? Franchise quarterback win back to back. And he already said he's Arizona right, fan. Shut the fuck up, Leo. He was he's the worst Hey, 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 here's the Shout worst. Shout out to the realist. You know, sometimes you just got to get quiet and let a fool talk. He was the worst statement. This was the worst statement that he made. He said he wished. That we lost the Super Bowl. Yep, I damn sure. That's, what I'm, want, That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, guys. He literally just ex- he literally he just explained to you who the fuck he was, who he is, fan, bro. It's bigger than football. <laughs> Shout out to the realest Man, one. The fuck up. Yeah, I mean, what kind are. of we, shit we, are you? We know who you are now. We know who you are now. You're, you're a fucking fake ass fan. We, I'm not even gonna call you you're a fan. A I don't know. Fan, bro. I don't. I don't know what team you actually like. But take that shit the fuck somewhere else. This is a Panthers podcast. Sometimes hey, boy, you just like, gotta fuck. get quiet and let a fucking idiot talk. I didn't and he'll want talk that. Right into I didn't want track. to dance in bed he and win. He said he literally Shut the fuck didn't. Up. Where, where would you ever hear any fan of any team say? I wish we didn't win the Super Bowl. <laughs> I just listened to you talk out your fucking ass for a good thirty minutes right there, and bro, trust me, we we know everything we need to know about. Hey, you. I told you, I told you, I was Take putting ass his ass in a bad trap. I was setting him up. It was bigger no, than football. We want you bigger to hear football. what this, what time it is with this nigga. So we just let his ass talk, man. It's bigger than football. You know what I'm saying? All right, well, then take, mother- that, take hey, that shit somewhere else. This motherfucker just said. I wish we didn't win the Super Bowl. Now, granted, he's a fan. I did say that. Two things. Two, 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 two things. Because I didn't want Cam Newton to get credit for it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's exactly what he said. I, that, that's exactly what I said. Yes, sir. Yep. I stand and this, by. This and, 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 and Chad, he, guys, again, everybody who's listening right now, and this, this is a Panthers fan. This is somebody that we waste a good hour or two on a night when we go live listening to the bullshit that spews out this motherfucker's mouth. But he's a, but he a fan. But he a fan. I'm a fan. Of, I'm a. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a man, fan. Man, shut the fuck you up. Stutter, I don't want to hear. I don't even want to fucking hear. I just listened stutter. to you for thirty minutes. Shut the fuck up. When you stutter, you're lying, Leo. You already lie anyway. But when you start stuttering, yeah, it's a lot more. Shut the fuck up. It's it's bigger than football, gentlemen. Nah, shut the fuck up, bro. I just listened to you for thirty minutes. Take your ass somewhere else. You gotta have some principles. Shut the fuck up, Leo. You gotta have principles. Leo oh, Van, man. whatever the fuck your name is. I don't even know what the fuck your name really is. It's you dancer ain't no Panthers fan. Take your ass. Fuck. Fuck. Shut the fuck up. It's bigger than the nigga, the nigga actually defended you, and now we just sit there and let you talk, and now this motherfucker, he won't be doing too much of that shit in the future. No, you niggas was all fucking... Nah, hey, look, I, I know who he is. I, Leo is... Uh, no, Leo he, confused, oh, oh, bro. Unk, unk, he, he showed you, us who he is, Unk. You, we know who he is now. We know who he is now. quiet because you're just that, the weed popping I'm dummy. telling y'all, this is my mother. Check this out. <laughs> Maurice Crosby said this nigga got a screw missing. I've been told y'all something psychologically wrong with this nigga, bro. You, you drug yeah, addicts no, they're, they're, were somewhere quiet. They're, they're really you ain't really never is. heard nobody no. say. Leo, I'm Leo, the nigga, the nigga were laid back listening to your ass like like they supposed to. The niggas, niggas is real there. journalists. You, 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 dealing, you dealing with journalists, nigga. Them motherfuckers is, you. they do their research. They sit back and they, 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 they listen and they analyze the every fucking thing you said. Cause they was high. Cause they high. <laughs> you know, I mean, hey, be, that, be that, like, that that it may. Be that that it may. Be that that it may. I, think that, that it may. I, I work. I probably work harder than you. I work harder than most people that are sober. So I talk that shit. Talk that, that, that shit, Ray. I think his niece is his caretaker. That's good, bro. I'm proud of you. Keep up the good work. So, I mean, that's good. Though. Well, I don't give a fuck what you got to say. Shut the so fuck why up. You, why, you <laughs> why you mentioned Shut it the then? fuck up. That's why, why I'm mad with you, Leo. Shut the did, fuck up. Why did you mention Shut it Shut the then? fuck if up, bro. Why did you mention it? Fuck you, if, if fuck you and everything you stand tonight, for, bro. If, every, if him running his mouth tonight, let your, didn't let your old motherfuckers in the chat know that it ain't, it, it, it ain't shit about football with him. He just said that your beloved team, that he wished they would have lost in the Super yeah, Bowl. Yeah, and, he, he and notice how he said multiple times said your, your. I hardly heard we out of his mouth. Not your, his, your quarterback, no, no, your this, your, your that. Well, well, fuck out of here. What the fuck are you doing y'all. here? Let me know. You know, I'm going to. I'm finna go ahead and yeah, do the yeah, table. Yo, co- yo, co- co- I'm finna go ahead and do the table because, uh, because they said they got, they no said they got Leon, um, Leon. They said they got Leo fans. So those same Leo fans, you might want well to put them in the category too. 
Yeah, he's bro. not a franchise quarterback. He just he he, never was. He just told y'all tonight. We just said your opinion was, don't mean shit, Leo. He told y'all tonight who it, he it really is. is, bro. Who he really is. He told y'all. He told y'all that y'all beloved team that he wished and he hoped and prayed we didn't win the Super Bowl because of some bullshit. In his own yeah, cause, cause, cause he didn't want Cam to get the credit. What, what kind of shit? shit? Cause he's undeserving. But you know how many you know how many players and, and coaches and 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 workers would have got credit for that win, Leo. Man, this thing gonna get an psychotic. Bro. Yo, this shit's funny. We want to sit here and have a show about why we're a disrespected team. Well, I think we just had a, a good forty minute span of why we are a fucking disrespected team. Boom. Like you want to yeah, because 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 the niggas last, like that. The last the last forty minutes just explained to you why we're also a disrespected team, and nobody fucking gives two fucks about us because scam. of motherfuckers like this. Scam new. They said he was a scam. Shut the fuck college. up. Hey, Shut Big Cat are here. Big Cat are here, bro. You, who was they? Big Cat. When 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 scam was coming out of college, they said his smile yeah, was fake, mm. and he was all about mm. himself. So when he come into the league, mm. what he mm. show you? His smile is fake, and he only care about himself. Oh. <laughs> oh man, this this is crazy to me. How was the smile fake? It's it's getting it's getting laughable, man. It's like nobody's gonna take this shit serious in a minute, bro. Because it's they laughable. because they start. I mean, I don't think anybody takes that motherfucker serious anymore. I mean, shit. Just, big it's, cat. it's laughable at this point. Never right? Big cat, big cat. Nobody on you the team likes them. Got a motherfucker on the Panthers. Yeah. This, no, this is, hey, Unc, you know I told you to get kicked off all these. <laughs> this is why they kicked yeah, off it, all the Fucking nice, shows, nice bro. at the round table. Big King, cat. King, big cat. Bring on the court gesture. This is why this motherfucker got kicked off the mother shows. Big cat, because they weren't yeah, dealing with this nigga, bro. Big cat, when he came huh. out of college, yeah. they say, say, say that again, Juan. Say that again, Juan. This is why motherfuckers is not dealing with him. Because of the same bullshit and rhetoric. And look, man, any motherfucker that tells you he wishes his team lost the Super Bowl, you're not dealing with a motherfucker that's right in the head, man. Big Cat. That's, that's dumb shit. When he came out this of college. This motherfucker's on Halladol or some shit, man. I'm Big telling cat. you, this yeah. nigga takes the ass psychotic. <laughs> Big Cat, when he came out of college, they say he was a fake and a phony. <sighs> and his smile was fake. When he came to the league, he had he had one two, two good games first two games. Time to get on that corner, Leo. But look, big cat, check it out. Uh, no, nah, no, no, nah, we're 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 no, no, nah, nah, we're, we're good, up. we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Did, did, did you hear the rumor that the teammates didn't like him? Did you hear that rumor? No, I didn't hear that. Tell me about that. Oh, oh, you didn't hear? Nah, okay. yeah, no. Nah. Big cat, must nah, see that's, that's out of Leo camp. That's out of Leo camp. No, big cat, I'm gonna see you in the league. The fucking land, the land of make believe. Big cat, I'm gonna see you in the league. You want the league? No, yeah. Bro, Leo, 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 do yourself a favor, bro. Go, go do something with yourself. Nah, Clay, I've just been do, chilling. Do, do us all a favor. Go do something. I'm going to go downstairs, get the rest of my orange chicken with my with, with my uh my shrimp fried rice, my half an egg roll, and be good. I ain't worried about Leo ass. Yeah, this nigga's crazy. Cam Newton ain't worried about Leo ass. He got millions. Ain't nobody worried about Leo ass. Tell you the truth, Cam Newton can go to motherfucking Miami and go buy him a spot. But Leo couldn't do that when he yeah, was down there. He had to be denied. Shout out to Claire, man. Shout out to Aries, Claire. That's she, said you whole under, she said you are undeserving. Big Cat, I'm about to send you the link to the Leo. email, Big Cat. Uh, right? what, what, what? Yeah, start, start that over, Twan. She said you are undeserving to be on this call, Leo. She said, I can't believe Twan, Ray, and 704 give you the energy or the light of day. Hello, I mean, look, that's why we got quiet. I'm listen, tired of arguing with hey, listen, I, I, I just sat back and was just listening to the bullshit. And I'm the type of person where it's just like, I, I'm <laughs> really good with letting shit go. <laughs> but, like, you just eventually hit a button with me, and it's a wrap. Like, I just, I can't stand this motherfucker anymore. I can't hear <laughs> it. I, I just, I, I'm just really not trying to hear another fucking word out of this. Hey, you know what, Ray? Really, I'm, I'm about to get part too. <laughs> Like I told you, like I, I don't know. Listen, listen, blood. listen, Unc, Unc, okay, he Unc. You were sitting here saying, boiling, listen, bro. Unc, and and seven oh four and fucking Twan and Big Cat. Y'all, y'all know me pretty damn well. So with that being said, joke. again, Unc, what what were we saying earlier? Like fuck, it, 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 you know, we all know, we all know one another, and it's just like I'm I'm pretty mellowed out, and I know I fucking snap out on here sometimes, and I, and I cannot stress enough. That's really not me, but something about this stupid motherfucker <laughs> just really pushes my button. Hey, Big Cat, are you there, bro? Yeah, man, brother, what's up? Big Cat, I sent you the link in your email. Check it out. Right, let me check that out. 
Yeah, yeah, if you don't mind. Read, 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 read that for you, for, for the ladies man, and gentlemen. fuck all that shit, man. Read that for the ladies and gentlemen. Q, they went in some chewing on site and pulled. Nobody can pull up bullshit, bro. But Big Cat, read, 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 read where it comes from also. It doesn't matter what that article said. We've heard everybody that's ever mattered on that team with Cam play said they love playing with Cam Newton. Nobody's ever talked shit about Cam Newton on that team. And that now all of a sudden, you're going to try to tell us you found some bullshit that, that says that they matter. didn't like playing with him. You already have told on yourself tonight, Leo. Yeah, 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 don't matter. I was going to say, that's another fucking point. You can sit here and bring You can bring. You can bring anything you want to the table right now, but you showed your ass to everybody tonight. Nobody gets two fucks what you have to say right now. Okay, yes, I'm, 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 be, I'm being real, bro. I'm going to be completely fucking quiet every time you come on here. And just See, you, hey, look. Hey, 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 I, 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 hey, I came on. I told y'all <laughs> niggas I'm putting them in the bear trap. I was setting him up. I was setting his ass up. You got to, you, 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 you know, if you, if you notice how I came at him, I was simply, Yo, uh, simply uh, trying to get uh, him to conversate. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Yes, sir. Checkmate. You already know. You know what I mean? It's not. It's, uh, so, see, I, I mean, we found, we found out a lot. I'm going to be real with y'all, man. I don't, I don't even want to hit this dude. I don't want to fight him. I, I won't hit him. I'm oh, I'll him. do it for you. I'm I'll gonna do be, it for you, Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Right. Let me tell you why. Because this nigga is not right in the head, man. I mean, it. I mean, no, nah, you, and you know, you know, yeah, you're right. You're right. No, you're right. There's got to be, some, it's gotta be something legitimately this, you, wrong with this dude. It's, it's some. It's, I guarantee you, it's some paperwork somewhere. Oh, from somebody he sees weekly that explains all of this shit, man. Hey, big cat. This motherfucker's not right in the head, bro. He's yeah, still I, I, I'll, I'll pray. I'll pray. I'll pray for you, bro. You you need some He's help. He's filled with hate, bro. He's That's why the people hate. in Miami. That's why people in Miami said, "Nah, we good. We thought you was another Leo. We was expecting another hey, Leo." Hey, listen, hey, hey, um, oh. hey, um, yeah. hey, um, this <laughs> nigga is so filled with hate. It don't make you're right. no sense. You're right. I, I take all no, that. It's, 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 it's I, deep. I, I, I it's deep you, rooted. You, you, need, you need some help. You need some help. Some help I, I, take, I take all that. I take all that anger back. You need some help. I'll pray for you. Hey, Seb, Seb, Mofo just woke your ass. I got, I got more proof that the team been like him. I got first hand knowledge. There's something wrong with this nigga because even when he hear all of this, all he does is keep calling on Big Cat. Big Cat, you there? You want to hear some more information? You want to hear some more? Blah blah. Any crazy motherfucker just needs somebody to listen to him and he'll be all right. Hey, hey, shout out to Ron Kincaid. I got you, baby. I got you. Yeah, Shout out man. Kincaid. Shout out to Ron Kincaid, man. Hey, look, I'm telling y'all, man, I'm not arguing with this nigga no more, man. I'm Big telling you something wrong with him. I'm not even joking anymore. Something's wrong with this dude, bro. Big Cat, you want some more information? He's just so filled with fucking evil and hate. No, I'm about to tell, about to tell you first. He don't like now. shit. It ain't, it ain't, he don't like nothing. He don't like you, shit. I'm about to tell you first. <laughs> he don't like black people. He don't like breathing. He don't like his team that he say he care about. Anytime you say something, you disagree. He don't like it. Hey, oh, hey, what what really get me is when y'all when y'all say Leo nigga, say oh, 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 I don't fucking I don't go to no Carolina game. I'm not I'm not going to a party. I mean I mean boy. it's it's crazy. What fan what fan that hasn't that hasn't that hasn't been to the, a, to the Bank fan, of America? Listen, listen, listen to me. Listen to me, Ray. As a as a child, as a child, if you see your father or a father or People in your family that's that's a football fan that watch games every Sunday and you take hold of that camaraderie as a child when you hear we going to the we going to the fucking game? No, you know, you, know, you put jerseys on. <laughs> you, hey, you know, I'm telling y'all. Do you know what the fuck that means? Daddy, it's, not even, it's, it's, it's not even game. funny, no. It's not even funny. Uh, no funny look, no, nah, 704. Man. Fuck all that. Even, even if you ain't had no pops, as a grown man, when you grow up and get enough money to take yourself, the, the way you feel that Sunday morning when you getting dressed, nigga, throwing uh, your pants and get on, twisting you one up if you bout that. Nigga. So you're afraid of heights, man? Please, yeah. Well, he afraid. <laughs> hey, if he afraid of heights, he afraid of life. God damn it. Big cat, big cat. Are you there? Big cat, you big, might need. Big, oh. big, big, big cat, I keep telling you, you might need to track softly with this dude, man. Did I'm it, telling link, you, man. Did the link come this dude probably seeing somebody, man. Popular, still he fucked up in oh, the head. Damn. If you do well, something, he gonna, cat, he gonna well, blame that shit on you, bro. 
But real quick, I mean, can I can I just say this real quick, Darren? No, quick. fuck you. Nah, 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 we're good. Okay, okay. Nah, okay, we're good. Nah, we're good. Nah, we're good. Nah, we're good. Nah, we're we're good. Nah, 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 we're good. Nigga, I don't want to hear. Nah, we're we're good. We're good. We're good. We're nah. Hey, shout out, shout out, the Ville seven oh four. Beautiful fucking feeling. Nah, nah, nah we're nah, we're 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 good. We're good. We're good, Van. We're good, Van. The cat, I got the nail coffin on him. Did y'all read what? Did y'all read what Darren KK put down? I'm telling you, it's not a game, man. I got the nail in the coffin on him. Shut the fuck up, Leo. You were definitely in need of some help. I got the nail in the coffin. Shut the fuck up. 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 The cat, I got the nail in the car. Fuck that! I re- you re- <laughs> not let the cat. Get but they, they, the they, they don't want to hear because hey, we nail in the car. Run, we're, gonna <laughs> we're done fucking hearing, 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 hearing your stupid ass, bro. Everyone is done hearing you. Everyone's done hearing you right now. Everyone's done hearing you, bro. Everyone's done hearing. Hey, yo, okay. yo, I'm hey, right here. This nigga, this nigga sits at his house and he hears us in here having a good time, and he says to himself, "How can I come in there and fuck up their vibe? Fuck this up, yep." Yeah. <laughs> All they do is talk. No, I'm telling talk. you, I wanted, I wanted to hit this nigga. I guarantee you, he got a card, something in his wallet, letting you know that this motherfucker is, is psychiatric, man. Nah, this Big motherfucker is somebody. I got the nail in the coffin on him. I got the nail in the coffin. Nah, they ain't gonna let me do it. I'm they telling you, man. Do I'm telling you, look, I was they don't want this nigga is dangerous, bro. All they gonna do is talk. I've been telling y'all for a long time. This nigga is dangerous. All they gonna do is talk. All they gonna do is talk. Uh, yeah, crib yeah. And go, how can I fuck up their good time, bro? Yeah. Leo the type of Leo the type of nigga to see y'all having fun at the house and call the cops over there and tell them he smelled fucking cocaine outside the house or shit. <laughs> Just to fuck up y'all party. <laughs> Oh shit! Yeah, 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 officer, officer. I got a couple canines, and they was alerted. Yeah. My canines uh, alerted, officer, was alerted, officer, and officer, and drew. Officer, yeah, officer, officer, they drew my attention to the guy's garage. Dark skinned gentleman over here doing. Yeah, doing just, uh, I don't. Uh, just seems like officer. Shit, uh, officer, officer I, I believe I him. believe they're having they're having a party or something. Yeah, of some sort. I've seen several women go in and out of the house, man. I, I don't know. I think they're whores or something. Look, this motherfucker not only going to tell, but he going to lie on top of it. He's, yeah, he's I mean, Leo, Leo. He's the grandmother who keeps putting up big-ass eyeballs in the hey, blinds. Hey, why, hey watch on. this. Watch this. Watch this, fellas. Leo. Leo, let me ask you a question. Leo, oh. let me ask. No, no. Fuck all that. Leo, let me ask you a question. <laughs> Listen to me. Listen to me, Leo. I wanna, I wanna know in the in the in the upcoming season, 2021 season, which Panther is your breakout Panther for this season? Man, fuck that nigga. We don't want to I, I, I need to, I need to know what he said. I need to hear. He's response. not gonna. He's no, not gonna. He's not gonna. We're not interested in hearing shit out from him about Carolina. Huh. He ain't no fan, bro. I'm gonna have to say. <laughs> I'm he have ain't to no say. fan. This nigga is literally. Now hold on. Let right? me, let me, let me hear his response. The long no, snapper. Fuck him. <laughs> fuck him. He ain't gonna respond to shit tonight. That nigga need to take his pills and go to sleep, man. Oh, fuck man. this nigga, man. He is literally the black male version of a Karen. Yeah, yeah. Can you took wow. the words right out of my mouth. Can I? You took the words right out of my He's mouth. He's a Karen, bro. He can't oh, stand to see That might be it, coffee. Antoine Leo Karen. That just might be a Karen Leo. Either way, yeah, you that, can just say yeah, that's that, it. That, 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 that is. That, 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 Leo Van Karen. That that is you got to do that. His name is Leo Van Karen. I'd like to say Leo Van Karen. No, listen, Twan, that's perfect. Twan, that's perfect. I'd like to speak to the manager. Uh, big, uh, big yeah. cat, big cat. Oh, yo, big cat. Hey, hey brother, big cat. Can, can I speak to the manager, bro? Can that I, is one hundred percent. That is one hundred percent on the fucking. As far right as, as I'm concerned, head. as far as I'm concerned, there's two BKs on this show now. That's big cat and black Karen. I'm calling this nigga black <laughs> Karen every time he come on this motherfucker now, bro. Period. You ain't Leo uh, no more. Your ass is black Karen. 
Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll ask you a question when they finish talking. You ain't answering my goddamn question, Leo. What the fuck I look like? Oh, no, what the fuck I look like responding to you? You ain't answering my question. Listen, before you ask any questions, before you ask any more fucking questions, you got a laundry list of questions to answer yourself. I mean, he really do. He really do. He really do, Ray. Before you want to ask any more questions, I think you got a good 20, 30 to answer first. You had a good 40 minutes to say it. Everybody in this motherfucking chat right now call this nigga Black Karen. He ain't Leo no more. He's hey, Black Uncle. Karen. Uncle, I'm going to ask you a question about That's what we do in the chat. We move it We, we, we move it to the chat. This motherfucker just told y'all out of his mouth. I did not want y'all's team to win the Super Bowl. Yeah, I, I ain't never heard no your, shit like your, that. Your, your franchise know. quarterback. You were a franchise yeah, quarterback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't, didn't want him to get no credit for a Super Bowl win off of 15 and one MVP season. You're right. Well, I, you're right. I don't you're know right, about Karen. that. And you're right, Karen. And you're right, Karen. That is my quarterback. That is my quarterback, Karen. Who's your quarterback? Shout out to Brandon Malone. They all calling this nigga Black Karen in the fucking chat, man. Yeah, right. chat, run it up, black cat. You, <laughs> you are right. You are You're right. That is that is shit. my quarterback. That is my quarterback, Karen. This You're right. Like Ray said, nigga, you tonight we let you talk yourself into a trap. Now I'm I, y'all call him Black Karen. I'm gonna call him Karen B. God damn it. That's his name for me, Karen B. Fuck, fuck Black Karen. Yeah, I like Karen B. Karen nah, B fits in there. I nah, think he get a tattoo on his BK's neck of Karen B. It's two BKs now, bro. It's two BKs now. That nigga's black. I, I promise y'all, I will not call this nigga Leo no more. Unless I slip yeah, up. Nah. That nigga is Black Karen from now on, bro. Big cat, are you here, bro? You going to sleep? Yeah, this motherfucker go around from fucking, from, from fucking, uh, to, from internet it's shows. Is the manager, is the manager Yeah, yeah, working. yeah. I done gave, I done gave, I done gave Leo quite a bit of time. I ain't giving Leo manager, too much time. Manager, you gonna get a show on duty. Who's the manager on duty? Big cat, Google. I've got, well, I've my got name a complaint. Is Black I've got a, I've got a complaint. I, 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 I've, got, I've got a complaint. I've got a complaint. Yeah, yeah my, my name is Black Karen. This, this service nigga, is just terrible. Nigga, this service is awful. Y'all know that nigga on that meme that's got the fuck the black dude that's got the phone up to his ear? That's fucking Leo, nigga. That's Leo. Yeah, 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 yeah, I mean, no, I mean, that's out. that's D, DJ Moore is something that goes beyond saying we we know DJ okay, okay, Moore is okay, looking okay, to have okay, a okay. breakout season. Okay, but, okay, Tuba Hubbard, I'm looking for him to have a at least yeah. a thousand yards. I'm yeah, that's that, 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 that's something that I like. Day. I like that right I'm there. Hey, 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 Karen B. Hey, Karen B. Talk this shit. Talk this shit. Hey, Big Cat, are you there? Smoking that crack again. Big Cat, do me a favor. Google Booger McFarland. Cam Cam Newton teammates don't like him. Google that and read that article out for the USA Today. And stop that bullshit. Let me Google that. Booger McFarlane wasn't even his te- he wasn't even his teammate. That nigga was on Monday Night Football. Big Cat. Yeah. Booger McFarlane. Man, who gives a fuck about Booger McFarlane? USA Today. <laughs> Google it, big dog. This nigga's name is Booger. <laughs> <laughs> Derek Brown better better than him. You talking about the nigga who just got fired from Monday Night Football? That Booger. Yeah, oh, Leo, my, Leo. My, hey, Leo know how to Leo know how to fuck with folks. I'm about hey, look, fellas, and that's and that's from the USA Today. That's not no back way. That's not and no. Folks don't know no, how to fuck him up. That's not no. And, that's what, uh, and it's also from that's, like, that's from the USA Today. <laughs> when you get a chance, because go over that real quick. I'm glad read, 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 read that article off to him real quick. Hey, read, hey, yeah, go find Karen's article and read that shit out. From the USA Today. You're going to be Black Karen from now on, nigga. You should have chose your real name, because I guarantee you, I'm going to have everybody on this motherfucker calling you Black Karen, nigga. That's what you are. <laughs> Period. Period. Goddamn it's Karen. My it's nah, my life's missing. It's my life's missing at this point. His name is Leo Van Karen, a.k.a. Black Karen. Hey, Unc, uh, didn't your mom always tell you, just, just get quiet around a nigga. He'll tell you everything you need to know about his ass. Yes, sir. Let him talk. Just let his ass talk. 
And then this motherfucker fucked up and said two of the worst things you can say as a fan. <laughs> so he didn't want us to have a trophy. He didn't want because he got a personal. Man, I ain't never. Yeah, I ain't like, never heard no shit like that, bro. That said it all. That said it never. all. Never. I'm telling never you. Never in my life. Twa- in the look. Look, I don't give a fuck how much I don't like a player for his off the field or whatever. I'm not going to take it out on the whole team. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, fuck that. We get to the Super Bowl, nigga. All that shit out the door. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not casting aspersions on the nigga. See, see, what happened was we lost the Super Bowl, and it hurt Leo to the point to where all he got was resentment. You that know what I mean? No Carolina fan, there. He didn't watch. Trust me. He now, now all he did was so resent. This nigga searched the internet pretending to be people just so he can be in their checks. <laughs> I'm telling you, he ain't got a life, man. He ain't got a life. This nigga's fucked up in the head, bro. You why you think all these white people got rid of his ass, man? Big cat gives him a voice. That's why he keeps coming back. Yeah, he did. And, and his voice ain't Big ain't cat, ain't much. It's more it. like a Simba voice. Did you see did you see the article, Big Cat? You gotta send me the link, it's not pulling up. Big cat. Big nah, cat. Nah, you there, big cat? Wait, hey, don't scream another nigga says your name that much, huh? I, I talked to them. Hey, big cat. Know. Big cat, you there? Hey, what about you, Uncle? Hey, Uncle, are you there, Uncle? Are you there, Uncle? Uh, I mean, how many Uncles do you have to hear before you tell this nigga to stop saying your name? <laughs> Sound like the Blair Witch. That, what's that movie? The yeah, White People Running in the Woods? The Blair Witch Project? Yeah, that's a hard movie. That nigga well, called a nigga. Big cat, when you get a chill, on Father's Day and said, Happy Father's Day, Daddy. After after after, after, after the show is over, it'll probably pop up. When you get a chance to look at that article, brother, you, you ain't got to read it out. Just when you get a chance, look at it. Still the ass, man. Yeah, yeah, Bill. Man, ain't nobody going to defend Bill Cosby, so he can say whatever he wants to about Bill Cosby. Nah, Bill got off on a technicality. But we ain't going hey, to work on a technicality on them. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, Leo, ain't no technicalities on you. They Ooh, just won't kill ass. Well, guess what? Well, guess one, what? Of the the thing, one, of, one of the things they go one of the things they're gonna get your boy Trump for is murder. Because that motherfucker killed Epstein while he was in jail because he knew too much. Hey, big cat. Now take yeah, that to yeah, you. Now take that to the bank. Big Wait till he take his ass to New York. <laughs> big cat, Bill got out. Because he, when he's in this, Bill had admitted to doing this in the seventies, and the judge made Bill sign a deposition, and Bill signed it, and it was not for Bill hey, to go to jail. Hey, but um, what happened was I'm gonna keep this court. Hey, you, court, Leo? you know, Yo. notice how, you know, oh, you notice how he you know, he, you notice how he says he thinks he knows about everything, <laughs> anything that's happening. He's he seems to know about it all, and guess what? No matter what you say about it, it's wrong. It's only right. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, 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 Leo, Leo has has the he he he's under he's under the impression that whatever his opinions are, some childhood that there, there's there's some that they, they, they seem to be ironclad fact. I'm telling you, man. Somebody tell see. At, at, at right. Leo, at Leo, wake up tomorrow, and let's say it's 86 degrees, and Leo say, "No, nah, it ain't. It's 95 with the humidity." Hey, 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 hey um, Shout out. Hey, look. I want to say shout out to Rujo Jones for the cash app. Guess yes, what sir. he said in the cash app text, um, He said, "He said, stay on this nigga's neck." Big, big cat. Are you there, brother? Yeah. You know why Bill was let he out? He said, "Stay on you this probably, nigga's you, neck," you and I'm staying on it. You probably do know. Do you know, brother? I'm saying, uh, how do you feel about it? Are you, are you happy to be out? I mean, I can't really say either way but, because... Hey, um, hey, 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 stuff, hey, stuff. How was your day-to-day stuff? Fuck I can't this nigga, really, man. I can't really <laughs> say either way, honestly speaking, because um, I don't know look, what he look, did. Look, look, look. Look, look, look. Y'all go like look, and look, subscribe look. to Never Scared Sportscast. That no yeah, live stream last night. Leo. I don't know what he did. Ain't no, ain't no way is this disrespectful to your show, man. If you want to subscribe, we'll some, stop. But fuck this nigga. We, had, we, we got some new logos <laughs> that drop and everything. <laughs> My loyalty is only to Big Cat. Fuck Leo. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, I fucked up. Karen. Black Karen. Big Cat, I have no, I have no really feeling Black about it either Karen. way. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, check this out. Hey, oh, you ain't Shikari, never heard um, the Shikari, white chick Shikari, cuss Leo out? Well, Big Cat, I know Bill admitted to doing some shit like that in the 70s, though. He hey, signed oh, you know I heard that shit, Twan. She was on his hey, ass. Hey, Claire, call in, killer. 
Hey, Claire, please call in. I'll cash up you just like Big Cat do. <laughs> Dude, hey, this Leo, motherfucking we, black we Karen. I'll cash up you to call in. Big Cat, Bill signed a deposition Leo. in the 70s and admitted to doing it. Leo. <laughs> yes, sir. What do you think about Shikari? The, the, the car, the girl smoking weed? Yeah, the track woman. Oh, she. Uh, out, not out a nigga around the corner. He, he, out of all her accolades, he said the girl that smoked the weed. She did. She she do what she did with niggas do, you know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Are you surprised? I'm not surprised. No, I'm not. Surprised. <laughs> see? <laughs> see, like this, this is that shit. Leo, this is that shit right here. You you better you better be the quintessential nigga. You hear me? Thank you, Vi. You Thank you, you better you be the quintessential nigga. She it's who you better she, be. She did what niggas do. But Leo, did did, did you say right. did you say you were, you attend the strip clubs or the gentleman clubs frequently, right? No, 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 sir. You you are wrong. The gold room is a regular club. It's not a strip club, sir. So, so what are you? Okay, club. stop, it's stop right there. Right what what are you in? Hold on, hold on, Twan. What what are you? What are you attending the gold room for? What what what, what is your leisure there? Internet out here. <laughs> what is your leisure there? It's a straight club, sir. Just for just so you you, you use your. Own. I didn't I didn't ask oh, you if it was gay or straight. I just asked you what's your leisure there. <laughs> Why did you point that out? Why did you point yeah, that yeah, out? Yeah, he threw that out there, but I just want to know what out? your leisure is. Hey, what is what your, your leisure? Oh, hold on, fellas, let him talk. What's your leisure there? Yeah, why did that nigga try to point that shit a, out? You ain't say nothing about it. Hold on, hold on, Twy. Look, 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 look. Check it off. Put it in your notebook. We heard what he said. Now, Leo, what what is your leisure at the Gold Club that you so heavily promote? It's a straight club, sir. Oh, okay. So we say <laughs> I, I didn't, I didn't ask twice. you if it was gay or straight. I said, what's oh, your oh, fucking he leisure? Said it <laughs> oh, he said it twice, huh? What what is your leisure? Make that three times, sir. Make that four times. It's a straight club, sir. Why do you keep saying that? If you can't comprehend what I'm saying. I you agree. Gotta, you I, I say, I Leo, 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 stop. Stop right there. Stop right there. Because cause every straight club in America got a motherfucker that's sideways in it. So if you if you if you keep you keep reiterating or keep iterating at the fact that this club is straight. So so that 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 don't that don't make me think of you as a straight man if first that's why all, you keep reiterating that. First of all, that's a goddamn lie because Leo, Come on, yo, Twan, let, let, let this man no, let this man no, talk. No, 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 no. Fuck yeah, that let, shit. Let this man let him continue letter, putting his foot in his mouth. That's where all the gay people are. He hey, look, Twan, Twan. Look, I asked Leo. I said, I said, I said, you, 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 you told us you go into the strip clubs frequently. He said, no, I go to the gold room, which is a straight club. He said that. That's what he said. I said, okay, Leo. So, so why do you go to the club? What's your leisure there? He said, oh, it's a straight club. I said, okay. So, what's your fucking leisure there? So, so he what what he's implying is. When, when he says it's a straight club, he's implying that he's going there for women. That's okay what he, that's then. what he's implying. Okay then. No, okay. No, it ain't no fucking okay then, Leo. It ain't no okay then. So, so now we get now we getting somewhere. Now we getting somewhere, Leo. Leo, so 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 if 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 Shikari hey, Richardson smoke, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, let me read this money real quick. Go ahead, go ahead, Twan. Damn, big cat, you gonna try to delete the shit, man? Well, hold on, Twan. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. <laughs> if, if, hold on, hold on, big cat. If, if Shakari, if Shakari Richardson, if Shakari Richardson is doing what niggas does. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, no. So Twan, hold on. I got. Hold on. Let me pull rank here. What happened? So you you gonna read a chat that's not paid for and then say it's a super chat? You gonna play me? You gonna try to play me like a dumb nigga? I ain't seen no cash app behind that. Right. So why are you right. going to try to say it's a cash app? No, I said let me read this money. You say you delete message. You trying to read that like it's a cash app? What you trying to say, nigga? Yeah, we always read fucking messages in the Nah, chat. that wasn't no cash app. I don't read shit for free. You may do shit for free. I don't. Man, hold on. Hold on let me say something. Oh, so you telling you me this nigga, stop, this nigga stopped me for, for, for a free for, message? For, for now? Let me tell you motherfucking nigga something. 
You don't like what I fucking do? Get the fuck out. I'm going to say it again. Block it. Delete it. Get out. <laughs> yeah, shout out Woodrow. I'm going to stay on this goddamn neck tonight. Get out of here. I'm not forcing hey, you to keep your brows open. Saying, Leo, you reiterated and if you don't like it, get the fuck out. And anybody, oh, oh, and anybody on the phone that don't like it, get the fuck out. You telling us to get out? Anybody who got who want to say, hey, nigga, you were finna read a message about me like it was a super chat. I seen what you did, nigga. You, you, nigga. No, I'm reading. Look, I no, 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 no. The message I deleted was about, about me, nigga. And it, and it was free. He and you, like you, said, you, and you said you were finna read it. You, I, 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 <laughs> so now, now you gonna sit up and play me like I'm dumb. I'm saying that he ain't. You asked me cat. why I deleted a message about what this nigga said about my All platform, right, and then you said, "Damn, you delete messages, big cat." So you finna read that? Nah, you said you said that we don't <laughs> read shit for free. That's what you said. The nigga left a message about me and what I'm doing on my platform. And then you said, damn, you like you were finna read it. Like it was free. Like it like it was a paid message. Is that what I, we doing I now? Didn't read it. I said, I said, So why I said did you, you question me? So why did you question it? me about somebody reading a negative message about me? On my shit. Because I asked the question, I said, why you delete it? Because it's about him. Yeah, yeah. He said, "Why you, why you fucking question him? Right. Delete the message about you him." Right. You got hey, it. You I got can it. Speak for myself, man. You got it. You got it. <coughs> you got it. I'm trying, I'm trying to. I'm trying to get straight with Big Cat. I don't need fucking Leo speaking for me. Say, man. I was say, what, 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 what the fuck happened? What? Some nigga left a message for free talking shit about me and what I'm doing, and then a motherfucker said, "Why, why you delete that message for?" The fuck you mean? I deleted. What? What? Me, what me, I, 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 it, don't it don't matter, don't matter what the message says. He deleted it. So <laughs> I deleted it. So then the nigga say, "Why you delete the message?" No, but but when I said it, I was laughing. I said, "Oh, we delete messages now." Like I, I was laughing. You making it seem like I said it like I was. Serious. I don't know how you take it, bro. That's why I'm asking you to your fade. Nah, I wasn't questioning your shit with that. I just said okay. I was laughing and said, okay. "Why you delete it?" Okay, and that's what it was. If you took if you took it as disrespect, that's not what was, that wasn't okay. my intent. Okay, well my apologies. But I don't man. need motherfucking Leo speaking for my ass. Man. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. I didn't know what you were talking about. Fuck when Leo. I, yeah, no doubt. I mean, if a nigga talking shit on my platform, I got the right to delete it. Yeah, absolutely. And this go you for do. anybody on this goddamn this, phone but, but or anybody in the is, chat. If you don't like what I'm fucking doing, block this away, shit, delete this shit, speaking and get the fuck on. Shit, like he your goddamn lawyer. No, no, no. I don't need to speak for me. I speak for myself. And I'm gonna say this again. If you don't like what's going on here. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. That goes for hey, anybody. Shelly, man, fuck you. Come on, Twan. I said it, man. That's Any how he... like, just, just like That's you, how he is. Man. Big That's how is he a man. is. Just like me, no, bro. No, no, I speak for myself. I got, I speak I'm for a myself. man, too, right? So, I... look, so if somebody in the chat don't like what I'm saying, then fuck them, too, right? Right, right. That's right. how he is. If you don't like it, then tune the fuck up. Right, like, fuck facts. you, Leo. He can't take the heat. Fuck you, bitch. He can't take the heat. Fuck you, you Leo. He can't fuck out of here, Leo. He can Leo, out, Leo he you're, 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 nah, shut the fuck up, Leo. You're the last one to be talking about that shit. You can take your ass the fuck out of here. You're the last one that should be speaking on that shit, bitch. You're the last one. You you can't, no, 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 no. You can't even answer a simple fucking question. You can take take your bitch ass somewhere else. Nah, you can take your bitch ass somewhere else. You can't even answer answer a simple fucking question, pussy. That's what he do. He ain't gonna be Shut this motherfucker up, won't Leo. be satisfied until this till until he see all of us broke up. Nah, man. He's trying to create that shit. And this goes for anybody you, in the you chat. You want to see what your punk ass trying to do, nigga? That's you, what you do. Well, hold on, hold tight, fellas. If, if this goes for anybody in the chat, if you don't like it, block it, delete it, report it, shut it down, get the fuck on. I'm doing me, baby, and I'm going to keep doing me. That's what they it do. It is what it is, you man. You're such a fucking hoe. I'm not, I'm not forcing none yeah, of you niggas nah, to keep we, your we internet problem. Shit, bro. You, you're the only one in here creating creating drama, creating bullshit. You are the fucking problem, Leo. Don't don't even try to be playing shit right and now. And the shit was created behind your fuck-ass mouth, nigga. All, every, everything was going just fine until your stupid fucking ass decided to show the fuck up tonight. And honestly, just in fucking general, and keep bringing your stupid... The Mmm, bro. <laughs> you got me so heated. I can't. Even, to do, I can't even talk straight. I can't even talk straight. You got me so heated. I'm surprised you're still up, Ray. You usually be sleep by now. 
Yeah, you're right. Because I work two jobs. I take care of kids. Yeah, I, I, I fucking live a. a hey, I'm, 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 I'm glad. I'm man, glad Ray life. fucking with me. I ain't been on in about a couple very, weeks. Very I'm glad yeah, Ray is with me. When I wake up at when I wake up at six a.m. Monday through Friday, work two jobs, take care of kids. Ray, I mm, miss bro, you, don't, don't, don't. Tell him, Ray, yeah, it, it ain't easy, goddamn. Ray, Ray, I miss with you, sir. I'm just miss with you, sir. I, it's good to talk to you, honestly. It's because I don't get enough. I don't get enough time with you, so I'm just giving trust you a me, hard time. If I, if I could get enough sleep and stay on this shit for five, six, seven hours, you know, every show, trust me, I would do it. But a, a motherfucker got to sleep every once in a while. Yeah, no, I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. Hundred percent. Fuck you, Karen. I feel you. Hundred <laughs> percent. <laughs> Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. I really, I, I feel you. I'm just giving you a hard time, Ray. You I might know what the fuck you're trying to do, nigga. <laughs> that nigga said, "Man, fuck you, Karen." I, I respect you, Ray. I'm just giving you a hard time. We trying to talk to you. Uh, like, I don't man, know. You gonna I, 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 I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far and say you respect me because clearly there's no fucking respect there. But it is what it is. No, I mean, I mean, it, that's that's what you say. I mean, I told you that. I mean, it's cool. I mean, but you know what? Then I gotta take it a step further and say it's not really about what I say; it's what I feel, bro. I'm real big on energy and shit like that. And you got some fucking massive negative energy coming out of your ass, bro. Okay, okay. Hey, so hold on, y'all, y'all trying to let this nigga off the hook from what I was getting to? I was I getting to the it. bottom of something. You talking about the um, straight club shit? Okay. Oh, oh. So uh, again, uh, number five. Leo, now, that was number. That was number I, six. That, Leo, there, I, I there's no need for you to keep reiterating that the club is straight. I, 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 I didn't say the gold room was a gay club. No, I'm saying it's just women there, sir. I'm going there. Oh, 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 Leo, Leo, listen to me. Okay, now, now let me just get to my goddamn point. Now, you, 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 you stated that Shikari Richardson. What 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 happened with her is you summed it up as niggas doing what niggas do, correct? Yes, sir. Absolutely, yes, sir. Okay, stop. Pause right there. Now, <laughs> Leo, hey, hey, see, see, y'all, y'all know where I'm going with this shit. Now, uh, Leo, I'm pretty sure if, I know if, where you're going with it. Yeah. yeah if, if, if you frequently attend a and and mind you, I got the quotation marks in the air going up straight club as the gold room frequently. You, you, my friend, you, you, my friend, are doing what niggas do. So you, you, my friend, because Leo, you also, you also state, you also state in previous shows that you have multiple women. Now, mind you, I'm throwing up the quotation marks in the air again. You stated that you, you have multiple women. Okay. What is that? Uh, listen, what, listen to uh, me, Leo. And what, and you, that, uh, you, you, that, uh, you're, you're doing, my friend, in fact, what a nigga does. No, not at so, all. No, sir. You, man, look. For, hey, Leo, for, for you to look, every, uh, look, you, you can't talk that shit to Up because every, look, Up don't goddamn break your ass down. Up gonna break your ass down like a bad, bad like, a, like a pack of coke. Yeah. Was King Solomon a nigga? Oh my God, man! Stop, stop! And so now, now you telling me you, you, oh, you, 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 you a fucking, you, you a prehistoric king or something? Leo. Was King Solomon a nigga? That's all I'm gonna know. So you ain't no fucking King Solomon. Was King Solomon a nigga? Yeah, yeah, he was. To be exact, he was a black man. He was no, a no, nigga. No, 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 He's no, a no, fucking no. nigga. No, 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 no. The He's king a fucking Solomon nigga. Of the Bible had. Man, Leo, Leo is a snow. Leo, Leo, you don't, Leo, you don't have one wife. You don't have one fucking wife. How did so? Big cat. Yeah, what's up? Leo, so so Leo, stop. So so there's a, Leo, Leo. Listen to me. There's a woman married to you right now. Hey, I mean legally, legally married to you right now. Was King Solomon the nigga? I ask, I'm asking you a yes or no question. Is there a woman legally married or bound to you right now? Everybody no, got no, a woman no. except this nigga, man. No, no, Everybody. No. Don't nobody okay, now, now stop. Stop right there, Leo. Is there, a, is there a woman in America that you can call at this hour that says, Hey, Leo, oh, you want me to come through and hit you off? Nigga, I'm on my way. Is it a woman that you can call right now that'll come through and hit your ass off because you called her? Cause, cause she just like your fucking presence. Is it a woman? Is it a woman that bask in your fucking presence because she loves it or enjoys the beauty? And I can tell you the answer to that question now, cause you you ain't got no woman right beside you, bro. 
The answer to that question is no. Leo, so you in fact, you in fact does and do what a nigga does. You go to the club, you offer, you you hope to find a female that you might be able to get some companionship for the night. And if she do, you might offer her money or you might buy a drink. I don't give a fuck how you, how you, how you lure the woman or seduce the woman. But I'm telling you right now, you, my friend, in fact, do what a nigga does. You, my friend, are a fucking nigga. So for for you for you to say what Shikari does is what niggas does, you you the same nigga. You the same nigga that you point the finger at, man. Big cat, yeah, yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah. Let's get back to Shikari Richardson here. You, you, yeah, you, don't you, let him you, run from that yeah. shit. You the nah. same nigga that you point the finger at, Leo. Now you say yeah. the nigga that you talk about is that motherfucker you look at in your little in your little mirror. You know what I mean? I, I, I heard you. 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 Yeah, yeah. I disagree with you, but I heard you. Now, now, uh, Leo, about this uh, Shakari Richardson. You want to more elaborate on that? Yeah, see, see, niggas are so unaccountable for shit. They know. <laughs> yo, you are so <laughs> fucking disrespectful. Hey, man, I can't take them no more, yo. You are so fucking disrespectful. Yeah, just, just like you are, Leo. You so unaccountable for your shit. They, they Y'all know what Leo and her got in common? Never. And never let you finish it all. The, the, no, we, why? Why? Why, why let you finish the bullshit? Well, well. Y'all know what they got in common? Well. Why did she say she was smoking weed? Mm. Damn, damn, mm. Sam Mofo. Mic drop. Mm. <laughs> mm. Boy, that, that motherfucker yeah, Sam Mofo mm. hate Joe mm. Paul. Yeah, he oh, just no. hate your whole existence. No, I don't hate him because I don't know him. All. But why did he just well, why that's she was fact. smoking weed? <laughs> I don't give a fuck about him, but I don't hate him. It's two hey, differences. Um, uncle, you there, um? Hey, um. So the, they ain't gonna never stop like Diddy say. We won't stop. We won't hey, stop. Um. Uncle, you there, sir? <laughs> hey, yo, I hear you, brother. Uh, well, yo. Let, me just, let, me just, let me just say something to you real quick, uh. that, that individual, somebody, somebody, oh, some, somebody yeah. continues to talk, but... Oh, but nigga, you have been talking this. for like... I will. Six hours. Never. Nobody give a fuck. I don't need you for clearance. I don't need hey, you to um, talk, nigga. That's um, what you better um, realize. Um, um, because you thing. always come back around. You shit in the toilet, nigga. Um, um, um. The fuck? Um, you a dog hey, say, it, say it, Leo. I'm listening. Okay. You a dog <laughs> real to me, not, man. Not one time. Not one time. Ain't nobody man. gonna save you. I don't give a fuck. That hurt your feelings, did it, nigga? Not so now you're going, now you looking for um, for some type time. of clarity or attitude. Uh, he ain't giving that to you. I dare you. Sure. Already, because you already fucked up when you having that conversation, Mr. Van, uh, Mr. He gonna, Karen. He, he gonna cry in the car. He gonna cry in the car. Not one time have I addressed the You don't need to. Not one time I have addressed the ghost. And I'm just letting you know that I will never address the ghost going forward while I'm on the phone. So you talking about Sam Donald Ghost? You talking about Sam Donald Ghost? That's the only ghost I know of. It's on panel. Oh, what is he talking about? Oh, that's oh. the only ghost that I know. Oh. Are you are you talking about your mom and father, man? He probably oh. is, huh? Oh. That's, that's maybe that. Yeah, yeah, they could. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah I feel. I, I hear you, Leo. You I hear what you're saying. So. They can be so in hell like, too, if all we know. I will never. I will never go forward address the ghost. Good. He, that, that, the that, ghost that, gonna address you though. That entity is he gonna oh come God. in your dream. Yeah, like I feel. Hey, look, I hear what you Freddy say, Cougar, mm. nigga. He yeah, gonna come that, in your dream that, like Freddy Krueger, nigga. Just for clarification, though, that's all. And pull your shit all the way out. Just, man. just for clarification, that's all. So I will never address. Just like Big Cat said, he was watching Candyman when you go in the mirror, nigga. That's what you gonna see, the ghost, nigga. He gonna cry. <laughs> hey, um, <laughs> just going forward, just this. So whenever you wonder why I don't address the ghost. I will never address the ghost going forward. Like I need him to fucking address something. Shut up the word you eat your salad, nigga. Matter of fact, it's time for your shower and your cream and shit. <laughs> nigga, clean your goddamn self up, nigga. Shut up the word you eat your salad, nigga. Still talking, you know I fucked you up, man. I'm, I'm your dragon slayer, man. I mean, you ain't even no king. But um, that's that's going forward. That's that's it. That, I, that's all. I want to share that with you real quick. That's all. No, no, you ain't done yet. Shout out to Woodrow Jones for the cash app. Thank you, there. Shout out to Glow. Yes, Gang. sir. Keep pounding. He said, hey, Woodrow Jones say stay on your motherfucking yeah. neck, Leo. Glow, Glow Gang says, I uh, love the show. Keep pounding. Watch it for two years. Shout out to Glow Gang. Now, Leo, now wrap this thing up with uh, Shikari. Uh, I think she had some kind of ailment. Is that why she was smoking? Oh. What, uh, what ailment did she have? I, I didn't know. look at Me either. Yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't know none of this. 
Oh, you know anything about Bill Pops? <laughs> the, only, the, only, the only the only the only she has because he he picks oh, he picks and chooses he picks and chooses. Oh, the only ailment she has is, is niggerdom. That's the only ailment she has. Now, now what's See, the, bro? I, the the fucking disrespect <laughs> is just un. Hey, hey, it's crazy! It's yeah. crazy! It's crazy, Ray. I mean, I the shit, the shit just, that he spew. But see, Leo, Leo does that in the comfort but of see, his but, own but, home. You know what? You know what? Behind see, YouTube. Here's, my, here's my thing. I here's, mean, here's in, in barber shops it's not, amongst, it's not even. It's not even about the whole black, white, just sat in the third anymore. It's just like you're. For me, I'm gonna protect my brother. I'm gonna stand up for my brother. So, like at the end of the day, you're you're, you're speaking to all brothers right now, whoever how you really want me to word that. And that, brother, that to me is the ultimate disrespect, brother. bro. That's just brother. fucking disrespectful. Like, how, hey, how are you gonna? I, I guarantee, I guarantee I you, one I day that, that Leo no, no, out, look, somebody look, whooping his ass, point, he gonna look for with somebody every, to help. With everything, with hey, everything fucking going on in the world right now, especially right here in the fucking U.S. No, this man, is the stance you take right now. You you are a part of the fucking problem. They you are, are a part of the fucking problem. Hey, Ray, you fucking they are my, Ray, they playing are my big enemies. V ass motherfucker. Ray, they are my enemies. I ain't got no brother. Now, fucking now, 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 fucking now, Leo, big V in this bitch, bro. Now, Leo, no it's actually she smoking because she was coping with her uh, her mama dying. How do you feel about that now? That's I can't, bullshit. I can't, I can't say nothing about it. That's her mom, but she, you know, she failed that drug test. <laughs> yeah, doing what niggas do, right? That's I'm, what I mean, that's what you said, right? I wonder what his coat, what he used to get through his, you know, shit. Big cat. <laughs> what drugs he taking? Big cat. Have, however, she want to deal with it. That's her personal life. I, I wonder what drugs he took to make to go through his copeness no, to what, help him out. Well, I'm asking, is it still help him escape? If, that, if, if that's what she said, then I, I, I. I I take it back. Okay, said, so it's not it it's not nigger shit if, she, if if she's using it for that. Yeah, I mean I can't speak on it because if that's how she wants to deal with it, then that's how she wants to deal with it. So I I take that back. I, I wonder why I he can't speak her. on it. That sounds familiar. I, I don't want her. I don't want to disparage. You gonna cry, her. Leo? So you gonna cry? Deal with it. I can't. You gonna cry, Leo? You gonna cry? I can't disparage her name for how she deal with it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I was on the phone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I can't. I can't disparage her name at all. How she Leo, doing, man. How she Leo, have you ever heard this before, man? I'm gonna tell you something real quick. Have you ever heard somebody say this before? You a piece of shit. Thank you. But you know what? I don't. That shit. That doesn't. It doesn't even need to be said because, bro, everybody yeah, bro. fucking feels that shit. Bro, you can't bro. live your life this way, bro. You a piece of shit. But big cat, big cat. Yeah. Honestly speaking, though, I can't. I can't say anything disparaging about her because. If you are you already shit. did. You already did. You already. What do you mean you can't say anything disparaging? You already fucking did, bro. Come on, man. Peanut gallery, please. <laughs> Brett, bitch, don't. Nah, nah, nah. Don't, don't do that, bitch. Nah, see, see. Yeah. Who's was this? Who was this? How much money you got? I will pray for you that we never cross paths, bro. I will pray for you that we never cross paths. I swear to God. I swear to God. Ray go say, oh, that's that bitch. Okay. It's not my place to speak Okay. Okay. I didn't know that at all. I had no knowledge of that. Oh, see, Leo, see, see, and that's my point exactly. It's all funny. You say certain shit, and when you find out what it is, you recant. Right here is what's the problem with this world. It's all fun and games until somebody stand right the fuck in front of you. It's all fun and games. Hey, uh, uh. It's all fun and games. 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 It's all fun that's that's it. That's that's why he says it. I will tell you why that shit flow out his mouth like that. Some some of the shit that comes out your mouth, you wouldn't even get. You wouldn't. No 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 no. This motherfucker wouldn't even get to finish his sentence around my guys. My boy, you wouldn't be able to. Yeah, he he know he'd have been got his ass beat up, Twan. If he's you would not be able to finish a fucking sentence, bro. Around here, around here, you would not finish a sentence. Hey hey Ray, around here, shit, ain't no way. Shit, is it, the shit, the shit that he say, he say he he might be in his bedroom in the closet with the door closed with a little push right, light on, talking that shit. I tell you that, I fucking tell you that. You guys are a bunch of 
You are well, Leo, you lost. You I, I really lost wait, 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 credibility wait, 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 with what Leo's. What do you want to call me? We, we, call me? we had the gun what talk. Good? We had that gun talk with Leo, and he couldn't tell us the brand of this gun. What am I, Leo? What am I, Leo? What am I, Leo? What am I? I'm a drug addict. I'm a drug addict. Okay. Popping drug addicts. Right. Right. You drink alcohol, bro? You drink alcohol? No. No. Yeah, now, not once, not, 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 huh. now, not once, now, not once did anybody say they was popping any pills. But see, that's yeah. just right. No, he's the only he motherfucker that said anything it. about that. He'll he's the only motherfucker that said anything about that. Hey, and not so, once did anybody ask him if if he was going to a straight or a gay club. <laughs> but he, uh, but he, he had to tell us. He had to, tell yeah, he had to make sure. He had to, he had to, had to make sure. Yeah, he had to. He had to say it multiple times. I mean, I, I not one time, not one time that we. Did we allude to the fact that 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 may be possibly a a sideways club, Leo? You a I did A bunch of weed head gummy popping drug addicts. <laughs> see, they they now, now 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 he goes to the insult when he hurt. That's, see, that's see, you gotta understand the classic, the classic. It's a, it's a gummy he he go to insulting us when he hurt. Now, Leo, that's it ain't my fault. You go to the straight club to be gay. And I pray, every, I, I pray everybody else <laughs> will live longer than you, nigga. I pray they all live long. I pray they all live longer than you, nigga. And Big find Daddy. your grave and piss on it, and then blow some weed smoke on it. You hear how he talk, Big Cat? I hear. That's the same dude Fuck that wants. Want, that's the same dude that wanted to read that shit about you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the same dude. Who hey, look, nigga. Get- Hey look, okay. hey, look, nigga, you can fill Big Cat head up with all you want to fucking fill Big his head cat. up with, man. Yeah, man. That's cat. on you, nigga. <laughs> I, hey, look, cat. nigga, I ain't going to sleep. I ain't Big scared, cat. nigga. Big cat. I ain't scared. You can I say all you, your pussy ass want to say, nigga. Cat. I'm right here, nigga. Big Cat. This how, I ain't losing no motherfucking what? sleep, nigga. Lo, Fuck this you. How, Big Cat, low life nigga. <laughs> shit like that. Low nah, life nah, nigga. Nah, he ain't no low life, bro. Oh, please. Nah, I'll be the low life, man. This nigga wishing death. I'll be the motherfucking low life. This nigga wishing death on me, man. Come on, man. Stop. But see, this is this this is this is oh, what I'm see, talking about, bro. I, I, I ain't wishing and, death on you. No, 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 I ain't wishing no, no, no. death on you. I'm just gonna beat the this fucking. This, oh my god! Nigga, but how many <laughs> death people uh, you done shit on? You done talked about Joy Ford, MLK, and different shit. Stop looking for excuses, Leo. Ain't nobody I, I giving ain't you that shit. On you, but you, you, you'll never forget my ass. I'll tell you Niggas that. Niggas always trying to look for some shit. Bray, I know you're not doing that, bro. I know you're not like that. You're Come a baby man. ass bitch. Yeah, I'm not like that. But I see, you know what's funny? You're right. To some degree, you are right. I'm not like that. But when you, you get like to that, that point with me, I am like that. Right. Right. Me. I'm not you like that. Me. But you when you get but when you get me to a point, trust me. I'm I'm every bit of what I say, bro. You ain't gonna rush death on nobody, yo. Death I don't wish death upon nobody. Yeah, you're damn yeah, straight. I don't wish death on nobody. Because I mean, you know what I you know what I always say? Listen, everybody wants to start shit and everybody wants car. to pull guns. Everybody wants to fucking tote guns and show guns. Bro, step to me with your fucking goddamn hands and I promise you we'll, we'll just we'll just go from there. I don't, I don't need to shoot nobody. I don't need to shoot nobody. Did I wish right. death upon him? See, that's first of all, let's clear this back that up. Did I wish death upon him? Or did I say I wish everybody on here outlives him? Come on, fuck all that. It's called karma, so she can fuck she him, can bro. wish she can wish whatever she wants on him. Please, I mean, this motherfucker is evil, bro. I'm telling this motherfucker, he's a is. fucking joker, bro. He's it a dangerous goes. motherfucker, bro. He, he can't, ain't gonna he be can't run from karma. He ain't gonna be happy till he try to break all this shit up, mm-hmm. man. Big cat, just like just like Made Man said the other day. These niggas so far in there. And where's Made Man at tonight? Where's Made Man at tonight? You, we had, we had to tell Made Man, Made Man, why the fuck he's so fucked up. So let's, so let, let it be known that he don't watch every fucking show. He don't tap into every show. It's a Friday. Where's he at? I understand he got a family and shit, but hey, I'm not gonna listen to a nigga that ain't really paying attention to the show. This is what. So fuck a Made Man and fuck you too. This is what Made Man said. Like when the motherfuckers get to the point. They start going on the like he got some some wishing, clout or some shit. Wishing he ain't nobody president. Wishing death on my like what what, what we talking about? Like, no made man, was made man, you, made bitch. man, you man was up there dissing Twan religion, religion, but then talking about some let's work together and build. That nigga said, was confused. I said I, said, I, said, I, I wish like, everybody on here outlives you. Nobody wish death on that you. That nigga was confused. I mean, but you see how these niggas is though, man. Like what what kind of motherfucking combo? Man, stop being soft. He getting emotions. Why you're getting his motion. That? Stop being soft, Leo. If I'm fucking rather you die, they'll just why turn the page you, on your ass in the newspaper, you, nigga. Why would you say that? Stop though? getting all emotional. Fuck you, because I can, nigga. Fuck you. 
Okay, but I mean, but it, just, bigger, man, it just shows you. it just shows how insecure and weak you are. So, but guess what? If you don't want to hear it, hang the fuck up. It's man. not about me here. I don't care. It don't mean nothing to me. It what type of nigga says you know, he wants his team to lose this. in the Super Bowl? It just shows how you are. That's you. It shows you ain't a Panthers fan. It shows you ain't a Panthers fan. You're right. You're right. We we all we want to talk about how everybody is and who everybody is. Trust me. Trust me. Karen, we all know who you are now. So it's cool. You we're are all, fucking, we're all, you we're are all understanding Karen. now. We're all in agreement that we all know who each other is now. Boom. The That's great. World, the world we, hears, all know who, we all know who the everybody world is. Here's how you are, sir. You're the cocksucker. world is how you are. Like we just having you're a conversation. Cocksucker, nigga. It's, it's, it's Wait, bro, fun. You live in a sad fucking. You, and you live in a sad team. fucking world, bro. You live in a sad world. Look, the way you speak. The way you speak to me, the people here, like and like I already like I already touched on. People like you, or at least I would assume to be like you. I I just it it just blows my mind, bro. Entertaining. It blows my mind. It's funny. Entertaining. Somebody could be so fucking ignorant. Y'all know he ain't gonna do that shit in person. He gonna be totally different. He gonna be yes sir, no sir. He gonna be This is how it always is. though. This is how it always is. Everybody's always real. Everybody's always real big behind a keyboard, but when shit hits the fan, everybody bitches the fuck. Nigga talking about he was a bodyguard. He ain't nobody. He been guarding shit. But look straight up, like Fucking big cat put this big cat put this show on for entertainment. We 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 talk, we laugh, we joke. But then like where y'all my first take Leo, that guess what? Know. We've been around longer than you. So fuck what you talking about. Saying, but and you know what? I can I can and I can and I can but listen, I can I can agree with that half of the way until you get disrespectful and want to smack the fuck out of you. That's the problem. That's the problem. But it's not about football, because you're disrespectful as fuck. If we were if this was strictly Bro, no, 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 no. If this was strictly about football, trust me, we would all be straight. But your right. ass comes in here being disrespectful as fuck. Right. Give, so it damn straight example, goes off football. Right. Give me an example. Give you an example. I mean, from the jump, we, we, you and I, I got bad blood from the jump because you basically, and I, and I said it to you word for word, and Twan was there, 704 was there. It got to the point where it's like, bro, why don't you just say what it is and call me a fucking spick and just finish it. The way nobody, and how disrespectful you, how disrespectful that. you were talking down to me and how my family, I mean, my race, let's, let's just take it there. That's that's where I lost all respect like, for you, and that has I become on site since that conversation. Like, Y'all, mm-hmm. y- there were people there. Just because mm-hmm. we weren't live Two on this fucking ago. show does not mean that people did not fucking hear that conversation. So when mm-hmm. I say what I say, the people listening right now know exactly where the fuck I'm coming from. So now <laughs> you can hear it in my voice that you took it to a point of disrespect, and I don't play that shit. I'm a real calm motherfucker. But if you can't tell, when you reach a point with me, it's a wrap. I don't do, do I don't play that shit, bro. What, what specifically did I say, right? You don't you need to know it. You, don't you need do this to know every it. time. Respectful. You do this every time. Don't play fucking stupid with me, bro. Whatever don't what did fucking I say play stupid with me. Ray. What did I say Bro, I swear you I don't need to know it. Just know you did it. Swear to God. You did it. You did it. Hey, don't, it don't matter. Don't call for Big Cat, it. nigga, because ain't nobody can say your ass in that fucking <laughs> in that water with that shark, nigga. Big Cat, you know what? You're going to get you your ass ate the fuck up. Big, Big Cat ain't putting on a life jacket. He, he, he not a swim. He ain't come save you, nigga. Big Cat, I'm going in the boat. He going to drive the fuck off, nigga. Hey, tell him. Big Cat, tell him the rules, man. Well, he go Big find Cat another said, nigga. Big Cat said he ain't here to save nobody's ass, so stop calling for him, bro. Big Cat. Yes, sir. Big Cat, he ain't saving you, so stop calling him. Yeah, what's up? Big Cat. Initially, when I called, I said, "You a cocksucker, nigga." Uh-huh. You're a cocksucker. You see, you see how you see? That's your boy over there. You he are goes, a fucking cocksucker. Big cat. He's he he he. Big cat. He's deceitful. But big cat. Yeah. What I said, <laughs> big cat. What I said when I first called, uh-huh. we were having a conversation. I said, "Race that he was Puerto Rican." Mm-hmm. I said, "His his lineage cocksucker. is from big cat." You see cocksucker. how evil he is? Big cat. He's cocksucker. evil. Big cat. He evil. Cocksucker. That's, you see how? evil but look <laughs> uh, i'm really i'm really i'm really sick and tired of this conversation this rebuttal from you because it's always half <laughs> spoken <laughs> on <laughs> it is always half spoken on and that and that shit i don't fuck with i can maybe have the literalest bit respect for you, you if you would sit there and be sucker. real but you want to sit there and just just like an eddie typical bitch in a, in a fucking situation you want to tell half the fucking story you want to tell half of what the fuck you want bro Hey, yes, sir. I'm, I'm not about nigga, it. I'm not about it. I guess that's my thing. I guess that's, you know what? And that's, and that's, and that's, and that's, and that's why, I, 
That's why I take this another step forward because you already disrespected me and my race. And then why are all my brothers, a lot, a lot of my family, a lot of my close friends? Ray, I pay you. To you, 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 you took it twofold for me. Ray, I pay so, you. So, I mean, you got everybody else on this panel feeling a type of way because you talk, you speak it on them and their race. I've had Ray, you now speak on my race and Ray, my family's, my blood, you. my friends. Like, Ray, bro, I, I don't pay fuck you with to that. Say, bro, I will pay you to tell me what I said, right? I will pay you to tell me what I said. I will give you $50 he right lies. now. Ray, I will give you $50 right now if you tell me what I said that offended you. He lies. I will pay you to tell the story. You lying. No I mean, you, 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 you very, no you very to briefly started Ray, touching on it, but then again, can, you need to this. carry the rest of that There's conversation. No Am I going to no sit need. here and be able to rebuttal? Am I going to be able to sit here and rebuttal 100% of what you said? No. That's can why in that you? conversation, Black that's Black why in that conversation I ended it with, I mean, Dan, with everything that you're spitting out right now, it's really to the point why you just call me a spick and just finish the conversation. Because that's where you were leading your conversation. Am I going to be able to sit here months later about a, con a person that I can give two fucks about, but then remember a conversation and rebuttal that shit 100%? No. That's why I'm, I'm cutting it real clean, real simple, real, yeah, like real simple and just saying, bro, the way you were speaking forget. to me and disrespecting me and my race, you might as well just called me a spick and finish the conversation. I've said that since day he's one. Running, running, we've had that he's running, he's conversation in every don't live since. He learned that people don't forget the shit that he says. They yeah. don't forget. They can't out of here, bro. Stop calling mm -hmm. for him, nigga. He ain't saving you. <laughs> yeah, they can't out of here, bro. Come here, brother. Stop calling him. He ain't saving you. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch ass nigga. You a gay faggot ass nigga, man. Calling the nigga's yeah. name that much, man. Yeah, I'm here. You bro. might as well try to sit in this damn lap with some shit, nigga. You call on Big Cat like this motherfucker got a Santa Claus suit on and you sitting in this lap taking pictures of some shit, nigga. You gay ass nigga. You don't get pussy, nigga. I told you this thing is gay, bro. Fuck. Hey, that was funny, though. Santa Claus. <laughs> but look, though. Uh, hell, Big motherfucker. Cat. Mm -hmm. Fuck Big you. Cat. Mm -hmm. You a cocksucker, nigga. Big Cat, I can never get upset as they are. But look, I try to tell Ray. I'm going to leave it alone, but Ray, I mean, I mean, if you took it that way, I do apologize. I mean, no disrespect to you at all, sir. I ain't nobody taking an apology. Man, that was such that bitch ass. That's that ain't straight. no apology. But see, now, but see, now let me get this straight. But see, but see this is where I always try to think. I like to think I'm a very direct, you know, simple motherfucker. So you realize if you possibly would have had that same sentiment two months ago, during the conversation, maybe the maybe the hate I'm not gonna use hatred. The 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 the, the energy I'm getting right now would be a lot different. It's for the fact that it's been now what two plus months. You want to try to feed me this shit? That's where I just I can't respect that. Well, in, in the heat of the moment, trust me, I'm, I I know how it goes because I know, I do remember the conversation being heated, and I get that. I know there's sometimes where I'm fucking pissed off, and I say shit I don't really mean. I get that. But at the end of the conversation, I'm going to make right on it. I'm not going to wait two months later when you're getting back to the corner and I'm letting you know very clearly I felt beyond disrespect. And that's not some Karen shit because that, that, that shit went deeper than just disrespect, bro. This like, nigga is a Karen. You want to try to say something to me now Karen. two months later. Ray, I got to say, I will pay you to tell me what I said to you that was disrespectful, Ray. Why would he okay. need your money just to explain some stupid shit? Ray, I will pay. Uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, disrespectful. Hey, Ray, that's disrespectful. That's disrespectful, bro. Ray, Ray, it is what it is. Like, I'm a, it really, it really is what it is at this shit. point. Because, like shit. I said, like I said so many times, I'm a real chill motherfucker. If you really, $50 really $50 knew me, that. if I, if you really knew me, you knew that it would take a lot for me to get oh, to this bro. point. And it's just that this simple. This nigga's poison so in the brain, bro. Ray, I hear I'm you, telling you, right. this nigga's sick, man. Right, yeah, y'all think cat. I'm saying that shit cliche. This nigga is yeah. fucked up in the head, yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm here, man. How you say that? Know. So, uh, to, 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 to somewhat level with you for just a moment, bro, I would understand where the fuck you're coming from. It just happened two months ago. But it's, it's to the point where it's, it's you're trying to do it now. But Ray, this so, like, one, Ray, it, this it's one. calm as I'm trying to take myself back to an understanding of shit. The, the, I, I don't know. The, 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 the bad, the bad, I don't even know what to call it. I uh, just, Bad energy, whatever the fuck you want to call it. The man, shit I had to just basically man. kind of sit no, with no. for the last two months. Now, it, it just, I understand, right? I'd have respected, it, out of respected it and probably calmed down a lot more and just really felt where you were coming from. And this happened yeah. two months ago after yeah. the conversation. But you want to come yeah. to me now and try to do it. Plus, on top of that, you want to try to make me feel stupid and verbatim no, no. tell you what you said. No, 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 and then no, I'll, no. Give you 50, I'll give you 50 bucks. Like, bro, let, let me first off say, like, I work plenty. I work hard. I don't need nobody's money. I never. Said I went from, <laughs> I went from, I went from amazing credit, no debt. Tried to, tried to help my what I thought was my boy out. 
He put me in fifty grand debt, fucked my credit up, everything. I hit rock bottom. Fucking went to the hey, psych ward. I had everything. I, no, 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 no. I'm gonna put this. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, put this out there real clean because I'm an open motherfucking right. book. I almost fucking killed myself in October. Sent my, I fucking went to the psych ward. My whole life was over, bro. Lost my girl. Hardly saw my kids. Everything. But what am I doing right now? I'm working two jobs, paying all that bullshit story, off, clean, cleaning everything the fuck up. And you know what I'm doing? I'm doing it on my fucking own. I'm doing it on my fucking own. I work 80, 90 fucking hours a week, pay my shit, see my kids, do everything I need to do on a weekly basis. So to sit there and know I do that, the last thing I need is to come on here, my relief, everybody else's relief, talk football, and I need to get disrespected and then be talked talk down to my race. Do you really feel where I'm coming from when I say that? No, do you understand me? He can never, man. I he don't deserve Ray. to know your story, I understand, bro. Ray. Ray, I understand. He don't deserve to know your story, man. He's Ray, a cocksucker. Ray, I understand. He's I'm a cocksucker, alone. Ray. Ray, I'm going to leave He's alone. a cocksucker. Ray, I'm never alone. respect this nigga. Never. He Ray, can never say my... enough apologies, bro. Ray, He's I'm a cocksucker. Ray, I apologize. I apologize. I really do. No, it, 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 it is what it is. Like, I mean, you I, know, I, you I, know. I, I, uh, I'll take it that step further. I, I'll be that vulnerable motherfucker, bro. I'm a big you know, advocate for mental health and shit, you know, bro. You know, you do a lot yeah, of it. You, like you say that, that a lot. I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> you know, Leo, if you, if, you, if you start goddamn thinking about the shit you say before... Before you say it, man, you would be finding yourself in that position. Now, and, and, and you say you're 45 years old. Ain't no way in the in the hell I gotta tell you to think before you fucking speak, Leo. You wouldn't find yourself in the predicament of saying, you know what? I apologize. Hey, big cat, big cat, yeah, brother. God, yeah, brother. Tal, you're definitely right. He says he definitely pays for the women the way he's offering money. Shout out hey, to Ken, D. There, yes, sir. Hold on real quick. Shout out to D. Harris. Thank you for the follow on TikTok today. You're very welcome. Appreciate the cash up there, sir. Yeah, I can help you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity, brother. I, Yo, I, is, I, I respect Danny for brother. Diva. I respect for brother Ray. I'm, I'm going to check out. But Ray, I do apologize. You are a man. Man, get your bitch ass off the line. Nobody <laughs> want to hear your story. Why you got to check out now? Why you got to check out now? I respect you, Ray. You are you 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 are a good man. That don't make Ray, sense. You you gonna do the damage and then check out. I, I, Ray, story, you know, Ray, Ray, I, Ray, I'm telling you right now. If you get if you if you if you accept this nigga's apology, me and you go fucking fight, nigga. It's not site. an apology. Big cat. That yes, shit don't mean shit, bro. They ain't no damn apology. Yeah. I told y'all niggas, niggas that shit. Trying to break you down, Ray. Me and you go fight, Ray. Yeah. Fuck him, man. Nah, it's cool. Fuck Listen, his apology. It's really simple. Tell, him where he can, <laughs> tell this nigga right now where he can put his apology. I always apology, tell man. people that shit, nigga. Nah, Sorry, don't do nah, it, nigga. I'm going to keep it as simple as this, and I think every man in Anybody this fucking room, everyone shit. that's listening will understand this. I'm a very, very easygoing motherfucker. So I see what you're trying to do now, but for me, it's just too late. If you wanted to do this two months ago when all this shit happened, I'm understanding as fuck. I'd have just brushed it under the rug and it could have been what yeah. it was. I but now you want to do it after the man, fact. Bro. That's why I feel like even you, you're a 45 year old man, wherever how old you are, you understand what I'm saying. It's just like at this point, it's, that's just a little too late for my liking, bro. Like there's that it doesn't just doesn't seem sincere. Ray's, Ray's you, and you just got to take that for what it is. You just got to respect that. Ray, I take, Ray, I take it, Ray, but it's never too late though. But I'm gonna take it. But I respect <laughs> you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna what would you talk about? Ray. I ain't at the house. Oh, is that Danny the Diva? Is that Danielle? Yeah, that, that's you know that's my wife in the right. chat. All right, bro. You know I ain't want to say nothing, bro. I'm like, big cat. I'm, I'm gonna go and check out. Change that one, bro. Ray, I'm gonna check out. Though. Oh, why you gotta run away, Neil? I'm 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 gonna let I'm a, I'm gonna leave it alone because I, I don't want to offend my man Ray no more, man. I'm gonna leave it alone. Well, well, goddamn, you don't do the dirty. See yourself uh, getting ready to offend my man Ray. Uh, you can't control yourself. No, 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 no. Nigga, no. you done did four months worth of damage in Leo. You tell me you want to leave now. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. this shit going to mean something. Okay. I appreciate the platform. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, fuck man. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't respect for Vince. I respect oh, for Brother Ray. Fuck. I'm going to go and leave it alone. Nah, it's Brother Ray. Nah, it's Brother Ray. Hey, 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 the rest of y'all, fuck y'all. <laughs> yeah, we, we know that already, uh, Karen Van. All right. <laughs> That's why we say fuck you, and your mama, your daddy. I ain't Please. gonna say I ain't gonna say that to people. I, I, I ain't gonna never oh. be on that shit. The whole blood uh, Fuck you. Yeah. 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 I, I, I ain't got I, I that do, kind I of hate for you. I do. I do want to say, yo, my, my, I do want to say, I do want to say, I'm not gonna do that to Leo. 
Shit, yeah, yeah, that nigga's sick in the head, bro. He's sick in the head, bro. Listen, like, like, like I said at the end of my whole little spiel, like at the end of the day, I'm an open book. I'm an open book, whatever. Like, so I think I, I almost feel like I need to apologize to Big Cat to some degree, where it's just like, I mean, maybe, maybe this wasn't a platform for that. I know, I know, it was real shit, and I mean, bro. That shit happens more than y'all know. Not necessarily, obviously, with me, just in it's just mm. in life. And I know it's a very it's a very taboo subject, and yada yada yada. I get it, but I like I just feel like uh, fuck about my life, man. No, nah, it's cool. See, know. You know what? Here, here's, my here's my thing. Here's my thing. Juan, no, no, time out, Juan. Time out, Juan. Time out, Juan. Home before Danielle whoop your ass. <laughs> uh, I'm over, no. man. I'm, I'm headed to the stove. She son. said, "Get your ass here." <laughs> She know where I'm uh, going. Hell, I ain't. I ain't. I wasn't, yeah, she I wasn't, know where I wasn't the fuck trying I'm to. Going. I just wasn't trying to. Wasn't trying to take it to some dark place or whatever. But like I said, I'm. I'm, I'm an open sure. book. And honestly, like I like I've said to you before and shit, uh, fucking Twan, and it's just like the more you speak on it, the more you kind of just kind of you can kind of put it behind you. Know, so, I mean, it, up, it is what it is. Up and burn him. What's wrong with that nigga, bro? I'm telling you, bro. He's a sad little man, bro. <laughs> Hey, you ain't never heard of Misery Loves Company? Man, he's miserable. That's how he'll be back the next row. He's going to be saying the same shit. Man, fuck. That nigga's a miserable motherfucker, bro. Like he ain't never said it before. He's going to shit. Like I mean, well, we, 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 was able, we was able to put him in a box tonight. You know what I mean? I mean, y'all had him in a box already, but I put him in, a, I put him in there and put the damn top on it. I know who the fuck he is now. Yeah, Leo, funny as hell, man. Yeah, you know, a grown man always apologizing. That that, that ain't right. <laughs> Man, that apologizes. I mean, I mean, that shit crazy. <laughs> hey, I mean, come on now, quit putting yourself in the positions to have to apologize. I mean, in in, in real life, apologies aren't accepted like that. You know what I mean? You. You you disrespect the man in real life. You you don't get the you don't get the ability to apologize. You don't get the chance to apologize. He might just rock your fucking face. You know what I mean? There ain't gonna be no apologies, nigga. Yeah, then, then you 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 can apologize at the police station or at, at the goddamn me. at the, at the hospital while they patching your ass up. Okay. Say what you want. Where I'm from, it ain't no motherfucking apologies, bro. When you when you step across that that certain line, it ain't no apologies, bro. Yeah, I don't get that shit, nigga. Apologize and shit. You know what? I'm sorry. Okay. I mean, he do that. You know, every show he apologizing to somebody. Yeah, huh. what he said when he got off. He said to the rest of y'all, "Fuck you." Yeah, I, I, that shit ain't, I ain't paying no damn attention. <laughs> 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 I love it because I know he needs help, man. Oh, <laughs> that shit funny as hell to me. This man need help, bro, I'm telling you. This motherfucker sees hmm. somebody once a week, he got, he sit on the couch, and he has to lay back and talk about it. Uh, <laughs> fucking disappointed in myself. Yo, hey, why you ain't calling, man? Man, I send it off. This yeah, motherfucker heard us having, heard, heard us having a great uh, time tonight. Like, and like, I, like, like mm. how can I fuck this shit up, fellas? Yeah, joke. He's a joke. What's good, Chazo? That Chazo? What's up with you? Yeah, it's me. Oh, okay. Damn, Zilla, you calling this motherfucker at three in the morning and shit. <laughs> Man, I, I I was on early when you was on that. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just two. It's just two o'clock for you though, right? Yeah, that's correct. Damn, it's three in the morning. Fuck. Yeah, it is. I'm about to got me in here fucking. I'm got me in here yelling in at Leo minute, for the last three hours. <laughs> Hey, right, I'm sure. just I'm just glad to be on this motherfucker with y'all tonight. You feel me? I can't I can't believe it. Nigga. Huh? I knew you I knew you couldn't have been home. Nah, I, I nah, I've been at home the whole night, Twan. I just slipped out. I just ran up here to the store to grab a a cigar. Hey man, I I've been at I've been at the house. Yeah, I've been at the house this whole night, nigga. I I got off the day, nigga. I I just nick I ain't been out the house since three thirty, four o'clock. 
Shit, I'm just now coming out this motherfucker. It's a, it's a, it's a, hol- it's a holiday weekend. You got to. Yeah, so I'm finna go back. I got hiccups like a motherfucker. I've been sipping on them shots. Shout out to Matt Grossman for the cash app. He said, fuck Leo. Thank you for the cash app. <laughs> <laughs> just hold your, br- <clears throat> hold your breath for like Shout 10 to 15 Matt seconds. Grossman. Hey, big cat. Yes, sir. Sometimes hey, man, well, yeah, I don't believe I don't believe Leo can read good. He didn't when he was talking about Cam. He didn't state nothing that was true. Number one, he was talking about. He said Terry Collins got ten thousand more yards. I'm like, wait a damn day. Check this out. I'm, I'm gonna spit it all to you real quick. Yeah. Terry Collins played thirteen years. Yeah. Oh, no, he listening. Forty thousand nine hundred twenty-two yards. Cam Newton played for ten years. Two years hurt and got almost thirty-seven thousand yards. Uh, secondly, he said Mike Vick was better. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> number <laughs> so you number can't one, even, you can't even say that with a straight face. No, no, because number one, he ain't. He got way more passing yards than Mike Vick. Mike Vick actually did play thirteen seasons too. He had, he only had twenty two thousand passing yards. Call from. Yo, it's Matt Grossman. To accept, press one to send a voicemail. Hey, how you doing, man? Yo, how's it going, man? I appreciate the cash up. You want to talk about the nigger that just got off? Oh, dude, I, I, I just want I, I'm, I'm a little bit drunk. I want to talk about Cam Newton, oh, okay. and then I, I hear people talking about uh the nigger that got talking off. about Kerry Collins. I gotta oh, okay. talk some little, little shit over here. Okay, yeah, yeah, hold tight. Let me let you in here. It ain't call the fuck back up and, and no. explain. Yeah, he gonna have to apologize for that. I'm he sorry. Was, All right, shout out to Matt Grossman. We got we got Matt Grossman in the line. What's up, Matt Grossman? Apologize for that. Yeah, oh, see what I'm saying? That nigga be talking and don't even... We got Matt Grossman in here. Matt, you there? Fuck yeah, I'm here. Go ahead. You say you want to talk to him? Yeah, the dude that's at the cash app. Oh, no. Hey. Hey, sexy Rexy. Oh, that energy. (laughs) That We're not talking about the Bears over here. We're talking about the Carolina Panthers. Are we though? No. <laughs> yes, sir. We got it Rex. We got yeah, Rex Grossman Leo. up in here. They, they're waiting for that nigga to leave to call in. <laughs> hey, and that's hey, fine. I feel like Leo's favorite player is uh, is fucking uh, Kerry Collins. You know, the most racist Panther to ever play the game. <laughs> nigga, did you try to say that shit? I said the most racist motherfucking Panther ever. <laughs> oh, straight up, straight up. That's why Leo like him. Ever. That's why Leo. That's why Leo <laughs> like him. <laughs> dude, dude, it's like it's like uh, you know, Kerry Collins was a great quarterback for everybody except the Panthers because he didn't like to play with black people. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, he was good. Hey, you guys, you guys even remember? Like that was a long time ago. Do you guys remember Kerry Collins went on a racist rant in the locker room and all the players were like, yo, we don't want to play with this guy anymore. Oh, yeah, what he went to the, Tell, he tell went us some of the things giant. he said in that locker room. <laughs> tell us some of the shit he said when he was in the locker room. <laughs> yo, big yeah, and still, bro. Fucking nigga and shit. <laughs> Let it all out. We've been having a great show tonight. Niggas fighting, cussing, just typical nigger shit. I mean, it's just, it's just yeah, regular. I, I, I heard Leo chime yeah, in. Yeah, this is regular like shit, man. Asshole. I mean, if you take it personal, like, man, then, then that's guy. on you. But you, we get hot, we get heated, you talk your shit, man. It just nigga shit. Hey, the thing is, the show started off with you know? some Oh, well, what was it for like the first two hours, oh. man? It's typical nigga shit. That's all it is. <laughs> bro, it's the way he says it, though, bro. What? It's the way he says it. It is. But I mean, see, Big Cat keep letting the nigga through the back door. But you know you need that. You need the spook in the back. <laughs> this nigga keeps sliding in the back door. <laughs> oh. up shit. Leo's my money maker. He's my, he's my minion. Well, I don't know. I used to bounce, too, and I know what we used to do with that shit. So. Leo, Leo triggers people, man. I love it. <laughs> and I get ca- triggers everybody. And, and I get cash out for it. Hey man, we ain't doing shit for free. Man, I ain't on this bitch for what is it? Five hours now? Six hours? What is it? Five? Six hours? Yo, now. I, I want to know what Leo thinks about <clears throat> Cam Newton. You know, the greatest. The oh, greatest you want to know what Leo thinks? Leo, call back oh, in. And tell he him. Hates, <laughs> he hates oh, he, Cam Newton. He, he he explained that. That's our quarterback, not his. Oh. Look, 
Look, I spent the entire last season watching the Patriots because of Cam Newton. So, like, you can't, can't go off about him, man. Cam's the best quarterback we will ever have. Ever. We will ever have or ever had. Duh. Ever Both. have. Period. Both. Look, if, if not for Ron Rivera's mishandling of him, we would probably be a dynasty right now. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Can so Plum, 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 but but see, listen, Plum, what have we what have what have we said countless times, bro? We have we wasted I don't all know, this Ray, good we years. Hate we, we hate this, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, we we wasted all this good years. We wasted all his. We wasted his talent away, just like a like a typical Browns team would do, a Giants team would do, you know, shit like that, like a fucking Raiders team. Like we 100%. wasted his talent away. 100%. Hey, don't do that. Wasted you don't to get off his phone, man. Dude. I- I mean, okay, once you knew that Cam had had a, whatever, injured shoulder, couldn't throw the ball, fuck it, whatever, how are you going to put him out there for 10 more games? Fact. You don't, you, you don't want to get fired. You don't want to get fired. Call her, man. You got go to go back and hear it out of Cam Newton's exactly. own mouth. Go, go listen to Cam Newton out of his own mouth. And, and people are trying to say that Sam Darnold's going to be better this year. <clears throat> no way. No way. <laughs> Even the white guy knows. <laughs> like, I'm not back oh, my life yeah, on this shit. Right, right, right. Now, white man, what are you, you, dr- know, what, you, what, what, what are you drinking again, Mr. White Man? Better, right? Yeah, yeah man, yeah. the white guy's like, no way. White man, what are you, what <laughs> That's you, not going to happen. What are you drinking, white man? Man, it's like, that's, that's like, uh, dude, you like, you said, you no fucking way, big cat. What are you drinking tonight? You said you were drinking. Dude, Steve Smith. Hey, what are you what are you drinking tonight? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm asking. The, NFL, the God, same damn. year the Panthers were the hey, first you hear me? last in in passing. Hey, you hear so me? You hear Big Cat? I don't know how much they hear though. Hey, know. can you fucking hear me? Hey, Big Cat, he said he's the white man. He don't have to listen to you. Who who are you talking to, Big Cat? The nigga <laughs> said he's drinking. Yeah, you there? Yeah, I, I got a call back for the white man. Now Leo, I need you to tie this I need you to tighten this nigga the fuck up. Do you hear me? Yeah, yeah, it's so. Now, I'm a, now I need you to look, look fuck right. all the emotion. Look, we, we we don't argue. We don't got the crying out the way. Look, now it's time for you to get back on your shit. All right, I need you to tighten this motherfucking <laughs> liberal motherfucker up like you tighten up the liberal motherfucker up. You heard me? Yeah, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna be on here much longer, but I just want to talk to the white liberal. Okay, okay. All right, let me bring you up in here. Hey, Aunt. Yo. Hey, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to bring you right back on. I want this nigga Leo to tighten him up real quick. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, matter of fact, Big Cat, I'm out, baby. I just got home, man. I love y'all boys, man. Love you too, man. nigga. I'll see you this week. You know it. All right, Aunt. Peace. Yes, sir. All right, All right shout out to my nigga, Aunt. All right, Leo. You there? Yes, sir. Yes, tighten sir. this liberal motherfucker up real good. Go ahead. Yo, fuck Leo. <laughs> So, so let's listen here. So, the Carolina Dude, Panthers. Zilla's still on here, right? No, he had to go by. Oh, shit. The Carolina Panthers drafted two, six, four taller wide receivers. Hey, look, man. I'm about to get off, too, man. I'll, I'll listen. I can't deal with this nigga no more, man. Look, look, look. See how they, see how they run? They can't Come on, they run. That's all right. Let them run. run. Let them run. Let them run. Yeah, go ahead. Run. You do your work. Run. You focus on your prey right there. I'm with you. Focus on your prey. So, so the the, the the dancing bear, they they knew that he couldn't hit the side of a barn, so they drafted two six four taller wide receivers because he was overthrowing everybody. Even he was overthrowing trees. So when the six when the, the dancing bear, talking about Cameron now saying he couldn't the, hit the side of a barn. When the dancing the, the bear, the same quarterback that set like multiple NFL records. What, yeah, like, this is also the same what, quarterback what, what, that literally. Jimmy, no, no, no. Jimmy time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Receiver. Time out. They're trying to so, say. So the, so the year, the year we lost to the. the barn. <laughs> yeah. The dancing bear had what two years where he threw for over sixty percentage completion percentage only two years out of nine, and one year he was throwing the ball to Christian McCaffrey damn near every play. At the backfield, yeah. and they counted that exactly. as a high completion. He had percentage. one year with Christian McCaffrey. One no, year. No, 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 with, no, no, a, no, no, no. with a bum shoulder the whole time. No, 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 no. His shoulder, no, his shoulder 
was bum his whole fucking career. He couldn't hit the side of a ball. That, well, that's not, dude, that's not true. That's uh, fucking ridiculous. So you're, we're, we're talking about the, so you're trying to talk about the same quarterback that apparently has no accuracy, but uh, the main reason we lost that playoff game against the Saints is because he threw the ball right into Kalen Clay's chest, and he dropped it. But he has terrible accuracy. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Be careful. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, just, this yeah. guy just, just whole remember career. the Super Bowl where it, where fucking uh, downtown Philly Brown got his head ripped off, and he was literally the only wide receiver in the game. Nobody else is doing shit. Yes, sir. Big cat. Yep. This 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 piece of trash in his whole career only had <laughs> one or two years. Yeah. I was you, 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 had, you had to you had to you had to hop right back in and go straight to the disrespect. Like I mean, bro, this <laughs> this piece of trash. Yeah. Uh, he, he, he had one or two years over sixty percent completion in a whole fucking year, his whole fucking career, in, in eleven what eleven or nine years. Right. The Leo oh, Cam Newton completion, like like completion rating is higher than Tom Brady completion rating. This no, 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 is no, no, trash. No. Completion percentage that's on the he's, offensive he's, coordinator. That's no, on his, completion, his, his completion rating has been high and has been higher than Tom Brady Big cat, over the last cat. two years. Yeah. Big cat, this piece of trash. <laughs> They had to draft Benjamin, who was six five. They drafted Funches, who was six four. And he made Benjamin this, look good. Yeah, and because, if either of those guys could catch a fucking ball, we'd be we'd this, be you know way way more playoff games than we had. Or stay out of fucking Bojangles. Because this idiot no. quarterback hey. who throws off well, the back what's foot. What's the them, quote, Kelvin Benjamin? Them, the Popeyes biscuit away from being a tight end. Yeah. Bro, well, them Bowberry biscuits though ain't big cash. Yeah, well, you, you see how they talk about shit. I mean, they're fucking good about. biscuits. I'll tell you they what. About, about <laughs> I mean, they're shit. fucking good. I, don't, I hear that. Big cat. You see, they talking about talking about <laughs> stupid shit. Shit that they ain't talking about. They, it's right. a fact that the Panthers drafted two six four taller wide receivers. Mm. Why did they do that? I don't know. You help me. You help me out. Why because they do? the stupid idiot ass quarterback <laughs> who throws off his back fucking foot with the worst <laughs> pass in NFL history. Yo, don't, don't give me that every shit. fucking body. Look here, look here, look yeah, here. Yeah, so that's it. Yeah, well, when the, when Brandon the, the, the chance. No, no, no. no. People, teams were afraid of the chance that Teddy Ginn might catch a ball. The chance that Teddy Ginn might catch a ball. He rarely did, but sometimes. And he still had, and he still had what, 11 touchdowns that year? And he probably dropped a good matter, six dude. or seven? And he and he dropped a good yeah. six or seven touchdowns. I mean, think about it. He had ten that year. Exactly. He had exactly. 10? Yeah, yep. and I and like I said, I guarantee you, he dropped probably a good six or seven touchdowns on top of that. Big cat. Probably more. Yeah. Probably more. Big cat. Yeah. They drafted two six four taller wide receivers because the idiot. And that's you know, who the reason. That's because the reason the, Gentleman got fired. Because he drafted the idiot. two six four six five guys that couldn't catch a fucking ball. Because the idiot quarterback. Overthrew everybody because he throws off his back foot. He mm. still couldn't do it. And you know what? Um, what's his name? Ooh. I think it's Christian Palmer. Christian Palmer. He's a quarterback coach. <sighs> Christian Palmer said on. You mean jo- Jesse Palmer and Carson Ooh, Palmer? Like the brothers? What's, 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 what's the other brother's name? Christian Palmer, the quarterback coach. What's his name? Not Jesse. Are you anymore. talking about Chris Wanky down in no, no, Florida as the quarterback's no, no, coach? No, 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 no. It's a Palmer brother. Not, not, not Jesse. That's what I'm saying. It's Je- Jesse Palmer and Car- Carson Palmer. They're the no, Palmer it's another, brothers. It's another brother. It's, it's another brother. It's another brother. You sure? No, was the car? Was it the Car brothers? But anyway, the he don't know who brother. the hell he's talking about. The, it's just. It could have been the Fole brothers, the damn movie. I mean, but well, you know what? I'm not going to put much stock into that because you know else. You know who else is the quarterback coach? Fucking Jimmy Clawson. Fuck out of here, bro. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy hey, Clawson's the quarterback yeah, I'll coach. I'll tell you what. Jimmy Clawson's a pickle, not a quarterback. We should never expect him to be able to throw the ball. Big cat, big yeah. Cat. yeah, yes, sir. Big cat, the Palmer quarterback coach big said big cat, on, cat. Co- on Colin Cowherd. He said he he doesn't understand mind you, how. Mind you, mind you, the Palmers ain't do shit. As big a quarterback, big cat. Mm. Big cat. yeah. This so guy said, "Fuck about the opinion." Big cat, big cat. The, this guy big said, cat, big cat. Cow, <laughs> "He said on the Colin Cowherd show, he doesn't see how Cam is successful <laughs> in any degree because he's a line of sight thrower. He does not throw anyone open. He's a, he got to see you wide open. He guns the ball." Yeah. 
Yo, you, 704, this, 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 dude, this dude has clearly never watched the Panthers game. Oh, this dude has man. clearly never legitimately yeah. watched the Panthers game. Start he never watched clearly. it. I think, I think he probably just only looked at it. Because if you're going to sit here and tell Super me Bowl, that he it. never threw receivers open, you're out of your fucking mind. DK. Yeah. DK. They say, everybody said, they say Cam Newton. Who is that? No, no anticipation at all. None, Who is that? None. <laughs> he throws with no anticipation uh, at all. If you're not wide the fuck open standing still, he's not going to get the ball to you. Hey Cameron, were, were Chad, you one of those guys Chad, that thought Chad, Chad Zilla said your stats was wrong. Chad Zilla said your stats was wrong, Cameron. Big Yeah. They said Palmer, which we already Cameron, already knew this. That he sees no reason why Cam is the least the least successful that he is because he sees he doesn't throw anyone open. He's a line of sight thrower. He that's why he throw the ball so much. That's orange chicken about to be now. He well, Leo, no Leo, what did you think about Cam? New- I mean, uh, Deion Sanders' comments on Cam Newton. What did Deion say? Deion said, um, "This is his last chance, and he you should know. get it right." <laughs> you should know, Leo. Yeah, yeah, I, I you should know, Cam. But, but, Kat, but Kat, the only reason they gave Cam a, a contract extension is because they didn't want to spend money on nobody. Oh, they okay. were going to draft. No. And because he's the lead, he's the lowest paid starting quarterback in the NFL, and I know he's not going to start this year. How Man, much? How much is he making, Leo? Him? Oh, you! Cam's not set some records this year, dude. Big Cat, he barely making five million this year. Big Cat, if he is, damn, that's it. Because the thirteen is incentive based. Big Cat, okay, okay. Dude, you watch number Big one K. with act, some actual wide receivers in New England, an actual running back, and a good defense. Cam's about to set some records this year. Big Cat, his contract is incentive based. Okay, it has I didn't to, know it's that. based on incentive. Oh, Big Cat. Well, He's yeah, last start. last year was yeah he. Last Why year, but this year, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. He a $14 million no, deal, but okay. This year. Hold on, y'all, hold this on. Year. Why Why is he worried about another man's pocket, just like he said this earlier? Year, this Why year. is he worried about another man's pocket? This year, just like he said earlier, why is he worried about another man's pocket? <laughs> this dude, I'm talking about his, court, his, his, his contract. Is Tell you the dude going circles every time. Yeah. His contract is based on incentives that he will never meet. He won't meet them. Yeah, you won't even meet them damn incentives yeah. in your life. You won't see that income. This dude won't start. What are you talking about? Big cat. Re- this is the same yeah. man that thought that uh, uh, Jimmy Clausen was going to be a great quarterback. Big cat. Read the tea leaves. Big cat. Go yeah. read the tea leaves. Everybody's saying that Mac Jones is ahead of him. Yeah, let me read Mac it. Jones. What did say? T- uh, we no, say tea not. leaves. Big cat. Go look. Go look into it. Big cat. Said, big hold cat. on. Let me look. At, hold on. You said tea see. leaves. Yeah, read the tea leaves. I can show you. The, I can send you some links. Yes, please send Mac me some Jones links, man. Let me let me right check this out. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna send you links in the email before you go to bed. But look at. Oh, so Karen is Damn. watching the Patriots, huh? Damn. So Karen is watching. All right, the Patriots. so so Leo, let me read this. Let me read this. You, you, you ready? Yes, sir. All right, so here here are his incentives. What you're talking about? Um, it said new Karen up to three point five million dollars in incentives. He'll get a uh, five hundred thousand dollars if he plays sixty percent of the snaps. He'll get a million dollars if he plays 90% of the snaps. Um, if he's playing 60% of the set snaps and they make the playoff, he'll, he'll get an additional 500000 If they make the playoffs and he have 70% of the snaps, he'll get an extra 500000 If he gets uh, 80% of the snaps he'll get a, and they make the playoff, he'll get another 500000 And then if he plays 90% of the snaps, he'll get another 500000 So, Big Cat, yeah. if, you appro- if you approve and start a quarterback, why you got to get all that? They gave him all that shit because he fucking trash. Mm. No, 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 no. They and gave him that piece. because Cam wants to prove he's as good as he's ever was, and he is. He, he didn't do shit. Cam's gonna earn sir. every dime. He didn't. He didn't. Big Cat. His salary last year was five hundred thousand dollars. That's nothing. Well, well, we'll, 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 we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how well the knows a lot. Uh, he know, showed who knows a lot. So they don't. They don't care about Cam Newton. He know all the information. He's fucking trash. Mm. Big Cat. Yeah. Big Cat just read to you. His all I know is, is he better pay me my $50 cat. when he comes in that week one when Cam starting. That's all <laughs> I like. Cat. Big Cat just read to y'all uh, that yeah. his contract is incentive based. Yeah. He's fucking trash. Cam will at least be the second best in the N- uh, AFC North. At least be the second best. You have, you have crazy he's talking, Big Cat. You can't take this guy serious. Mm, okay. <laughs> Sounds familiar. Well, well let, me, let me read this. Uh, According to John Trotta from um, the fan side, said Mac Jones may have the quarterback edge in the quarterback battle. Anonymous revelation, according to the fan side. Then is that, is that from Brent Musburger? Did he have a no. good look at his girlfriend? No, Jeremy. You see how, how they're joking around, Big Cat? It's, 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 they're distracting from the truth. 
they 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 don't want to accept that he's trash. You think he'll get beat out, Leo? No, Cam, Cam will not start this year. Mac Jones is starting. Based on what? What? Where's Where's your big info? I mean, I think that answer is easy. Last year, eight touchdowns, and eleven interceptions out of thirteen fucking games. He got benched. Who was he throwing to last year? Big look look got, at his options. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on y'all. Let me keep reading. Nikhil Harry. Harry. Nikhil Nikhil Harry. Harry. Hold, hold on, y'all. I want to be fair. I want to be fair. According to Michael Godaria, uh, Guardia of the NFL Network. And I quote, Mac Jones sees the game the way offensive coordinator Josh McDaniel sees it. Close quote. What, fucked up? That's just out of the guarding him. The cat, you see how they laugh at Joe. What, what Josh McDaniel was a head coach in Denver, and how did that work out? So how does he see your game? Man, Come on, man. How many teams all? Yeah, oh, and then wait, right? and then wait. Did, did, didn't he take a head coaching job and then run right back? <laughs> fucking New England. Yeah. <laughs> Josh McDaniel, don't we? Josh McDaniel got a, a Super Bowl ring though. Yeah, he does. Uh, as, as a coordinator, yes. Yeah. yeah as, as a coordinator, yes. Yeah. As a coordinator, yeah. They, they, they always change the conversation. From who? From who? Who's there's there's no changing that conversation. Go, That's a no, 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 what, no, 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 no. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. We're not changing the narrative. We're not doing shit. We're telling no, you a fact. He is a he is a co- co- so he's not a coordinator. Yeah, is, but he is, he a, is he or is he not a coordinator? He, 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 yeah, he, he, yeah, you're correct. Ring. And I'm agreeing with you that he has a Super Bowl ring, but not as a head coach. He has a Super Bowl ring as an offensive coordinator. There's no change in the narrative there. That's a fucking fact. It's not an opinion, and again, I will and I, I will be a dick. You you like to make your opinions facts. No, this is an actual fact. It's not my opinion. He is an offensive coordinator for a team that has won a Super Bowl. Correct. Oh, yeah. Yo. Hey, nigga, why you keep hanging up? Man. Oh, the team, 70% of the fucking whole system, Leo. That is cool. Yep. Passing touchdowns, rushing touchdowns. No, just, so he okay, carried the team. I'm going to keep... Touchdowns, passing, at 704. Touchdowns, I mean, honestly, I'm pretty sure 704 said this. This shit counts, Leo. I'm pretty sure 704 said this. 704 said this months ago. Cam had no business fucking winning the games he did with that fucking team last year. He willed that team to those wins that they fucking got. I can't so even tell you the wins off the top of my head. 100% with you on that. Because he, he can carry teams. teams. Because he can carry teams. Can. And, and I've said yeah, it for a long up, time. He's the, he's the LeBron of the NFL. Like, you want to talk about fucking LeBron taking nobody. But Tom, but Tom Brady feared. Cam Newton took a feared. nobody offense. Tom Brady fear you're supposed to be a, the GOAT quarterback, right? Oh, you, you, okay. su- you're supposed to make anybody about? around you the better. Julian Edelman is the best wide receiver in the He's NFL. supposed to make them better, but he, less, but he left because he didn't have weapons. The excuse was. Because but you're supposed right to make niggas better. Yeah, but you're supposed right. to make niggas better. Big Cat, are you there? Yeah, Fuck out of here. Big Cat, are you there, bro? Yeah, I'm here, nigga. What's up? Big Cat, how many times Cam got benched last year? Ah, uh, shit! I, I think I lost count. I don't know, Leo. You was watching the challenge. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. You was watching. I don't know. How many times? Okay, how many times he got? That nigga was watching more Patriots game than the Panthers game. Big Cat, you know how many times he got benched? Cam had COVID last year. Like, don't even fucking try and say. I was gonna say. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure outside of that. I'm pretty sure outside of that, he started every game. He was healthy. Yeah, tell me how many times he got benched. Yeah, how many times? Dude, just. Examine Cam's games pre-COVID and post-COVID. Wildly different. Wildly okay, different. You want to know how many times he got bit? Leo, here's another article okay. by uh, Rob Nikovich, Bro, a former, uh, former listen, New England Patriots. You know, I'm going I'm to I'm touch on that, too. They, they were a bad play call away from beating Seattle and being undefeated at the beginning of the year. So, I mean, there's that, too. <laughs> read, 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 read what you got to say, Big Cat. Read that all. There's another uh, article from former uh, New England Patriot Rob Nikovich. He says the Patriots offense better suited for Mac Jones, not Cam Newton. But he's a racist, though, Big Cat. Oh, he's a racist? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're it's a, it's a white guy voting they for the white they quarterback. They're they going to say he's racist. There you go. I told you because oh, he's I a racist? You. He's a racist? No, no, no. But, I, but no, no, I was being funny. Oh, okay. okay. That's what they're going to say with the white dude. But you see, nobody laughing at your lame big jokes, big man. Big you ain't being funny. But Big Cat, you see how the white man. This nigga is retarded. Big Cat, but you see how the white man. Can you make sense? Stir that pot real good for you. What does that article got to do with anything? Big Cat. Big Cat. <laughs> did you see how the white man said he was racist, though? Yeah, he did. The ain't got shit did, to did, do with Big, shit. Cat, did, big yeah. cat, didn't the white man say he was racist? Either? I think he just did. The white man just said it. 
I told you about you. Better go pull up some articles of what they saying about Sam Donald. Better be done. Yeah, we're gonna know that. Cam Newton got benched three times last year because he fucking trained. Because I don't care what Cam do, but I know when it comes to week nine. Yeah, scam got bent three times. Hold on, hold on, I what, just what, hope what, Matt Rule what, coaching what, what, and what, everything up. My defense. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's going to happen week nine when we play them? Huh? What's going to happen week nine when we play them? I'm just saying we're going to get the best of them, Big Cat. I don't care what nobody says. We're going to get the best of them. Shit, that's the fact. Big Cat. Yeah. How many how many trash quarterbacks you know come back from down seventeen to nothing and win? When did he do that? In the fourth in college? Late in the, late the fourth quarter. Against the Philadelphia Eagles, sir. Y'all know they all caring what watching them games. Okay, they talking about one fucking game. Get the he fuck got, there, man. I tell you what, he got 18 game winning drives. How about that? Yep. He's still fucking yep. trash. You, you can point all the shit you want to point out. You trash. trash. Exactly. Hey, hey, I'll be there. <laughs> you, you can bring up, listen, here's, here's the thing. You can bring up any factual, you can bring up any oh, factual evidence pot up real good. Dude, and he's still going to somehow try to shoot it down. That's so not, mama cooking. Yeah, yeah, he'll he'll, he'll do what he's doing right now. He'll do what he's doing right now. Oh, yeah, well, he trash. Oh, yeah, he was MVP. Yeah, well, he trash. All right, well, he, he had a, he a, a, a game winning shot. Yeah, well, he trash. That's his only argument, essentially, against factual evidence. Nah, he got I know, it right. I know, I know. It's just an opinion. We ain't had no winning season. Let's ask a question. No, 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 no. Time the fuck out. Time the fuck out. Time the fuck out. You just said we haven't had. We didn't have back to back winning seasons with him. We haven't had back to back winning seasons. Period. So don't put that on Cam. But he hasn't. No, 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 no. See, here's a prime example. Here's a prime example. You do it again. You do it again. I know. I'm getting there too. Trust me. Trust me. I'm getting there too. I'm getting there too. Yes, I'm getting there too. Bingo. Thank you. And you, you took my next fucking little spiel away, but that's fine. So that's that's what I'm saying. You're trying to put it on Cam that it, that we as a team have not had back-to-back winning seasons. That hasn't happened in 26 years, not just when Cam was playing. So with that being said, and like obviously he kind of stole my thunder on the flip side, but you know what Cam did do? He won three straight division fucking titles. That has never been done, period, let alone in the NFC South. Like, never done, period, in the sense of, like, our team. We, we have never done that until him. Until him. And it wasn't and it, it wasn't ever done in the yeah. NFC South. Now, yes, the Saints have done it since. But, hey, you want to take all that yeah, away well, from him somehow. I don't, I don't get that. Like, straight up. He tried. And then, and then, and then there you go. You're, you're proving my point. You're proving my point. I just, you're proving my point. I just laid all that factual evidence out. And what was your response? He trashed. That's Ray, what I'm saying, bro. Like, Ray, Ray, Ray. In 26 years, we ain't bringing back to back winning season. If all Cam you can say is he trashed, you have nothing. Years. Cam was a quarterback for eight of those years. We didn't have no winning back to back season. Okay, so so 20, so 26 seasons minus what do you eight call seasons. Three years that puts in us a row at eight. That puts you at 18 seasons. So is 18 seasons more than eight? What did I say? Eight seasons? Nine seasons? Is 18 more than eight or nine? I mean, either we'll just say nine. Is 18 more is, than nine? Was he not a part of? Oh, okay. That? Okay. Is he not a part of it? Yeah, he's a part of it, but he's the whole. But he's the whole. Okay. But he is the whole. Is he is the whole, is he the whole yeah, thing? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. But is he the whole thing? So you're, you're, you're trying to put our. Person. You're trying to put our entire 26 year existence on one man. He is a part of the mediocrity. Let's just just accept that. Mm. Is he not? <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Talk about mediocrity. Is he not? Is he not? Is he, not? Is he a is part he of mediocre? No. Is he trash? Which one is, is he? I don't know. I, I can't think of any mediocre quarterbacks that have the MVP. We, we, we just, oh, that's, that's, we talk about that. That's insult MVP. Stop. He is a part of the mediocrity as a team. Now, Leo, what do, yeah. what do you think about this article right here? <laughs> I'm too, man. Read it all, bro. I can't read this Yo, shit, man. How, how many? Stay right there, Carl. Hold on, I'm gonna read it for you. I'm gonna read this shit. You know, Jeff Burline. Hey, hey, hold on. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you something. None. They all talk about Cam Newton. Let's hear it, bro. Let's hear it, bro. Let's hear it, bro. Hey, spit it out, big J. Hey, hey, Thursday, uh, Cam was practicing in some turtle print shorts. <laughs> <laughs> He's an idiot. He's an idiot. He's an idiot. So we we worried about the money in someone else's pocket and the clothes they wear. Big Cat, you that's seen that hilarious. Cat, you <laughs> that's hilarious to me. Big Cat, you, you remember that? Um, that hey man, if I had the money, I yeah, I'm gonna start that pot real motherfucking good for you. 
You keep taking the words right out of my mouth. You know what? <laughs> a lot of y'all motherfuckers couldn't even afford to fucking clothe this man. We're going to start fucking that fucking plot. That makes sense. Narrative. You got to hey, change the narrative. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Jake, Jake Foles say if you if you joking on, your, on a millionaire, the joke's on you. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh, but, say it again. No, 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 no. Say that again. No, say that shit again. Say that, say that again. I ain't got to say it again. I ain't got to say it again. Hold on. Say that, say that again. If you're joking on you. I think he went gone. Uh, say, 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 uh, Leo, what do you think about that um that whole little ensemble there? J. Cole's a fucking half breed. <laughs> oh my up. god. Here we <laughs> go. He Here we go. Half Here half we go. Party Party we don't wow. <laughs> the hell going up, wow. It's a half breed. I'm eating my Chinese food and I heard J. Cole. Yeah. J. Cole's a half breed mixed up. Wow. Stirring this he shit up real good. Shit. He don't know what he be talking about, man. He don't need to be talking about wow. no fucking music. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fucking mixed up. Don't know what the fuck he talking well, about. Well, back to football here. Uh, Leo, back, uh, this man wants to tell you why Cam Newton is good. And he truly is our best quarterback in our franchise history. I ain't, oh, I ain't hey, man, that. I'm, not that. I'm not arguing that. But that's not saying much, though. That's not whoa, much. whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Oh, trying, man. trying to say Jeff Burline was nothing. Trying Big to say cat. Jake DeLone yeah. was nothing. Big Cat, he's a part. I know Leo cat. ain't no. I mean, uh, Karen ain't no pound fan. <laughs> Big Cat, yeah. he's that's a what I'm saying. Like I just, <clears throat> if any of y'all are questioning if this dude's a Panthers fan anymore, I, I think he just made uh, it very clear that me. he's not. Big but cat, tonight he's... he has made it very clear he's not. Okay, he's a part of the mediocrity. What mediocrity? Uh, it was a franchise. Any in, in twenty six years, we ain't had a back to back winning season. That's mm. that's that's a joke, man. Mm. That's an absolute joke. We should we should be ashamed. We should not be cheering about no shit like that. Whoa. So so wait a minute. You mean you mean to tell Cam me? Cam took us to the playoffs Who five years out of seven. Who was we earlier that we said a y'all quarterback uh, and all this other shit? Your quarterback. Your quarterback. Yeah. So you're always switching up. I tell you. Big cat. I don't know. Three, three straight division titles, flip flop, Super Bowl appearance, MVP. I, I, I don't know. And you know what? You know what? I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go out and say it. If not for the refing, we could have won that that Super Bowl. <laughs> Yo, no, why your phone keep dropping, bro? We got that one plus on. That's yeah, horrible. he he, he wants his team to win as long as the quarterback isn't black. You better go be a Cardinals <laughs> fan or some shit. Just uh, uh, oh, no, they know. got a black quarterback too, though. Oh, I mean, go be a Cowboys fan. Right. Go be somebody fan, sure. Uh, they got a black quarterback too. Yeah, go to hockey or some shit. Be fair, he's a part of Oh, golf, 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 golf. You probably have some fun watching golf. Go ahead, go ahead and do that. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all yeah. right. But, but, but seriously, here we need a quarterback. Do you guys think? Do you guys think? Sam You're right. Donald we do need a quarterback. You're right. Panthers. We need. We need a few. Yep. Hey, big guy, I got to go, though, but I appreciate y'all. <laughs> Where you gotta go, bro? <laughs> 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 you know what? You're getting tired, old man. You're getting tired. You can't keep <laughs> running the oh, fuck out of here. Where you running out of here, nigga? <laughs> I've been, I've been I've been awake I've been awake since what, six thirty I've been awake since I've been awake since six thirty this morning work you're at my kids hung out with my kids all day I'm still sitting here what is it fucking almost damn near four in the morning I've almost been up for twenty four hours I ain't going anywhere till this shit over get your ass my back eyes here getting heavy. <laughs> my eyes is getting heavy. my eyes my eyes getting he- my eyes getting heavy for multiple <laughs> reasons but. <laughs> you my my let's go Yo, what's good, bro? Y'all he ain't got no phone uh, charge. He probably don't. He said he got to lay down on the floor and charge up his phone. He got one of them one foot cords. That's what he said last time. Call, back, lay down in, on the call floor. back in, nigga. We ain't done yet. We still got damage to do. I don't, I don't eat the rest of my damn uh, orange chicken and shit. Panda? I'm getting ready to start cooking in a minute. About... That's some panda, man? Oh, no. Nah, uh-uh, just uh, China. China. I found China a walk. damn restaurant. I'm screwed. China. China uh, China something something. Everybody got get. yo. It's China. I guarantee you, it's China one. Everybody got a China one. Hey, long as uh, ain't no China white. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> There's fifteen thousand China pop. ones around here. I'm getting ready to throw some stuff on the smoker in a minute. What you want to burn up, boy? I'm finna cook some real sausage and pork shoulder. You sell it? Ooh. You sell it? Nah, <laughs> this for me, this for me this weekend. Okay. Okay. Put some pictures up later on. 
Yeah, let me see. We'll do. <laughs> let, <laughs> let me, yeah, 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 yeah. Let, let me see. see. I, might, I, might, I might make a video and put it on YouTube. Let me see. I want to see it. If I get a camera, man. <laughs> I want to see that. What you say? You cooking, cooking, uh-huh. cooking, a, cooking a, a pork butt or what? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What you doing? A, a dry rub or what? Yeah, dry rub first, and then I'm gonna sauce it after. After okay. uh, uh, chop it up. Okay. What you making, like a pork? How salad? long you gonna smoke it? Mmm. I, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna smoke it at about between two fifty and two seventy five. So it's about about I think it's about six pounds. So probably about probably about five six hours max. Well, damn it! Oh what, is it what is it? Two o'clock over there? Two thirty over there? Uh, what time is? It? Yeah, two forty. Oh, which, so you just go to sleep in it, or are you like, I mean, you just leave it in there, or what? Yeah, I probably leave it in there, cause I ain't um, I don't have to be outside. I got uh, all my shit digital. I can I can check the temperature on my phone. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, so cause I got I got a all set smoker and I got a uh, a pit boss pellet grill. So either way, I'm good. That's dope, man. Yes, sir. And plus, you know what I'm saying? I make my own rub, too. Don't you go ahead and tell us what's inside that rub. I can tell you. <laughs> it's got... <laughs> um, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> there's there's hey, family secrets in that shit, yeah, bro. Right, there's family right. secrets in there. I don't I don't mind, but you got to get the proportions right. It's uh, brown sugar. No, just a, no, it's just a pinch. Just a pinch. Right, pinch of brown everything. sugar, honey powder. You got to know where to get that from. I was like, honey I powder? I don't know. I never heard yeah. that shit, man. Yeah, I know. Honey powder? What the <laughs> fuck? I'm a real deal. Uh, <laughs> paprika, black pepper, garlic powder, real onion, uh, allspice, cinnamon, and let's see. Yeah, that's about it. What kind of onion you use? Yellow, white, red, what? No, Vidalia onion, sweet okay. onion. Okay, okay. You, you getting it down, big cat? No, I'm gonna watch this shit back over in about an hour. Or so. <laughs> <laughs> you getting this down? <laughs> he talking about the proportion. I ain't worried about that. You know, niggas do the, the little taste trick. Hey, he said honey dip. powder, not honey mustard. Yeah, he said honey yeah, powder. I don't know what that with shit. With a rub, is. I can tell you how to make the barbecue sauce too. Vinegar base. You, you, you got that vinegar sauce, or you going with the mustard sauce? Nah, I mean it's got it's vinegar base, but I put a little mustard in it too. Ooh! Good on them ribs. Throw some steaks on that bad boy. And some burgers and shit. Yeah, that's the easy stuff. Uh, said more folk. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, that's that's the easy stuff. You 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 come by, you know what I'm saying? I I, I throw something on the other one for you. But uh, I I should have I should have got a brisket, but I ain't I ain't feel like cooking no brisket this weekend. I thought about doing something too. We, you you, you, you better here? share it with the big cat. Put it on the YouTube. Yeah, I'll be watching his ass. Make sure, you know what I mean? Make sure the edges ain't burnt. <laughs> 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 I'll be talking shit to his ass on Instagram. Look at that shit there. Nah, that shit be hey, legit, he, man. Said it ready to be a place of order. Shit, that bitch cross country. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. I'm still waiting on my motherfucking ribeye uh, cheese thank you for me slicing up. If I do that, you yeah. move to Texas. I told you I'm coming out there on on a um. Well, I don't want to fly Spirit. Too many blacks in there. <laughs> Can I get something cheaper but a lot faster? <laughs> shit, the airport was fine. Hey, what's it's, the other shopping. airline? It's another one, Big Cat. Um, what? I've fl- I've flown it a couple times. Uh, damn. Uh, golly, I can't think of the name of that joint right now. It ain't not de- spirit though. It ain't Delta, nothing. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Soul uh-uh. plane. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> Fuck it. I know what you're talking about. Jigs, uh, Jigs airline. Nah, 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 nah. Hey, do 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 you make your own uh, coleslaw to go with that, or, yeah, or are you sir. going to the store? Nah, oh, oh, man. Fucking line, I'm burning right. shit up. <laughs> Come on, man. We can line and shit. Nah, I make my own coleslaw, brother. Let me tell y'all something, man. I seen this nigga Chad Zilla on YouTube making goddamn barbecue. I swear to God, I seen a goddamn food restaurant truck backing up while he was in the background. <laughs> Had barbecue R Us and shit up there. I said, man, this nigga nah, be lying. 
Uh, pull a pork sandwich would be good, though. Yeah, put a little pickle hey, slaw on that. Hey, seven more votes. I, I shot you that video. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, that shit's good. That, uh, that, was, a, that, was, a old, that was an old video. <laughs> I meant to go, but I can still do it. I go back and uh, left a comment. I took, I got my ass up, went downstairs, and got me like two slices of pizza. <laughs> yeah, that poor pork ain't no joke, boy. That, that Carolina vinegar based off with a little bit of twist, sweet and hot. Tim, you, you like the y'all? Uh, they cold slow. Well, I thought somebody didn't chat y'all. My fault. Oh, okay. Catching a fireworks show down there, man? Huh? You catching a fireworks show? Nah, man. I've been seeing fireworks for 40 years. I'm tired of seeing them shit. <laughs> so what you going to do for the babies, man? Uh, he, he's going to have a little party at his, uh, his, with his mother and them people. Okay. So he's going to be with his cousins. Right. Be swimming if it ain't raining. Are you excited to celebrate your freedom tomorrow? I mean, on Sunday. Who me? Yeah. It ain't my freedom. So what are we celebrating? Uh, I ain't celebrating nothing. Gunshots. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never, I ain't never really, I ain't never really cared about the Fourth of July to be honest with you. Why not, I just know I ain't going downtown, Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> You're the hey, downtown. I celebrate every day. I wake up, I ain't in jail. You don't have a bus to ready to take your ass to the Mecklenburg County or some shit. <laughs> Yo, how's they big cat? Y'all ain't gonna get the epicenter? You said an epic song? Yeah, I hear, I hear the epicenter is the, 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 the place to be this year. Nah, that shit finna go... Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you know about the epicenter in Charlotte. That shit finna be in foreclosure. Exactly. This is the last time to go before they close. No, nah, they is closed though. You look, it's it's too late. They already oh, took like the stores out. I mean, I think I think they, they might they they might got like a restaurant uh, in there, but yeah, I don't even go to the Epson no more. I ain't went into them in a minute. I, dude, I remember when they opened. That was like my senior year of high school, trying you know dating myself a little bit. That was the place to be, the epicenter. Now, did you nah, see, next to uh, dating yourself, <laughs> Is that what you said, man? <laughs> hey, man, ne next to Bar Charlotte, dude. I think they say with Dayton, so. He did. Did you say that? Am I tripping? <laughs> that ain't what he was talking about. Oh, okay. He's talking about his age, big cat. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Freak geek. <laughs> Shout out to Seeky for you niggas keeping me paid, running numbers. Yeah, he might, he might be a Dennis Rodman though. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the worm, damn. I gotta go pick up this uh, two-piece uh, all-American flag suit I'ma wear. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, now that's a damn TikTok for your ass. I am, man. Me and Leo are going to hang out, man. We're going to the pool, man. Oh, Lord. We're going to be paying for women. <laughs> hey, Leo going to get you locked up. Hey, hey Big Cat, I told you. I told you don't break the rules, Big Cat. <laughs> the white liberal is not your friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love the way that nigga trigger people. We had, we had a good show tonight. Niggas fighting, screaming. <laughs> hey, look, he had, he, had me, he had me crying. Good show tonight. Everybody was screaming and cussing. That's all I like it. Chaos. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, what uh, you you know what I asked him? What did that article have to do with anything? Oh yeah. You know we had to stir that motherfucking pile up. Yeah, yeah, stir up a bunch of shit. Oh, I'm not to make stew too. I bet y'all ain't getting no exclusive Funko that dropped today. Man, I see the All Star Mike, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I guess it, it didn't drop, but it's supposed to be coming. That shit clean, man. Oh, yeah. MJ? Mm hmm. On, on the Dream Team. I got that whack ass LeBron. Hey, his shoe's coming out uh, uh, next next week, ain't it? Uh, yeah. I think I mean, yeah, I think so. I know the movie coming out the 16th, so man, probably so. Them, yeah. I want them motherfuckers, man. Are you talking about LeBron? Yeah, those, those funny looking shoes, the Starbucks looking shoes. 
Yeah, he only had a couple of pairs that I really liked. I got that Mike Tyson, too. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Yeah. See, I didn't even know it. Mofo. The black ones, the black trunks yeah. with the red gloves. Is yep. he got a uh, is he got a part in his haircut? Uh, yep. Oh man, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> that's a new part, man. Oh yeah. See, they ain't tell you about that. Hey, big cat, he sent me uh. Who sent you a what? Hello. Hey, is it Brother Leo? Nah, it's uh, pretty quick. Oh, what's up, Pete? It's a deal. Cause you want to talk about that, nigga? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, Pete? What's the deal, man? Chilling. Hey, man, that motherfucker was talking about a whole bunch of nonsense. You understand me? Every night. <laughs> Hey man, he has he has some uh, some unresourceful goddamn stats. I don't know where them shits came from, but I can remember this though. When I brought stats up to him before, he I couldn't say shit. That. He don't care about no damn stats, bro. That's the only thing. That's the only reason I say I don't care about his opinion. But when he make bad numbers statistically or anything that is is not true, I gotta mention it. But like I said though in the, in the chat. That motherfucker, his purpose on the show is like Sammy, you're Sammy the Clown off of Apollo. <laughs> <laughs> That's his purpose, sole purpose. He he like he come like, on, Leo, <laughs> come back, get him off of us. <laughs> he, like, he like Martin on Black Knight. Motherfucker, Sammy see, the Clown. And see, I can't I can't blame Big Cat for what, because I mean I know what cat I know what Big Cat doing, bro. I got and it's it, it's. <laughs> it's genius, but damn, like this motherfucker is irritating the motherfucker. Oh yeah, that's part of the job. You gotta cash at me. Joy yeah. sure wouldn't feel good if it wasn't for pain. Right? Yeah. It's say? true. <laughs> I mean, dude, I would not have called in if not for him being an asshole. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, what man, it is? The the dude is out there a troll. Like, and see that what I what I meant by when I told Unc, I said, bro, listen, he you fall into his trap. Now I see what uh, bit what Uncle's trying to do. See, this is the thing. He 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 he, he diverted from the real question, which your real question was, tell me about you, Leo. He went then went far and say, Oh yeah, Steve Smith, he ain't no big uh wide receiver, you know, no major wide receiver. Like, bro, you didn't answer the question. You went to revert to that to divert from the real question is what he asked you about yourself. Come on, bro. I mean, that's also a lie. Thing, Right. Steve, I, I mean, Steve Smith, amazing. He's, he's the last wide receiver to get the triple crown in the NFL. Hey, Big oh. Cat, you want you want to know another stat? Yeah, what's that? Aaron Rodgers is not even in the top ten for passing yards. Oh, yeah, he didn't uh -huh. this year. The more you know. Yeah, he ain't even in the top ten. The more you know. I, I sent y'all that picture of that Mike Tyson, Big Cat, and, and in terms of. All right, bet. <laughs> Boy, what the the Mike what, what Mike Tyson what? Uh, who did Ray? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. No, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I, yeah, Ray said he caught one too. I thought that was just somebody new on the phone. Hey, Brandon, say what you do? Fall asleep, Beverly, man. He said Leo like. Oh no, I was look. I was looking through some shit. So, no, like, yeah, no, I like caught, I... no, I caught that fucking Mike Tyson the second that shit dropped. That's my Not guy. Fact. And like I said in the chat as well too, or uh, regardless of uh, Sakari. Bro, if it ain't crack, let her run track. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. Yeah, she won't on no she won't on no PEDs. No, I mean shit. Um shit, the cowboys are snuffing cocaine, they was Zubo. Oh my god. <laughs> so I mean shit. I mean, what's the difference? <laughs> I mean, you ain't lying though. The decade is different, but shit. Same shit. It was shit. out there. Michael Phelps was smoking weed. <laughs> he went to the Olympics. We can keep going way back to the eighties. LT, yeah, LT. strawberry. You know, LT, okay. holy shit! <laughs> shit, uh, shit, Brian. Oh, that dead Brian. What's the name, Brian from Stillers? Shit, he was smoking. Oh. Yeah, Ricky Williams. Ricky Williams. Shit, he even got his own strand now. Yeah, Ricky Williams. Say, shit, I'm done with this football stuff. <laughs> <laughs> shit, ba basketball, man. Shit, they get the shit. Speaking of, of Josh, Josh, uh, Josh, um, what you call it? Trying to get reinstated. 
Josh Allen. Josh Allen. Allen. Dude, they, that's why. That's why I was just one, reading. So I was going. Through, uh, so I was going through shit and just reading shit, and that was that was one of the things I was just reading. Yeah, apparently he's passed every drug test in the last three months, so he's trying to get reinstated now. Mm-hmm. Shit, I feel like man, that whole shit is out there, my double standard, bro. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, really and truly, I think they just intimidated by her out there and winning that shit. That is all little stipulations. It's all, it's all I had what Jeezy th- said. I had that Don't thought, get too. caught. Don't get oh, caught. Y'all man. talking about Sh- Shikari? Yeah. Yeah, Mr. White, what do you think about that? Yeah. Dude, I, I, have you heard? Like, she, she admitted she smoked whatever, whatever, whatever. But it, she smoked the day her mom died. She finds out her biological mom passed away and she had a little weed. Like, how, look, how are you going to fault the girl for doing that? Look, check this out. Do you know how many people I worked with over the years that smoke weed, but they just didn't get drug tested? Yeah. I can believe that. Don't don't say nobody's name. Um, say what, Big Dad? I said, don't say nobody's name. Oh, no, no, no. I ain't even, come on now. You know, I don't do that. Don't say nobody's name. Nah, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about ever since I ever started working. I don't smoke myself, but I mean, I know a lot of people who do. You know what I'm saying? And I don't do it just because of my own my own reasons. Yeah. But I'm not she could have passed yeah, that she never touched She could have passed that shit if she wanted to, but it was just at the time she probably just didn't probably care, bro. Sure. Now, when did right, her mom right. pass away? Who? When did her mom pass away? Oh, uh, I mean, I don't like to know the specific date or nothing, but it probably was in that weeks. same. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, it probably been kind of recent. Oh, okay. Let me see. I'll look it up. Because I know for sure, if if you can get like throbs in your mouth, you can pass that within forty eight hours. Right. So you take some penicillin. Mm, I mean that, or you can just do. You can only thing I do is brush your teeth, put put some uh, get some Listerine in your mouth, and then take a little bit of vinegar. Mm-hmm. And, and do that, that that way, and that's clear right on up. And then you drink what, some water. What you saying, seven oh four? I did it before. Somehow I feel like the, <laughs> the Olympic committee does a, does a little bit more. Oh, shit, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Leo, you want to? <laughs> you gonna need Jesus and then everybody else. <laughs> uh, bring that Florida job right on up. <laughs> down in down in South Beach, take a trip. <laughs> and and tell you the truth, that's the reason I was doing it. I was I was getting drug tested at a damn uh a, a job. Uh, what you call it? The uh the job. Uh, you know, people put you on the um yeah, the damn yeah. temp the temp agency the temp agency yeah because yeah. they were doing this swap. Uh, let's see. Bro, I mean I ain't gonna lie. Like I used to do shit back in the day, but at the same time, like I I had to there slow down at the end of the day. So like I said, I don't, I don't look down on nobody who fucking do it. Shit, that's just my personal choice of what I have to do it. But at the end of the day, it ain't right. a bad thing. Shit, I never yeah. do that. I ain't, I ain't shuffling up in my ass and I ain't putting it in my veins. I ain't shit doing no Molly. That shit is a plant and it came from the earth. Exactly. Yeah, I just I just tell people they. It should get a little bit smarter, but ain't nothing wrong with it. I mean, you just gotta yeah, understand no. what you're doing. I mean, it's really, it's really not meant to be smoked. I mean, if you ingest it, that's why it's it's harder to dose because it take it could take up to two hours before it even hits you, but it, it also lasts longer. It has an effect yeah. of up to six to eight hours. Also, when you are burning it, it, creates different chemical compounds when you're burning it, so that that makes it totally different. Yeah, like but it. it's not like it makes her run faster. Exactly, it doesn't. So what That's saying? crack. What are you saying? No, That's it... crack or myth. What are you saying? What you saying, big cat? You saying niggas need to eat it? Yeah, yeah, it's healthier to eat than to smoke. I don't, I don't like it because we. Well, I ain't saying I don't like it, but I don't do it because it, that shit is new age. Like that shit is something different from the old shit. I'm used to the old shit. And that's what, what real say? Jamaicans do. I'm gonna cut nobody off, but that's what real Jamaicans do. Real rockers, they they eat it. Yeah. Yeah. They only make you hungry, happy, sleepy. That's it. <laughs> hungry, happy, sleepy. That's it. <laughs> shit. I'd rather hot damn eat it than uh, smoke it, but I, I don't really like fucking with it because that shit is new age shit. I like that old Reggie. I like, oh, <laughs> where, where, <laughs> I like oh. Wow, oh, Reggie. That headache <laughs> weed. Yeah, Leo, your uncle was a drug addict, and you was in that kitchen <laughs> whipping it up with him, wasn't you? Leo, call back in, Leo. <laughs> like, you were smelling that crack in that doll in that kitchen, wasn't you? 
Inhaling and exhaling like hell. He was in that water whipping in that kitchen. The baking soda water stirred up. I don't know the recipe. I'm just saying. Yeah, I think his uncle was on. His uncle was on snowball. That's probably some of them bad decisions he was talking about. Yeah, he didn't want to say about water, it, though. Ray. He doesn't talk too damn much. Uncle was on the ice water. Ray. I got a memory like a like an elephant. The ice water. His uncle was on snowball. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Uh, Bill, Uncle was on snowfall. Exactly what he was on. Hey, y- y'all see? Uh, Leo doesn't want to talk anymore, but he's in the chat. Uh, that's what he's gonna do. He, 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 jumped, he jumped in to see to talk to you. Like, oh, let me check, let me check him real quick. And then when he start checking, hey, big cat. I mean, that nigga in his house cat. getting head from a crackhead right now. Swear <laughs> <laughs> he had to jump the phone. Daddy, you hear me? Daddy, you hear? Daddy, you hear? Leo, Leo is a real deal keyboard warrior. Daddy, you here? Mm-hmm. Hold on, Daddy. Hey, Daddy, you can't hear me? Hey, Daddy, I need you to look up this right here for me. Hey, Leo, I need you to call in and tell me what, if Chad Zilla tell the truth or not. <laughs> you know I'm telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> he don't know nothing about no damn rosters. Leo, call in and see if that nigga tell the truth. Look, he got to walk his boots. He ain't going to call in. He ain't got to walk his boots. Get at this nigga Chad Zilla. He been a reckless nigga. Put him in his place. <laughs> Hey, he can't put me in my place. He ain't big enough. Hey, he come across me, he's going to have technical difficulties. <laughs> technical difficulties. <laughs> I don't know. Zilla was on the show last night, bro. Fuck. My, my man needs a fucking rest day and a cheat meal. Hey man, uh, especially off what, what Unc said about uh, J.C. Horn too. That's why I really want to holler at uh, Unc about. But he, he asked that question. He said, uh, "You know, do do we expect big things from uh, J.C. Horn? You know, what I'm saying this season. You know, what I'm saying, uh, do we think he's gonna be a you know uh, a, a good player on our team this year?" I think I that mean, was the wrong question. Uh, what was the question? What was the question again? Hey, no, no, Chad, not you. I'm Chad, saying, I think. Say but... work, <laughs> huh? Oh no. But now he. What do you? Why? Like I said, like I said, he's a keyboard warrior. He said you light work, nigga. But um, uh, but uh, how I feel about it? I mean, I feel like we all, as a as a fan, basically expect them because they drafted them so high. You know what I'm saying? Did they drafted them. Better or built the Legion of Boom. Well, like you you got to trust him a little bit to build our secondary. Of his credibility. Now, Carl, what part of California are you from? <laughs> oh, I, I'm from Charlotte, but right now I'm, I'm living in uh, Orange County. Okay. okay. Oh, you with the rich white people? Oh yeah. Well, hey, I don't know. I don't know about the rich people, but come on, man. Come know, on, man. Well, shit, Carl, you need to beat. It's that all good. Shit. It's all good. Beat that cash up by about a hundred. <laughs> hey, big cat. Yeah. Am I wrong about that Orange County? What? No, you ain't wrong about it. Oh, okay, I'm just checking. Well, hold on. Hold ain't on. nothing. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Hold on. Ask that question again. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. <laughs> Answer it again. Tell about me. Yeah. What did you ask me? Nah, he said he lived in Orange County. I said that's where the rich white people live. <laughs> you asked me what, 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 you, what, you, what you wrong about it. You gotta have that money. What up? Hold on, let me see if he's wrong about it. Some rich white people, not not this guy. Leo, call in and see if this nigga if he's wrong about it. (laughs) Hey, y'all see the chat? Leo's trying to say some black people live in Orange County too. How would he know? He ain't never been to Orange County. Nigga probably had an orange. Well, he's right there. We gotta have. <laughs> oh, but I forgot he do watch them TV shows, so he yeah, probably do know all know about. He be watching the, 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 the white people of Orange County, do whatever them damn TV shows in. Yeah. Atlanta Housewives and all that shit. Yeah, that non-real shit. <laughs> yeah, he like that bunch of made up shit dot com. Fiction. Yeah, worrying about PPP loans and shit. <laughs> yeah, Colin, I think we were trying to do a 10-hour stream today. 
<laughs> Fuck it, the Fourth of July shit. Right, exactly, this is the Fourth of July bonanza shit. Gonna blow your ass up. Hey, big, big cat, you, you, you taught me because I was getting ready to go to bed. What are you talking about? <laughs> now I'm gonna stay up and cook. Cat, yeah, stay up, man. You ain't gotta go nowhere, man. Nah, as well. Yeah, I'm off this whole weekend, man. Shit, that's yeah, me too. Hey, oh, big cat, you, big cat, you, you, you gotta send, oh, yeah. go you gotta send me them lyrics, bro. Oh yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. You said you was on Twitch too. Yeah, I'm on Twitch too at uh, the real big cat, the real big cat. You talking about no, for the gaming, me. for the gaming? Uh, yeah, I, uh, and I'm on YouTube as well, big cat gaming. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check him out. Yeah, I'm going live um tomorrow between two and five. And stream Madden. Eastern time, right? Yeah, we're gonna be streaming Madden for about two hours, three hours. And then I gotta go do uh shout out to my man JT Sports. He wanted me to come over there and join his podcast. I'm gonna hop off and go do that. And then I'll probably oh, watch, okay. Yeah, I'm probably watch um um uh, cops after that or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> Big cat. Yeah. Oh my god. You need, you need you need another you need another intro for that channel, don't you? Yeah, hey man, let me tell you something, man. I don't know if you've seen the design I got from Fiverr, man. If the, Hey, listen, listen, bro. Remember when we were talking about finding somebody who could rap, like really, really yeah. rap? Fiber, right. Fiber got all that shit, bro. Fiber got I told all you, that man. Shit, I'm fucking with that, man. Like, if you got a hot ass beat, I get one of the motherfucking Fiber motherfuckers spit right, right. over that shit. That's all we got to do. <laughs> I be asking niggas, go ahead and spit me a verse uh, uh, on a drop of a dime. Niggas be scared to rap and shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go here and pay this uh, right here, uh, $50. Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, Big K, you asked a question about uh, who was going to be your favorite uh, favorite, favorite player uh, before the season start. Oh, did I? Uh, I'm going to have to say, bro, Terrence Marshall is going to be my. You a liar. You said what? I think, Yo, I think you're right. Brian Burns all day. I mean, I, I, I respect Brian Burns, man. I already know he's going to do good. So, like, mine this year, I would say, have to be Terrence Marshall. Nigga, See how they gonna use him? Why you talking? He your favorite? Tell him before the beginning of the season. See what he does. If that nigga get hurt, you better not come back and say I, I knew it. Shit, you better not say the same shit about Sam Donald if his ass don't do good this year. Nah, Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Knock, knocking some fucking wood there, man. Christian, my favorite player, but but Brian Burns is a real close second. He's a close, close second. Yo, oh, straight up, Brian Burns is gonna win Defensive Player of the Year this year. I already know what he gonna do. You know what I'm saying? He does what he does. You know what I'm saying? He he ain't failed me yet. He, he, he's gonna be Julius Peppers without the attitude, without the you know taking plays off. Wait a minute, attitude? What do you, you mean by that? Oh, dude, that you, you guys not remember Julius Peppers was notorious for taking plays off. If, you know, the situation wasn't right, he was just hanging back and not that's doing right, anything. Yeah, and then when, when when push came to shove, he had to leave Charlotte. He had to leave Carolina, go to the bigger market. What team did he go to? Chicago. The Bears. Yeah. And then what team he went through from there? Uh, what was that, Green, Green Bay? Green Bay, yep. Yeah. You, know you know who else used to be a good solid D in, too? Mario, no, not Mario, uh, Mario... Okay. Dude, fuck all that. Well, when, when did Jesus Pepper take plays off? That's what I'm saying, man. How are you going to disrespect the great Yeah, man. Dude. Julius Pepper is notorious. You can't compare them two, man. How can he take plays off when I remember him chasing down Michael Vick in his prime? Dude, hey, I, I mean, like, I don't blame the guy. I was never on the field. I'm just saying, you know, uh, if, if he wasn't going to, if he didn't have, like, the ultimate. You know, uh, tackle for the loss or whatever. He he's gonna hang back. He's gonna you know take a breather. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm you know I was never on the play, on the field with the guy, but you know he did that. Yeah, that's a fact. That's an opinion. You, you can't you can't compare them to with apples and oranges. You know who else was a solid at the end though? Mario Williams. What happened to him, man? He wanted to, uh, ret- I want to say he retired out, but shit, he, he was solid. At it. He, him and Pepper was kind of on the same out damn level. Oh, no, the hell they was not. Stop at it. Come on, PD. Come on, PD. No, bro. I'm, I'm talking about at a point, Ma- bro. Mario was damn near like Javon Clowning. 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 
Mario Williams, hey. No, bro. I don't see it. Point. No, I don't and see where it. where he come from? He came from the Texans. And both him and, uh, him and, um. Exactly. He was like uh, County. He was he not a Julie Peppers at all. He maybe his body type looked like him or something, but he was he was uh uh-uh. he definitely wasn't in that category. He he he, 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 he ever lived up to his potential? He can't. Mm-mm. He can't. He I mean, uh, coming at he, he was supposed to be you know the the guy, and he he never lived up to anything. Oh yeah, Ooh. a lot of people like to. Ooh. Mario Williams, man. Oh, he was supposed God. to be the, the best defensive end for, for years. He went from Texas, from Texas to uh to the Bills. Yeah, yeah. He was all right. Look, Julius Pepple is number four on the list for sacks. No, he tied. Actually well, no, tied. Talk, I ain't talking about stats. I mean, as far as like at one he point, he was the same one, level. One, bro, one, like, one at one point. <laughs> only, <laughs> only cat. Who he tied with, seven more four? Reggie, um, uh, what's it called? How Kevin, you Kevin Green. How you not know that? Oh yeah, yeah, they Kevin both. Green. Come on, bro. Yeah, well, it's saying, yeah. No, nah, I, I mean Reggie White up there, uh, big cat. I don't know why I was, I was thinking Reggie White, but it's, it's Kevin Green. Yeah, Reggie White. Oh, I know. No, nah, trust me, I know it too. I know it too. Yeah. I mean, all, I mean, all three of them playing for us: Reggie White, Kevin Green, and Pat. Kevin Green, and Bruce Smith. We all know who the best Carolina Panther is of all time, right? So we, we, we clear on that. We're gonna have to say it was uh, Pep right, and yeah, Stevie. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm talking about number one. I ain't talking about number one and two. Oh, number one. Yeah, I don't give a fuck who number two is. Uh, number one to me is the. Uh, <laughs> you talking all time? All time. All time number one. Yes, all time. Steve Smith. No, you, you're hallucinating. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. It, it, I, I would like to say that, but it's gonna have to be Pep. Look who the fucking look in the record books and who's ranked higher when it comes to their position. Yep. All right, that's the answer. If Steve Smith was, I, higher, I, and, I, was and I hate to say that, but I'm mean, not. Hey, if Steve Smith was like number three all time or number four all time, then you could say okay, probably Smith. But it's not. If you look by by position, who dominated the position highest of all time? And the answer yep. clearly. Dude. And no, no, no. Steve middle. Smith is the last receiver to ever win the Triple Crown. You yeah, can't say he about wasn't about the most dominant time. of his generation. His position of all time. I'm not talking about for us. I'm talking about the position out of all the NFL. All time, time. All time. Not all just for us. For us, he's number one. I mean, if you look at him like number one receiver, but I'm talking about all time player, you know, it's, 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 it's Smith. I mean, uh, Pat. I see what you're saying. And plus, Pep is really cool, man. He got an old soul, man. Old soul ass nigga, bro. You know what I found? What was weird though? How, uh, Leo kept out there calling your name, uh, Big Cat, but he failed to realize, shit, when your platform first started, mm-hmm. right? And I've been watching the show for a very long time. <laughs> the intro was, hey, give me a dab. Yeah, that was <laughs> really shit. <laughs> If I am mistaken, give me a dad. No, no, you I think you're mistaken. <laughs> hey, Petey. <laughs> hey, Petey. Yo. Don't get it twisted. Big Cat still be dabbing behind. <laughs> Leo somewhere never thought of. I know he do. I know he do. He better, he better, he better start taking the quarterback. He, 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 he don't slip up. He slip up and say it one day. Yeah, those days are never... I never said that. Oh, uh, a real, a <laughs> real big head. No, I ain't never said nothing like that. Do I need to go pull them tapes? Pull it, man. I'm gonna delete. It. <laughs> hey, they bring them back, back, back home. When they bring them back home for the Hall of Fame, we're gonna say it one last time. <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, I'll be sure. Uh, well, no, I ain't gonna say that. Do well, I need to go pull them tapes, big cat? No, nah, man. I nah, we all, we all know what the deal is. <laughs> it's not good, man. I just hope week nine. I'm, I'm Give praying, me that. I'm praying week nine come faster than ever. Cause I believe in this goddamn defense. And I can't wait. I can't fucking wait. I can't you wait. You got a chink vote, Big Cat? I'm waiting to get that. I'm waiting for the new Madden to drop too. I can't Shit. fucking wait. Hey, if we if we beat them motherfuckers, you best believe we're doing a 24 hour stream. Be who? Week nine. 
Uh oh. Who that? Who that? And, and, and Mac Jones can't be started. If we beat him with Mac Jones, I, I mean, I'm not gonna be as happy. <laughs> I won't. I seriously, I won't. I won't be happy if we crush Mac Jones. To me, that's light work. But if we, you know, if, if we got but, but you know that, but you know that screen gonna be different, then, Vic. Huh? What do you mean? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to see us, you know, properly welcome home somebody. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I mean, that's the hey, start. Hey, Chad, then I want, I want my man Brian Burns to stand over that nigga and do a Spider-Man. That's what I want to see. <laughs> he going to mess around and get down, though. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what's, that sh- what's that shit with Lunchy? <laughs> oh, yeah, that, yeah, man, he's doing a little tailgating and shit, man. That's, that's dope. You know, he, I think he may be working for them, man, if I'm not mistaken. I can't confirm that. But I have to pull up on that shit. Even if I don't go to the Jets game, I have to just pull up on that. Mm-hmm. It's already a link. Yeah. I thought Brian Big Cat. What you say? I thought it was Brian Brown. Uh, I think 6'4". Six, four, six, 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 four. Six three six four. Six three, six, three, yeah, six three six four. Okay. Let me double check. Let me get this. I'm just surprised he putting on that. He putting on that weight, man. It's a good thing though. Most all of most all NFL players do at least ten pounds minimum over the years. I mean, he started gaining it like what his second year. He started putting some on. He's six five. Yeah. No, but he really said it happened because he he had that that surgery. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. But I uh, guess. I'm gonna keep laying I'm gonna on. Keep it real with you. It's it's hard to put on ten pounds of muscle for real mm-hmm. in one year. Yeah. I don't know, Chad. Let's go ask Chris McCaffrey. Oh, Leo, nah, I'm, it, it, on... I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying. Oh, 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 oh. Leo was a bodybuilder for the NOI. Leo. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Call back in. He said he was doing for the NOI. He said he used to be a bodybuilder. Man, I'm calling that clown back on here. What happened? He must have got on crack after that because I swear he stayed on the way 160 pounds. Shit was pounds. for the, the end, end, end or some shit. French he stayed stay on the way to 160 pounds. So he used to be karate man for the NOI. Yeah, so why we never talk about this, about that French woman that fucked up the, uh, the, the Tour de France with that sign? Mm. Oh. She got arrested. Well, she just got arrested, yeah. Mm. She was holding up a sign on the tour of France, and you know the screech was like kind of small, and all them niggas crashed. Mm. Oh, damn. Damn. oh, she was in the middle of the street. I mean, damn near. I mean, the screech was only but hey, so big. People on the side. I ran, I ran ass over. Yeah, that shit just happened. Why that shit just all tumble. Chad, why would you do that? Oh, shit. Hey, people, people know what they're doing, man. That's like me. That's like me going on the freeway and standing in front of the middle of the road. I'm gonna get ran over. Well, hold on. What you mean people know what they're doing? She know what she's doing. The consequences. You mean like stirring shit up? No, in general, the consequences are getting her ass ran over. She knew it's potential. Mm-hmm. So before she put herself in harm's way, she deserved it. So Chad, how you guys started cooking? Huh? It's like if she tried to slap a uh, uh, Dale Dale Junior. What's that big cat? Who's Dale Jr.? <laughs> hey, the guy in the background, who's Dale Jr.? Dale, Dale Jr., Jr., man. Dale Earnhardt. Hey, let me ask you this, nigga. How, how, big, how big are you, man? How tall are you? I'm not sweet. that tall. That's not the answer. I, I need a, a, a number. I'm six foot. No, no, not, not you, the, the, the white guy. We need foot and inches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm five seven. Okay. Chat, you what? Who me? Well, why? Why does that matter? I'm how tall am I? Yeah, I'm tall. You. I'm five ten, about two forty. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I, I do research. Mm-mm-mm. All you niggas on here, little set seven oh four. Six three, six four. Me, I'm six foot. Yeah, I think I just weighed myself. Uh, well, I was supposed to have went to my doctor's appointment, but the nigga talking about he gonna video chat me, so they didn't switch doctors. 
I had the female do me. Oh, how'd that work out? Yeah. Shit, I mean, I ain't even know shit. I was cool. I just went and did my lab this morning and said, fucking came back home. Oh, you did them this morning? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I just took took me a nap and woke, woke back up for her to do a little video chat at 2 o'clock. But I think I was, uh, I weighed myself the other day. I was 228. I thought I was probably about 230 when I'm close. Mm. Yeah, I'm probably, I'm finna trim down a little bit. We got to hit some goddamn steaks, man. Huh? Some steaks. Still out there being Chef Boyardee. Yeah, y'all. Chef Boy R C. Are you cripping, bro? <laughs> Excuse me. Nah, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Are you cripping, bro? Nah, hell no. Chef Boy R C. Oh, uh, yeah, C. As, as Fred Sanford say, the C stands for Chanzilla. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Twan, Twan said he got a, a a preposition. Um, if Cam Newton starts, Black Karen can never come back to the show. If Jones stars, Big Tech can keep me off the show. No, we didn't do that. Both of them. Hey, both if, of them hey, nah. If I'll we go ahead, go ahead. I'll tell you what, if what's the name, uh, if Jones uh, star, what do you say, what do you say, Brian? If Jones what? If if Cam starts, uh, Black Karen can, can't come back on the show. If Jones starts, I got to go back on. If Jones I'm, starts, then Big Cat can kick me off the show. No, nah, if Jones starts, man, just give me two hundred dollars. <laughs> hey, look, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm telling you right now. If uh, if we if we play Cam start and we lose, Leo ain't coming on. No, uh, I don't give a damn. He better hit my cash up there fifty. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, yeah. and we beat and we beat the Jets. See, dog hit me with that twenty, and that be my seventy. It's gonna be like a terrible in the shit. Niggas, niggas got missing like money. Bobby over twenty, and then who knows? Yeah. You got ghosts. God damn, that nigga never came back. He didn't start it. For real, bro. Petty shit. Petty shit. I ain't even. I ain't even care about that shit. It was just a prince. Over twenty goddamn dollars, bro. God damn. How many times did Leo threaten to say he ain't gonna call the show no more? Kept calling back every hot damn time they come on. <laughs> You didn't want to keep that cash out. Really. Hey, never coming back. I can't be playing with y'all no more. You ever heard that Dr. Dre song? Leo hangs up just to, just to ding, put in the chat. Ding, 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 ding. Leo can't stay away. Yeah, of course not. He ain't going to stay away, man. Keep the cash out. Ding, 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 He's going to smoke. Ding, ding. Nah, just like, just like all his stats, that shit is not real. Oh, yeah, hey, I knew all that shit was wrong, but I loved it. It was making niggas mad. <laughs> That was, that's it won't make it. <laughs> and that's my point, though. Big Cat was sitting there hyping this motherfucker up. Oh, no, damn, what is motherfucker wrong? Oh, yeah, that's my job. God <laughs> damn. It is part of my job. Hey, you know, yeah, I'm like, hey, I was about, about, about to say, Big Cat, man, why don't you just say, why don't you just say in the head, give him a dab on your shit, man? Like, uh, I, God, man. Shit. I don't, you know. <laughs> I tell you what, I tell you what, I tell you what, I'll make a bet with you. Week nine, when we beat Cam Newton, I will come on here with a Cam jersey on. I will, I will put a, I will put a cut at the top of it so it tear easy. I'm gonna rip it open like Superman. I'm gonna do a dab. Once we win. And if, and if we win, I like that. And if we win, what? If, yeah, that's if we win. No, if no, no, no. Win. It, it, If Cam wins, I want to see you in a Ray Caruth jer- jersey. If, no, what the fuck? 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 What the if, if if Cam wins, then I guarantee we won't have a live stream to the fall of Sunday. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. See, BK, you can't do that, BK. Hey, see, y'all, y'all, think, y'all think I'm fucking playing. You can't, no, no, you, you know, can't do that, BK. I swear to God, I'll skip a whole week. BK, BK. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Still with me, brother. I can't let you get, to me. I can't let you get okay. with me, bro- brother. Okay. No, brother. Uh, I understand it's your opinion. You know how many people are going to call in and talk so much shit? But yeah, they're going to call in, then. But, you know, but you know what, though? Hey, it, it hey, that, 
Hey, look. The, hey, the phone line gonna sound like a rotary phone <laughs> ringing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, brother. Nah, nah, brother. If we lose, man, we, that might be a perfect time to charge a hundred dollars a call. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look. I'm a, I'm a Panthers fan for life. I'm rooting for Cam in that game. Yeah, call this is your last goddamn minute word. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you, well. <laughs> nah, but for real, for real, man. Listen, I've been through the bad, man. From the Jimmy Clausen days, from after we got rid of hot damn Dale home, to being invited to Jimmy Clausen, from the Jimmy Clausen to hot damn, who else do we have on our third string uh, when we had Jimmy Clausen? Because he ain't work out. Some trash uh, Matt Moore. Matt, yeah, Matt Moore. From Matt Moore to hey, Matt Moore Moore. got a ring with Kansas City. Yeah, with Kansas City. Nah, yeah, that, that don't count though. No, nah, that count. That count because he guess what? When when Patrick Mahomes got hurt, he replaced him, didn't he? He played what two games or something? He was hurt. Yeah. Did he really? Yeah. yeah he did. He played. He played. That Super Bowl, yeah, he played like yeah. two games. He replaced him. He did what he was supposed to do. So. Yeah, and they won. <laughs> It was well deserved, I guess. Yeah, yeah, with Denzel Perriman, he like to hit niggas on their hip. That'll be a good game to show it. <laughs> Bro, like, so I mean, don't no season really. I mean, it bothers me. You know what I'm saying? I want my team to fucking fucking win, especially if I if the people in my fucking division talking shit. I don't like that shit at all. Yeah. Like, I need something to hide down. I need some fuel to hide down. You know, fight back on. If you lose, I can't. Ain't too much I can say. Big cat, you think you think we're gonna be back to that? Uh... Around the early 2000s uh, defense season, you think we're gonna make it back to that? No, I think it's yeah. gonna be like the 20. What's that? 20, Absolutely. 2017 or 2018, where we had like 52 sacks. I think, oh, okay. I think we're gonna oh, that's like different. But that. Well, that's different. I think we're gonna be like that when it comes to sacks. But I think we're right. gonna we're gonna be improved on our secondary. So it's a. Imagine, I think we go. Imagine that 2017 or 2018 defense with Bruce Irvin and those guys, but an upgraded secondary. Imagine what they could do, and that's, that's what I think. Yeah, I be. think, I think, I think the coaching was off with that though. That that's why it was overall super agree. superior defense. Yeah, I agree on that. It was the coaches. We're gonna, we're gonna, they didn't know how to use. They was they trying to well, they trying to do that three three four defense as well too, and it wasn't really working for us. Did you see that clip of goddamn um, J C Horn goddamn guarding the dude from the Miami Dolphins? Mm. Yeah, fucking nasty man. He gonna be nasty, bro. Should have caught that and stuff. Yeah, he gonna be nasty, man. I'm telling you, goddamn JC Horn, gonna be might fuck around and make the Pro Bowl rookie year, man. See, we might fucking around turn to Steve Abs again. Yeah, you you say, think JC Horn's gonna win rookie of the year? Shit, man. I, I, you know what? I'm, a, I, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I think he will. I think he will, man. <laughs> We're gonna fuck around trying to thieves out one more time. No, nah, we ain't no thieves out. We missing a safety, man. We, ain't no, we, ain't... <laughs> we got, yeah. no, nah, we don't have uh, your boy. Who, Dante? No, nah, not Dante. Yeah, they, they, they knew nah, Jeremy Kidd. She ain't gonna be safety. And we don't know. No, I'm talking about yeah. the other safety. safety. Did we get some? Did we get one of them veterans? We got Burris, man. But... We did. We just oh, signed okay. somebody to be safety. Not just, we but. Got, we got Burris. Birds might be. Uh, you, no. see, you see, you guys don't really see. You see what I mean? Uh, the, the suspect. Right. They better sign. Ha ha. I hope ha ha do well. I mean, oh, birds. I can't really. That ain't birds' natural position, though. So. Then, mm. You don't know how really Jeremy Chen's gonna react to being back there. Matt, Matt, uh, Matt Rule was talking about, uh, oh, we'll see how it plays out in game situations, and he don't fucking he, he know. Said, he said he up for the challenge, though. I don't give a fuck. I'm up, up for the challenge, too, but then when I realize I can't do it, you know, I mean, I don't know, man. It's just it's one of them things you just got to kind of fill it out. So who knows, we're, man? Chen can get back we're gonna to the we're gonna, we're gonna have to see. That's, that's with the overall team, though, real talk. No matter who we get, who the coach is, we got to see how it looks. Yeah. Nah, I'm not. Nah, nah. Big Cat said earlier about what he what he said about um about our coach. He's good about starting up his, his young players. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he got trust them. He know what he's doing right, Big Cat. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Right. Big Cat Big Cat, didn't you say you improved four out of eight uh from uh coaches from, <laughs> from Ron Rivera category? Yeah, eight, he showed eight, in, yeah. that's fact. Yep. That's numbers, statistics, analytics. All, all the thing, I, all the thing that 
less worry about Matt Rule is can he get his staff on the same page. If he can yeah. do that this year, the, the Panthers are going to be here. Yeah, I, I was going to play devil act, but I'm going to leave it alone. Go ahead, nah, uh-uh. Nah, no, go ahead, Zilla. Nah, no, go ahead, Zilla. <laughs> nah, no, I was just going to... My, my just, money's on Matt Rule this year. I, and and I, I do agree that eventually he probably will end up being a better coach. Probably is now, but I was also going to mess with Big Cat and say that Ron Rivera also went to the Redskins and, and they actually had a better season. So Their team, uh, they team is already kind of set, though. Right. Is that wins and Yo. losses? Huh? Is that wins and losses? Uh, I mean, as far as playoffs, yeah, if you want to go there. And that's what I think they was going based off of when they did the Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying I'm not saying that Matt Rule isn't a better coach. Like I said, I'm I'm just doing a big cat and playing devil's advocate. Okay, let me get somebody for you. Hey. Brother Leo. Ron, Ron Rivera is great, but his, <laughs> his biggest weakness, <laughs> his biggest weakness, <laughs> is uh, making adjustments. He can't do it. We all, we all saw it. We all know. And Matt Rule already won up on Ron Rivera. He beat him towards the end of the year. Right. Yeah. Exactly. But that that was meaningless, though. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm mad that they lost. They say that. They say that. Look, I'm mad that they won their last. That game. was meaningless to me. <laughs> yeah, Fuck that. We got horn, bro. So I, I was down to win. Cause look how all that shit turned out. Right, right. <laughs> we would have been up there. And they would have been confused who to get. <laughs> Niggas probably would have drafted Chase. <laughs> yeah. they had the on their board. Exactly. Good <laughs> hey, yeah. oh, on, on, on some real, do you do you think it was a mistake not drafting uh Chase? And uh Dave? Damn, what's the what's the quarterback name? I don't know. Uh Justin Fields? Yeah, real talk, big cat. Be honest. We'll see. We'll see how the season play out, my brother. <laughs> that's a that's a yes. Don't that's a that. straight Don't yes. Big cat. That's a question, hey, big cat. If this nigga that's makes a the goddamn playoff, then you better be looking at Matt Rule like Sam Donald better be in that bitch too. <laughs> <laughs> I just know Chicago Lion because he's talking about they're gonna give Andy Dalton. If Chicago the shit. makes the playoff with Justin Fields, your eyes better be glued to Matt Rule. Talking about Sam Donald better be in his Manonia ass in there, too. And Chicago, and Chicago made playoffs last year. Yeah. With a mm-hmm. fucked up quarterback. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wish we played Chicago this year. So I want to actually see how that plays out, man. Matter of fact, well, no, nah, we just play the Vikings in that division. Yeah. Because yeah, we don't what, play Green Bay, said, we just play the Vikings again. You said we play the Redskins again this year? Yeah, Red Skins come here. How the hell we always end up playing them all the time? A billionaire. They, they trade schedules and shit, money and shit. That's going to be the new steal. Mm-hmm. Big Cat, you still going to the Cowboys game, right? Yeah, I'll be there. I don't, yeah. think, I don't think I'm going to training camp, G. I, I, I don't think I'm going to training camp, man. Hey, somebody had a point, too, uh, about how they don't trash Romo, though. Uh, even though he was an iffy-ass quarterback, but they still don't disrespect him. They had a point. And that's the same way we should be about ours, but you know, to yeah, each the, cow- the Cowboys was sad, man. They had everything they needed and couldn't get it done. Mm-hmm. Y'all, y'all going to train the camp? Where is that? Spartanburg. <laughs> South mm-hmm. Kaki Lacky. Fuck you, mean, brother. <laughs> 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 hey, he ain't yep. no. Nobody said no. No, I'm asking because shit. They keep talking about switching this and oh, taking okay. it here and going here and there. <laughs> shit. Not the first one was popping, bro. No, that's a sad they, keep, they keep talking about they're going to change this and move them here and move them there. So, shit, I don't be knowing. Are you going? I would love to go. I got to see if I'm off. If I'm off, I'm going to go. They say they say 20 feet away from everybody. You can't you can't touch nobody. You can't walk <laughs> to the players or nothing. What's the point? Right. What's the point of going there? You can't interact with the players, and they say you got to be 20 feet away from everybody. Go there and goddamn hackle and, and pay attention. I mean, that's a that's a good thing, though. What you mean? Because you want to go up, want to go up and catch COVID from a, a rinky dinky fan. And I'm fully <laughs> vaccinated. I'm fully vaccinated. Shit, I got my face. Oh yeah, let me let me speak on this. Okay, I was talking to the nurse. Guess what? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh shit! I mean, he can. I don't really care, but I ain't never heard no shit like this. What she say? Because she was saying something about the COVID shot, and she was like, "Yeah, the stuff is down." Because she said she just treated a COVID patient for the first time in like a long time. Like, I guess it tested tested positive, or whatever. But she was like, "Yeah, try to get a third shot." I got a third shot. What? Since I'm a transplant patient, I'm looking. I'm thinking. About my, she said in my head, "I'm looking at my phone because it's a video chat." And I'm like, oh, a fucking third shot. I don't know. Because she was like, she was like, yeah, you can go to CVS or in, uh, to, uh, to CVS, or whatever. I was like, yeah, but I don't feel comfortable. Well, you're the motherfucking liar. Brother, don't call <laughs> and think I, about this. Hey, that's taking shot for me on my ass, bro. Yeah, I, I ain't messing with it. And she was like, she was like, if I don't have no bad reaction as far as like throwing up, then that means I'm kind of immune to that. And I was like, yeah, I'm a, I'll probably get it. I might get it, but it's gonna be. Like December, January, maybe toward the end of the year or some shit. No, that shit put me on my you ass, bro. Got it, bro. Nah, I ain't did nothing. Yeah, my people just got hers last Friday because she got to have a hip replacement surgery. Right, right. That shit had me tired. My second shot when I got it, man, that shit had me in. Went to sleep for about two days. I couldn't move. Which one you got? A uh, Moderna? Yeah. Yeah, I heard that one because I was just talking to my neighbor down the street. He said he had got that one and he said he was good. Next thing you know, he was watching the game, and nigga said he just passed out. Damn. Damn. <laughs> he woke up. I'm like, fuck, was, like you was on some shit. You told me he woke up sweating and shit. And damn, um, I don't know, bro. Yeah. Big cat, you take flu shot. Yeah, no story. His wife, his, his wife was fucked up. She had to go to the uh, spa, and she passed out like type shit. She uh, she threw up, started throwing up and shit. My flu shot. You take the flu shot, big cat. Huh? My flu shot is a hotty toddy. I know that's right. I, I did the flu shot though the last three, four years. You got you got them seven more four? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I ain't never had one. I did. Now why is Last... it making you sleepy? What's inside of it? I mean the flu shot had make me sleep. I just had a sore arm. That was it. I had a sore arm. So yeah, I was tired of the motherfucker. Yeah, I was good. I ain't never feel no sense in my flu so, shot. You got the shot? Yeah, I did. Hell yeah. yeah man, that, that Moderna hits different, man. Yeah. I mean, plus plus my transplant, I had to have the flu shot. Because mm. I I even asked the mother's uh the, the mother who I got my kidney from, she was like her daughter used to always catch the the flu. Oh okay. So I was just like, shit, I'm just based off that too. Yeah, just kind of protect your, myself. Your filtration system. Exactly. Yeah, I see. <laughs> Mm-mm-mm. That shit had me tired for about two days. Like, I just didn't want to move. All I did was sleep. How old are you, bro? 31. Okay, okay. Hell yeah. I was out there tired for about two days. Uh, arm was sore than a motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't never, like, I, at all the shots, like, I've been deployed. So, I mean, I got, like, so many goddamn shots. Ain't nothing hit like they had my sort my arm that sort before until I got that Moderna shit. Yeah, I think I remember. Let me see, a couple of them. I think that tetanus shot did me like that. Yeah, I had that too. Even when I was doing my Dallas, but I ain't really had no reaction to that though either. I didn't. Nah, mm-hmm. I didn't it, 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 I'm just saying it made my arm sore as hell. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I was gonna say yeah. I probably just had a sore yeah, arm too. Yeah, a, that's it. Yeah, it's an intra, it's an intramuscular shot. But my nah, was like, I didn't, I didn't get that type of, you know what I'm saying? It didn't hurt that much, though, like as much as the Moderna did. Like, it was sore, but it won't like that sore like I, the Moderna shit. Like, I ain't, from that tech shot, I ain't, it didn't really hurt that bad from, to me. But that Moderna shit was heavy. That was like three or four days of sore on. Was you moving your shit around a lot? I was moving around a lot, but it was like you know how they had like a little lump on the on the top of it, like at the, you know, no, yeah, facts, yeah, hell yeah, yeah, that shit, yeah, that, yeah, that's what the tetanus shot do to me, like a like a like a beast like a beast thing or some shit in the, in the shoulder, yeah. Shit, so I, I had went through Dubai, man, and um, they were shoving that hot damn Q-tip up so far up my damn nose. Oh, oh shit. I'm hey, look, bro. I had I had one test, and uh, if somebody told me I gotta take one to win a million dollars, I decline. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all laughing? I'm for real. 
I'll see you though. The hell with that. Yeah, I See, that's, somebody else stick another Q-tip up my nose like this, I'm turning the whole place out. I thought they put it in your <laughs> mouth now and just tell you slowly suck. Hey, nah, hell nah, bitch. <laughs> I thought it depends depend, depend on what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I told the motherfucker who was doing hey, this shit. Hey, yeah. If it's a nice memory gland, I ain't got a problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna go over some people's head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course. I told the motherfuckers, hey man, listen, I don't snort coke. I don't snort no coke, so don't shut that bitch down deep in my nose, man. Hey, I'd I, I ask him, is y'all trying to do an Egyptian removal of my brain or what? <laughs> Hell no. They say they say that's how they pulled uh, the brain out when, uh-huh. they was, um, when they were doing mummification. Oh hell no! Nah. Yeah, through the nose, real talk. Mm-hmm. Now, Carla, what you were doing in Dubai? Oh, no, I mean, uh, that's where we went to. We had always had to go there, man. Like when they in the military? Go. Nah. Uh, contractor. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I got you. KWR? Huh? KWR? He said who? K-W-L-R. He said KWLR. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So you got money. Huh? You got money, don't you? <laughs> I do pretty well. Let me borrow $20 <laughs> to the bar. That's why, that's why I be shooting the cash out. Let me borrow $20 to the bar. <laughs> 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 uh, damn. No, I'm fucking with you, man. But nah, man, like, they, be, they was out there strong. Like, as soon as you land in the airport, man, they want you to do that shit. Then they had an app that you had to, you know, had to download. And once you uh got your test of shit done, you had to uh, go to your hotel, stay there until they get the confirmation that you're clear through the app. Sometimes they'll forget, and you have to call them and be like, hey, you know, am I clear to go? They'll be like, yeah or no. So they had somebody at your security at that particular condo or hotel or wherever you're staying at and make sure you don't leave until you get clear. <laughs> hey, nigga, I try to get into that shit, man. I couldn't get approved, man. I heard all that money over there tax-free. It, I mean, it is still like a, up to a year. I mean, but... If you make over under a certain like a hundred K or whatever the case may be, then therefore, you know what I'm saying, you uh you don't you have a choice to be tax free. But the thing is if you come back to the states like that, I'll advise you to uh, pay taxes. But if you ain't going to the states like that, then therefore just they don't pay it. Oh, they be on your ass when you cross that line. Huh? Yeah, yeah. They be on your <laughs> ass for real. <laughs> hey, I, hey, I'm still gonna get here. Facts, facts. That's fucked up though, man. Yeah, I think I think it's all, I think it also go by the majority of the, of the year where you work too. I think yeah. something like that. I read, when I was doing the taxes, I remember doing seeing that. I heard I'm reading something they said. Uh, Zach Wilson had asked his mom to take down her Instagram page, offer her money to take it down. So they take it down too. What was it about? I don't know unless I just click on it. But who knows? I already heard she be wilding and shit. Oh, his mom must be fine. Huh? His mom might be fired. <gasps> is she fired? Oh, I thought you said she'd be fired. I was like, shit, was she, was she an agent or some shit? No, is she fired? I mean, she a basic blonde to me. She must want to get attacked by them brothers. <laughs> 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 it's shipped in New York, so hey. Mom, I want you to assault me. He going to turn to LeBron. Hey. Mom, I don't want to. <laughs> is, isn't Zach Wilson Mormon? Mom, I don't want those big con cocks following you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what's the lineman? Uh, um, uh, they drafted from where uh, Louisville. What the blind side? Yeah. Uh, well, hell, he he them that that big. Oh, Makaya Beckton. Yeah. Yeah, Makaya Beckton might get her. Yeah. Yeah. That nigga six nine, so you know he's gotta be about eight inches, ten inches. Motherfucker six nine, you know that nigga shit from the flow gotta be a clean ten. He don't want his mama to see that. <laughs> Zach Wilson's mama gets rotted. Let me see. I thought it was Pep. Pep was about what, 6'7? Let me see how high. He was about 6'5. 6'6. 6'6. Six, 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 six. Oh, yeah. She's yeah. a little hottie. Let me see. About 290. Nah, I thought that was taller than that. Yeah, I thought he was like 6'6. I was thinking, I thought he was 6'9. I don't think he was 6'9. He taller than Cam. Down. I think he about oh, six seven. He was six seven. Yeah, yeah. 
six six or seven. So he, he, I don't know what he definitely was taller than Cam. He don't want them black teammates to see that because they're gonna quarterback sneak it. He was a massive <laughs> individual. <laughs> yes, sir. Mom, I give you a million dollars to take it down. <laughs> <laughs> I wish uh, Mario Addison came back, man. Facts. We got rid of him too early. Big Big Cat said it was time for him to go. Nah. Come on. Matter of fact, uh, did y'all didn't hear that news that the Bills are trying to make a trade to get the Zach, uh, Zach, uh, the damn tight end with the Eagles. Zach Ertz. Uh, Zach Ertz. Yeah. Ertz. The Bills yeah. trying to yeah, the Bills trying to get him. Yeah, he was he, he was six seven two ninety five. Okay. Six seven. Sound about right. I know he was like two ninety something around that range. Yeah, probably three hundred in the off season. Hey, let me mm-hmm. ask you a question. Uh, there's two things I haven't heard about, man. And that's a uh, Sam Darnold update, <laughs> and um, also Brady Christensen. The Carolina uh, Bills. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna call them, motherfuckers. I mean, he probably don't, wants to get in camp. Right, we got Donald, he can't hide. He's going to get, he's going to either happen or whatever's going to happen. He's the quarterback, so he can't really hide. Right. <laughs> I just know they're counting down to this to tell him Luton shit. Oh, no, hey, don't worry. When that deadline passed, bro, he gone. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I already got it kind of set, set, set in stone. I already know it. Shit. He gone, he gone with that deadline pass. I wanted to know that. Yeah, hey, 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 uh, Chazilla, you think they going to pay him? Say that again. You think they going to pay him? Uh, I think, I think if they, if they don't, like Big Cat say, mm-hmm. somebody staying, if they do, somebody going. I'll put it like that. All right. And to me, to me, we got enough money to keep. Uh, this ain't about Robbie, but we got enough money to pay Tell Tell Moton and just spray that shit out, spread it out over like the next five years, and still sign a, 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 a of course, DJ and sign the Burns and people like that. Yeah, I, I want to believe that. Yeah, we do, we do. Y'all got to think about them TV deals and all that stuff. That's gonna kick in. What so speaking of that, what y'all thinking about the uh, NCAA paying them college boys to play ball? I like it. The, the NCAA ain't paying them though. I mean, I'm not saying NCAA, but uh, getting paid in general. Yeah, getting paid in general. Man. Nah, yeah, I'm I'm with it. It's not gonna be fair for everybody though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's only gonna be it's only gonna be for you know the, the top athletes. So shit, Max yeah, Peterson yeah, going to Middle Tennessee. He making two million already. He signed his deal. Yeah, well, you the, know the what it is. Basketball. Like ten billion. They, they, they got the money to pay those players a little bit. <laughs> of course. There's no one to that, 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 that ain't even the question, though. <laughs> David, yeah. David Temple got the money to pay for a new stadium. <laughs> well, all right. I mean, you're talking Tepper now. Te- Tepper's the richest owner in the NFL. Yeah, I know. But he ain't going to be paying for the stadium, though. That's my point. You're right. You're right. You know, people to pitch That's a little bit fucked up. up. It's a little bit, yeah, dude, we, we yeah, shouldn't be pitching in. Nice Fuck that, dude. He's got the money. He's just paying for it. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, you know how we can go. Yeah, he here. Is he here? Is he here, y'all? Yeah, he is. Twan. I thought Twan was asleep. No, I'm here. All right. I'm here. I ain't heard you say nothing all day. I'm like, no. Just got in the game again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, I'm, just, just, I'm just listening to you. Oh, okay. Tuan DZ. Hey, Tuan, man, you were spitting them facts earlier, though, boy. My brother was getting it. He said, this is the last thing I'm going to say. And I ain't going to say. He, definitely. This is my first time ever saying, hearing Tuan say he ain't going to say nothing else. And he definitely didn't say shit else. <laughs> I'm saying this is a dud. That was a first. I'm telling you. I was like, what? 
People who really want to have a good time. That's why I really don't. Something wrong with that dude, man. You know it is, though, man. 40 years old. I'm telling you. It's dangerous. You know he's retarded. I'm shit like, I'm not even saying it as a joke no more. Something. It's Dewan. It's Dewan, is that more folks? Yeah, man, you got to stop fucking with that shit. Y'all need to put him on Never Scared. No. Nah, you know he ain't going to do that. It's called Never. Nah, that dude, something wrong with him, man. I mean, you got to pray for a dude like that. Keep going through something, man. For real, bro. Yeah, that nigga not even use his real name in the Keep Pounding TV group. I don't know if y'all, I mean, when, uh, one of the shows I asked, I said, man, who touched you, man? Who hurt you? Somebody gets in your face. Somebody hurt this nigga, man. Damn, he touched me here. No, somebody <laughs> touched him or something, man. Come on, that's your TV. That motherfucker hate Cam. I thought I said in the chat said before he even said I said watch he gonna say Vic. He gonna say Vic. Watch and sure enough he said Vic over Cam. Scrub. Nobody should be taking anybody over Cam. Right. Hey, look all all those all those misinformed facts he was spitting now he shouldn't be able to talk about no more football. <laughs> he retired from talking football. Yeah, like, just, just, no speak, just speak on politics. And that's it. <laughs> sure, they can't, they can't I'll, I'll, take, I'll, I'll take Cam over Biden. Who? What? Cam is love, baby. Cam is life. <laughs> Speaking of Cam, Chaz, you know Cam down there. Where you at? Where he training down here or something? I don't know. I didn't know he in Dallas, though. Nah, I didn't even know that, bro. Yeah, bro uh, yeah. Damn. You know, uh, uh, old boy moved to uh, Houston, uh, 50. Oh, no, yeah. I'm been, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nah, I didn't know Cam was in Dallas, though. Man. Nah, I know because I'll be watching this Hornets little thing and dude ought uh, to be... Uh, on this Hornets thing, he like uh, oh, okay. I guess he was with his mom. He was with his mama, and he was like, "Damn, we seen Cam Newton." So he like took a picture with him and his mama. Oh shit, that's what's up. Uh, yeah. Hey, look, Lamelo Ball also said, "Shakari, if you, if he ain't smoking crack, let him run a track." That's where that shit came from, Lamelo Lamo, uh, Lamelo Ball. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said, "Can y'all please take his phone?" Hey, look, is she? Is she? If she was, if she was smoking crack, she might break the men's record. I'm telling you, <laughs> <laughs> she she break Tyrone Diggles out there record. I'm telling you, she'll, she'll be running a nine eight. <laughs> she'll run an eight five. And that shit. I'm gonna go blow a gasket. <laughs> she'll be like uh, be like Wanda on uh, Snowfall. <laughs> <laughs> Is Is Usain Bolt gonna be playing in the Olympics, or he just chilling? Nah, he done. You said he wrote retired, bro. Yeah. You said he returning? He retired. Retired. Oh, Sam, some dude. people get the itch. Sure. Justin, yeah, you don't retire too. You don't get to just do speed over. Bro. No, no shit is gone. Let's go. Nah, it ain't gone. It ain't gone. It ain't gone now. It ain't gone. T.O. Still fast as hell. Oh, yeah. Stay working out and stuff. That motherfucker ain't coming. I'm talking about track speed. Shit, he. <laughs> so I said, yeah, I got he ain't coming to fuck back from that, man. I didn't say he was coming back, but I'm saying he's still he's still going to outrun most of the population of the world. Is what I'm saying. But not the, not on the track. Yeah. Like the <laughs> that's what you get paid for. I mean, racing the world. That's just some recreation shit. He ain't gonna win no money from that. No, but what I'm saying is, I'm saying but I'm gonna tell you what he can do. He can he can do some one on one shit like the way Floyd and all these motherfuckers out here doing this pay per view shit. But he but he don't even really have good technique though, Tawan. That's the thing about him. He just was, um, he don't. I'm telling you. Whatever whatever his technique was, he left motherfuckers fifteen yards behind. <laughs> that that was that was no. He didn't leave him behind. He had catch up speed mainly. He just had a gift. He was never, I mean, he was he never a front runner. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And he was yeah, tall, covered a lot of ground. 
Yeah, yeah make up speed. Like Chad, Chad Johnson faster than the motherfucker too. Yeah. That motherfucker ain't nothing to be played with. Uh, obviously, if he ain't did, if he ain't getting mad and you know head but nobody, he would probably still be in the league and retired the right way. Hey, old boy went for the tryouts and he didn't place last. Old DK. DK, uh, Metcalf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Metcalf. Okay. Yeah. It wasn't. I thought he was hurt. No, I'm saying he he went. Uh, you know he went and tried out with them with them guys. Yeah, the nigga too fast for us, man. Yeah, yeah, he won't. He ain't no running, but I mean, just pure, like you said, just pure talent. Now, if he had some coaching for like a year, he would probably be even faster. Because it, it is definitely a technique. Mm. I, I went to track. I went to track camp at uh, East Carolina back when I was in high school, and uh, I ran the mostly ran the two hundred and four by two. Mm. Be, be careful, he in his dreams. <laughs> having nightmares, <laughs> having nightmares about Ray. About <laughs> Ray. He used to call me Mike Johnson in high school. Hey, Ray Snap though. Ray was not playing no games really. That's about the maddest I ever uh, heard out there. Ray get. <laughs> I can't believe y'all are still going. It's 5 a.m. Oh, this ain't the latest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off this weekend. That's normal shit, man. I'm trying to tell you that. <laughs> well, this is the Cali dude signing out. <laughs> you, you what? All right. Hey. Y'all have a good night. All right, All right man. We'll meet up with uh, QT. Hey, big cat. Hey, hold on. Oh. Yeah. Hey, you there? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what's up? I was just going I was going to ask you, did you uh did you see that uh Keith Sweat and Bobby Brown versus? I'm going to ask you, man. How much money you got on me at one point? Say what? I said, "No, nah, I ain't seen that shit yet." Is that Oh, okay. How was it? I only watched a little bit of it, but I'm sure it was entertaining with Bobby Brown in it, Joe. They said he, uh, they said the uh, I heard Zang like almost was died when it was over. They said Newport's called up to him. I ain't want no damn Newport. They like to call up to him. Something <laughs> stronger than that. Some of that crack. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> man, Bobby, Bobby said he clean, though, man. He might be now. <laughs> he do look a little healthy because he was, he was looking kind of big up there. Uh, yeah, man. That's oh, another dude that right. I feel sorry for too, man. Bobby Brown. Rest in peace, DMX, and they said the same thing. Yeah, right. If you really right. look at Bobby Brown's life, man, right, this motherfucker been through it. Bro. I'm telling you, bro, he went through it. This motherfucker done lost his son, his daughter, daughter. his wife, <laughs> and he's still <laughs> sane <laughs> in his career. <laughs> Yeah. Sobriety. Mm, superhead, superhead exposer. <laughs> Damn, Stephen. Yeah. Damn, Stephen. Yeah, he was sleeping on my couch. Damn. Yeah, that was some fuck shit she did. That was gonna record yeah. this nigga. That's why you can't trust these bitches, bro. Man, she spilled the beans on everybody, though. She sure did. Yeah, but don't fall asleep in the house. Besides Lil Wayne, she ain't gonna never tell Lil Wayne, though. No, nah, that's my baby. Yeah, that nigga paid it off. That's all that is. Yeah, she might. I don't think it would have mattered with Weezy. <laughs> Not at all. He talked crazy anyway. She said she I'm was really sorry. And Wayne called her feeling, about everything and what she's doing. Speaking of feeling sorry for a nigga, did y'all see that nigga Weezy when Chris Paul... This nigga looks like somebody's grandma now, man. This nigga looks terrible. You talking about undisputed? You're like a gremlin. Yeah, this nigga looks, man, this nigga don't look human no more, man. He ain't never looked human. He always been like a little leprechaun. <laughs> but now this nigga is really scary, man. This nigga's hair is, this hair done fell, is dead, man. This 
That's from that dog, man. Dog is here too much. No, that's from them drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Codeine. Oh, that ain't got shit to do with that right there. He was on that slow down. I thought he was on that slow down. I saw that one. So sorry. All that talent, this nigga is gone. I mean, this nigga that had done. He done already had like 30 seizures. It's just like, man, when do, when do motherfuckers slow down, bro? When they die? I think he already did it, though. I think he already still slowed down from it. I think they got on him about his health. He just can't stay out of trouble. Either bringing guns to the airport or some shit. Nah, it wasn't the airport. It was on his plane and they towed on him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what happened. But he got pardoned for that. Look, yeah, I wonder who. I, know, I wonder who he stood next to to do that. Trump. <laughs> Your boy Trump. He pardoned uh, Kodak Black too. Wow, I have wow. Marco's piece in a minute. I've never gotten nothing from Lil Wayne again. No, I was going through my email. I got 25% off for uh, Marcos. Oh, uh, I mean, I can send it. Oh, I'll send it. I can send it to you. Nah, I'm messing with you. But I got a special code. I got a special code uh, for Marcos where I can just automatically get $4 off. And just oh, okay. Marcos better than Pizza Hut. Yeah, oh, shit. Yeah, the Pizza Hut been so long. Years, years ago. To me, to Marcos be hidden. I can just deal. With, I, I, mean, I, know, I just deal. I just deal with Mar- Marcos is good for a chain. It's still shitty pizza, but for a chain, you know, it's pretty good. Man. Hey, look, I'm telling you, if y'all ever in Greenville, stop down, stop downtown before you get on the campus of East Carolina. It's a place called uh, Michelangelo, New York style hitting. Yeah, I keep trying hitting. to tell y'all, if it ain't in New York. Twan, where you at right now? Oh, they, they, say Chicago. <laughs> they say Chicago shit good. They got to deep this shit. You know what Twan said to you. Twan, what about, if you want to go there, then what about Italy? How about that? I mean, shit. Then you'll be eating pies. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the, that's the originator, <laughs> right? They don't really call it pizza. They're like, what the fuck is this pizza shit? <laughs> they had originated, right? Yeah, uh, but they call them pies. They call them that at the real authentic pizzeria. Yeah, with the with the Italians work. I mean, look, man, look, look, look. When you eat pizza in New York, it's different. When you eat pizza from a real Sicilian, it's different. You can always feel robbed. You know, you can't have the Chinese dude cooking your pizza, man. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, like, no. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah. Hey, now, come on, explain that to me. What's the difference between New York pizza? I mean, it's just all natural ingredients, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they take pride in, in, in that food. I mean, just Italian food, period, in New York. But look, they come to soul food, man. New York is horrible, man. Like, you can't eat that shit, man. I told 704, like, man, the South got the best food as far as I'm concerned, man. No doubt. But, like, when they come to Italian food, motherfucking and Chinese food, I mean, it's a lot of them there, so you get to eat it authentic. But... When they come to soul food, they don't know nothing about it, man. But but I'm a, but real but real but what they what they feed us and is it really what they eat? But look, check this out, man. I didn't even know what ice I didn't even know what iced tea was until I moved down. Goddamn! Nobody, I mean, you you mean you mean you didn't know what sweet tea was? <laughs> yeah, when I say iced that's, tea, I mean sweet tea. Mean. Yeah, man, motherfuckers is like, what is that? Um, I mean. I know it's always been hot tea. So did you did you know what biscuit and rabies was? No. I mean, my grandmother used to make. Um, I told you everything I knew was in the south. My grandmother used to make molasses and gravy. I mean, molasses and biscuits. Yeah, that's actually good too. I like molasses, yeah, I bro. I don't really mess with molasses. I took a little jar back. You know, my was like, "Damn, nigga, where you get this shit from?" <laughs> I rather have. I rather, rather have. I rather have fresh strawberry preserve. But you yeah, like you're not really good. like me. Really the preserves like is good. Me. Yes, sir. My buddy, well, see, my that buddy. Gonna, that's going to show you how good the food is in the South. Like when I used to like take shit back back home up north with me. Like even when I was like twelve, ten, you know, 
Um, I told the kids, you know, like, you know, like, damn, throw them back from the south, bro. You know what I'm saying? They knew I was bringing back something, bro. That right fool was, they like, damn, bro. <laughs> Look, yeah. like, 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 right, like, um, Chad just said, bro, that char- that strawberry preserve, like, on some toast, mm-hmm. you know, cut that shit up to my friends. Hey, look, put that shit in your mouth right there. Hey, they I got, got, I, I got Bubba Wallace. This? They got Bubba Wallace on uh, Dr. Pepper now. It was like, damn, here you tell me the niggas for you. Oh, you said they got him on Dr. Pepper 704. Yeah, I guess as a sponsor, because you know, Michael Jordan done, like, on his, yeah. like, yeah, part of his shit, but yeah, yeah. I start. I started to try some uh, Dr. Pepper baked beans the other day. I'm going to try them with you one day. You know where that's from, right? Where? North Carolina. Winston uh, Salem, I think. Dr. Pepper. Yeah, that's yeah, what it yeah, is. That's where, they make, that's where they make Texas feet, too. And cheer wine. Cheer wine from North Carolina, too. I, don't I mean, cheer wine. My fault. My fault. My fault. Cheer wine. Not, 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 not Dr. Pepper. I'm tripping. Okay. It's cheer wine. It's cheer wine. It's cheer wine. Yeah, my fault. Yeah. Dr. Pepper part of Coke, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. My fault. Yeah, yeah it's cheer wine. Coke, so I'm thinking wine, about the damn man. colors. It's your wine. wine. Good as a motherfucker. Yeah. What y'all know about? When you go, when you go, when you go to North, you go, she goes to like pizza. You go to a pizza where I'm not. You say hell no. Yeah, I can't mess with the chill wine. Nah, not? it's straight, but I don't even do the dark. I don't even do dark drinks no more. So. Yeah, that's bad for you. I don't drink soda. Period. Fuck that. But I tell you what, back in the day, that new grape. Google the Mooger. Hey man, don't don't do that, man. I mean, grape was my favorite, but I mean, I be mean, the stigmatism is behind grape, you know. I kind of don't tell everybody. <laughs> hey, that's, 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 hey, you got to be a certain age to remember that. No, I, I'm gonna tell y'all what was mine. The, the choice, the choice drink, but it was it, it was the it was the peach, the, the peach. Oh yeah, choice peach. Yeah, choice. Oh yeah, choice. Yeah, yeah. go to the corner store. Juan, Juan, you don't know nothing about that. That's you yeah, know that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember soda used to be uh, thirty five cent. Yeah, that shit, yeah, about twenty, yeah, about thirty five or twenty five cent. Fact. Yeah, that Win Dixie soda. Nah, yeah, the Win Dixie peach too. Yeah, facts. Yeah, yeah Win Dixie. Uh, when you go, when you go to the uh, to the store and get the mud, though, he had the paper uh, food stamps. Hey, look, on some on some <laughs> real, another one of my favorite was that Tahitian fruit punch. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That junk was slamming too. Oh no, nah, facts. Oh, that shit was it. Uh, I got a, the jungle, the jungle juice. Oh yeah, I already told you about that strawberry kiwi. That was my favorite. <laughs> that shit was good, but that shit too sweet these days. <laughs> I ain't had it since I was in high school. That shit too sweet. I tried to try that shit one time. Like, man, what is this? Look, look at diabetes. <laughs> I had the, I had the fruit Toby in high school. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They, that was in the vending machines. I think that was like, uh, let me see. If I can remember, it was like a dollar and dollar and some change. A dollar twenty-five. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I you know. It? Uh, I said right. the best. Food, I would say the best food though is Thai food though. Some real shit. Y'all ever go to Thailand, bro? Whew. I heard it's good there, bro. That you shit said what? Gotta, you said what now? Thai food. Think about it. You got to go to places where like the people are. Tacos. Thai food. Thai food. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I mess with it. Yeah, the real authentic Thai food. Yeah, that's See, listen. Going. See, like in up north, we had a soda for everything y'all had down here. Like, like we had new grape up there. You said y'all had new grape, but y'all had like Sprite and um Seven Up. We had some shit called Bubble Up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all had that fake shit, Twan. So Twan, y'all didn't have soda. Y'all had pop. Uh, nah, we have pop. We drop that pop. Mr. Bib. Yeah. That Mr. Bib and shit. Yeah. Mr. Yeah, nah, Mr. Nah, Bib. Nah, but, nah, had, nah, but the up north drink was that shit. My dads, brother put me on. We had what's Dad's Root Beer. Fuck, what's the name of that drink? Oh, it's so one, of the things we, one thing we drink more up north than y'all drink in the south is we Frisco. Drink Frisco. Frisco. Is it Frisco? Frisco. 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 Yeah, that shit good, yeah. nigga. Yeah. My brother yeah. put me on that shit up there in Boston. We drink more cream. We drink more cream soda than y'all do. Yeah, I don't drink that shit nasty. That's nasty. Oh, we love it. I don't, 